Are you sure you want to start streaming? No. I'm scared. No, 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 I changed my mind. No, no, no! He's dragged no. into the internet. No. 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 I just escaped! It would make the little glitchy sounds as you scream. Of course. <laughs> Uh, yep, and then you're in the computer and you're there trying to get out. What was that movie where someone gets trapped in the computer and they want to get out or something? The Matrix? I don't know. <laughs> no, The Matrix. <laughs> Cyber Chase. That might. That was Scooby Doo and the Cyber Matrix. I remember watching. The Cyber Matrix. Scooby Doo and the Matrix. I think that's what I it was. I think I've yeah. seen that one too. Yeah. Pretty uh... terrifying movie if we're being honest with ourselves. I think Scooby Doo really did handle horror better than anything has. <laughs> Pretty sure Ridley Scott took yeah, a lot of inspiration when he made Alien from Scooby Doo. From Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. Specifically that yeah, one, he... yeah. Yeah, because of the Scooby Doo science meets the Harlem course. Globetrotters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Scooby Doo. Uh, Scooby Doo. Curse of the Zombie the Island. You know, it's funny, um. <laughs> those. Uh, cinematics and stuff. I, I genuinely starting to think that people they made enough of them just for the fucking promotion of a season. And someone there was like, "Guys, we should make a TV show." And then some other guy was like, "That's brilliant." And then it took him another ten years or whatever. When did LOL come out? Uh, two thousand nine, I think. Fucking hell. Yeah, I know. That's uh, yeah. It's old. <laughs> it's it's quite a goofball game, um, but it got super serious because uh, yeah. of how much money it made, I guess. Uh, well, yeah, because I did Riot make anything before that, or was that yeah? League of Legends was their first man. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> did they? Their, they their, made a second game, right? Or am I? Uh, they made Valorant. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, which I played a bit of. That was fun, but uh, I don't know if that's for me. It's like a. Mm. Uh, CSGO equivalent kind of thing, except you guys have, like, kind of magic or sci-fi abilities that they can use. Is it a hero shooter? I can't remember. Uh, it's a hero shooter in that there are hero characters that have different abilities, yeah. That seems to be, like, the template now, right? People like to have their assortment of characters with distinct traits and from different countries and stuff. Hmm. And, uh, and have their own, like, little gimmicks. Well, um... People might already be wondering, whoa, 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 why, why are you talking why about that? Why are we talking about League of Legends, yeah. And it's like, well, guys, myself and Fringy have we seen... hate ourselves. We've seen all of Arcane. Yes. Oh, goodness. <gasps> we have watched oh, it all. Oh, was it good? Well, um, this is, this is, this is quite a big deal, I think, because we've been asked our opinion on Arcane for 10 years, uh, by 10,000 mm. million people. Um, mm -hmm. Fringy, do you want to, do you want to announce our, uh... Our hot take. Oh, the hot take, is it? The super duper duper hot take on Arcane. And it disappoints so many people. Yeah, probably. Well, let me it's, guess, you guys it, hated it. I like it a lot. I think it's pretty good. And I'm pretty sure Mola <laughs> would agree. <laughs> uh, some fantastic payoffs in it. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, I, it's nice to watch a show where we've got like 10 characters who are all well informed and have their own goals and strengths and weaknesses that are playing into a narrative, uh, a narrative that's like built upon pretty strong world building. Surprising like, I, for that, yeah. Surprisingly strong world building. Uh, the show is, it, it's the video game adaptation to beat, like categorically. It's, that's, it's, uh, it's, it's really strong. Um, and, and that's putting to one side that like the voice acting and the animation is. That was like actually fantastic. what I wanted. It has to be mentioned straight away. The expressions, the detail, the animations, the the, the artwork, yeah. the stylistic choices when they do certain action scenes or just approaches to telling you how people are feeling and stuff. It's like, damn, they took advantage of this medium. Yeah, it's um something that I find really cool about the show that I hope... Uh, I think I've talked about it a couple of times, but there's not a lot of Western adult animated shows that are like strictly trying to be dramas. And Arcane is that, and it does it well. And it'd be nice if there were more, if we got more of those types of projects uh, in the future. And holy shit, I'm not sure. watching yeah. it back to back with Boba Fett. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh it's, my it's goodness. pretty stark. It's pretty fucking stark that, like, one is an actual story. Yeah, one that's is all a, you could say. One of them characters. is telling a story, the other one is the book of Boba Fett, where it's this fucking nonsense. <laughs> Something that was really cool about the show as well is that, um, 
it definitely they could have leaned much harder into fan service for people who like play League of Legends, but they're very restrained. Yeah. Um, they take their time to actually get our characters to like the video game place, you know, in terms of certain. I guess, I don't know. I guess how probably don't want to be spoilery because well, it's actually a show I'd recommend to people if they haven't seen it. Yeah. So take take that for a quickie, right? We recommend and we think it's pretty good. Um, what I will say is Metal is up to episode four. Uh, Jay, funnily enough, was going to be on this EFAP. Unfortunately, stayed up too late watching Arcane. <laughs> so, <laughs> and so now probably won't be able to make it through tiredness, but that's okay because we've got a whole whole set here ready to talk about other things. Um, but we're probably going to force Rags to watch it. Sorry, but... Yeah. You know. yeah. It's okay. You, you want to watch it. <laughs> You'll like it, yeah, I think. Good. Uh, there are, like, I just want to make sure we mention before people get all pissed off, we, there are there are flaws. There are, there are contrivances it's, and coincidences. It's got your standard contrivances and plot armor issues, but yeah. not significant. Uh, and I think the main thing is character isn't compromised. Yes, which, yeah. um, I, that's come to be something of a understanding, I think, for people who watch EFAP now. It's like, uh, if you can maintain a through line for characters while your plot is damaging and falling apart, you can still aim to score as much as a five or more, and uh, like, you know, I wouldn't want to imply the whole plot is shot in this show, it's like there's a lot of good plot writing um, mm -hmm. as well as wheel building and then theme, oh well, so this is the other thing, if Rags watches it and really likes it um, and we've got literally like fucking 15 people in the EFAP sphere, creators who love it um, we'll probably do an episode I don't see why not. Mm. Uh, we'll probably break down the full season, like I said, just depending it, on how be... it feels. Oh, and I guess some mm. notes that's worth mentioning as well is, uh, in terms of, without giving anything away, um, I think <clears throat> going into the show, I was expecting it. I was I was expecting it to be good just on the basis of like how many recommendations there were and recommendations from people whose perspectives I tend to agree with. Yeah, and uh, but I I think when when uh when a certain episode rolled around uh and a certain event happened uh i think both Mauler and i sort of the immediate thought is oh like this wow i wasn't expecting that like i wasn't i didn't think you'd do that i didn't think you'd commit to that choice i didn't think you'd make that choice narratively yeah. um and and really really thoroughly um Use explore it. the consequence use it yeah use it and explore the consequences of uh of a certain plot point that a lot of other stories would try to soften or desperately avoid their way it. around and not really dig into it too much whereas this show actually commits to the the real consequences of the decision that the character made um and it's it's just the show is mature uh and it, it's it's mature in, in how it handles its writing and characters uh, more so than I was expecting. Yes. Well, uh, isn't it like the creator's passion project? I, I could believe it. Me. <laughs> like they worked on um, it for years before yeah, this. Like that's what yeah, I was so hearing. From what I understand, um, and this is part of the reason why the show looks the way that it does, because the show basically looks like a moving like oil painting. It's gorgeous. Um, it's a very nice looking show. But apparently the reason why that's the case is because it had way more pre-production than like pretty much any other animated show we usually get. Uh, I think it had like two years of just development of trying to figure out what it was going to look like and make it all work. Um, and I know that it's already been renewed for a second season, so I hope that they also get a bunch of time to think about writing and and uh, and the art and everything, because I would like for it to... Oh, apparently it was six years in total, six plus years, damn. That's even and, more um, Yeah, yeah I want to wow. highlight, it was Das Bullshit... Duma Media and Theo all separately yeah. told me to watch this show, which is that never happens. <laughs> like that many people <laughs> telling. Obviously, Drinker as well. He's already done a video, uh, talk, basically saying everybody should watch it. Um, I think uh, one more thing is just like me and Freeny said, like in a perfect world where stories were fucking not absolute dog shit, uh, this show probably wouldn't be as impressive. But uh, as it stands, it's very impressive. I, I was very if, impressed. Well, if all if all shows were as good as Arcane, I would be very very happy. 
Oh, I'd be. I think I told you I'd be dead because I'd just be watching watching TV constantly. Well, yeah, because when we <laughs> had the experience of because we watched the first three episodes and then came back the next day to start watching again, uh, and we didn't really want to like hit the brakes, just want to keep going and finish it out. Uh, and that's that's the sign of a show being really engaging. Which is why the Boba Fett episode was almost going to be delayed, but I can get it out for Sunday, so it was, don't panic. It was everyone. almost <laughs> going to be delayed because we spent so much time on the game. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, it's, it would be fun to break it down, so maybe we shall in future. Um, mm -hmm. And what else can I do now but switch the conversation over to what everyone here has been thinking about Boba Fett, since we're at a nice little checkpoint <laughs> of just over halfway through Boba the season. Fett. Uh, Four episodes out oh of seven. Gosh. Oh, we're nearly half done. Of, this is half of things. Oh, wow. Uh, it told half the story. Uh, is it? I, Isn't that incredible? Is there any way to fix your internet? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, I, 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 obviously much, that must suck because I'm assuming. You your phone? I'm assuming there's nothing you can do. Well, can you use your phone internet? Uh, do you have enough data, like to just use your phone as a portable Wi-Fi hotspot? I think it's Discord. Because my internet's fine. Is it fine? Yeah, like I'm using it now, and everything's loading and working fine, and the speed tests are good, and I'm not stuttering and anything else. Um, uh, so let me restart see. Discord. Maybe yeah, I'll try that. We're already in Singapore chat. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Singapore has well, failed us today. The, the thing is, all of you sound fine. It's just rags. Um, yeah. That's the nicest thing you ever said to me. Oh, I, I didn't. When I say you, I mean people. So I wouldn't <laughs> okay. include yourself. Oh, I mean. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> well, hey, you can That's say good. with the four episodes that you've seen. What do you think? Spoiler free so far of Arcane Metal as a as a lol. You played LOL slightly longer than I did when I gave up, I think? Uh, I, I went back to it a couple of times because some friendos still played occasionally and was hanging out with them. We played some ARAMs and stuff. So I guess so, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what's coming next. I mean, there was like a almost like a halfway point, you could say. Uh, just building up what's happening. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking it so far. As Fringy said, I was surprisingly mature. I was uh, expecting a lot of wackiness and silly stuff. They then things very happen, and you're they just made... like, oh, oh, okay. This they is what we're doing now. Correct decision to commit to being a mature show. Yeah, and what a wonderful like one to choose to do that for, because we get to have some of the highest budget animation I've ever seen. On yeah. TV, for sure, yeah. Or highest passion, one way or another. <laughs> Def definitely, definitely, you can see the passion there. That there were there were people who had an idea. They had a story that they wanted to tell. Um. But yeah, like I, I just meant, like you know, as someone who had played the game, it's quite interesting, isn't it, Metal? Uh, absolutely. Because you're always like, uh, what, what are wait, they putting in that they remember from the game? Is, are yeah, they going to do like all this, all this stuff? What's cool is then you see you. some, you see characters, and then you think like, is this a character I know? Is this a new character? Is it just not the character well, yet? The characters, we'll see. the characters don't quite look the same. Uh, like yeah. In terms of the styles, uh, certain characters look pretty pulled directly from the games. Other characters are radically different from who they are in the game. But that leads you to think, ooh. Where are you headed? Yeah. You know? Where mm -hmm. where are you going? And a certain character in particular who I was very engaged in his story constantly <laughs> in the back of my mind, like, I know where you end up, and that's factoring into what I'm thinking about your uh journey here and your relationship with this other character. Really Which is fun. funny, um myself, you and Metal all know that one, but um because uh, I saw the episode with Jay and you know, he was just like, is it, can you tell me? And I was like, it's pretty bad you don't know, I guess. You, you, it's better that you... It might be better. I, it's it's a different experience, for sure. But, um, yeah, it's cool to know where he's going to end up and see the story unfolding and heading in that direction. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, mm -hmm. oh. And I guess uh, in terms of getting your, like, video game imagery, uh, 
Wait, no, I won't. <laughs> um, well, yeah, sense. Rags, how are you, how's it going? How are you, how are you sounding? Uh, I don't quite know. Maybe you can oh, let me know. <laughs> yeah, it's still, still um, robot land. Robo Rags. It's like when Neo gets the goo in his mouth in the original film, and it makes all those <laughs> weird sounds. Um, I'll fiddle around with some things, I guess. Yeah, I, like it sucks because it's um. Uh, I have no, no clue. Yeah, I'm if there's no capacity for you to fix it, then um, you might have yeah, to I'll restrain yourself from talking. To a robot dog. <laughs> He's a virtual doggo. Uh, Some people are chatting, suggesting that you unplug the mic. I'm not sure if that'll do anything, but uh, no, that doesn't sound like a mic issue. It I, sounds yeah, specifically like I internet, was, yeah. Yeah, because I I just got out of a battlefield game and it was working just fine. Um, let me try some things. Did, weren't you mentioning earlier though that you were having an internet problem? Oh, these sounds. What is going on? It's like a very windy and it's like turbine. Yeah. Rags this little doghouse. <laughs> oh, I just unplugged and replugged the microphone. Um, Wait, can you speak for a little bit longer? Yeah, uh, what I did there a second ago is I unplugged the mic and then I just put it back in and so hopefully that did something. It sounds, sounds better. You sound a little better. better. It sounds kind of better. Marginally better. Yeah. I don't know why, but I could. Yeah, like I could. I could be. I could accept this <laughs> in my ear. <laughs> All right. Tell me if this sounds any better. Does that uh, sound gotta, any better? Is there any gotta... more of a difference that is to be had? Is there, there is any? Like, there is mild roboting, but like it's it's much better than it was before. Yeah. So I mean, I'd be fine with it if it stayed like this. Yeah. All right. I play for whoever suggested that in chat. Then. <laughs> yeah. Also. Uh... Uh, just wanted to mention as well. There's a couple people who are like unfucking real. They're praising Arcane. I'm just like, so we'll give you an episode on it, I guess. Maybe hopefully they could explain it thoroughly. But uh, there's a lot. I to figured talk about. no matter what we said about Arcane, we were gonna piss people off. It was pretty clear. Uh, I mean, I, I guess. But I mean, if we're gonna piss people off, it's nice that the show is good. <laughs> like, <that's, laughs> yeah. No, I'm very <laughs> happy we've got uh, another story to be. Well, because like, um, Capital o, have you seen it? I have not. I would, uh, I would recommend it. See, see what you think. So, see what everyone yeah. thinks. Everyone's getting around, you know. Definitely a cultural yeah. one. Uh, I'll probably look, look at that in chat. Back to back. Arcane is good, people. Arcane is not good. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. And I guess because uh, the next one that I think Muller and I want to watch is Afterlife Season Three, which is probably yes. going to be good. That's a that's a nice reliable show. A lot of that. Oh, that's the one I wanted to watch for ages as well. I've heard so many good things about it. I think a lot less people care about um, Afterlife, but we I'm do. pretty sure Afterlife is like pretty popular. Oh, uh, I never see it mentioned in uh, in conversations. Ricky in Gervais often mentions on Twitter that like it's oh yeah among like the highest rated shows on uh, on Netflix. And also, that's that's a little fun fact. Apparently, Arcane is in terms of like critical reception the highest rated show on Netflix. Very interesting. Wow. Uh, yeah. Um, so anyway, we're here to watch, talk about a different show. <laughs> um, <laughs> one of the a show of real quality. What a shame. One of the best that's come out recently. There was someone in chat saying, um, how the fuck do they love Boba Fett? It's way worse than Mando. And I'm just sitting here like, who told <laughs> you that? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure which one is worse or better at this point. It's really difficult because they're all just the same I sludgy might, garbage. I um, might side with Boba because it's destroying a character that was set while Mando was just like a nothing Mando, person. Mando, exactly. Also, Boba just looks cheaper and is cheaper. I'm pretty sure uh, the production shot. Which shoddier. is odd. It's really odd that the Boba Fett show is the one that is cheaper. Maybe they're just like fuck. People will watch it anyway. We don't have to spend the money. Could I, be. You get worried about that. <laughs> That's part of it. It's like, why, why go through the extra little effort to make everything nice and make sure that all of our, our camera shots don't see the backs of scenes and things like that? If people watch it anyway. They'll clap. They'll love it. People make crazy defenses for it. it, it it's fine. We don't have to worry about it. I could only make it about 50% you, you don't get of that. the sense that there's any <laughs> huh? Unfortunately, your mic's gone back to being back. terrible. Sad face. Well, 
Let me try a few things. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, the, the audience would know very well uh, four of our opinions on, on Boba Fett, but we've got two guests today, so how about okay. we get their perspective? We'll start with the lady, because diversity is important. I think we can um. all agree with that. Um, <laughs> Anna, what are you thinking about the Boba Fett? Boba Fett? Um... It feels like it was all filmed at the same time and then they randomly broke it up into episodes because I just watched it right now because I forgot to watch it. And then I woke up early and I was like, fuck, I got to watch this show. <laughs> I got oh, <laughs> I got three episodes down. I didn't watch the fourth one, but from what I've heard, I don't really need to. So oh, well, we can, what I happens guess. in the fourth one? The four <laughs> uh, he kills the Sarlacc with the seismic <laughs> charge. It's pretty badass. So, it's pretty lie. badass. Well, it's uh, when we were all watching it, it's just you have that thought as like, wow, really? Like, really? He's going to kill the Sarlacc with a seismic charge, really? <laughs> you just well, a lot of it just seems pointless. Like, I don't know if any of you guys played KOTOR, but they just seem to be taking a lot of the plot points from it. Like, they did that in Mando Season 2 with the Crate Dragon. Like, that's a... One of the things that Revan has to do that's the big boss on Tatooine. And then, like, with the dancing with the sand people and learning about their ways in the story, that's something that you do with Revan as well. And I don't know, I feel like they're just trying to cherry pick characters out of the EU and then bring them into the shows, like with the Wookiee and then other, like, side characters. And, you know, um, what was it? There's a deleted scene from the original Star Wars movie you know we're uh with luke's friends and then they're randomly in what epi the episode with the train and so it's like okay easter egg easter egg cool 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 but it's like maybe if you guys just focused on telling the story and why is boba fett talking so much he should have like one word <laughs> every have episode the, uh, have right? you seen the interview with Tamora morrison where he basically just yes. says I was. I wanted them. You know, I wanted to speak less. I wanted them to be more mysterious. And, and basically, it just sounds like nobody listened to him. <laughs> the job well, was, I, yeah, I, like, I know, no, say it all. Oh no. Do you know how much better the show would be if he didn't say a single thing until like the very end, like when he kills someone and he has like one line or one word, and it's just like, what's he gonna say in the, the next episode? Like yeah. that would be so much cooler. Make him and a I don't... master chief, man of few words. Every time. Well, also, why does Finnick? Why does Finnick know all of this about tattooing? Like, did she grow up there? Like, what what's her backstory? I didn't. I don't really care about Disney Star Wars, so I didn't look and into it. But I feel like assassin. they. Could have, uh, yeah, I know. But why does a world class well, assassin know all about the doings? No, I was going to say you're right. This random city on this random. Planet? Um, world class <laughs> as in galaxy class assassin, not tattooing. Like for some reason, she's very aware of tattooing customs. And this is like okay, and uh. I guess examples of that would be that uh, she has to explain to Boba how you can uh, pay for mercenary work. She has to explain to Boba how to, like, wh whether or not he should be ruling in whatever way. How tributes work. Uh, also, whether or not he should be out and about, and whether or not Jabba was. It's so bizarre listening to her guide him on all of this, because they clearly did it so that they could give us information. But he would know all this way better I than I know, her. but they should have had another... Well, they should have had a like a droid or a little alien that was like an assistant that was taking both of them through the city and explaining everything to them. It doesn't make sense that she would be the one telling because obviously the audience, you know, we need, I'm mean, air quoting, we need that type of character to explain it through the plot, why, who certain people are and why they do the things that they do. And I mean, they already have that one droid. He comments about needing a protocol droid. It's like, okay, well then go buy one they're like at the store down the street i'm sure that's hundreds of them at all of the stores in this major city um, on this planet I was actually it just doesn't make sense metal point out when we watch an episode four is that uh the uh i guess torture droid is what is what that one is it actually translates when in episode one it yeah. couldn't do that and they specifically pointed that out that they needed one for translation but then it just is you're like okay <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Well, maybe he can translate, like, certain languages that it's are, the like, same common creature. there. Exact same creature he couldn't uh -oh. translate and then does, because... <laughs> oh, my yep. God. There's a lot of Blind that in this that. show. They just, Brilliant. It, this show was rushed. Like, 100% rushed the fuck out. Um, well, well, it's also, why are all the Twi'leks speaking period. basic? It doesn't make any sense. I'm like, 
what what is going on? And it's not like Boba can't understand different languages. He clearly could in the original. So why all of a sudden? Like, why is one second when he sees the huts, does he speak like hut for one second and then he switches to basic? I'm like, they should all just be speaking their own languages. This is a common thing in Star Wars. I don't get it. Uh, not if it's like you can play with that, right? You could have a you could have characters saying something in their own language, like he he Boba Fett doesn't understand that, and then he does something that reveals that he absolutely heard what they were saying, like that he's always one step ahead. Yeah, there's loads of fun things you could do with how competent he is, but yeah. for some reason, um, despite having spent many years in Tatooine and with Jabba specifically, and being his like number one more than likely bounty hunter, like it it doesn't mean anything. Well. Yeah, but also, thing, why wouldn't he know who show. any of these people are if he worked for Jabba for so long and he was there for so long? I mean, it took them, what, three years, uh, Luke and Leia and Lando, to get, you know, Han back. So he was there, you know, yeah. I'm assuming, traveling off-world, on-world. So why doesn't he know who any of these people are? Also, why isn't a Thorian the mayor, air-quoting? Like, they don't really do that kind of stuff. Well, they do now. I don't think it, the thing well, is. Also, why does everyone know that Tatooine used to be have water, but it wasn't a really common known thing? Because that, water that, is it, an important thematic element of this season. You see, there's a lot of mention yeah. of water and the back to tanks. I know it's like okay, so mm. we're what we're doing <laughs> Dune now. <laughs> I fucking, the, the, Adam, it's like Mad it, Max, Fury <laughs> Road, and spice. Dune. We got spice, yeah. Did you not find it really well, spice, weird when he let everyone is know that that is a thing? He he grew up on Camino. Did you not? Did you, did you, it's such a. It's not. Bo Remember, why would Boba Fett tell anyone that? I don't think he would tell anybody that. This is not information. That can, it can right. like. It's the kind of stuff where you'd be like, "Well, it's not going to hurt, is it?" And it's like, "Yeah, but it couldn't possibly benefit him, and it could only damage him." So, like, why would you ever bring that up? It's just what, Boba also, Fett's all about them fun Fett. facts. You're gonna keep things to yourself. <laughs> you're not gonna just be divulging. Yeah, like how Again, intimidated so is it to be like? No one I was like guarding water? him when. B <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you would assume that there's moisture forms everywhere. Nope. So I think they all can get water. No, Anna, there's no work and no water, and it's like, wow, uh, I yeah. feel like those two problems might be able to cancel each other out. <laughs> <laughs> well, so it's like um. Getting water. How often do people switch like dictators it, or countries or? little empires switch dictators that doesn't stop the work i mean unless everyone just dies which it didn't look like that happened i don't know it's just watching it just irritates me because i'm like i see all the money that you guys spent and it's just you could have done so much with so less and robert rodriguez should know better i mean he goes on talks and says that oh every director should start off with a very limited budget so that way you can you know push that to its very max so that way you know how to work with things and like he knows that john knows that dave knows that so why the hell are we getting this shit also with all these star wars experts why the hell are we getting this shit it doesn't like when you could make something so fantastic why would you make this shit it just I, it doesn't make any sense if there to is me. a sense of complacency in terms of making these shows yeah they'll fucking watch it's it. boba fett you know? they'll watch it yeah they'll watch it yeah and and also like when in that interview we're talking about how like John Favreau, who's the showrunner or executive producer, is like apparently not even there part of the time. Like he's off somewhere else working on something else. Just makes you wonder like how much did they give a Ian, shit about this particular project? Which he is specifically odd, said <clears throat> John's line was record it, all the dialogue we'll do, we'll get rid of it later if we want to. It's just like that's his that's his input. Just do my script, we'll figure it out later. Ugh. Yeah. Feels like not That's a just particularly so frustrating. great way to make a show. <laughs> well, I mean, John Favreau used to be really good at what he did. I mean, if he you read Iron any Man. of Robert McKee's book, he always brings up, you know, stuff that John Favreau has done. And it's like, dude, you have this talent in you. You have all of the resources, all of the money, and this is the shit you're doing. Like, I know you're smarter than this. So it just, I think that honestly frustrates me more than watching it because I've kind of just stopped caring at this point because i'm like there's nothing they can possibly make that will ever come close to the original trilogy so i've learned to not get my hopes up for things but i mean a college student could probably put together a better show than this so why the hell are these professionals making something so mediocre it just it irritates me and why are the sand people wearing black 
You're in the middle of the fucking <laughs> desert. Why the fuck are you wearing black? Also, it's like, okay, they're not supposed to be able to see you for miles around. That's why they're able to sneak up on everyone and, you know, kill them. So why the fuck are you wearing black? And why are you dressed cool. like Revan? It just, uh, it looks cool. It doesn't. No, it, it doesn't look right, cool, it doesn't actually. Look cool. It looks really, really fucking hot. <laughs> it looks stupid. And then they all died. And I'm like, that wouldn't be able to happen. I was like, you know what? Maybe if you weren't wearing black, if you, you weren't wearing black, they wouldn't have fucking seen you. And you wouldn't have died, dumbasses. Where are you getting the dye for your little material? I don't get it. It just, it's just There's frustrating. And I've only seen breaking. the three episodes. Well, you saw it. You saw the one that pissed everyone off. The th episode three is the one that the internet hated because of the oh, this, the speed the bike one. Bike. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, they look. Well, that's the thing with Disney Star Wars. Everything is so clean. Like yeah. I could be a little bit forgiving if maybe the color was faded. There was some sand on it. You know, Anakin says it gets everywhere. If there was scrapes on it, if they'd been shot at. But no, everything is brand spanking new. Even their clothes is. Brand spanking new. No, they're Finnick, poor. when she's fighting the assassins, there's not even a rip. There's no dirt. I'm like, if you're running around in a desert, yeah. in a city, yeah. and there's sandstorms, you're fighting bad guys, you have no kind of dust on you of any kind, you have no blaster residue on you. Like, what the fuck is it? It honestly just looks like it's people at Disneyland because you're in a big, a big metropolis city, right? There's got to be a lot of people doing trading and stuff. So why is it a giant walkway with nobody in it? How come they're not having to swerve around people? Heck, the speeder scene in fucking Return of the Jedi looked better with them going through the trees. Why didn't they do something like that? And like just focus on their facial expressions as they're trying to dodge people. But no, it's a giant empty walkway, just like Disneyland. It's frustrating. The roads aren't even paved. Do you think they'd get around to that eventually? I, I don't see uh, why. He's back. Why didn't you think the speeder I, lady was badass? Yeah, I, yeah. So yeah, cool. did you not see when she when she made it crash? Oh, you mean the brunette <laughs> British chick that's in every fucking Star Wars? And then she like spun her scooter and like skidded, and then she looked at the camera. She was just like Cruella. She was very cool. <laughs> oh my god, I think but, that was the it. The brunette that's British was... chick. Yeah. There is no Disney's work. Disney's one trick. She, but they well, can't the, afford water. Yeah, they're all very poor. You can tell from the way that they look. So. <laughs> they're unemployed and poor, that's right. Well, they don't have any money. Storytelling communication, I guess. Whereas here, it's like you're riding on very bright, uh, saturated bikes in the middle of a shithole desert city. <laughs> it just and they all have fancy, smancy like implants and stuff wow. like that. Like yeah, she mm -hmm. had the fake arm, he had the just, fake foot, cyberpunk. and the it's eye and cyberpunk. stuff. I don't get I it. want to know what the purpose of a robot arm is if you kept your human hand. I well, don't I want to know what the purpose of a robot <laughs> foot is that's basically a jackhammer. Why would I ever need Such that? A that was it. Funny... That was why. <laughs> do, you, do you understand how elated he was that he was finally able to use that after all of these years? <laughs> this yes, was what it was finally. for. He was so happy. And the, the only reason that we have the cyberpunk people is hey, that's how Fedit got her robot gut. <laughs> and oh, cyberpunk God. people gave it to her. Okay, well, also, why, when he gets attacked by BK, why was nobody fucking guarding him? How did the Wookiee just yeah. get through yeah. the entire fucking castle, find his room, and wake him up? There was nobody guarding his oh, room? Oh, why oh, is he I, back to I think I have every an answer fucking day? What? The reason hmm. that he was able to get in is because the security he hired was four random people off the street that one time. <laughs> <laughs> so point. I don't think they're, very, they're probably not very good. And the Camorians are probably, they probably don't have very good vision, like they have to stick around corners, you know, and kind of feel their way around. And even if they do get to you, I mean, it's fine. They've got these little sharpened pieces of metal, you know. What happened to the ones in episode four who it, at least they had like the long sticky things with the, uh, the, like they had little bitty partisan sort of looking weapons. Those were better than the little sharp, tiny swords that they had in episode one or two or whatever it was. That's at least an improvement. What happened yeah. to those? Yeah. Maybe they went to the same place all the guns in this universe went. Just away. Memory hole. The Tuscans are more well armed than Jabba's palace guards. <laughs> it's depressing. But also when the <laughs> twins, you know, say, okay, you guys can have his life and stuff, and he lets him go, I'm like, he owes you a blood debt. He should stay with him. Like the whole 
time and just be basically his indentured servant because he owes him that debt because he spared his life. I'm like, no, but Boba, Boba says like, oh, don't worry. It's, you know, it sucks to work for people who don't care about you. And then in episode, uh, four, he talks it just about it Bobby. doesn't matter. That's not the Wookiee way. Like, did you oh, not watch just... fucking Star Wars? You guys keep ripping off Kotor. That's a big fucking plot point when you not go every... to Kashyyyk. Uh, no, this like this Wookiee more... seems like he's not you now. Like he's sort of doing his own thing, and yeah. he's a ruffian. It doesn't matter. And... <laughs> I think it probably does, right? Like, not um, all Wookies are the same, surely. Well, they all go by you know their their ways in that that's in that not, sense. That's there's got to be some who don't. And this this one, he might he seems like he'd fit the bill of someone who's kind of doing his own thing. I do like how Boba Fett isn't Boba Fett as well. Like how he's just a totally different person. And we expedite that character development as quickly as possible. We uh, mm. like, they pay. He, he fell in the star like they that, say that he fell in the star. Yeah, he did fall in the star like that. Totally different person. The, Knocked the, uh, eighty IQ points off of it. His, his, you know, he got taken in. He was rescued by the Tuskins, and he, which I assume was that's one word not for long it. after, yeah. right? What's like, what's the time difference between him falling in and getting out? It couldn't have been but a couple been days, long. right? I think it several decades. That. That's why he changed so much. <laughs> <laughs> what well, it feels like. What if he didn't get a sunburn? If he's years. stuck inside the Sarlacc and then he's running around Tatooine, he's super pale. I'm like, dude, you'd be fried to a crisp at this point. Especially with your bald head like in the sun, just burning. Like, come on. I thought you were going to say because he keeps well, taking the helmet off. And I was like, yep, yeah, he does. They love to get those <laughs> helmets off. Can't leave the helmet on. That'd be... Does lame. his helmet have like a little fan on the inside that blows? <laughs> Something like a mask. You know how mascots sunscreen. wear the big, the big furry helmets that mascots wear? A lot of the time they have a fan inside so the people in, in, you know, wearing know those that. things don't he die. Wearing anything when he was uh, on his head, at least, until he got that cloak when he was with the uh, sand people. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, he and, and he managed to live. It was impressive. Uh, and then he he described that experience as they took me in as one of their <laughs> they own. Took me. <laughs> they taught me how to be strong. strong. He wasn't strong before. He was a weak loser. But now the Tuscans made him strong. That, of course, worked very well for the Tuscans. They taught me how to be um, strong as they were wiped out by a handful of bikers. Biker gang. Who probably just did it on a whim. They're just like, hey, y'all want to go wipe out some Tuscans, do a, you know, you know, do a little bit of community service. And they're like, yeah, sure, let's do it. And so they went off and did their thing. And that was so that. The thing, he that's never found out what the motive for the bikers was. What if no, all the bikers' children maybe were that's eaten? Maybe the big end. And enslaved and beaten. Yeah, yeah. And and I was surprised that the, reve the, the revenge scene happened so fast. I thought it would have been a whole thing, but it was just a short little scene where he flies and he blows them up. I assume he knows that those are the ones who did it. He just sort of finds them in the desert, and then he it just destroys them. Around and for that's a while that. to find them. Maybe so it is a desert, yeah. and it's a planet-sized desert. It's not like Pit burns away Sid. <laughs> I can see them <laughs> saying that at some point. <laughs> um, living with the Tuscans made him strong. All right, the yeah. Tuscans who enslaved him. And as with Tuscan with strong, as with all things, there are fans of this show, and they have been arguing mainly against Jay out of everybody I know because I'm bothered. <laughs> I um, I did put out a tweet shitting on the show, and I have had so many quote tweets that I fucking muted it, where people were like, "Don't you? you did you not pay any attention? Did you not see him fall into the Sarlacc pit?" And I'm just sitting there like, "What oh, the hell God. is the rest of <laughs> the explanation?" Changes, yeah, <laughs> just you like fall into a Sarlacc pit, you stop caring about money. I mean, it's just it's a. Well, it, I mean, come on, think, that's think cause and effect. Of, uh, <laughs> it, it is the standard goes. issue of you're just accepting the explanation that you're accepting what the show wants you to think, rather than like looking at the scenes that are happening in the story. And coming to the most reasonable conclusion as to what the character should be doing. The show wants you to think that he's been changed. I am not convinced of that change. Yeah. Well, they, they, I'm, like, I'm not either. They don't do any work. I it. don't know how don't long do any work. they slaved him. Who knows how long that well, portion lasted? Because it's um, been years. Since yeah, so yeah. Pit, for all we know, so. that could have been a day or it could have been, you know, several months. I don't know. But he got deslaved because he killed the big Machamp, but for some reason like what 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 does that event say about a per like what what happens to them after doing that and it's like i, I don't i don't know I, it's like well you they it's don't awesome. care about money mean... anymore right and you're like what what does that have to do with money so for well, years that means that for years he never wanted to leave being with the tuscans either way he want that's yeah. where he wanted to be and he stayed there instead of 
you would assume that he has a lot of business to attend to. He has like well, a house and so a collection thing of things that, that he needs to attend to. He keeps because the thing that he keeps saying is like, "Oh, I'm sick of working for people who are going to get me killed," and it's real awkward because <laughs> Boba Fett killed himself through his incompetence. And like, the Tuscans I... <laughs> have come closer than anybody to putting him in serious danger. Yeah. They need to kill well, I mean, themselves. They took that, too. Really they, they took that whole plot line too from the EU. There's a character, and he was part of the Jedi, and he gets sick of everything, so he he goes to Tatooine, and he ends up living with the the Tuscan Raiders. It's really weird that they would staple stuff like that onto just anybody when they need a story because like it won't match everybody. I people love it. I've seen people on Twitter being like, "So cool that Boba Fett's calling out Vader and the Emperor and Jabba." And it's like, "Have you? Did you watch the films? It's not their fault that he got <laughs> fucking thrown into the Sarlacc." No, he he was, an idiot. he he was incompetent and he can't accept that he screwed up. So now he's blaming everybody but himself. I would yeah, argue he's projecting his failures on other people. It's his tragedy. um his transaction with the Empire is pretty pretty slick. He probably got a lot of money for a job that wasn't too difficult. I guess, I guess if we even go more fundamental. A near-death experience, Boba's surely had many of those, and you would think that that would be something maybe interesting to explore, that he is so, like, near-death experiences don't really do anything to him anymore. Like, he's just Yeah, he's kind of numb to it. He's very aware of death looming over him constantly because of his occupation. Maybe that's a story mm -hmm. we can tell, rather than, nah, I'm done. I, I don't know why you're done. You, it doesn't seem like you were done. Just, it didn't seem like you were done in Jabba's palace. Yeah. But like, They're doing the exact same thing that they did with The Mandalorian, where they just sort of gotta make him a good guy. say, this is, how you, this is how you were raised, and, and so you're this thing, and you don't see the effects of that as they would realistically be. Um, it's just this assertion that characters are the way they are, without any work or effort put into, you know, explaining that or showing us, you know, what the implications would be. Yes. They just say it and people say, okay, yeah, sure, I'll accept we this. We don't want bad guys either and, you know, like, we don't want shows about anti-heroes or anything like that. They're always good guys. Yeah, we can't Rank even have a ship called Slave anymore. One. And think even of the, the Rancor's not bad, you're right. The Rancor's yeah. emotionally complex now. Think, think of the contract with, with Vader as well. It's like, you open call for a several bounties, or you got them specifically. He comes over, and he arrives, and they're like, right, we needed to hunt down Han Solo. Gets into his ship, and knows the last location was in the asteroid field and near them. Has a theory... That Han, considering he was right next to the ship and has now disappeared, may very well be attached to it or something, and is gonna, and uh, smarter than all the other bounty hunters, uh, runs with that theory and is correct. Um, gets ahead of them, call, tells the Empire where they're heading, walks in the room with his gun, walks around for a bit, then walks the 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 frozen and carbonite Han Solo onto his ship. And I imagine that, that anything the Empire owed him was already paid at that point, because he's completed the task of getting Vader Luke. Um, and then uh, he goes to Jabba's... But like, how exactly would you be bitter about Vader at that point? I don't know why you would be. I just don't understand. And he's like, oh... I guess it's really uh, awkward, because it's like, oh, they don't care about my well-being. It's like, I'm sure that they do, but for They do, they want reasons, you to succeed. Like, maybe yeah. they don't care about you as an individual, but I don't even know if that's necessarily true. Maybe you, you'd want to keep a really good bounty hunter alive and well. I, just, I assumed um, that's why he was at Jabba's palace. Jabba's like, fuck yeah, I'll keep you around. Else. And it's just the standard mm -hmm. thing. Why are you doing this, then? Like, if, if, that's a, if that's a feeling that you have, a significant feeling that you have constantly of, like, they don't care about my well-being, I'm gonna die, why would you not have quit a long time ago? Something like, worth mentioning, you know, as the chat has highlighted as well, is, like, apparently Bib Fortuna betrayed him. How so? When I don't did that happen? Know how. <laughs> when was that? Yeah, I don't remember that. I, I feel like that. the only person who betrayed anybody was Boba Fett when he went back to Jabba's palace and killed them all to steal his ship instead of just asking for it. Absolutely crazy. The only reason he did that is because I might not like the answer. It's like, wow, so you're just going to kill these people because you don't... And you're meant to be a good guy, <laughs> apparently, but yet you Just imagine the next day, it's like... Want... Who... Who who yeah. who took the so the ships? Like, oh, it's Boba. Wait, Boba. why? Like, like, all the, the, why did he kill all our people? He killed twenty of our guys. He ruined our hangar bay. What the fuck? Wait, who? Boba Fett? Boba Fett's alive? Are you sure? He's alive. Fett? Why did he kill everyone? Just bag. Just it, it would be so funny if they were here. like they go to the vaults and they're like, Boba Fett's pay is still here. He hasn't collected it because we we've been saving it in case yeah. he survives, <laughs> and we dare not take it until we uh, yeah. So because if imagine so dumb. Be, imagine yourself in Bib Fortuna's place, right? You're you're sitting on the throne. You're I guess you've made it, and the huts don't care about you or whatever. Um, and all of a sudden, after all this time, Boba Fett shows up, 
And that's so amazing for you if you're Bib, because man, could you put him to work right now? Imagine all the people that you might need to kill or capture, and you know all the thorns in your side you might need removed. And this guy's the perfect one to do it. And you even have a starship here that he could use. You could lend him, you know, the you can just give him the equipment he needs. You know, a gun, there, you know, just some some basic armor, whatever. If anyone wears that in this fucking universe. Um, and you can give that to him and say, all right, Bob, I'm so happy you're back. Here's your stuff. I got all these jobs for you, and I'm going to pay you to do it. You're rubbing off a little bit there, but I mostly understood what you said. Um, the, the other thing I was going to say as well is that we could have had that scene where he goes in with just his stick, and he walks up with his little cloak, and he's like, Bib, help me out. And the conversation at first, you could really make a really awesome dialogue scene with the, the balance of power is in favor of Boba until it, over time, as they talk about more, it shifts in favor of Bib. And then Bib points out, like, you know, you're not quite as scary without your rocket, without your flamethrower, without your pistol, without your armor. And then he's like, give me back my ship, and he's like, we found a lot of uses for that ship. I think, you know what? You should feel lucky that you're alive. And then, like, you know, guards could start getting closer, and he could be like, maybe... Maybe you should just leave. And, you know, Boba could look around and be like, I'm not leaving without my ship. And then he can get, like, punched or kicked and thrown out. And then we can do the stuff that they ended up doing. Instead of him just being like, oh, I'll kill him just in case. Because I think they might not let me take my ship. It's like, oh my god, Boba. You used to work for these people. You used to work with them. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. <laughs> it's a really good show. Uh, well, it's fantastic, I guess. I was going to say, uh, uh, Cap, you actually, uh, when you saw the episode, I was going to say, it's been spoiled by a couple people now, but um, you're the first person I saw it with. Uh, the, the, the set, do you want to, um, if you can post that again, I'll put it on screen for people. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, just a second, let me pull it up, you can explain it. Well, yeah, it, from what I can tell, it's the scene just after the, um, the biker is, uh, not the biker, the, the moped guy who works for Boba with the eye thing, he's spotted the, uh, the Pike Syndicate coming in, and he's on his way back to a, I don't know, like a, the equivalent of a telephone, and um, I guess the camera pans around a shot he's coming in, and, uh, well, we, we, we end up seeing something that we definitely aren't supposed to see. And I think the thing <laughs> is, is, if this were a really good show and people spotted this, I think that a lot, uh, a lot of people out there would just be like, oh, well, that's a mistake, you know, is it... Is it but when the show has been this bad, it almost it seems like it's just, it lines right in. It's like, yeah, of course. Um, turns out Tatooine is made of wood. Yeah, completely made out of wood. Um, it's pretty awkward. <laughs> it's like some people are like Starbucks. Hey, look, cup. it's the wall of the set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's anything else to say about that. <laughs> it's just like, that's just the reality. Not really? <laughs> So um, you might be wondering, you tell they really how, care. Does, how does that happen? Well, the people designing the sets were probably probably asked, hey, are we going to see these from above? And they go, oh, no. And then on the day, the director was like, you know, it'd be great if we had this overhead shot. And then no one thought about it and no one noticed. <laughs> and this shot mm. stayed in the final edit, even though it doesn't actually show you anything important. And that's there it is. Well, as with that's the Starbucks cup, big... we might see them. <sighs> Uh, chop it out, or uh, you know, put a roof on it digitally. I reckon's more likely. <laughs> that's a that's a job um, that you could have in Tatooine and Moss, wherever you are. You could uh, people what, to VFX roofers. <laughs> yeah, VFX on it. No, 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 like no, just just we need people to roof things. Apparently, there's no roofs on the, our buildings. They're just open at the top. Yep. <laughs> and all the wood that we've been getting, I get it's the same place they get the wood from for uh, for burning all those fires, you know, all those <laughs> big logs that they're constantly burning, you know, on tattoo uh, on, on Tatooine, mm. where all those big trees are. I just use those to build, you know, the lumber yards of Tatooine. You build some houses. It's all good. You think it'd be, you know, bricks, you know, uh, uh, sandstone bricks and clay fired stuff. That's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, uh, we got another episode it's coming on Wednesday, and then there'll only be two left after that. Yay. But until then, there are a lot of people way. who very much enjoy. Also, uh, Rags, with with how unreliable your internet is, I have no idea how Watch Together is going to work for you. 
Um, well, my download, the download speed, seems to be fine. So. Yeah, bizarrely, my download is a okay. I can get everything just fine. But you're uploading. But poo -poo. randomly, it, yeah, randomly it just decides upload. We don't do that here. Randomly, it decides that you're located on the moon. Yeah, it's like you're you're based you're uploading to the the lunar lander with 1960s technology. Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> Still, isn't it? For that, I don't know. <laughs> move, move to Singapore as if we haven't already gone to Singapore. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it's it is it does seem to be an internet issue for me. I didn't think it was at first because generally when the internet you have issues, it's all of your internet. It's not just specifically your upload. That's why I'm getting everything like normal, but why my voice and everything and what I'm sending out is hmm. So we'll see. I've already scheduled someone to come by and look at it. When I when I called up the company, the, the they they instantly said, "Yeah, we're gonna have to send someone to the outside of the building to take a look at it." We can, uh, luckily, they'll be able to come out tomorrow and take a look. So fingers crossed that that gets taken care of. But it is spotty. Mm. You've been sounding so pretty hopefully good. Hopefully, it for holds the past up. Minute also, so yeah. Yeah, it it's it's yeah. been holding up. Uh, so we'll see how it's been touch and go. I didn't have this problem early this morning. And I didn't have this problem. I had it a little bit last night, but most of last night I was a okay. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I, um, I do need to. Yeah. Provided a, a wash together link for everybody to jump in. We've got four so far, so we're still missing three. Let Hold me. On. I'll be right there. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! I'm so excited. Riveting. This uh. Video. I was. I, I saw it sent in the Discord, and it was. It was the title was very much. Um, <laughs> it's very, very much gripping. Let's just put it that way. Uh, oh God. Called "Why Boba Fett's Leadership Style Is Actually Brilliant." Uh, oh, oh it's actually brilliant! Uh, wow. <laughs> All right. Quit. Oh no. Is this, is this? What is this? Is this like a renegade cut, or who? Who's the clown who made this? Uh, Generation <laughs> Tech, who we have covered once before. When I think they would, they did a video Tech. covering the flaws of the Starship Troopers' inf uh, mobile infantry. I think that was what they did. Oh, that was the Sargon hmm. in Arch episode, right? It was. We haven't seen Generation Tech yeah. in a long time. But yeah, they yeah, have we gotta some get to theories on, on, again. Yeah. on that. Um. Mm. All right, we, it says we got six people in. Is that every? That's not. Is it, yeah, that's two, everyone. Three, yeah. Oh, it is everyone. Okay, One, good. One, two, three, um, four, five, six. Let's nice. give it a test. See if this is working for everybody. Hello let's there. See it. Can you see that, everybody? Oh my god. Yep. Ba -ba 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 -ba. They did the same thing. This might be the exact same shirt. Because uh, remember last oh, time, no. I distinctly remember <laughs> that last time he wore this V-neck. But the front was even further weighted down by the mic, and so it looked awful, and it was clearly quite dirty. You know, I'm wondering mm -hmm. if this is a return of the exact same shirt. In fact, in the edit, put them side by side right here. Wow, I edit? can't believe I was correct. What an edit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, when they have the editor come in and do all this stuff. Yeah. So now that everyone's seen <laughs> that it is indeed the same shirt, we all saw it. Um, you can carry right on. I'm curious what his tattoo says, though. Maybe we'll find out. He has um, a tattoo. It's an interesting way to wear a hat, too. <laughs> really, because it's really, really far back and upwards, and he has the and hair crooked. in between. I, yeah, yeah. He looks like a homeless person. Keep the toupee in place. That's just your average Californian Ooh. rags. What do you mean? <laughs> okay. That is... That is we, one. We of do my, not look that like is... that. Let me clarify that. We do not look like that. <laughs> one of my big pet, well, my owner's pet peeves, of course, because I am a dog. But he tells me that one of his big pet peeves, because he is a uh, long hair having hat wearer type. And one of his big pet peeves is when there's hair in between, like the hat in his forehead. If, if like strands or something get down underneath the brim and are kind of just sort of smushed under there. He says he can't stand it. Wow. But I guess for some people it's like a style, you know. Keep the two pain. He's an interesting looking person. Just an interesting Well, let's guy. find out about his interesting opinion, shall we? What's wait, what is his uh what's that on the left? That snowboard? What does it say? Yeah. Terra. Terra? Zebra. Zebra? Oh yeah, know. that's, that's yeah, Z. Best guess. I don't think that's I think a that's B. Too, yeah. I think it's E R R A. Yeah. Uh, so it could terra. be Terra, which is of course Latin yeah. for land. Um Everyone knows that. Um, 
maybe it's yeah maybe hmm I grew up. Maybe it's maybe he's a dinosaur enthusiast and it's Terra like P T E R or is there only one R in Terra, like a pterodactyl? This has been fun. My name is Alan, and we're finally a few episodes yeah, into Alan. the book Hi, of Alan. Boba Fett, and I'm finally starting to figure out who exactly this guy is. This is a wise oh, name. Okay. Boba Fett. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, <laughs> in the same way, we too are discovering who this brand new character is slowly. Who maturing. stole Boba Fett's uh, armor and looks <laughs> like one of the clones. Yeah, because it's definitely not Boba. And is about twice the size, but yeah, it's fine. These are an older version of the Bounty Hunter we were all introduced to in the original trilogy. He's, Gone he's are the impulsive behaviors, the emotions. What impulsive Im behaviors and emotions? Emotion? What? He was an emotional guy. Emotion? <laughs> Bob, I in what universe? Were meant to be pulling Maybe from the he was a child. Is it? Uh, well, is it? Like, like this is, Alan's this guy? This guy's name I, is Alan, right? I don't Alan think what? that the book of Boba Fett wants us to believe that Boba Fett has less emotions now. I don't think that's what they want it's us the to opposite. believe. It's the opposite. I am legitimately baffled by how prequels. he thinks. And even in the... about little baby Boba Fett. Maybe, but even then, that's not where we last left off. Because, you know, if you're a kid and you're like, yeah, you get him, dad. And then, you know, decades go by. We see him as an adult. Not at all emotional. I, I'm curious what, what would he be referring to as Boba Fett being emotional? I mean, like in the OT, right? Well, I guess it's so baffling to have referred to anything in the OT that way that maybe he is referring to the Clone Wars show. I don't know, because like, I think everyone here is just like, there's nothing I can think of in the OT that says, oh, look how emotional Boba Fett is. Yeah, no. And I think even then, <laughs> yeah, someone, had mentioned, <laughs> someone had mentioned before it, maybe the Clone Wars stuff, blah, 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 but that's before we see him in the OT, so that's not the last we see of him. Yeah, you'd, you'd have to say that the last we know of him is, is episode six, mm -hmm. and... Uh, yeah. Episode 5 and 6 put together. It's like he paints a very specific. A lot of people like to say you don't get much of anything and therefore he's pliable as a character. It's like, not true. Yeah. I said, I, uh, I heard someone was telling me that uh, just yesterday when we were talking about it that we didn't, he, he was saying, we don't know anything about Boba Fett's character. We have absolutely no room to use anything. And I'm like, man, you need to rewatch it. You really need to rewatch it because we do really, we really do learn stuff about his character. You can say a lot and not a lot of time. The little things add up, and he's he has lines of dialogue. He speaks, and he is spoken to. Mm -hmm. Things are expected of him. Well, and, and this is the classic shit of his job will tell you stuff about him. His actions in fight mm -hmm. scenes will yeah. tell you stuff about him. How he holds himself, where he sits, how people see it, what they see of him, and what they think of him. It's like, this is all important. It's not and just whether or not he announces, I care about Tusken Raiders. It's like, oh. Okay. Tusken Raiders lives <laughs> matter, though. To him. How dare you. Is. That's true. Yeah, I'm sorry. How dare you. Young men things that can really get you into trouble. Boba Fett is now in his 40s, and it looks like he got a lot more wear and tear than Django did, who was also in his 40s. No, that's just because he's 60. <laughs> in real life. <laughs> like, no yeah. shit. It, it, it is weird that he's, like, easily <laughs> twice the size of what he was in Return of the Jedi, but it was like, okay, okay, okay. Well, the only thing that I could think of that could answer that is if this actually isn't Boba Fett, it's actually one of the clones, because Boba was the only one that didn't have, like, the advanced aging. He was supposed to be normal. So, that's to... the only thing that I could be thinking, is, like, maybe that's why he's so out of character, is because at the end, they're going to reveal, it's not actually Boba Fett. Jango just made multiple clones of Boba, just in case, you know, oh, and I so that's why this one is older. At the end of the show. I'm the real son. No, I'm the real son. No, I'm the real son. And then they start a family. It's just funny that you're looking for a solution that would eventually just have us all say, like, why did they do that? <laughs> why, I know. Why, I know. why did they spend a whole season doing that? Well, see, when something's stupid, I try to make excuses in my mind for how this could possibly be happening. And yeah. so that was mine. This is why it's not Boba Fett. It's a different clone, you know? <laughs> a friendly clone. <laughs> <laughs> One that read up about Tuscan rights uh, uh, <laughs> because it oh, uh, the friendly clone. He, he wanted to emulate it. That's what happened.
40s when he died. Now Boba Fett sleeps in a back to tank and carries around a Tusking walking stick for support, and he kind of looks like he's more. It's not for support. Yeah, not, he doesn't, not, he yeah. doesn't yeah. need it to walk. Not also, a walking. I don't stick. think it's a walking stick. It's a it's a gaffy stick it's meant a, to, as a weapon, right? Not as a yeah. It's yeah, a yeah you hit people with it. Mm -hmm. He's not that. They old, should like or... tie rocks to him or something. <laughs> I'm very confused as to why he said he needs it for support. Does he mean emotional? He thinks it's a walking stick. I don't think he watched the episode. Does he hug the stick? I think he is reading a script and somebody else watched this and put it together for him. Oh, there's a lot of that, actually. When did he ever use it as a walking stick? Um. So anyway. I know, right? Which, by the way, there would have been reason to do that in his initial time with the Tusker Rising. They would fucking beat the shit out of him, but he never did, because yeah. that was never real. Yeah, had his legs injured by the beatings, <laughs> I love he was enslaved by them. How he is, like, he's batting for him here in this scene as he wears the outfit that's been damaged by all of the shit they did to him. <laughs> like, it's so, it's so jarring. It's so bad. Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. And as someone in chat points out, he carries the stick on his back. It's the opposite yeah. of a walking stick. <laughs> he supports it. I know. <laughs> he supports the stick. The stick, oh is, he God. is the stick support human. But yeah, you're probably right. Someone who likes Star Wars passingly wrote this, and then they had that guy read it all out, so he's going to just not have any clue if this is right or not. Support. Well, there's no <laughs> passion behind anything that he's saying. If he's like, yeah, this is the best book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett's changed his emotions, but he's like, Book of Boba Fett, and now he has more emotions. It is da, so da, da, amazing. Da. He has a stick he doesn't that care. he uses to support. And no, he has you. less emotions. He is so <laughs> emotional, but now he is different. And thank you. He's he literally he's coming, like he's grown up now. It's like fuck off. Yeah, he's not the moody about? teenager we saw. I, the this movie seems teenager. like it's one of those channels that just makes videos about what's popular, and they it's, have somebody just do a quick little yeah. script for it, and they do it all nice and fancy mm -hmm. so people watch it. Like, how many views does this video have? Oh, well, maybe he's um. Maybe this wasn't like an AI generated script. It's thirty six oh, like <laughs> the, the k views. Only thirty six k. Yeah. Um. Well, I is this one of those big channels with a lot of subs that just sort of um, kind of petered out over time? That's they're a great sort question. Of hanging they, in there. They're, they're probably the kind of channel that randomly has one kick off, but nobody's passionate about them as a channel. You know. I can take a well, look. They're uh, not even passionate Generation about Tech. themselves. Yeah, <laughs> uh, this looks like Generation Tech has six hundred and this video has a hundred and seven thousand views, and Generation Tech has six hundred sixty seven thousand subs. So I mean, I guess. Oh my God! One of the most popular the videos, videos in the last month is "Why Does Boba Fett Sleep in a Back to Tank?" It's like the show answers this. To heal him. Yeah. It's just <laughs> to how how are you? That's got 227k so views. Why do people need to know the answer to that? <laughs> well, I, I actually show. missed that. So what is the answer to that? Which Why does he constantly him? have to sleep in one? He, what I, what I, happened I, to him in the so, on Tatooine that he needs to go over and over and over and over and over again? He should have just want us been to in think it that, and um, stayed in it until it was done. They want us to think he got damage from the sand. Like when he, if you remember, when he got his armor taken off him and they find him at first, he's got like loads of scars all over him. And he's like, ah... And then I think when he meets Fennec, she's like, you need a back to tank because of different shit that he's had done to him. And they imply it's like he's literally healing a health bar and that it's at the end of episode four, or rather the middle of episode four, that I think she says, like, now all your scars are on the inside or something like that. Like, yeah, implying that, that he's well, healed. He he should, all of their videos he should are stay on in it the entire time until he gets completely healed. No, no, Anna, wrong. He has to that, go in there periodically to have flashbacks to deliver. That's the not audience. how it works. Oh my god, don't these people work for Lucasfilm? Ugh. I mean, the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like, all their stuff is like Boba Fett stuff or it's or Star Wars stuff. So it's, it's just a Star Wars right channel, now. I guess. Also, some people are saying I guess it was so. the Salak's acid. The thing is, it wouldn't have eaten through his helmet, um, and his face and head were covered in loads of crazy scars when the Tuscans found him. Yeah. So I think we're supposed to think the sandstorm like ripped into his head. I don't really know. It's weird. How did he not get this a sunburn? That's because, my. He's got acid burns. He's got all that. Where the fuck is the sunburn? Come on, he didn't have any sunblock. Well, he was all, Give me a break. You, you'd think that, and then he's dragged across the desert for what seems like hours. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. Man. <laughs> the back I, the I would like to draw it. attention to something. Uh, I think this is interesting. Oh, yeah. So, 
Um, I was I was kind of looking through their recent videos, and two weeks ago, um, they made a video called "Why Boba Fett's Peaceful Approach to Crime Will Eventually Fail." But um, today so we're covering. Is this just um, the thing of we're gonna? Doesn't that contradict exactly what this video they, is? That video so is probably that, them saying his nice approach is gonna people are gonna take advantage of it or something like. Well, even then, you would have to argue that. Yeah. Okay, I'm confused. Yeah, how now. could it be? How could it be a brilliant? <laughs> is this Sorry, a Mike this... Zero type of channel? Is that what this is? I don't know. Is it just like Star I get, Wars. Lore? I get the impression. No, I've with heard that. him of him, but I don't know even what. I get the impression really with does. this that it's like you make the video that covers both topics so that you can capture both pe both perspectives. The people that have both perspectives will click and be like, "Yeah, I agree with that," without I guess being definitive on what you actually think. Maybe. Mm. Maybe. Do you think that this know. would be an A video where it's like, well, Fett has a couple options. He could go super ruthless or he could be more on the more on the super reasonable side. Here are the pros and cons to both. Which one do you think he'll do? Will it do this and that? Here's what happens if he does this way. Here's what happens if he does that way. You know, what we, uh, that sort of thing. Um, so is the more recent video smart. them realizing the last video was wrong? <gasps> they have an epiphany? Uchi! What? Uchi, Uchi, oh, the oh. last video that they did. The last, shut Doth up! Uchi? The last video that we had is everyone fucking shut up. It's Uchi. <laughs> That's the last video okay. they did. It has Darth Uchi in it. That's true. Oh my god! Darth Uchi's it's been cool. so long since I've seen Darth Uchi. <laughs> so, oh my goodness! Um, it's been so long since we've seen Uchi. But yeah, whether or not I guess I they changed their mind, we'll uh, we'll just have a listen to whatever they thought this time, because. Uh, Okay. Mm -hmm. Support, and he kind of looks like he's more in his 60s than he does in his 40s. And so now, That's Boba he Fett's is. brain—he literally is, yeah. <laughs> the actor is. What the hell? He, he probably looks a little bit worn left. after the Sarlacc pit in the desert and the beatings when he was enslaved. <laughs> you know, it adds a few years to your shell. I mean, he'll have to rely on that far more than he did before. Individual. Wait, sorry. Did he say he'd have to rely on his armor more than he did before? Because that's pretty funny. Brain is. I don't know. You would think. Weapon, and oh, mean, his brain. He's gonna have to could... rely on his brain. Is he? I mean, maybe. It depends on what well, he, doesn't. he has access he doesn't, to. So. <laughs> I mean, especially if you're a crime lord, I maybe you could have other people do stuff for you. Ooh, the Book of Babu Frick. That would be pretty interesting. If oh, I would watch that. <laughs> Episode one. <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> to rely on that far more than he did before. Individuals like Bubba Fett, who have seen a lot of chaos, destruction, you know, and Bubba death Fett. in his life, can turn out in two different ways. One, they can become extremely defensive two. and only care for themselves. Only or two. two, they can begin to nurture and grow everything around them to create. What? I'm sure that there are more no. <laughs> what? <laughs> How? Based on okay. on what information have you made this outlandish claim? It's a very strong <laughs> claim about how human beings. <laughs> you can only what, turn what out two. two ways. You, and it's uh, the extremes. Did, yeah, did you hear these two ways? <laughs> like, what was like, you become ruthless, or you you try to make everything grow around you. What? <laughs> what You're you probably just like in the middle. Like, let's let's bring it. Okay, let's talk about Hitler. All right. Oh no. Here we go. Oh, so, here we are. Hitler was Hitler was a very uh. bad man who did some very questionable things. Right, but. Hitler, even though he liked animals, and he, there were certainly people he cared about, and he wanted everyone to get checked for scoliosis, and he was keen on the Autobahn. You know, it's not just like you go purely one way or the other. People are a mixed bag. But of course, in Hitler's case, the bad things were very, very bad, and they kind of overshadow a lot of the other stuff. Because well, he was also Hitler a psychopath, a very bad so I mean, that adds to that. Yeah, people, <laughs> it's not just, oh, you go entirely one way or entirely the other. I don't even know if those people, like, exist for the most part. I just There's, everyone's I mean, just like those a mix. Two, those two options are possible, but I don't know why we've said that they're the only two options. Um, well, yeah, to you be think fair, that he would I don't be... really understand the through line of you with all of the experiences he's had as a bounty hunter. Of course, he eventually decided he wants everything around him to grow. You're like, what? I guess you're trying to say well, like he had an epiphany about how much death business? and destruction sucks. Is that what is that what they're saying? It would be a weird choice of I fucking profession if you want everything around you to be prosperous. I want to be a crime lord. It's like, uh, yeah, you know, there's gonna be victims. Well, he <laughs> said he says he wants to be crime lord, but he isn't really. Yeah, I just I like the I idea that he's nice, stealing from someone or killing people or whatever, and he's just like those guys. They can prosper later or maybe in heaven. I don't it's know. weird because <laughs> Boba Fett just walks up and he just fucking pops Bib Fortuna and kills him on the spot. But I can't imagine that Boba Fett doing that in this show. 
Boba Fett has been extremely restrained with his use of violence to a ridiculous degree in his mm -hmm. show. Pretty but idiotic, the, isn't it? But the lead up to the show was he just killed Bib on the spot. That's kind of weird. That seems pretty contradictory. Well, uh, Why does he uh, kill you've Bib forgotten. Fortuna on the spot, but you've not forgotten. the people that enslaved him? As he said, Bib Fortuna betrayed him. I, I, that's what we're told. See, a lot of I people don't... seem to say, like, well, no, I, don't, I don't remember that happening. Well, he told us it did, so there you go. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Storytelling. Yeah, I mean, but what all did of he the years do? of Boba Fett doing the jobs that he did, <laughs> you'd expect him to be really, like, tactical in his approach to how he takes over this crime business, not purely evil or purely benevolent. You know, I mean, yeah, like we don't really know anything about him, so I guess who cares? I can picture him. Um, I mean, Bit Fortuna doesn't even. I know, know he grew up around water. That's mm. true. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did you guys notice though that the most amazing thing in this show is that he was able to spend more time training the Tuscan Raiders than anyone spent training Ray? That's <laughs> true. <laughs> who did he? Who trained who more? Did Cara Dune? train the villagers and Mando with their sharpened sticks, did she train them more than Boba trained the Tuscans? Well, the Tus Tuscans know. trained him. Oh, I mean, like, with maybe with the speeders, right? I guess, yeah. Because Boba had to teach them how to use speeders. She um, had to teach... Which, by the way, was, was an entire, like, whole plot aspect of the stand, Stephen King's The Stand, when they're making their way across the country... There's, they have to learn how to use motorcycles and they spend time getting used to them and they spend days practicing how to ride motorcycles so they don't hurt themselves and fall down and get, you know, injured and stuff. But here it's, it just seems like, oh, yeah, it's hey, Rex, that could have been taken. That, that would have been a whole year. You don't know. It could have been. We have no idea. You're right. I have no clue what the timeline is in this show at all. The show spent I can barely longer tell him showing away. him how to make a stick than them learning how to ride speeders, so. Well, the stick part was very important. I was very happy they did that because yeah. I've just, I needed, <laughs> I needed that. Um, uh, it was culture. Mm-hmm. Cringe. Yeah. Uh, hear that again, shall we? Can turn out in two different ways. One, they can become extremely defensive and only care for themselves, or two, they can begin to nurture and grow everything around them to create happiness, safety, and security for all. <laughs> Create happiness, safety, and security for all. Like, what? A benevolent, you know, great when leader. I, when I think of the two things that a crime lord can be, uh, one of them is definitely nurturing. You know, that's, <laughs> op that's option two. Uh, Boba Fett yeah. seems to be also, leaning towards the latter. He's approaching everyone, enemies or friends, with open arms. No, <laughs> yeah, bullshit. no, he is not. I mean, I mean, it's it's, about it's the biker even gang? like worse. <laughs> the biker gang were evil, though. Everyone else is nice. Uh, are they though? Put you to betray him, Friggy. Gosh, keep up. <laughs> <laughs> what if someone framed the biker gang? What if someone framed Bib? That would be fun. What if Bib literally if was like Boba, Bib. and then he shot him? Boba, <laughs> what's up? Yeah. <laughs> and then hey, after, bro, I guess you he wanted doing? to get uh. <laughs> he wanted to get all of his killing out of the way, out of his system, so that he could rule with generosity and kindness <laughs> and benevolence to all of his his new <laughs> subjects and all of his people. You're like, all right, guys. Mm. Well, oh, um... it's like, hey, Mahler, Mahler. It's it's like in that show we watched, Fargo. At oh, yeah. the end, uh, what's the black guy's name? Uh, I forget oh, his name. I'm not gonna remember. That, probably no. He's an awesome character. I really like him. Um, and yeah, at the end, when he's saying, you know, when there was a new king, he'd do something that was really, really cruel and really, really kind to show everybody that he was capable of both. You know, maybe it's something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But if it is, well, he stumbled upon it accidentally, and it has no rhyme or reason to it. I picture they cut <laughs> a little line, because he would have told Fennec he's doing everything with respect and kindness, and then she saw him kill Bib, and she was like, what the fuck? And he just went, now. From Take now. <laughs> Starting. <laughs> Oof. I wasn't, I wasn't ready. Now <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. Now I am, yeah. Serious question. This... What, how is the biker gang more evil than the, the Tusken Raiders? No idea. Yeah. Lorne Malvo. Yep. Or awesome. reason. No, no Lorne, Lorne Malvo is the main was, character um, of season one. That's he was, not... Yeah, it's uh I know who you're talking about. I you know, I'll I'll go, yeah, I'll go find out his name. his name for you. Mike Milligan, I think, was his oh, name. Oh, that's probably it, yeah, actually. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Mike Milligan. Yeah. He was cool. Fargo season one, recommend. Season two, uh, yeah. Season three, no. <laughs> we watched one and we watched one and two. Which ones did we we watched one and two? Yeah. 
They're both worth a watch. Some fun characters. I really liked uh, Dodd yeah, Gearheart. He, he was fun. Remember him, Rags? I do. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a he, work. I do remember him. Who ends up getting captured by fucking Kirsten Dunst, <laughs> and she yeah. she feeds him beans. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great shit. Oh no, uh, little beans. You know what I realized? This is this is a little bit like Wonder Woman in that if he was captured and enslaved by the biker gang, he probably would have killed all the Tuscan raiders. The same way that Wonder Woman, if a if a German soldier washed up on the beach, she would have just been on Definitely. the side of the Germans. Uh, the the bikers would have picked up Boba, enslaved him just like the Tuscans, and then he killed the Matchamp, and then the bikers were like, "Man, you could probably ride a bike really well." And then he does. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah," and so on. <laughs> really good at it. He teaches them how to use sticks. Because <laughs> it's the reverse <laughs> this time. He's like, guys, you got to hit people with sticks. It's great. It really does go against the advice of his closest advisors, Assassin Fennec Shand, and his torture droid. What yeah, makes he... her qualified to be an advisor? I mean, experience, I guess. I mean, it's funny because she has better ideas than he does. Um... She does. But I almost wonder if there's just an ad, there's an element of like let's, common sense. Let's be honest, Rags. Why is she an advisor? He has no friends. I mean, he's literally got <laughs> nobody. The dude, the Gamorian gods are a step away from becoming his new advisors. <laughs> they like, uh, yeah, they wear little they business suits. Yeah, <laughs> and they they like do the thinking faces several times. Like Boba, I I've considered your options here. I think you need to you know go to the oil refinery or the. The water plants, you gotta, you gotta do this, that, and knock out the, the pike syndicate. He's just like looking at the pig people like, wow. I used to, I, I think this, this empire could have been stronger if I was making different decisions. The fucking slave <laughs> driver droid has way better ideas than Boba does too. He's just completely useless. But no, his leadership is actually brilliant. Actually brilliant. 8d8. They both want him to mercilessly kill his enemies to set an example, just like the Huts did. Yeah. While some criminals might see Boba Fett's. I mean, honestly, Wait, it what? worked really well for the Huts until like the <laughs> Jedi got involved. I mean, <laughs> what happened to? Him. To be fair, what happened to Boba? Oh, what happened to Boba Hut? I must say Boba Hut. Whatever happened to Jabba the Hut in that movie was fucking nonsense, and I don't blame him for any of those shenanigans. I mean, yeah, he should have just fucking popped him in the face. A lot of solutions, by the way. If you're a, if you're an evil villain and you're looking on cool villain tips from EFAP, just shoot them and be done with it. Um, don't try and do these elaborate things me, where we try, no no no. You made me consider something that I've never thought of before. You know how the opening of, of Return of the Jedi, there's loads of confusing crap that happens in terms of what everyone's up to and where everyone's going, what everyone's plans are. Mm -hmm. Jabba the Hutt's probably the only person who does everything fairly and fine. Like every choice he makes is probably fine. Um Yeah, the, if I the only the, if he should have just killed him, but I guess from his perspective, can, he wanted to make a show of it. Yeah, I can see that. Which isn't like unreasonable. Um, but yeah, he's kind of, he's okay. It's just the fact that there's a Jedi and inexplicably everything just goes haywire and nothing makes sense because the whole first act of Return of the Jedi is just nonsense and stupid. I, I wonder, like, uh, from his POV, right? You get the droids in and then Luke's offer and you're like, I'll just keep the droids, laugh my ass off. And then it's like, okay, now a bounty hunter with Chewie. And it's like, okay, I pay her. Wait, she's Leia. Oh, that's... That's odd. Tie her oh, up, I guess. Okay. okay, and then Luke's like, okay, And then so... they brought us the Wookiee, too? <laughs> all right. And Luke comes uh, okay. in like, let me clear this up. I want you to give me all of those people back. And Jabba's just like, what? No. Like, what? what? How many of you are there? <laughs> it's like a clown car outside. Let's <laughs> keep coming. It's like a clown car. <laughs> and then he captures the ball, puts them at the sawlock. He's like, yeah, like, Jabba's probably having a fun day right up until he got strangled by a sex slave. As is typically <laughs> the day going wrong. Yeah, I, I guess none of his guards were around to stop that. Well, they were, they were freaking all... out because the lights no one... were all fucking up and stuff. I don't know. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, it's it's not really Boba Fett's fault. So he kind of was, yeah, Boba Fett, or, god damn it, Jabba the Hutt, because Jabba the Hutt and Boba Fett, Hutt and Fett keep, keep getting to my brain, and they're mixing but. around in there. Um, Jabba the Hutt. A-okay. Ding. Seal of approval. He does all right. <laughs> we like It you. wasn't his fault what happened. And can he, I just say, he was undone by a top-notch puppetry. Spot. Just, just beautiful. Yeah. Never had trouble believing he was a big slug man. I never had any trouble with it That's either. True. My especially That's... my young child brain bought it one hundred percent.
Mm -hmm. Even now. In you know what my child brain didn't buy? better than the CGI stuff. The fucking updated version with the creepy CGI monsters that sing. I remember even as a kid, I was mm. like, the fuck is that? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when he screams at the camera. And like so his, his little phlegm goes everywhere. And I'm like, what do you... Ah, say it, don't spray it. <laughs> I know you look this at George, Palace, you're like, but this is civilization. George, why? And he's just like, isn't it funny? And you're like, I guess. Because it's great. He's yelling at the camera. <laughs> you guys like songs, right? This is just like the Star Wars holiday special. You guys like songs, right? Know. You guys like music? Jabba got David Carradine. <laughs> Is Rags the only person who will get David that? Like, like, <laughs> I, he did. He went out very similar, except it didn't. <laughs> they were, they uh, both David went Carradine out in probably style. enjoyed it a lot more than Jabba. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, David, David you know Carradine, that? to be fair. Do you to, know that? To be fair, David Carradine, listen, listen. I can. David Carradine wishes that he could have been strangled to death by Leia. <laughs> All right. If he could do it uh -huh. over. So anyway, we'll return to the video now. <laughs> <laughs> Kindness and passive behavior is a sign of weakness. I believe what Bubba Fett is doing here is actually showing the ultimate. He keeps saying Bubba. Bubba Fett. Bubba Fett. Bubba Fett. Bubba Fett. Bubba Fett. He keeps saying Bubba, Bubba Fett. Fett. He has a strange accent. Bubba Fett. Oh my gosh, I'm getting called. Oh. Bye, Rex. There is a sign of weakness. I believe what Bubba Fett is doing here is actually showing the ultimate strength. He does not fear others, and therefore feels no need to preemptively strike out like a little bitch. <laughs> oh, uh, what? what? <laughs> a preemptive strike is a bitch move, apparently. <laughs> he feels oh, no need to be a others. little bitch. Like, okay. Oh my god, I watch. He probably did a review of, like, Cobra Kai. And then it's like, oh yeah, Johnny is the best, even though they're like strike first. But in this definition, why, it would be he he's a little bit such bold sweeping claims all the time. <laughs> like the whole video, good news, just, like, everyone. People, uh, so uh, all right, <laughs> what you you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounds like what you have to say is a lot more important. Is it? Well, it might be. I guess we'll find out. What? Well, well, okay. Here's what we'll do. I'll say my thing, and then you say yeah. your thing, and then we can all decide. We'll vote which, which, which is the superior point. thing that yeah, have been said. Yeah, we we can we can have a vote. All we'll, right. we'll put this because my allegiance is to the republic, to democracy. So mm. I got a call back from the uh, internet people, and they said, "Yeah, there was an issue in your area that was causing some uh, problems, but it looks like we've taken care of it. You might not even need your appointment. In fact." Uh, so it it should be all taken Tell care of. Tell them that's be, unacceptable and demand compensation. Um, oh yeah, I'll do that. Uh, when they uh, show, up. I'll have them show up just in case. Just but yeah, them. they generally, kill if I have an issue and I tell them to them. refund me for the day, they will. So um, yeah. So all right, Fringy, your thing. Now. That yeah, Fringy, so, what, what on, you got? On what the you topic of, God damn it, it's gone. Oh, uh, I win by default. Get fucked. So let's move on. Make something up quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fringy. Improvise, Fringy. Put something on the scoreboard, come on. It's Talk about hot cream. I was, it was something along the lines of we were talking about these bold sweeping claims about the way that people ought to... Nah, it's gone. Preemptive yeah, striking is a bitch move. Rags. What's the last one? Last thing he said. Definitely gone, is it? Not gone, no? Not, not gone, okay. I, no, I, it's, it's gone. <laughs> it's, it's totally gone. <laughs> Well, all right. Those are our two options, and so uh, I guess right. so begins the poll. You know, that's... <laughs> if you, if everyone in the cast Basically. here would like to vote, <laughs> I feel like this will be a close one. All right, it might be. Uh, I'm expect. I'm actually expecting for meme value for Fringy to win. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, and you. Well, it turns out that you're right about that. Wow. My internet good. Now nah, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> the Fringy's thing was maybe, better. Maybe it was they nothing. Feel sorry for me because you know they can understand how annoying it is when you've got something that you want to say and then and it's just gone. And then it's like, just hey, gone. Let me talk about disappears. me for a little bit here. I just want to talk about me. Oh, sorry. What was that you were talking about? Well, it wasn't really me. It was about us it was as you. a EFAP family. No, it was about us as an EFAP family because if yeah, my sure. internet's oh. down and I can't talk but, with you, know, you that feels, means I can't interact with all of you guys even, and. Even I am a co-host, and I right. think it's really uh, dismissive of you to say that it's oh, all about me, because I think you should be happy way. for me, and I sh you should be happy for everyone else I am that happy we get to spend you. this time together.
But I mean, to just interrupt, you know, you could have just waited for like a little minute, you know, you, you, you come back in, you hear someone's talking, but I'm not even sure that that's what happened. You were like, well, actually, once I did hear someone was talking, I stopped I'm gonna start talking. Yeah, you did. I deferred Why to you, you? He actually. Yeah. To you. Once I heard that you were talking, oh. I said you, for you to go ahead. Do you think that it's very polite? It's like if you're standing outside a room where a conversation is happening to get a phone call and then you kick the door in and say, all right, everybody. So here's the update. And then you're like, oh, wait, no, sorry. What were you saying? It was I think like, it's pretty polite. Just, yeah. Once you, you leave yeah, once, once you enter the room, anything, the, read the room. Yeah. Just I have a little bit of an issue with the analogy thing. and the, yeah, I, 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 I take a little bit, a little bit of an issue with the analogy. I think the door kicking a little too far. Um, it's more like I just was you sort of was like walked in the room and said, oh, hey, everyone, I got some great news. And then I noticed everyone was carrying a conversation. But because it wasn't like super, super important, I was like, no, no, you, you guys go ahead. Uh, what, I what guess are you talking my about? question to you would be, do you think that it is optimal to just talk as soon as you enter the room or to not yeah. talk and see if there's a conversation happening? Oh, definitely optimal. Uh, definitely Why? optimal because if no one's talking, I can get out what I want to say, and if they are talking, then uh, then I'll just then let them get out. Say, no, no, go ahead. Say over them, and then no, it wasn't over them because I, I stopped and I was. said, no, no, you guys go ahead, go ahead. I can wait. It it was absolutely over. I'm sure that we will see mm. that in the vod of just how much talking happens before I was able to finish my point. Yeah, we'll put that. What in the point? Edit. What what point was that? It's gone, thanks to you. Oh my god, that sounds like a, a memory failure on your part, though, because I don't... A memory failure that I wouldn't have been prompted if I had just been allowed to finish my point instead of... Yeah, if you just had a, I did I'll let you. I did allow you to finish your point. I stopped and said, you go ahead and carry on, because I'm interested in what you have to say. And, uh, here we are. Boba Fett. Django Hutt. Unreal edited it all out. Poke loon. <laughs> Such a shame. shame he's lost right. his eyebrows, you know? It is a shame. That must Last be really, must that must be legitimately might be a pain in the desert if you're sweating. Yeah. Because eyebrows will keep the sweat from like getting in your eyes, you know, when they come down and everything. So maybe he's like, an, you know, the ancient Egyptians as a sign that they were <laughs> mourning, they would shave their eyebrows. So maybe. Hmm. He is part. He, he's he's on. It's like a callback to the tradition of the ancient Egyptians because Boba Fett is he's shockingly hairless. He might be a reptoid. Hmm. What are eyebrows actually like, evolved so, for? Is it for that? I yeah. don't. I don't know. I don't know if that's just an incidental thing that they do. Uh, but maybe I don't I'm know not, if they sure. evolved for that. But I think that's why we haven't lost them. You know the way we have lost mean? a lot of the rest of our body hair. Yeah, it keeps well, the sweat out of our eyes. What's this? I think it's the same reason we still have like uh, like appendixes or sort of tailbones. You know, it's because it doesn't it doesn't hinder us from reproducing. Uh, so it does. There's no real evolutionary pressure for us to lose it. Uh, it. It doesn't get in the way of anything. And maybe the opposite's true. Where nowadays, especially for a long time, having eyebrows could be seen as a like a a handsome thing. So we have sexual selection that keeps eyebrows uh you know in the gene pool because if you see someone who has no eyebrows maybe you'll be less likely to um be attracted to that person and carry on your genetic lineage with them so maybe that's why but i have no clue I'm, I'm talking completely out of my ass here i don't know if any of that's true but um um bring you youtube you drawings go. uh right mine would it go on the fridge um i like the the details in terms of the facial hair, including the eyebrows, it's very emotive. Yeah, he looks curious, um, doesn't he? I guess the thing with the monocle <laughs> is that technically it should be like squeezed between uh, his eye, like between his brow and his cheek. Like if it was sitting there, unless it was taped there. Oh, um, um, I thought, yeah. Then, yeah, yeah, so it's if taped, you want to yeah. put some sticky tape, it, well, I mean, it's you don't need to explain it to me. If you just add it in, that's like an immediate fix. And now it's like, okay, so now we understand why it's, it could be that, or it could be one of those cyberpunk mods that are canon in Star Wars now, that it's just attached to his eye. Oh yeah, I'll just put a, just put a little screw on it. Yeah. There you go. I guess the, uh, the top hat, it's, <laughs> it's looking pretty, it's looking pretty neat. I guess the concern is that the way that it's sitting, a little gust of wind might blow it off. 
Maybe, no, because yeah, that's also a side ball. Like the guy in the video you just, we're watching. You know, you just it's, just, it's a style down. choice. Just, I don't yeah, need to lower it down. I'll just hat. draw a spike. I love how high one, I love how high one of the brows is. Nail. Like you decided after the fact. To... <laughs> like, oh shit! He needs. To <laughs> yeah, there's a nail. Just have a nail protruding out of his skull. It goes that's right in there. We figured out oh, no. all these ways that you can. It's okay. It's not hit the brain yet. Yeah, it's just a. Uh, it's like a stake, a really wobbly yeah. one. So really, he's figured what are you out guys the talking about? Being wow. <laughs> you yeah, don't even have the stream, the stream up, so you can't tell what I've been doing this whole time. I do have the stream up, but let's see. You know, I don't have it live to where we are right now. <laughs> oh, you're drawing. All good for you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> thanks, Mom. <laughs> Yeah, Anna, you draw too. Oh, so you're impressed, right? This would go on your fridge. You see, it's held if on the an tape. An eight-year-old drew it for me. Thank you. Uh, you little magnet. You want to use, use gonna, a magnet? Oh, I'm going to immortalize it by magnet. posting it right in there. Mm. <laughs> so anyway, uh, oh my god, the nail! You could, you didn't have to draw the nail. You could just say that the hat was actually the top of a like a thumbtack. No, the nail made it all make sense. It really did. Uh, it, it, brought it, all it was what was needed, I think. It really pulled it together. Also, yes, Fringy oh, did wait. win the poll. I just want to say I ended it. Um, now nah, it's gone was a superior thing, and I don't necessarily disagree. It was quite amusing. Mm -hmm. It's uh, very interesting. Uh, I will say, someone in chat was saying uh, uh, Rags Darwin. What's interesting, I guess this is in relationship to the, you know, the whole eyebrow thing, was I do share a birthday with Charles Darwin. Uh, not the same year, obviously, uh, but the Are same day. Yeah, I think so. I think he. I think he's been dead for quite some time. Mm. Uh, well, him being dead for quite always, some time wouldn't mean you mistaken. couldn't have had the same birth. I suppose that's true. Um, but I mean, like, but this is such a stretch. This is such a big stretch. Mm. Um, that uh, Are you but, sure? yeah. I. So it's just yet another incredible, incredible connection. Mm. To preemptively incredible. strike out like a little bit. Oh yeah, you. you <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to draw it back so I can hear the full context for that bit. That was great. Actually showing the. Oh my. All right, wait, wait, yeah, actually, fuck, I don't know how far back I gotta go. Let's try this. This and passive behavior is a sign of weakness. I believe what Bubba Fett is doing here is actually showing the ultimate strength. He does not fear others, and therefore. Imagine no valuing this guy's opinion on strength and masculinity. Hey, the I'm ultimate sure he... strength is not being afraid of others. You should be afraid of some people. Well, I bet Boba Fett you know, in so, his job so and this career is, was... This is my immediate thing in terms of like the good faith interpretation. I think the point he's getting across is that sometimes it can be a really impressive show of strength if you're not afraid of the other person so much so that you put yourself in what would appear to be a very disadvantageous position. It's almost like you're conveying, I'm so confident in my position that I know that even though you have like, a, you know, you could hurt me right now, you're not going to because you know what the consequences are. But to be That's fair, like well, yeah. this situation maybe, doesn't yeah, match maybe. that because he literally tells no, Mando, no, 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 "I'm no, threatening no. to kill your companion if you exactly. keep your gun it's, on me." Yeah, I, it's, yeah. it's not comparable. I guess that's what I'm saying is I think that's the point that he's trying to make, but it it doesn't apply in and this then, situation. If you would yeah. like to argue that in later scenes where he has his helmet off in different places, just like yeah, I mean, he probably should have died, and then he would have died if Chris Anton knew how to kill people. But to be fair, he's only or a gladiator, anyone, so if anyone the Assassins Guild carried like. Firearms, then maybe they would, uh, maybe, maybe Boba would be in trouble, but luckily the thing, they didn't. So, lucky there is truth to being confident in a, in a position that you uh should lose. And so, the other person's like, Why are you, why are you, why are you being such a confident? Why, what the fuck? But uh, I don't think this is even that situation, and I don't know that Boba Fett's ever really. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like the the, the Tuscans, I think it would have worked with them. It's like, probably not. <laughs> Yeah, I they, they would just Boba beat Fett his ass. What he's doing here is actually showing the ultimate strength. He does not fear others, and therefore feels no need to preemptively strike out like a little bitch. I mean, it helps Preemptively when striking out like a little bitch? Well, that's that's not true at all. If someone, if you, if you have reason to believe that someone's going to be a threat to you, especially in the context of running a, a crime lord business syndicate, whatever you want to call it, striking out preemptively, that's a really smart move. Like what? What's 
it, is it is it just as simple as oh the most manly thing you could possibly do is to Wait invite to them you. over and have a yeah a, a fair to give everyone if if you're in this crime business I don't know if taking constantly the honorable approach of giving everybody a chance all the time is gonna give you a long life you're gonna be taken advantage of yeah, it's, it's weird constantly. to categorize that act entirely as a bitch move it's like oh all right. It's never. He also says he also says Boba doesn't fear others. Like, does he really not fear anyone ever? Mm. Like, that's kind of another. Broad like, surely he's, he's, he's not, afraid of Darth Vader. He's not Daredevil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he owns True. that. Okay, Daredevil only. Yeah. Have a suit of armor made out of the scar that's indestructible. But what Boba the Fett scar. is trying very hard to do here is not make any more enemies. His armor's not supposed to be Beskar, from what I've heard from a lot of people. It's supposed to be. Dura steel, but uh, I'm sure it'll oh, well. be. I'm sure it's a it's a substitute for plot armor. It's like, just like yeah, Mando's they ex total substitute for plot armor. I think he's explicitly called it Baskar mm -hmm. in the show now, so it definitely is Baskar. Yeah. Everybody, you can get mm -hmm. around with that. <laughs> armor made out of Baskar that's indestructible. But what Boba Fett is trying very no hard countermeasures to do here is not on the landing craft. Nice, then he needs to. When you've lived your hey, entire life now? in such danger and, and chaos, well, you begin to understand that small actions can cascade into much larger actions in the future. Yes, yeah, so that, music. that's what teaches you that. When, you learn, when you're in a chaotic mm -hmm. life, small things can lead to big things. Uh huh. Yeah, this like you getting shot. She said, that's what she said. Oh. Small things What's can it? cascade. I don't think he's not trying to make less enemies. He tries to get more companions because there's some weird war going on, apparently. So he needs to be. A lot of them are. Cool he the definitely makes enemies. He makes yeah. enemies with the biker gang. Yeah, and then he wipes them out. Fine. With the with the water people. If he would have water guy, it's like you you're too expensive. It's like oh okay. Yeah. Here, take half the money. Oh okay. You he can makes work enemies with, me. with the gun train people. Could it gun not train, be said yeah. as well? Like if we're just like that, you're invariably going to make enemies no matter what you do. So maybe you do need to start being a little bit more care careful, you know, not just going around haphazardly assembling a crew in the hopes that just being friendly is going to benefit Doesn't you. that contradict what he just said, though, about, oh, he's not afraid of anyone. So if he's not afraid of anyone, why should he have to worry about, True. quote unquote, yeah. enemies, right? Because small actions can lead to big events. And that's what he learned when yeah. he fell in the Salak. That you know what he should have learned? I thought him right. <laughs> I, I agree that small acts can lead to big consequences. For instance, I wonder if Boba, ever while he lies in his back to tank, dreaming his little dreamy dreams, I wonder if Boba ever wondered, you know what? If I'd killed those bikers at that bar, those Tuscans would still be alive. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Would have been neat for him maybe to I have should... uh, explored that. Hmm. Maybe, I, maybe, my, maybe my permissiveness with other people, maybe that leads to bad things maybe uh oh i'm sure that's a i'm sure that's a subject that disney writers can easily tackle and explain and elaborate on so mm -hmm. uh, just, a, just a thought just a thought just a thought especially if you end up killing someone you might not feel the consequences immediately but one year or five years down the road it might come back to haunt you today we'll be taking a look at some of the major decisions okay. boba fett has made yeah, but you could also say that, well, that goes against somebody's life too yeah that, that yeah. was a mistake and that they'll come because the example here would yeah, with the Dooku example, so Boba Fett should be killing more people to prevent them from taking advantage of him Actually, in the yeah, future. Actually, yeah, you're right. That was the opposite. Uh, Dooku did not it, execute Anakin, and it cost him his life. Yeah, mm -hmm. he should have... It was a yeah, really bad example. Have, it was the yeah, opposite of what um, he said. <laughs> it, okay, interesting clip. All right. Carry on, I suppose. Uh, okay. ...as a crime lord on Tatooine, and we'll discuss how these decisions are... I wonder what what crimes, by the way, what crimes is he the lord of? Um, does he committed like water. crimes? All we know is that he has a water salesman. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he also has he also has water thieves, both under his payroll. Yeah, he has both two employees. Wait, both both of his employees, one is just flat out stealing from the other, and they both work for him. So. I hope he's got a good uh, PR department. 
Someone in chat just suggested uh. jaywalking. Do you think that's all it is? He like has <laughs> has some of his men sometimes cross the road when the lights are red, and he's just like, <laughs> I'm a crime lord. <laughs> There are no and then, the, and then the the republic shows up or stormtroopers or whatever. I'm like, oh shit, it's the, it's the coppers. Ah, run. it's the Bobby. Run. And yeah, he would make lights just to jaywalk them. Because he's a <laughs> rebel. Prime Lord on Tatooine, and we'll discuss how these decisions are both courageous and also quite intelligent. Yeah. All right. Oh. Can't be wait. Can't wait. Oh, this others. is like this is like a subject time. It's like so. Number one, oh. Gamorrean brothers. Gamorrean gods. Okay. I didn't know they were brothers. I didn't know they were brothers. I don't even know. Is uh, are they? Do we know that? I don't, mm, all right. There now. The Gamorreans are clearly day one ride or die homies. I mean, sure they're half naked. No, they're not. They're, they're literally not. <laughs> we, <laughs> the, we we had no idea what they might do. He just says, "Will you defend me?" And they're like, "Okay." Yeah. Like, I hmm. guess. I mean, I, that I assume that they say yes. Probably, so I'm, I'm going to join you. Yeah, they don't really speak. I don't know what their perspective is, I suppose. And they didn't want to follow him at first, and, and now I guess they do. So, um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. If they flipped on him at any point, I'd be like, yeah, checks out. Well, it's not like they have a motivation. It's not like they were loyal, apparently, to uh, Bib Fortuna previously, who was executed very unfairly by Boba. So that, that's not really any kind of motivation to kill Boba, right? Yeah, maybe they really liked him, and they're just biding their time, waiting for the right point to strike. Which they could have when he was maybe. dragged the into the back yeah. of the tank. They could have killed him. They're playing the playing the long game. Maybe they're doing recon. He, he, this I don't know. Wonderful post talk bullshit where he's like, clearly you can trust them. It's like, you didn't know that. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't no even clue. know why. Why could you stabbed you in the back the second you turned around? Green pigs who use melee weapons in a world full of blasters and death stars, but there's something awesome about yeah, having stupid, two Gamorrean huh? bros watch your back as you strike. So he just listed a several reasons why. You mean like every why... other person? Yeah, he's <laughs> listed several reasons why they're not good as gods of that way, but they're pretty cool. Like, okay. okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know if they're cool. <laughs> I don't think anyone has ever referred to a Gamorrean guard as cool. I don't think so I'll either. Put that out there. The only cool mm -hmm. fact that they have is the fact that people are like, oh, they were in fucking episode six. Oh, they oh, were they in Star Wars. Things. Yeah, I am member. Wow, I'm member too. that's amazing. I'm right around town collecting protection money. But let's not forget that these two Gamorreans try to fight to the death for their former employee, Jabba the Hutt, and then also for Bib Fortuna. Boba Fett's droid 8D8 actually recommended he torture them to instill fear into the hearts of his enemies. And then they, then I guess just they don't anymore. I guess he says like, no, don't fight, work for me. And they're like, okay. Okay. So what does that mean? And you know the other whole like, make their squeals make everyone fear you? It's just like, do you record them and send them out? Because like, you are far away from the town, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> like in, like in <laughs> an email? Look at this piggy squeal! Hello, Hello, citizens. I have tortured the pigs. I feel, I feel like most citizens would just be like, why? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> asshole. Like, well, <laughs> to scare all of you. You're like, okay, you're mean. Alright, anyway, water, sails, let's do it. Sails. Luckily, Fett didn't listen to his droid, who had a history of torturing other droids and sadism. And because Boba Fett was sadism, sadism, sadism. <laughs> fucking sadism. Yeah, he just makes everyone sad. Yeah, it makes everyone sad. <laughs> well, sadism sounds sadism. Like. Sadism. I can't believe he said sadism. That's actually way funnier than I think. He's like everyone's sad. Get a history of being depressed. Sadism. The crime lord on the other side of the dune. He wants happyism. But we here, we want sadism. Oh. Sadism. <laughs> oh, it's like Smiling Friends. Yeah. <clears throat> Go watch Smiling right, Friends, Fringy? everybody. Yeah. The smiling yeah, Friends shit. and the, then the Frowning Friends, but then they smiled eventually until the Renaissance men came <laughs> to death. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's what, you, what would you expect the Renaissance men to do, you know? Yeah, the Renaissance men who are actually Crusaders. <laughs> Not even <laughs> <a hero. laughs> And because Boba Fett was kind enough to save the Gamorrean bros, they saved Boba Fett's life twice already, once from the Nightwind Assassins and once from the Black Chrysanthemum. And I guess you can so count that. He even punches the Gamorrean in the face Dude, with those he, things. He chews on one of them. God it's, damn. Yeah. It's, a, it's a whole thing. Wow. And now he works for Boba, because that's how that works.
Everyone comes yeah. into his place, tries to kill him, and then gets hired. It's great. Yeah, it's I'm telling you, it's it's an interesting recruitment strategy. <laughs> they all have sadism. And after one that's of the a, that's a strange application to fill out. Or it's just like, how will how how will you try and kill me? Like, well, I will I will try and throw knives at you from a closet where I hide, and it will be so cool. And I do not have a gun. And Boba's like, wow, that's amazing. That's really awesome. Try it out. And then he tries it. It's like, oh, no, I guess we stopped you. That was pretty good, though. Um, you want to work for me? That was a great application. It's like tryouts. You have to try and kill Boba Fett before he hires you. And then he's like, well, no, I work for other people, and they're going to get me out of here. And then the, the job of people, the huts that there's like, nah, you're a gift. And he's like, what? Oh, OK. I guess. And then Boba Fett's like, nah, you can go. And he's like, I, what's happening? And runs off. So now then, I don't work for anyone. Yeah. I guess. And then Boba's like, actually, do you want to work for me? And he's like, I, I guess so. I don't know. I guess. Yeah. He doesn't do anything to try and test their new loyalty either. He's just like, yeah, I'll just take it on faith. You're with me now. Well, yeah. Wouldn't yeah. you feel like, like you need um, work? If Get in my apartment. If you're the good morning gods, and he's like, yeah, the, the chrysanthemum is working for us now. Wouldn't you be like, yeah, okay. Well, I mean, you know, I almost died. Protecting your I mean, I... but that's fine. <laughs> you make your own decisions. Right, we're gonna I guess. get along. Yeah, really every them. every morning, seven a.m. They're down in the locker room, whatever, getting ready for work. You have the awkward moments where they're just sort of like Jim, Frank, and they sort of well, like, all right. One yeah, of the gods is helping the right. other dress his wound from being bitten. It's like, man, this wound <laughs> really fucking hurts. And yeah, like, you bit me. Wow, <laughs> you fucking bit me, dude. Who does that? Who who fucking does that? I'm not gonna become a Wookie, am I? A weird Wookie? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like... Yeah, you just of... disgusting, nasty, dirty Wooker. Whoa. <laughs> oh no. Still get into a fight taken from him by the Black Chrysanthemum, who was hungry. Boba Fett even has him placed inside of his own back the tank. Which is really just a great move for a leader. You can either roll oh, through yeah, that's a great coin. Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you describe any of that as that's great? That's a great move. What, it's great. Why are we it's awesome. Such broad sweeping statements about like what is correct and incorrect. Yeah. Well, you supported it. The thoroughly. problem is that Disney Star Wars, things just sort of happen inexplicably. And that gives these people this post hoc rationalization for, no, see, it's great. See, see, yeah, look. Yeah, it, I mean, it is definitely see? that post hoc situation because what if he had made that decision and then they betrayed him? You know, the Gamorreans were like, well, they nah. won't. So I guess that means it was a good decision. Yeah. I, I, but if they had, <laughs> you know, like they, they very well could have. I mean, yeah, yeah it's, it's great that it worked out, but it might not have. That There's a reason why Fennec said, what she said, because there probably are arguments to be made for why you would want to make an example of them. Whether or not absolutely, I am capable of you making work. your life living hell. Don't double cross me. But well, I, I mean, of if course, you work for me and you do well, I'll reward you. Well, yeah, because when we were watching, it's like, well, you might as well keep him around. Like, just keep him around, and and but just make it clear. It's like, well, but don't you know, don't cross me. That would be a mistake. Uh, but I mean, you need employees. I, I guess I just. I don't know why he's saying it's like, man, that was brilliant not killing them. It's like, was it really brilliant? Yeah, it's it brilliant. I mean, you I mean you're taking a huge gamble and you you're don't want to gamble. take huge gambles. Oh. If it turns out some of them work in your favor, that's like good thing that worked out, I guess. That doesn't that's not encouragement that you made great decisions by making these incredible gambles. No. Well, yeah, and it's not an argument, it's not something you'd want to do all the time. Um but he does every time, and it just happens to work out, like letting that Wookiee just run off. Like that just worked out for him later on. Yeah, because there's, no there's nothing to have. stop the Wookiee from killing him later when he's when he isn't watching or when he thinks the Wookiee's loyal. Then the Wookiee goes back to the hut, says so like, "Yo, I killed that guy. You want that? Like, <laughs> you wanted me to, by the way." And like, wow, really? Like, yeah, he's dead. Wow, it's funny because he makes that decision like twice and the, at the same time he lets the Wookiee go and lets Danny Trejo live with them and train the Rancor even though that one could be a spy or whatever yeah that's true yeah if the, if the huts go. give me anything I'm like no no it's fine I don't want it yeah I'm, I'm kinda... absolutely look I'm absolutely looking a gift Rancor in the mouth <laughs> careful it might eat you unless it imprints on you first if I was the huts what if, what if they fed the Rancor like a thousand pounds of C4 and they're like, yep, here's a Rancor as a show of peace. And then Boba Fett takes it, and then it explodes. 
Yeah, I like that, would be da- that would be that would be dastardly. Rancor, it's funny how much yeah. effort you've had yeah. them put into killing him, and it would have been so much easier. If, like if they just handed Chris Anton a knife, that's all they had to do. <laughs> yeah, that sounds complicated. Yeah. I like my exploding. I like my exploding idea. rank. <laughs> Effet even has him placed inside of his own back of the tank, which is really just a great move for a leader. You can either roll through fear and coin like the huts did, but that's kind of just lazy and not really. Don't do the that's thing. That's kind of uh, just lazy. Don't. It's kind of mm. just lazy. This clown person. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think that there is a lazy. I don't think that you could run a crime empire like this and be lazy and live. I don't. I don't think I you think can you have rule to be constantly with fear vigilant. in a lazy way. Like how are you ruling yeah. with fear requires that you instill fear in your subjects, not that you're lazy. That doesn't even really make sense. Is he just I mean, saying like, that maybe... because the huts don't actually physically move much? Well, they're that giant fast lug things. Lazy? It's their commands know, that are but... scary. Yes. Does he think that video editing is lazy because you sit in a chair? <laughs> yes. I'm so confused. I want. I just want things to make sense. God damn it! Can I once again point out how no, shitty looking these huts are? Yeah, they look pretty bad. And you know, I would say I would go the other way, and I'd say, you know what? Maybe it's far more lazy to be overly kind because you don't have the balls to do something that might make you uncomfortable or that is cruel. Yeah. And so you just sort of take the easy way and say, no, 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 it's, it's fine. I don't want to hurt you. No. I bet for a lot of people, the lazy thing is to be overly kind and then get stabbed in the back moments later. Yeah, um, I, I'm also not looking are. forward to the, yeah. the dichotomy we're about to establish of like treat them with fear or respect. It's like how many times have we watched media that basically concludes you need both? Yeah. Which not is like... more complicated than this weird binary shit. Yeah. Mm. That it's it's yeah. either to be like a kind little goofball or like a complete sociopathic monster. <laughs> you have to choose are, one. There isn't a balancing act where it's like sometimes you need to be ruthless, sometimes you need to be compassionate. Remember it's, it's, Bib ruled for five years. What was he using? Fucking fear or well, he respect? Was with fear, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's it. We'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> you know, I, I will say I'm a little bit surprised, uh, Mahler, uh, that you haven't brought up Tywin yet. Why? Because he was a very shrewd and clever and calculating kind of ruler person who was sort of doing similar things to what Boba Fett should be doing. I mean, that would apply to literally any well-written leader, I think. Yeah, I just I thought you would... Cause well, that's why I said countless pieces of media did. would argue that you need to do both. Um, he was, in his later years, he was much more just fear, though. He made everybody was terrified of him, which worked really well up until his son killed him. Which happens, you know, just like your slave, sex slave killing you with chains. These, these are just events that sometimes occur, and you got to look out for them. Hmm. Either you rule. gotta have people around you to make sure that no one chokes you with a chain. Yes. That's the key. Through fear and coin like the Huts did, but that's kind of just lazy and not really a good long-term solution. Oh, that's actually a fair that's, point. Someone in chat just mentioned. I wasn't even listening to the video for a second there. Um, <laughs> the, there's this scene, and I think I showed you, I can't, I can't remember who I've showed here, but uh, the scene where uh, Joffrey dies and his brother, who's younger, even younger, takes over and... Uh, Tywin asks him what makes a good king, and they run through uh, all the ideas until they, they conclude on wisdom. Wisdom is the most important element, which, you know, compared to, like, piety or um, a just king sort of thing. Um, Game of Thrones at its best was fucking way better than this shit. Obviously. Yeah. Anyway, what were you saying? <laughs> um... Well, I, it was it was in regards to the clip, and I, I think you were again. looking at chat. Yeah, let's go ahead and play it again because it's a great clip. We should all hear it, you know, its own context. It's a great yeah, move it's, it's for a leader. You can either rule through fear and coin like the Huts did, but that's kind of just lazy and not really a good long term solution. But I guess when you live for a thousand years, you get lazy when it comes to management. <laughs> it's weird. The idea that you through fear and money, it's not a long term strategy for success. When it clearly is, and then he's like, oh, well, I guess you get lazy after a long time. You're like, what, what? what? But if you um, live for a thousand years, you would care about the long term. Exactly. No, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Is he, and he, also, he simultaneously established it's not a long term plan, but it worked long term for them, so that's why they ended up lazy. It's like, what? <laughs> what? 
Uh, and also, uh, even if you live for a thousand years, a year is still a year long. Like, yeah, you well, get yeah, a thousand yeah. years to live, but you're not just going to be like, well, I guess I'll just die of boredom because I live for a thousand years. So a year is just not a year anymore. Yeah, what is, I mean, what is the, the difference Empire between long and short through... term? Then? Oh, I mean, just in the sense of like... um. If, no, I'm agreeing with you. Like, like if he said, you okay. know, one year is short, it'd be like, is it? No, it's a year for everyone. Exactly, it's a long time. Uh, you don't get, yeah, you know. it's a whole year. You can't just sit on your ass doing nothing. Well, apparently that's what the the huts have done when they rule with fear and coin. That's I don't even know. What, doesn't everyone have to rule with coin? Like, how does how do you? <laughs> yeah, you have you got to pay people. You have staff. You have to pay staff yeah. to do their jobs. Everyone at that palace got paid. If you didn't pay anyone, they'd be like, no, fuck this guy. For a thousand years, you get lazy when it comes to management. Or you can do as Boba Fett does and inspire your men to follow you because they actually like <laughs> who you are. Because you show that you care for them. It's actually a very simple concept, but usually psychopaths who seek leadership positions <laughs> We're not taught that. It's a simple concept, but Usually, psychopaths the, don't do it. What the fuck is this? Uh, uh, what was that? I, I want Java to listen so, to all of this. <laughs> Be like, what? So you know, every you, time I come on here, I lose brain cells. It's not our fault. Listening to these. Oh, no, where you get used to it. <laughs> this yeah, is you won't miss them after a you while. You become desensitized. Yeah, you'll be glad they're gone eventually. This was clearly uh, a very quick turnaround on this video. Same for the show. <laughs> it's all yeah. it's all this gross industry of Ouroboros thing that's just vomiting into each other. Well, it just feels like, I mean... okay, so Boba Fett is popular. <laughs> what can we talk about when it comes to Boba Fett? Well, we did a video about how his leadership strategy is shit. What if we did one about how his leadership strategy is good? It's like, okay. Yeah, that was two weeks ago. <laughs> Everyone forgot about that. Let's just yeah. do this. <laughs> You can inspire your men to follow you and do their jobs, sure, but you can also take that way too far like he's being and show incredible weakness, not only to your own side, but certainly to your enemies, who know that now they could basically do anything they want with practically impunity. Well, and the, the he's way... not inspiring any of them. None of them feel inspired by his what, charisma well, or anything. Yeah, they haven't given a spot. I don't know why they follow him at all. Good, I guess. Well, that's the thing. Generally, you inspire people with some vision of, of the future, some long-term goals. What are Boba Fett's long-term goals? What What is his What respect. is his vision for Tatooine? Uh, respect. Yeah, it's like, what about <laughs> infrastructure? Maybe you know, like build some new roads or build no. some schools and Damn. hospitals. It, it is pretty, I, pretty yeah. crazy to think about, right? Because wasn't that the thing with like Pablo Escobar was that he actually invested a lot of the money uh, in the Yakuza, places. and then uh, yeah, and then because of that, it's like you've got a level of community support uh, because there's like results in the area. So why don't we see some of that in this show? That like Boba Fett is trying to win the favor of the town by doing the the those kinds of things. You know, like, like crime lord. Like generally, you're going to have some sort of like investments in the area that you're in. But we don't want to do that, because that's really, that's kind of complicated. And this is like a Disney Star Wars TV show. They should have gotten the people that wrote The Sopranos to write uh -huh. this show. It's not happening. They need this done quick. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, I mean, if you wanted to do a whole crime no. lord no. story they don't in do Star that. Wars. <laughs> they want to say well, they don't, they don't want to do it, but I mean, yeah. they come aware on, at least try it. This is so frustrating. Um, but I like as well, whatever Boba had chosen, this guy would have just explained the best possible result and said that was just the result that was going to happen. Like, if Boba decided, I'm going to fuck everyone, like, like literally, and, and, and that's going to make yeah, them loyal to me, all. this guy would be like, that's a really great plan because you get to be intimate with each person. You get to know them. You get to pleasure them. And then they will, in turn, pleasure you or something like that. You'd be like, dude, this is very interesting that you think there's only one result from doing this action. And then he's going to make a video saying that actually fucking everybody was not... <laughs> it was a bad move, kind of man. To cover all the bases. They're all getting jealous of each other. <laughs> but usually psychopaths who seek leadership positions were not taught that at a young age, which is why they're such broken toys. And of course, this is a- Who's he even referencing at that point? What? I don't know. I, I think he's talking about society, man. Is he talking about <laughs> Hitler? Maybe, maybe Bingo. not. Bingo!
I think he's literally trying to say that all like politicians are like that. That's, that seems to be it's the vibe. I'm, it's the vibe I'm getting. Well, he's saying that Boba Fett is certainly not faltering in that way, and that's why he's a, he's a smart lad. Wise move. Mm -hmm. If your enforcers trust you, you won't need to micromanage your thugs or keep them in constant fear to make sure they uh, do the right thing. I mean, you like, still need to be managing them. Like, yeah. So, I was gonna say, they need to know what yeah. to do. So. Every business in the world has, like, you have to manage your staff. You can't well, just let okay. them do their own thing, especially in if you're a crime lord where what's allowed and not allowed might be vague and nebulous. You have to fucking say, if you step out of line, you're going to be punished severely. I might even kill you for it, depending on what it is. You have to set some very clear boundaries. Well, it is something we've talked about as we've watched this show, is that he's only got, like, seven employees when what would probably be more interesting is if we actually saw him interacting with lieutenants and... He needs a know, staff people, meeting. Yeah, people within his ranks who he then delegates responsibilities to, as you necessarily will need to do when you're running such a large enterprise. But we don't do that. It's like a little... There's like 10 employees. It's this ragtag group. And we see nothing in terms of logistics at all. We have no enterprise. Wait, well, you what know, is what's... the Enterprise? What is yeah. his business? What does he sell? Does he sell anything? He does sells he sell crime, like... Tringy. You know, we're <laughs> just talking... crime. Like, does he have does he have businesses that he owns that generate income for him? Does he do any racketeering or like? It's protection? the opposite, Tringy. He allows people to steal from his businesses and then hires them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think he just you know it would be really Jabba's palace. I think that's all he really does. Boy. My, I think my cool, my cool idea of this hour, minute, day is what if one of the, the first episodes could be he sits down with all of the Bib and Jabba's lieutenants, everyone who's still around, and it's like an interview almost where he gets them in a room, he and, him and Finnick are there, and he talks to them. What do you do? What's your name? What's your job here? What do you do? How can I trust you? How do I know you're not going to stab me in the back? And we learn each one of those lieutenants and so you have like maybe five or six who do different things. I'm the head. I'm the head accountant. I'm the one in charge of palace staff. I'm the one in charge of da 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 da. I take care of da 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 da. In the trailer, like him sitting at a table talking to all of the crime bosses or all the people that are supposed to be underneath him. Uh, they sort of do that, but it's it's like just this dumb meeting where he talks to yeah the the people on the outside. Um, He's talking to like other random people family crime kind of, people. Yeah, in the in Tatooine, and they're talking about how like the the Pikes or whatever they're called are, are going to come, and it's and and they've been guaranteed that they're going to keep their territory, but Boba's territory is in trouble. And then I think he makes a deal of like, if you're loyal to me, I'll just do what I'm still doing now. And they're all like, that's agreeable, which is really odd because I thought the whole <laughs> point of the meeting was that. You're not really doing anything for them at all, and so why would they have any fealty to you? But I don't know. Not... I don't know why uh, anybody would follow would follow Boba Fett at this point, and that's an issue why. when what we're is, halfway through with the season. Well, what does he have to offer? What is he? Yeah, we we uh, does he pay them before? better? What does is he give him dental? System? What's going on? What is his business? What is the business that Boba has? How is does he make protection? money? Yeah. Is it racketeering? Is it like, what is it? What does he do? Does he take the, yeah. Is he essentially acting as a, a governor of a kind of a mm -hmm. segment of the city and he collects taxes in exchange for like protection and law enforcement and, you know, things of that nature. I mean, what, what does he do? Like in, when, when we're not watching him specifically in the show, when he's hanging around, what is he doing? Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. All I can of tell those, you. everything. Okay, Back to tank. Oh wow, that's cool. He's having dreams. That does seem to be what he does mostly is is dream in his back to tank, which is no way to which comes across to me as lazy. But I don't know. It's <laughs> yeah. How about that for a lazy strategy? Lay in your pod all day, dreaming about Tuscans. It's kind of weird, but all right. <laughs> like the huts do. Instead, your thugs will just work hard for you and die for you out of appreciation for who you are. It's no, they won't. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? This feels like a parody a advice video. Gonna, yeah. They're just going to die for you? 
Yeah, they all just you have appreciate to do you? is say nice things about them and, and be like, yay, woohoo, and then they'll die for you. You rules of respect, uh, rags. You, you don't have to have a strong, positive vision for what they're going to do and what they're going to accomplish. You know, you just sure. you say nice things to them. They mm -hmm. might be willing to die for you if they think that ultimately that will serve some bigger, greater good that the organization is striving for, but... I don't know yeah, what or, it is with Boba Fett. What, what is this? Yeah, goal? or more likely, they'll they'll be willing to put themselves into dangerous situations if they feel like they're taken care they're of. Gonna be if taken they have the equipment to do their, their job, going to get taken care of. Like if you if they die, they know that their family will be all right. Yeah, like well, at least if I die, you know, your family will be okay. Boba, yeah, Boba will take care of that. My Gamorrean uh, wife. And my Gamorrean and, dog. <laughs> and most likely dog. because I highly doubt that you're going to be able to run a, a crime syndicate on ideological principles that people are willing to die for. Just make people not think they're going to die, but it might incidentally happen as part of the line of work. But make it reasonably, give people a reasonable level of confidence that they're not going to die in the job based on what you give them and tell them to do and things of that nature. Oh, here we go. Oh, great. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. What? Boba Fett was not treated well by the Tusken Raiders. They captured him and basically tied him down for days and beat the crap out of him multiple times. Yes. Most people in Boba Fett's situation... I'm just glad they acknowledged that. That's not a good yeah. point. Yeah, I think we can just go to the next point. Wow. He already said what I wow. wanted to say. <laughs> Boba <laughs> would either <laughs> lose touch with reality and lose their minds and eventually perish or become bitter and angry over their captivity and begin to plot their revenge. No, no, that's Sh that's Shmi's the dead one there. She's not plotting her. No, you're, you're, I think you're mixing up two. <laughs> like the visual what represents plotting revenge, Rags. I like the, oh. the, 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 he's the, not the only options. Well, I mean, plotting is a strong word. It's just he goes out and kills them. Like, yeah, because his, his tortured mother dies in his arms, and so he's he's very upset about that. Mm -hmm. Boba Fett instead did something that I don't think most people would do. He just sat down and observed the Tuscan people. He, <laughs> he says that. Um, well, we get 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 the get a shot of him getting beaten with sticks. There's literally nothing he can do. Like he observed There's the Tuscan people. Observe them. And so observing his, the his... Tuscan people while getting beat the shit out of him. <laughs> so the two take alternative was... options. He's this the guy making this video. The only two options he can think of is either you lose your mind and perish. I guess, or you <laughs> plot revenge. And what if, now, hear me out, what if when he got the chance to escape, he just did? Well, yeah, it's like, Crazy. it's almost that like been seeking, eman <laughs> seeking emancipation is not an option that's totally, like, <laughs> okay. Because he wanted that at first. He wanted to go to Anchorhead and get a ship off world. Yeah. yeah. But I guess he decided at one point that he would rather stay here with these people who enslaved him and beat him. Oh, it drives me crazy because, okay, so he defeats Machamp in the desert and they have a, a new respect for him, which makes some amount of sense. But what gives him respect for the Tuscans? Yeah. Why does he want to stay here well, and waste yes. away in the desert? I can answer that. He said it explicitly. He said they took him in as one of their own. Oh. It's like, oh, but, but that hadn't happened yet, Boba. But being one of their own sucks. <laughs> they suck. I'm not even getting they to that. So it's just the fact that they, they've <laughs> enslaved and beaten him, and he's like, I like these guys. They're pretty cool. Happening to him personally. He had seen enough warrior races to understand that he was just a victim of circumstance. The oh, fuck off. Where, where are we getting Actually, this? Yeah, where are we getting this? Just... Ima imagine <laughs> the fucking gall that this guy would. Do you think he'd say this about Akimbo Day, who was kidnapped from his tribe in Africa in 1802? Right, it was shipped across the ocean, clad in chains on a ship. Oh, he's, he's just a victim of circumstance. He'll he'll understand and he'll observe the ways of the white people, and then he will become one of them if they find a you know a, a level of respect for him. Nobody likes those comparisons. It was good. I bet they don't. They should good. be very uncomfortable. Personally, he had seen enough warrior races to understand that he was just a victim of circumstance. The Tuscan Raider society is clearly not advanced far enough to contemplate the humane treatment of cap- What? They're not advanced <laughs> enough to understand the inhumane Jesus treatment? Christ. Fuck off. <laughs> oh my god. This video Man. is defending slavery. 
No, slavery <laughs> specifically for the Tuscan race because they're too stupid to understand what it means. They're That's just, what they're saying. He well, obviously doesn't know primitive. anything about Tuscan razors be because they Raisers. actually oh, are very intelligent. Fuck. Did I say it wrong? I mean, they Raisers? could operate. They could operate firearms. Yeah, but they're they, not they civilized enough to, to know a, what being mean too, is. <laughs> too stupid to understand the concept of taking no, away someone. This just shows us you know what the fuck he's talking about. They are very aware of what they're doing. They hate anyone that's off worlders because aliens came and fucked up their planet. So that's why they hate all outsiders and they kill everyone. Does this guy not watch Star Wars? Hey, look. Fuck this. But even if even if they were just too primitive to understand that slavery is wrong, why is that a point in their favor? favor. Like, yeah. Why, why the hell do we respect yeah. the Tuskens yeah. at that also, point? Like, this if is... you would consider them to be too primitive, I guess biologically to understand that slavery is bad, how could you teach them that? Yeah, I I mean the what you should be saying, the correct thing to say is if you've been enslaved. You need to escape and take everyone you can with you. Not, <laughs> no, it's fine. You're here in slavers. They're just, you're just a victim of circumstance. It's nothing personal. It's just their culture. They're just too stupid to understand what they're doing, really. You know, um, holy fuck. When he was defending Jesus them, Christ. when he was defending them to like the Pike Syndicate or whoever else, he had like a representative and he was like, You guys, you didn't even know you were doing slavery. You didn't even know it was bad, right? And the Tuscan's like, Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sure. Yeah. No, I, yeah. I even, we uh, we, we know thought, we don't know what we're doing. We thought you liked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have any reason to believe if they weren't killed that they would stop enslaving people in the future? Of course not. No. They've been doing it. No, for he never says anything now. about. Hey, you know, I'll help you, but can you just not enslave people in the future? <laughs> like, the only reason there's not more slaves when he gets there is they probably just fucking died of torture. We had Mando spoke to them with sign language, like directly. It's like, oh, they're not civilized enough to know what slavery is. Like, fuck off. All of a sudden, all the Mandalorians just know how to talk to Tuscan Raiders and know sign language. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a being able to specifically speak Tuscan Raider. That's probably an extremely useful skill that comes in handy all the time. In <laughs> well, at first, he I'm could sure barely you communicate. He could barely communicate full sentences to him, and then. Two scenes later, he's having full, in-depth conversations with them. So, it's pretty easy to pick up, apparently. Yeah, easy this is insane. This the video Tuscan is defending Raiders. slavery. It's, to be fair, he's saying they don't understand. All right, they just—they just too stupid. Society is clearly not advanced far enough to contemplate the humane treatment of captives. They just don't have the resources for it. But if that began to, they resources. don't have the resources. They beat for him. It. They literally beat him. They, they, don't they have could the just resources. They could just not beat him. <laughs> That's an option. They're, they're li the guy is drinking water as he's watching all the children beat Boba, and he's approving of it. They <laughs> don't have the resources because of a lack of resources. Not beating them. I don't is have less the resources, resources to not beat you. <laughs> oh man, you know, you know, they they <laughs> had oh to God. they had to drag him across the entire desert because they just didn't have the resources to put him on a bantha. You know, that's just not possible. <laughs> no, there wasn't room up there for three. No, no, no definitely not. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Jesus How did you read Christ. That out and think, do this you think, is your brain on Star Wars defense mode. Do you think he just thought about the paycheck? He was like, uh, just do it, just do it, just do it. He didn't it, think it of anything. Well, Did yeah, he? that's because his bosses, they don't rule with fear and coin. Uh. His, bosses ins <laughs> his bosses inspire him, and he would he would die <laughs> for generation <laughs> tech. <laughs> Main treatment of captives. They just don't have the resources for it. Boba Fett began to admire the Tusken Raiders for their tenacity, and he also began seeing things for what they really were. I swear this isn't stuff. What, what does that even- What? What does, what does it that mean? mean? Like, see them for what they really were? The lizard showed him how things were. Because really what- were. Uh, Well, remember, Mahler, what you really are, it definitely isn't your continued actions. That's definitely who, not who you are. Who you are is something that's totally different from all of those things. This video's really bad. I don't they... know it. I, I don't. I, this might be a first for EFAP, the unironic defense of slavery of the noble savage. Yeah, this so, is insane. It's fine if they don't know what slavery is, which they obviously they don't. They just don't have enough money to know that slavery is bad. <laughs> just give them more money. Give them more coin and fear. <laughs> really were. I swear this isn't Stockholm Syndrome or anything like that. Uh, it uh, 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 <laughs> he, was uh, he was enslaved by them and then came to love them. Like, hmm. Mm, I feel like that's pretty much like textbook 
Stockholm Syndrome. Chicken Raider stood in the face of cruel modernization. That cruel I, modernization. What? Okay, so, so by the way, just to be clear, because it, it, I was about to bring it up, but it's just become extremely relevant. I was saying, I was using the concept of Devil Savage, ironically, there, just to be clear. Um, they are not standing up to modernization. So are they too dumb or are they just standing up to modernization? Cruel, I'm sorry, cruel modernization versus what? Like the noble slavers? Yeah. <laughs> There's if if modernization means they stop enslaving and torturing people, I'm down with it. Yeah, like that's I mean, what it is. Like, like poor Coruscant savages in are not the Republic. allowed. They won't be able to enslave people if you shoot them. It's like dab you modernization. Just really and yeah, like the to freely enslave anybody who happens to fall into their clutches versus those cruel gun train. People. I mean, the gun train is pretty funny, but maybe the gun train was shooting them because they shoot. They are trying to erase Tuscan Raiders to protect everyone else. Who fucking knows? These Jesus twats. Christ! We're just that was the Tuscans are actually... portrayed as basically purely negative in yeah. like almost all regards. They're just horrible. Terrible, awful well, and, people. You know when they say they give him the little the carrot fleam and it like gives him water and stuff, and it's like you might for a <laughs> moment be tricked into thinking like, oh, that's nice of them. It's like, well, no, they're sla they're enslaving, him. they're keeping him alive so he can do labor for them. That's it's not exactly like yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and then, if he dies, it's clearly no big deal. Um, they'll so just get even, another one. Even with that added, like like they're still cunts. A lot of them, like every single thing we see them do, <laughs> and then it's just like, yeah. well, no, actually, they're pretty awesome. You know, they take people in as one of their They're own. Standing like, no, they up don't. Because they shot the train. And the first thing they do when they see a piece of technology like a speeder is to rip it apart like a bunch of fucking barbarians. Well, and when yeah. they see the water on the gun train, they just spill it out all into the sand. Oh, God, <laughs> that part <laughs> hurts so much. It, it hurts so much to watch. And Boba doesn't Why even would he care. Respect them? just They're... sitting there. It's like, hmm. <sighs> They're... Oh my God. He respects them because he They're fell in the Sarlacc pit and it changed his mind. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Seriously, if, if you guys are ever writing like, as part of a franchise and you want to do a different story, just drop all your characters into the Sarlacc pit, get them out, and then do whatever you want. <laughs> it's a personality cleanser. It's a little washing machine for characters. <laughs> Great. Between by off-world forces, the Tusken Raiders fought to preserve their way of life. So I think that bubble... Their way of life! Way of life. Way of I life. don't want them oh. way of life of enslaving and beating like people. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, the the South and the United States fought to protect their way of life too. Yeah, so, they were just you know, protecting maybe their they way were the good guys. Life. Yeah. 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 You the don't want it. You don't want North the, with all their factories. The fucking gun and train fought to maintain their way of life, which is running around the <laughs> desert with their <laughs> train shooting people. Flies through the yeah Dune Sea with the guns. That's what they want to do. Is that so bad? The Tuscans were getting in the way could really yeah, respect. And so on that day when Boba Fett and Rodian prisoner is being marched along the sand dunes by a Tuscan child, Boba Fett had every opportunity to run when a gigantic forearm sand monster attacks them. Instead of running though, Boba Fett pulls a Leia and chokes the much larger beast to death. Yeah, it didn't really, it didn't really line up to that. Yeah. His arms uh, fail to work and sense. he doesn't fall back, he just doesn't try anything. Yeah, he doesn't use his four arms, he doesn't flail around wildly, he doesn't just grab the chain and pull it. Uh, it's it's one of, it's that it's that thing we talked about earlier. Things just sort of happen. Mm -hmm. And you're like, see, it worked out, guys. See, it's fine. It's all good. That was the right thing. And then he move. made the baffling decision of I will go back to the camp that enslaved me. <laughs> Upon doing this, Boba Fett is cuck. adopted by the tribe and actually shown the Tuscan. He didn't even get him a new one. Yep, it was what he was drinking. He's which, like, we still don't know how he's they like, drink. He's but. like He's like, um, he's like Cousin Eddie. You want a cold one? I got nothing. Question, if yeah, you're gonna no? try to, oh, like, right. you know, humanize the Tuskins, why do they never take their masks off? Because it's disgusting. Think I brought it up. That's something that I brought up uh, when we were watching it. Um, kind of like with Baby Yoda. Uh, you, you get our main character who's essentially stuck for a large amount of time with someone else or a group of other people. And I, they're they're either not sentient, they can't speak. You don't know if they can even understand you. I can't read any facial expressions. Really, they're not having. They can't have conversations with this person. So it's it's a bizarre storytelling choice to pair both of these protagonists with their respective other characters around them. Um, because I I just can't 
I can't empathize with the Tuscans in any way, not only because of what they're shown to do, but because I can't see them. There's no there's no humanizing element to really anything about them. Well, they just they're just savages in the desert who are cruel and horrible. Like I said, they probably have a Salak pit for a face, so that's probably why they don't want to, you know, take the mask. So. <laughs> well, here's the thing: even then, why does it? Why did it have to be Tuscans in the first place? I don't know because that's the budget coming in. They got all their Tuscan outfits from Mando, so they were like, and and the sets are always super cheap when they're just full deserts. Because they it. could reuse the little. Because it could have been a little. Um, a little town like in Mando at the beginning of season two, a little town of just people, maybe a couple of them are aliens, but you can just say, I oh, fuck it. Everyone's a human, whatever. Um, and he could, God forbid, like have conversations with people. They could explore Ugh. perspectives. He Ew. could help them with some task or maybe what begins as a, I need to help you to help myself becomes a, Oh, actually you're not so bad. And, Maybe you've shown me a different da 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 da, or maybe there's a lady that I start to take a liking to, and oh, I, she's telling me I am getting a little bit old and I can't do this forever. You know what? What are my plans for the future? You know, but that's a different show that doesn't exist. And instead, what we get is uh, defenses of slavery, uh, <laughs> which is always fun. That's way better than our ideas. And in return, Boba Fett helps the Tuscans stop a Pike Syndicate train from blasting through their territory. It's a great mutual exchange in both parties. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> both of those loads of shit of for them. Yeah, what do you mean? Like what? In exchange for what? He They're not slaving him stick. anymore? Oh yeah, he gets a stick out of it. You're right. Someone said, we will get a scene where a Tuscan will come across a face scanner. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Tuscan screwed. I'll have to hold up a picture of a face. <laughs> it'll probably work with the empire's yep. level of security these days yeah face identified this is a face in the situation especially if it's just a circle with two dots and a line <laughs> it's just a smiley face <laughs> on a piece of paper and the tuscan just holds it up awkwardly and it scans face it's a, detected it's a picture of squidward it's just like <laughs> emotional <laughs> identification <laughs> register as Happy. <laughs> Proceed. All the Tuscans in that tribe were massacred, most likely by a Nikto speeder bike gang shortly most after. Most likely. So the Tuscans won't be able to help out Boba Fett as much when the Pikes and the Kid come back to town. What would they do? <laughs> what were they going to do anyway? The Tuscan what Raiders. What were they going to do? They're shit. But the Tuscan Raiders he liked are already dead. I don't think he well, talked he, to anyone else. I think that's what he's suggesting. Like, we found out that they got riped up by the bikers, so they will be able to help Boba when the Pikes and the Kid come in. It's like, okay. Mm -hmm. No shit, was, Sherlock. I think he was going to need more than that. them for help anyway. Oh, God, can you imagine how cringe that would have been? Like an Avengers portal scene with the Tuscans coming through. Like, yeah, Boba, we're going to help <laughs> you. I'm still waiting to hear how the Tuscan subplot is an example of his brilliant leadership strategy because he got them all killed. Um, I don't. I think he's given his just, reasoning that we, he got the gun train yeah. thing. I don't know if that's that. Well, he inspired all the Tuscans to die to stop the train because hmm. because the show really Wait. needed that to happen. Well, I maybe maybe he'll now. summarize. I'm not sure because I'm a bit lost yeah. too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe with a full yeah, arm, probably. But once again, it was Boba Fett thinking outside of the box, not letting his emotions or hatred or despair get to Boba him. Fett? Instead. He thought rationally and coolly used his critical thinking. There was nothing rational so, about anything that he did again, in that situation. Mm -hmm. He's judged this from the result as opposed to Boba Fett walks up to him and he's like, yeah, I killed the match champ. And then he gets hit over the back of the head, tied back up, and he's like, fuck, I thought you got, no? Uh -huh. And they're like, no. And he's like, oh. No, because oh, you're more nah. useful to us as free labor until you eventually die horribly. Yep. Mm -hmm. After cool. all, after all, remember what he said, they don't have the resources to treat him well, but they make him one of them. So uh, apparently they do have the resources. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, so yeah, that, does, that doesn't work, does it? And I, I think that, you know, consider what they did to Shmi. Um, I could picture them being like, they could probably say that to Boba when he's tied up, and then he'd be like, I haven't seen episode two. Oh no, <laughs> I didn't know about this. <laughs> 
and made friends with the Tusken Raiders and learned a lot of important skills about surviving. No, Thing he didn't. Two. They all died. No. <laughs> they they were very good at surviving. They showed him to beat people with a stick, and now they're all dead. G good what job. are you learning about survival? <laughs> where, where to, how to farm black lemons, I guess? Black melons. melons Don't you right. know the lore? Those are black melons. And, and those things you, seem to just be you dig and then you get them, and that's it. Yeah, there he doesn't seem to be any the real. Important of using, he unlearned the importance of using guns, because now he mostly uses a stick. I think that's a step backwards. So, well, I mean... That was always what Boba Fett was known for in the OT, was his stick fighting skills. Say, yeah. It wasn't his jetpack or his rockets or his grappling hooks or his blasters Look, or his starship gun, that was called Slave One. A gun is a stick that fires small sticks. That's what Shad said, and I, I agree. He's, he's learning the basics, and it's going to improve all of his other advanced weaponry. It's really cool, you mm -hmm. know? I agree with this guy. In the desert, as a result. No. Oh, the water <laughs> gang. Oh, the water gang. Oh, my God. Look at how uh, impoverished they are. What, are we gonna, what is he going to do? He's going to say, like, you know, they stole, and he could have punished them, but instead he hires them, and that worked out really well. What a, what a genius. Is that it? Is that the insight? I bet it is. Mm-hmm. Boba Fett continues to surprise us when he runs into a gang of young delinquents in Mos Espa who totally are rocking an old 1960s Earth Scooter Gang vibe. Boba Fett, being from an older generation, sure. could have gone all boomer on them and made fun of their stupid looking speeders. What? What? The, the whole internet went boomer on them. <laughs> yeah. The whole yeah. internet went boomer on them. All of the Zoomers <laughs> went boomer on them. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like that message, like nobody liked that. Yeah. Yeah. That's what this was. Aesthetics. He could have also just killed them all for stealing water from the local I'm water monitor. No, he wouldn't have killed all of them. He should have killed, killed that excessive. Um, punish could, them. Put them. He should have killed the bitch. Yeah, kill their leader, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, when she was getting all like, "Oh, you, you shit, and you suck, and you're bad, and we're not going to get you're jobs," old. and da da da. Hmm. He should have just killed her right on the spot and said, "Listen up, motherfuckers." I'm I'm in charge, and I'm not going to be. No, spoken Disney to like needs that, their British brunette chick. They need it. No. So there's a little calling card. It's going to be annoying. Ice British. <laughs> A petition for him to do something about the situation earlier that day, but Boba Fett remains calm and he talks things through with the cyberpunk. It's always it strikes me as weird that the sniper wears a face mask that prevents her from getting a cheek weld on her rifle to look through the scope. Um, but that's okay. Mm. Fuck it. I've, I've always thought it looked stupid anyway. I mean, to be fair, we've been pretty critical of the Mandalorian helmets as well. Um, the vision. I've, I've always had an issue with the Stormtrooper helmets. They just... just I, as someone, I've, I've got gas masks, and a lot of them, it's very difficult to look down the sights of a rifle if you have a gas mask on because it takes up all the space on your head and you can't get your eyes down low enough, so you either Why have to have a scope or have lots of gas masks. What, what huh? situation have you needed to shoot a gun Zombie with a gas mask on? Never. It's just used as a... I have them for like costumes and because they're cool as shit to have them. Uh, they're like old military surplus stuff. I got German ones and Czech ones and uh, British. My best ones are British ones, so good on you, Mahler, for your people making Yay. good gas masks. Um, uh, but it, it's it's to draw a parallel between uh, a, a, a helmet like they would have here is similar to having like I would have a gas mask on so I know that you it make it is difficult for you to use both of them in tandem. In fact, in Battlefield One, if you have a gas mask on, you cannot aim down the sights of your gun. You can only hit fire. So mm -hmm. it's just one of those things I see in the show, and I'm like, that just wouldn't work. That would it makes no sense for a sniper to have this big, awkward, massive helmet on because she can't use it when she's you know looking down the scope of a rifle. It's a very strange sort of thing. She ends up taking it off and they shoot yeah, sure. I think in uh, in season one. Something like it, like it's. I can't remember if it's her. She's looking down the scope or what it is exactly, but it's probably not something that they show very much. Uh, they don't want you to really see it. And surely, I don't think the actor would certainly be able to use them both in a way that makes sense. You see that in movies where actors just sort of point. They don't really like proper look down the, the thing. I know those guys in the stormtrooper outfits, they ain't looking down the scope of that that thing. There's just no way. You got this massive white helmet on you. You know, you're not looking down that thing. 
I so, agree. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Gang, turns out that the water monger was charging way too much for water, and at the same time... No, yeah, we just no believe that. Now. It's just a thing we no believe. Clue. We have, yeah, no we have no idea no if that's actually true. We have nothing well, to reference wait, wait, wait. on. To clarify, the information we get specifically is, and, and I remember I was talking to Fringy because we were editing the episode, and I was like, oh shit, there was a line. The line is, he's charging a month's pay for a week's water. However, the problem is, we have no idea how much they stole, and so we don't no. know how much they owe, and so Boba just decides they, they owe too much, when we don't actually know how much they owe, because we don't even know what they stole. And if you remember... Also, is it... It's still absolute stupid bullshit, like, because Boba says, um... He says, like, how much do they owe, and he says the thing, and he goes, for water? And it's like, that, like, yes. Yeah, possibly, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and also, right. is it one person's month of pay for one person's week of water? Well, or is it one person's month pay for all of them to get a week of water? Let's be honest here, what they've said, you have to give a lot of good faith to, to kind of interpret in a way that makes sense enough, because it just doesn't. Like, what are you talking about? What job? Is it your own job? And how exactly, like, if your whole month's pay goes just to water, then, like, that, that's just not even, like, and, and what's causing him to charge that much? And I guess what I was trying to get at there... How come everyone is, is dying of thirst in this town? If he needs employees, which he obviously would, how is he paying them to the point where they just die? Like, it wouldn't make any sense, right? Like, I know there are people out there who don't want to pay their employees much at all, but you want them to live, so I don't understand, like, it's cartoonishly <laughs> stupid. Like, what, how also, is this they even... they don't have jobs because there's no work, so I'm not Was sure. there a we... we I know, I know there's people out there who want to see the little Vespers run around, the guy go, whoa, but I would actually like a conversation where Boba, this guy, and those fuckers sit down. You go, what the fuck is the price of the water? And then he says that, and then like, why? He's like, look, water's really fucking hard to come by. Um, if, I know you're, if they're if not you're wasting Boba their money on fucking mods, they'd be able to drink and eat happily. And then they're like, excuse <laughs> you, we need these to live. You know, a, a conversation about with characters that actually have values instead of just telling us it's a, it's a, me a month's price for a week's amount. You're like, what? What? What does that mean? Because I hear that. Because if, if someone told me that where it, it costs a month's pay for a week's water, I don't believe you because you're still alive. I, I don't believe you. I, yeah, I am incredibly skeptical of the idea that it costs a month's pay for a week's water because you're going to you're going to die after a week. So how 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 is anyone in this town alive? Yeah, if that's even remotely close to being true, then that is the singular most pressing matter that this town has is that no one can afford water. It essentially means that there is a. It's not the price isn't the issue, it's the fact there's a horrific water shortage. And things seem to be carrying on just fine in the markets where they're growing schnozberries by the bushel loads. So <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> believe you. The show yeah. does not, it's a line that is said that has incredible deep implications for this town and this world. And we don't see that. So I don't believe you. Yeah. Rant over. It's really annoying because every single thing they ever choose to do in the show, it could be better, so much better. They don't take. Someone the said time. maybe there's a scarcity because of the train heist. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. I mean, if you think about it, that would that would be good because that train that's carrying all this spice and goods and whatnot, like that's dozens and dozens of jobs. I mean, like all things, you know, as they are, that's that's important economics. I mean. You're going to complain about there being no jobs and you're also destroying trains full of cargo? Like, which way do you want it? This is, you can't just do shit and expect there to be no consequences to anything. Yeah, there's no jobs because the, the, no one say, no one thinks it's safe to make, you know, travel out in the desert because of that one biker attack. And they still haven't found out who did it. Awkward. And no one, no one wants to invest. That's the thing. No one wants to invest in Moss Espa because you know, the, the Tuscan attacks and things of that nature. That would have been an interesting plot it's point. It's almost like they're the not on a the planet Tuscan. full of bounty hunters that would be fighting to go get the bounty on these guys that have, you know, taken over this train that have all their resources. 
What you if know? we did a story where we had a, uh, what was that guy in The Simpsons Rex the when they did the Prohibition episode? Like a dude who's actually there who wants to clean up the city. And he's like, fuck you, Boba. Like, I'm not, you know, you can't pay me off. I'm going to come and get you. And so we have an antagonistic force who's opposed to his uh, attempts to become like a crime lord. Like, why doesn't the world react to the fact that there are criminals, you know? And, and they should even establish before that, like, what is even the nature of crime in this setting? Like, why mm -hmm. is it, what is, what, what's even kind of happening here? You know, is it, is crime bad or is crime good? Or what kind of crime? What constitutes crime? The reason I'm thinking crime? about it now is because, yeah, Boba just killed, like, dozens of bikers like it was nothing. Yep. And I guess nothing will come of that, right? It's like, oh, they're just dead now and there'll be no investigation at all. Is there not any type of law enforcement on this planet at all? Well, and, I mean, think of side. all the people in town who probably think that those bikers are like heroes for what they did to the Tuscans, and very <laughs> understandably so. And they'd be upset that those bikers got killed by somebody. I'm still pretty convinced that be upset, they'll yeah. be turned. It turns out they'll be a, they like worked for the Pike people or Absolutely, something. Absolutely, that's what it will be. And Why if that's true, then the Pike, Pike people should care about them. Mm -hmm. And um, also, yeah. But I was gonna say, there's like a, there's like an alternative payoff set. Then we, we could have is imagine Boba Fett being so familiar with how bounties work, and now he's in a position of lawmaking that he can set bounties on people whenever he wants, who is certainly ones who break the law. And imagine using that as a threat against these people, like they're like, what are you gonna do? And then he's just like, I have the power to set bounties at will, like, and I will, and, and he just does. And like, I got the money to pay it. And, and if you, like, you could, how badass would that be if she fucking mouths off and he just says, what is your name? And she, like, gives it confidently, <laughs> and then he just says, you know, set a bounty on it, and then you find out the details, like, alive, zero, dead, 1,000 credits, and he just shoots her. <laughs> <You're> fucking <laughs> epic. We can't cool. do anything like yeah. that. He can shoot Bib Fortuna, fuck that guy. There was, um, somebody on Twitter, like, showed me a comic from the tweet I made about how shit this show is. And it was like this, uh, someone had pissed off Boba very personally, and um, but it was like a guy who had set bounties, who had paid him before and stuff, and he was like, no way Boba would ever do anything to me. And like the guy that that guy was about to kill against Boba's wishes said, um, I'll put a bounty on him for, for uh, and he struggles in his pockets and he has like three credits. And the guy like laughs at him for how little that is, and then Boba just shoots him and it takes the three. Like, like, because it's way more about the, the principle of who that guy was or whatever. I was just reading through it. I don't even know what the context was. I was just like, that's just already so much more interesting than anything that's happened in this show. Mm -hmm. One of and, the... Go ahead. Oh yeah, just to go off what you were just saying, because if that could be interesting if he doesn't want to be the bounty hunter anymore, partly because he's getting old and doesn't want to you know, risk his own life anymore. If he wants to be the person like putting out bounties on people, do we ever see him do that? Like that could be really interesting. I don't even know, you know that he can do that. I, this is the thing: we were four episodes in. And I don't. I don't really know anything about what's happening. It's all been nothing. We still don't even know why he wants to be a crime lord. He doesn't, but he does. It's awful. I I have uh, consumed basically no media for Star Wars outside of the movies, pretty much, and these amazing shows. But the one comic book that I've read from Star Wars was, I, I was, I was, I Googled it a second ago, was Star Wars Tales, issue 18, and it was five stories about Boba Fett. And they were really cool. Uh, Boba Fett was a badass, and he has, he's just a really cool character. Um, he would have dialogue with people and it would show how he operates as a bounty hunter and how competent and awesome he was, even without his, um, even without his armor. One of the comics was about him being ambushed while he's out relaxing, uh, at some spa essentially. And so he kills all the attackers and manages to fuck them all up, even without his armor. Um, and it was, there were, it, the stories were like number two in the galaxy, payback, being Boba Fett, the way of the warrior, Revenants. Um, this came out in 2003 at the end, and it, it was really cool. And thinking about that and comparing it to this is night and day. That Boba Fett was so cool and awesome, and this one is just shit. And it just reminds me of what we could have had 
as a as an interesting protagonist who is super awesome. What is you know, but <sighs> it sucks. You know, it just sucks. Yep. Apparently, the Wikipedia is telling me that Star Wars Tales 18 was preceded by Star Wars Tales 17, and it was followed by up. Star Wars Tales 19. Whoa. Wow. You don't <laughs> say. Huh. All right. That's fair enough. I like as well, um, everyone's on we watch something that's good, uh, freeing you off and jokingly say, please write more as a, as a feedback to be uh, quick. Yeah. Um, I just like that with, with a lot of bad stuff, it's like, please write better. But with Boba Fett, it's just like, stop it. Just stop. Stop writing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, enough. And they're like, don't you think I can improve? It's like, yeah, but like, <laughs> is there any point? <laughs> <laughs> so that's why they were stealing water. Ever since Jabba the Hutt died, things had grown increasingly chaotic on the planet and on Mos Espa. What's the music in the background? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's actually... <laughs> yeah, listen to that music with the visual. That's awesome, actually. Monger was charging way too much for the water, fun. and at the same time, there was no work to be had for the gang. So that's why they were stealing water. Ever since Jabba the Hutt died, things had grown increasingly what are we chaotic doing? on the planet and on Mos Espa. How does he know that? How does he know they've grown incredibly chaotic? He doesn't. He's making that up. Um, <laughs> no. Because as far as I knew, things well were things chaotic with Bib for five years. Is that what was implied? I, you know what I would have thought would made things chaotic implied. was killing Bib. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. oh well. What you've plunged, you you created this horrific power vacuum, and now all of these other families that are literally next door, essentially, now they're going to be like, oh, crap, yeah, we'll, we're going to move in, or we might even cooperate and split the new territory half and half. So now Boba's got two different people to deal with. So what does Boba Fett do? He pays off the watermonger at a fair price that he water himself, well, which well, actually resolved. Well, a fair price that he decided himself, which is not. Yeah. Him. Yeah, we have no idea. This if is a it's fair, fair price I've decided right now with no economic information with whatsoever. Also, why is he calling yeah. him a watermonger? That seems like a strange title. A, wa a mongerer. He, like, said, like, he says water mongerer. Iron the show monger determined he is unfair, <laughs> and now he's a mongerer. That's yeah. why. Okay. Because those well. kids definitely didn't lie to you. Yep. Complaints from the watermongerer, and then he hires the scooter gang and actually has them watch his back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that worked out, I guess. They didn't do a good job watching his back with it in his palace. Yeah. No, they did not. I just... Ah, this image was so hard. The, I think it, when we first saw it, it didn't like settle in as fast. And it was such a stain. Like, what is this? We're probably reeling from whatever came before. These these episodes puts us in a bit of a daze sometimes. Like one yeah. scene lingers into the next. Presumably, Anna, you would have seen this before the episode, right? Because this got around Twitter quite a bit. The Wookie thing? No, it's on screen right now. Sorry, I have the watch we'll call it watch party. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Power Rangers. So what did you uh? What, what did you think when you saw this? Tell us. That it was Power Rangers. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> no, I just saw it, and you know what? Immediately, what I thought of. So I'm like, this looks like a parade at Disneyland. You have the giant walkway. You have each character on their own bike. That's its own color, so that way they can sell it to kids. And then you have Boba Fett and Finnick walking down. This looks no like one's they're in the streets. Disneyland. Everyone's cleared. Exactly. I'm like, this place should be packed. There's only a few, a handful of cities on Tatooine, and you're telling me this place isn't packed like to the point where you're you know pushing against people to get through. You don't have any kind of shop sticking out of people the stores. People begging for water. Because they can't yeah, afford it, apparently. Yeah, it's like, give me a fucking break, dude. Like, Mr. Fat, uh, please, I need just a drop. But you know what it looks like? It looks like a parade at Disneyland. So, yeah. Mm. I, just, um, I saw the, the photo out of context, and I genuinely, when I first saw it, was just like, I don't get it. What's the joke? Like, why did someone match up <laughs> these two things? We're the joke, Mahler. Did, so, the, did you guys see where it put the Jetsons? <laughs> it's, um... 
a lot of people highlight like it just doesn't match it it's such a clash visually and then some other people are like well don't you know that that kind of like scooters and tech and stuff it's a lot of it comes from an era that inspired star wars from george lucas it's like yes yeah, so you don't just meta. throw the literal thing in you're supposed to contextualize yeah. it that's how it works yeah. um the if you want to have a contrast like this, you could use it, you use it to explain this is a, this person is very high status. They're very rich. They're very influential. They're very powerful. They can have the fancy speeders. They can have the nice clean clothes because having clean clothes that in and of itself on a place like, you know, a very dusty and dirty place like Tatooine, that probably means a bit. Most people might wear browns and grays that don't show the dirt that much, but these wealthy people, they could wear bright whites and these colors because they can afford to have it clean and they have multiple changes of clothes so they can show everybody just how well to do that they even are. Even Padme's ship that was, you know, just the silver, that one even yeah, got dirty. Sleek, like man. they showed the sand get on that ship. So, and I don't think anyone in this shot is richer than Padme. So give me a fucking break <laughs> that they are in a gang. How many speeders does and Padme And they have, have that. She has like care. all of the ranks. <laughs> All of this. You gotta collect you, you them all, all the to, colors. Yeah, you you use it to some effect. You know, the visuals are very important in your visual storytelling. Yeah. Because if you're just a commoner, if you're just someone living out their life, doing the best you can, doing your whatever it is you do, and you see Boba Fett, and, and apparently you're struggling to just drink water and survive, and you see this new guy Boba Fett show up, and all those hooligans that were stealing water, and you haven't stolen water. You're you're trying to pay for it because you're an honest person. You're trying to do your best to pay for it. And all those thieves who stole water, not only did they get forgiven and their debt paid, they're working for the guy now with their fancy ass scooters and cybernetics and clean clothes. Man, that must make you seethe. I remember um, on Boba Twitter, Fett is efficiently making as many enemies as possible. There were people <laughs> uh, on Twitter who were like, "Oh, I see. So Dexter's Dexter Jetster's uh, place. That's okay, but this isn't." And, uh, and those people were like, "What the fuck? Who said Dexter Jetster's fucking like place <laughs> is diner? Was that like the peak of Star Wars or something? Like, since when did people defend the shit out of that?" Wait, wait, wait. You mean Dexter's diner? Yeah. On Coruscant, a well, very rich city. So this is and the thing. And he's on one of the upper till. I actually think that di his break. diner is way more defensible than this shit. I would agree. It's on a planet where it makes a bit more sense for it to exist. I'd be fine if Dexter's diner was on Tatooine. I like Dexter. I think he's chill. He knows about Camino Saber Darts. I don't hate. He does. That's very useful <laughs> that he knows about Camino Saber Darts. In fact, it's. Fucking it's it's shockingly <laughs> crucial to the plot of Star Wars that he knows what a Camino saber <laughs> dart is. Well, then, Imagine yes, if to he be didn't. Fair, if... Obi Wan said he was going to go ask an expert that he knew that you know would know of those kind of things. So I mean, if he's a retired criminal and he's hiding out on Coruscant, where a lot of criminals do, and he used all of his money to open up a diner because maybe that was his little alien dream, that <laughs> makes much more sense than anything we've seen in this stupid Disney Star Wars. I just can't believe we're looking at like eighty percent of their sets in this shot. Yeah, this is this is basically new. This is what new Star Wars is. Yeah. Well, I assume you're talking about the the bikes because it for me I'm looking at a, a Wookie butt right now. Same here. Oh shit. Okay. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I've got the other. Which yeah. is the other half of all the sets in this show. <laughs> so I guess it works. <laughs> Wookie butt. Wookie butt is one half of the show. You think Dexter Jetson knows about water? Well, I mean, Boba can teach him. Not. He's right. very much an expert. I love the idea that, yeah, so for chat, apparently everyone else in the call can see this the whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is not yeah. what we had, but that's fine. Half the set of the show. Later that night, they actually save his life from the Black Chrysanthemum, along with the Grimoire uh, bros we just talked about. And the next. Is it. Is it is his name Chrysanthemum? So calling him yes. the Black Chrysanthemum is like if I knocked on my neighbor's door and I said, "Oh, it's the Black Kevin." <laughs> well, no, his name is Black Chrysanthemum, but okay. so people call right. him like BK. Okay. But so calling him the Black Chrysanthemum, it makes it sound like it's a type of alien, not a name, like a title, not a name. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. the Black. I am the rags. No, his name is, is just Black Chrysanthemum. This is the Metal Santa. Commander. The Wombo. The That Star Wars Girl. <laughs> <laughs>
Life from the Black Chrysanthemum, along with the Grimorian Bros we just talked about. And the next day, they're able to chase down the mayor's major domo to extract info from him. And I, I like the right. way that they frame that. that. Yeah. Extract information. It's what all he says is, he's with the Pike people, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and look at it how makes much no sense. damage it caused as well. Yeah, yeah. which exactly. everyone's going to be very happy about that. We're probably that. not going to see repercussions yeah. for that, by the way. The, well, no, of course not. It was like fun! Little, it was a fun action scene! Yay, You're a little chase. alien with your fruit stand that's like, I built this fruit stand with my own bloop hands. And, these and with the price of water these days, ugh, every single one yeah, is precious every money. Yeah, dollar counts, mm -hmm. and I need to sell all these goods. I got it from... You know, this shit doesn't grow up, like, it takes a while to cultivate all of this. <laughs> you stopped yourself. Yeah, then it doesn't grow on trees. It's just, it doesn't it grow from the does. fucking ground. It just, just pop out of the ground like your stupid melons. <laughs> Yeah. To be fair, <laughs> to be fair, it is in Fringy's defense. It is kind of fucking absurd how you can plant food, like you and could bury it, food in the ground, yeah. and it just becomes more Isn't food. Isn't that crazy? Like what a you just don't what think a about dude, that. <laughs> what? That's stupid. Like, they that's expect how, me to buy this shit. Insane. That's yes, how the they planet do. works. You put stuff in the ground and it grows. It's kind of crazy to think about. Mother Earth, man, being kind, you know. Yeah, we hey, are you stewards. gave something to me, so I'm gonna give you some food. Just make sure to plant them seeds again, okay? Okay, I'm trusting you. Don't go cutting down those trees and not planting more seeds, alright? Yes, Mother Earth, well, we'll definitely get onto that. Another cyberpunk bro even manages to spy on a shipment of Pike Syndicate soldiers coming. <laughs> no, man, yeah, he's very inconspicuous. He's a very them. good spy. <laughs> And then he's he's just like right there. They show up and he uh, turns and he takes off. Would you remember Rags? He's, he's looking at them through red. one of his wind mirrors and it's just like, you're right there. Like everyone can right see there. you. What are you doing? That's not stealthy and at all. Then, <laughs> and then after he leaves, because cell phones don't exist, mm -hmm. apparently anymore, he has to go to a specific terminal on a wall. Like it's oh. a payphone in space so that then oh, yeah, he can funny. contact Boba Fett. Um, and then Boba Fett says, thanks for keeping an eye on them. And he's like, oh, sorry, was that offensive <laughs> that I said that? Ooh, I didn't want to offend you. I want you to die for me. I have to inspire That's you. That's a line that should never come out of Boba Fett. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean yeah. to. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Fucking horseshit. Uh, like, keep an eye out. And he's like, ooh, you do have an eye out because you're a little tech thing. I'm so savvy. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. He's like, no, you, I mean, m more literally than ever you mean it like that. I don't even see why that would be in a... Fuck <laughs> off, you're shit, you cuck. I would have, like... I imagine, have said, imagine he's, like, talking directly to him, and then he says, keep an eye out, and then walks off, and then pauses, looks over at him, and then just carries on walking. Because he, <laughs> he realizes that he's just like, eh, that's funny. <laughs> just because you... But yeah. We can't have that. We have to have him go, I'm very sorry if I... If that was a microaggression against your eye, yeah, I don't want to offend you. Well, you can also, argue the response Fett, was weird because if you remember, the, the mod guy goes like, "Oh no, this is actually something I like. This is an upgrade I wanted. Don't worry about it." It's just like, why, yeah, I why? did this to myself. If you can believe it, I did this to myself. <laughs> well, he is, it allows him to spy on people very stealthily. But we should have asked yeah, after. Like, oh, is is that why you couldn't afford the water? Is is that why? He's, uh, he's just saying, if right? he he any shenanigans, are gonna rip that thing out of your fucking face. <laughs> <sighs> Showed respect to a bunch of street urchins who honestly didn't deserve any respect in the first place. But, oh, but wow. exactly. At least we agree on something. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Buffett understands that kids will be kids, and the new tra <laughs> kids they're will not be kids. kids. They're adults. What are you Those are adults. About? Well, yeah. So when what are they like? Forty start? years old. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> kids will be kids. <laughs> you punks, and this like a fucking grab for their like. Yes, I, I, I act up in my young hey. age. <laughs> Please don't be mad. I'm just Please trying to have a bit of fun. These in kids my young age. stealing water and breaking shit with their and body balls. And having crazy ass jackhammer feet. <laughs> in my day, it was only three weeks pay for one week water. God, imagine fucking working for Boba Fett. He's like, these, these little children with their water stealing. You're like, can you punish somebody, please? Next, he's going to be like this Pike Syndicate, bunch of kids messing around. The twin Jabba Hut people. He's like, oh, you kids. 30-year-olds will be 30-year-olds. <laughs>
Weapons will come and go. What matters is how capable are they in a gunfight? You see, because... Well, seeing as they don't have... They're not at all. <laughs> yeah, the one time we saw them use a gun, to... they aimed for the armor. Only Four one of them had a, a gun. <laughs> yeah, he, only one of them had a little inky-dinky gun, and he managed every single time to hit the black chrysanthemum's armor. I, so, I start to wonder work. as well, because if you remember, he shoots like twice, and then he, he's closed the distance so much he can get knocked out. Do you think whenever they film an action scene now, they, since like literally fucking The Force Awakens or whatever, they're like, uh, alright, we need an action scene, uh, we'll have a guy with a gun, just walk forward as you shoot it, so then we can have the actual fight where you get close, and then someone's like, oh, well, why would I do that? And it's like, no, we always, that's just the best way to do it, so that you can, the fight scene can be longer. Like, it's just written in stone as a piece of advice. Yeah. Could you yeah. imagine, like, you're a choreographer and they tell you, like, oh, here's a trick. I don't know if you because this is your first time choreographing a scene. If you have them sort of aggressively running toward them while shooting, then you can get them close enough that they can take the gun off them. And you just look at him like, yeah, It helps wow. that they yell. Yell before you do, uh, so they know you're coming and where you are. That and, always um, helps. Yes, that's important. And, he, and, and you're just sitting there like, well, no, we can't have him have the gun because you'll just shoot him and win. He's like, no, you can make the gun jam. Let's do that. And you're like, yeah, I guess we could. I guess we could do that. Uh, yeah, right. We could randomly have the gun jam like Mando, where a gun jams for the first time for no reason, just so that we could facilitate a action scene. And then he refuses I guess. to grab Bill's Bill's gun because why would you do that? Yeah, yeah. Why would you great. do that? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Bad. And I guess there's no weapons on board. Yeah, that he could have. It's, it's sure whatever. It's I guess great action it's scenes. All... Should I like throw something at the guy with the gun to distract him, or should I take cover? No, 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 he's fine. He'll just run at you. It's all good. Yeah, it's great. Because Boba Fett <sighs> approaches all of these situations with such a level head, he doesn't miss potential opportunities to find allies or make some more. He should have died like 17 times by now, mm. but okay. Money. This makes him an extremely confident leader. I mean, he even goes out of his way not to offend one of his new. Oh soldiers. my God, he's actually gonna reference. Oh my this? God, they, <laughs> oh, I was no. using it as a joke. He goes oh. out of his way not to offend uh, his people. That's great. Dude, if I your boss was like constantly that. walking on eggshells in front of you, I'm pretty sure you'd be like, man, I feel like I could kind of take your job, really. Yeah, yeah I, I think I should be the one in the armor, quite frankly. Because maybe Go I got some visions of my own for this place. Yep. ...who has one eye. Keep an eye on them. Sorry, it's an expression. You don't have to be sorry, mate. I paid a lot for this. I, I just... I yeah, the, a lot the, the, for the, he even says like, I paid a lot for this. Like, hey, chat, this was the thing we were just making fun of, and now he's using it as an example we of were... how great Boba Fett is. <laughs> like, Unbelievable. Uh, I don't even think it made them... it into our episode coverage, uh, the edited version. No, um, Fringy would have edited that part, but I'm assuming it's because it didn't quite come out clear. I think there was a couple things being yeah, said yeah, at once. It was... Yeah, it's just cause it just goes to show that even after the stuff gets edited, there's just there's still more stupid in there. Oh yeah. And the oh, way he calls go. him mate Ridiculous. feels kind of disrespectful too. Like that's your boss and he's like, Oh, don't worry about it, mate. Like eh, all right. Yeah. Dynamic is very off, but um here we go. How he handled Black Chrysanthemum. He's just gonna say he didn't kill him, and that's great. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's it. The Black Crescenton is Chewbacca if he were a raging psychopathic killer with no control over his impulses. Boba Fett has actually worked alongside the Black Crescenton and they got a bit of history together. And so Boba Fett what? knows- Wait, he has no control over his impulses? I don't remember- Why is he a bounty hunter? I don't That's feel like they really sold that they had a history in the show at all, um, whether or not they have. They decanonized oh, all of the, the comic books and all the EU, so Technically, that history isn't there anymore. Hmm. ...that having the Black Chrysanthemum hunting him down is a terrible thing. Luckily, he and his minions managed to trap the beast in his rancor pit. Yeah, the now, beast? Wow, that's the person. Then the beast, there. he's an alien! <laughs> no, I mean, it's not the, not the dichotomy I was going for. Um, but he's, <laughs> like, he, oh, he's like the guy who said that, um, that, Bob, that, uh, that, uh, Chewbacca wasn't a real character. Oh fucking it hell! Just, Chewbacca you've, was just an animal. What? Yeah, yeah. You've, you've triggered a memory, but I can't remember who said that. Who who did say that? Yeah, it was the guy who was like covering your TLJ video that we just sort of watched for funsies a little bit, but it was shit. And there was a part in it where he said that Chewbacca was just an animal. He wasn't a character. <laughs> oh, okay. Damn. And that pissed off a lot of people, understandably, because <laughs> our our problem was that Chewbacca in the sequel trilogy was just relegated to a a, a member berry chauffeur. Yes. 
when, so, um, especially in M Empire, is probably his biggest role where he's much more layered and there's a lot going on for him. Um, but no, yeah, you're right. He just drives people around in the sequel trilogy. And then Ray kills him, but then she doesn't. <laughs> Black Chrysanthemum was exiled from Kashyyyk in disgrace and had very few individuals who actually cared about him or kept in touch with him. As a matter of fact, no one probably would have missed Is he actually going to argue all of this stuff that nobody put into the show because they couldn't be bothered? Mm -hmm. And that is mm -hmm. going to be why Boba decided to be nice. You know, it's like, oh, she showed him niceness to this creature that's been given well, such meanness. You say that, but remember earlier when I said that uh, Boba showing mercy and not killing that evil biker gang in the bar led to that biker gang killing the um, the Tuscans. Uh -huh, uh -huh, well, uh -huh. he let the Black Chrysanthemum go, and later on he sees him assaulting and ripping the limbs off of innocent people in another establishment in town. Yeah, mm -hmm. So that's the second time that's worked where he out has really let well. someone go. Yeah, where it's worked, where his his mercy, if you want to call it that, has really worked out well for other people. He's literally creating more and more victims of a kind by not killing people. Yeah. Boba's watching this. He sees the direct effects of both decisions. And uh, in the case of the second one, he sees the guy attacking random people in the bar, ripping one of their arms off, causing a huge ruckus. And then he hires him. People must fucking hate Boba Fett. So Good. much. I know I do. <laughs> nice and like apologizes for expression, so they love him. Trying to meet. What the hell do you think the like grander plans are? Where's Where's Boba Fett gonna end up? I don't even think they know what their grander plans are. <laughs> don't want to make him a good guy. That much is clear. They're gonna have a. They're gonna want to do their Iron Man two scene where him and Mando are back to back shooting. I'm I'm sure of it. I said it would happen in Mando season two. We didn't get it. So maybe it'll be in his season when Mando guest stars next episode. Well, somebody just... leaked that Mando is going to be in the season finale. Well, well the, we I mean, assumed based. Off I don't of... know if that's true. But... Oh, it could be. Um, I as well. I know we that were... there's theories that Han Solo is going to turn up in the finale as well. Yeah. What? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fuck off. Dude, do you think he'll shoot first? <laughs> no. Ugh, <God. laughs> That's oh, Why would you say that? Why would oh, you say that, oh. Muffler? It is a good point in chat. It seems as if offering leniency to vile people does not change their underlying character from being pieces of shit. Whoa. Yeah. You don't say. Turns out if you let someone go, if they do something terrible, you catch them and you let them go, they will keep doing terrible things because they know that they're going to get let off. Do you think Han yeah, Solo will turn up and because Boba Fett's like a million years old somehow, he'll, he'll ha Han Solo will shoot a bunch of people and be really chuffed and then, and then Boba will turn to him and say, great kid, don't get cocky. And then the mm -hmm. whole audience mm -hmm. will be like, yes! yes! Stop. <laughs> Please stop. And then Han's like, I'm glad I could help you, Mr. Fett. I will pass on my thing to Luke, because you guys are actually friends now, right? Mr. Fett. And then Mr. he'll Fett be like, yeah, we're friends now. We're all friends. And then they hug. <laughs> because, because that's what Star Wars fans want, is Boba Fett to be friends with Han Solo. It would be really cool. And then some, someone on Twitter will write a fucking thread where they're like, that was such an incredible emotional journey. How far Boba Fett and Han Solo have come. They used to be enemies, but now they're allies. Isn't that incredible? That's, That's I so cried. Incredible. It's I iconic. Cried when I saw That's... Han Solo uh, and Boba Fett working together. What Star is really about, really. It's about, it's family. about family. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Maul is playing it's with his dolls again. Animal. This is what Disney will do. Yes. <laughs> and then Boba Fett offer, that, offers Han Solo a job. <laughs> <laughs> and then Han like puts his hand on on the helmet, and he's like, "You know, me and Leia broke up." And we're just like, "What?" <laughs> and really? Boba Fett's like, "Oh no, 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 no! I'm not like, no, I'm not, no, 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 just yeah." And no, then he and then he looks uh, off to the I'm side. Like the Disney that. producer's like, "You are, you you are, <laughs> you are, you actually. are, <laughs> you are, you're definitely, you're mega Please gay." Please don't let that be real. <laughs> you are super gay. 
<laughs> also, no. if you're a clone of Django, that means that retroactively Django is also gay. <laughs> Everyone is gay. In the all of them are gay. <laughs> They're all gay. All the which means all the clones are gay. Yep, that's the one. It's the Wookiee, if he just disappeared. As a matter of fact, when Boba Fett tries to return the Black Chrysanthemum back to the Hut Twins the next day, they just tell Boba Fett to sell him back to the Gladiator Pits once again. That's where the Black Chrysanthemum used to work, as a slave. But instead, Boba Fett frees the Black Chrysanthemum. There's no hard feelings, no life debt, no demands. Yeah, so pathetic. Working. Nobody wanted this, but that's fine. This is insanely stupid. Almost killed him It's the like this. Before. This is Boba Fett reward gets rewarded by... It's it's nuts. I none of this makes sense in any way. You can't slice this in a way that makes sense. If his helmet <sighs> is uh, Beskar, how did he get that dent in it? Some uh, Beskar yeah. bullet. Uh. <laughs> Checkmate. Yeah. Get fucked. Go away. <laughs> Even gives him some advice about not taking jobs from scug holes. Boba Fett and the Black Chrysanthemum kind of get each other. They belong to a very okay. small and elite group of top-tier uh, bounty hunters. Sure, While not all of these tier. bounty hunters got along, Boba Fett clearly had respect for the Wookiee. I hope his charity towards the Black Chrysanthemum Didn't he just say that off. Black Chrysanthemum was bought by the huts from a slave He was a slave, gladiator he's thing. a gladiator. So is he, has he been a bounty hunter for a couple days, or what? We, maybe he was a bounty hunter, and then things went a bit south, and so he got turned into a gladiator, and then he got purchased by the Huts to be a assassin bodyguard. Um, so right. he's he's a bit of an everyman. He's he's dabbled in all kinds of things: bounty hunting, gladiating, assassinating. You know. Um, so, you know, it's as you do. You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. You want to diversify your skill set. Or do you? Yeah. You Jack do. of all trades, master of none, might be That's better. That's right. Than He's clearly not a master of assassinating. No, clearly um, <laughs> he needs to get a little bit more practice. Yeah. So you know what? I'm not that much of an assassin. So I guess I'll go back to the other skills that I've honed. Maybe I'll be a slave gladiator. That worked out decently, all things considered. Or maybe I'll try bounty hunting again. Maybe I'll. I've always wanted to be a hairdresser, and maybe now's the time. <laughs> look at these. Look at those braids. I mean, they look, they look like <laughs> braids. They're just hair. <laughs> look at my down. hair. <laughs> I don't even know how that metal braid sticks onto his hair. It, it's it's way too loose to hold on to it. It's, it doesn't well, look like been, it's elastic anyway. So I've given a reference in our chat with my little Boba Fett picture. It's a steak in there. There's a big bloody steak. It's invisible, though. Oh, underneath uh, it? It's it's like he... into his, uh, mm -hmm. on the other side, underside? Okay, all right. It's, uh, it's a clip-on. Like a tie, he just he, those aren't actually attached to him. He just puts it under his neck and clips them onto his fur, and they just hang down. Yeah, and there's a bit of tape as well. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm with it. One day, just like how his other kind actions have also brought him more allies and friends to watch his back. Because now that he has an intergalactic, like all this video is, is be nice and everything will work. Like oh, no, pretty sweet. much. Then in the once in the one, it, imagine. If you're a crime lord or maybe like an army general, like you should not take this advice. You no. can't just you can't no, no one should take this advice. You can't you can't be the manager of a business and be infinitely forgiving to a fault and to just let employees take advantage of you. Like this isn't good advice for anybody. There's a place for kindness and there's a place to be responsible and stern. <laughs> and there there is a there is a thick line between being overly charitable and being nice and allowing people to take advantage of you and walk all over you. And you gotta know where that line is and you gotta know not to cross it. Um, Super Chat just came in that I keep hearing black Chris Hansen. Black Chris <laughs> Hansen. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat right there? Why yeah. don't you have a seat? Yeah. <laughs> Act a drug dealing operation coming to Tatooine. He'll need all the help he can get to fight them off. So there you have it, guys. That is my analysis of Stuff, Boba couple Fett. Dudes. Analysis. Cool analysis. analysis. All right. That's an interesting word to use. Yeah. An analysis. I think he's a great leader up until this point. He's taken a lot of up terrible up until this point. Yeah, I was gonna say he what he needed to redraft uh, that because it makes it sound like yeah. he's failed recently. 
Yeah, he did something that made him a very uncool dude guy. Yeah. No one wants to die for him now. Nope. Situations which are basically assassination attempts and turned them into beneficial outcomes somehow. It's it's really somehow is a good yes somehow. <laughs> yeah. the, 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 it's a mystery to everyone. Of course, yeah. If I continues doing this, so that he can actually bring some stability to this hellhole known as Tatooine. Well, guys. What has he done to bring stable. stability? Yeah, yeah everyone yeah, should hate him. He could only have made it worse, because he killed a five-year leader, and then he just hoped everyone would work for him. How could he possibly he have made it He hired all the people chaotic? who make everyone's... Yeah. He's hired, he making he, the lives... He's paying people who stole water from the local trader, and he killed the recent, like, leader. Like, these things are not encouraging yeah. less chaos. He ruined the marketplace, he punished the people who killed the Tuscans. He's like doing all the things that would make you be hated. And then he hires this assassin Everyone should he's despise Boba. He heard that it took a month's pay to get a week's worth of water, and he didn't give a fuck. He didn't care. Dude, imagine like... That should be... The, the twins <sighs> told Chrysanthemum, they were like, if you fail the assassination, we're just gonna pretend to disown you, so he'll hire you, and then you can kill him at night when you're his bodyguard. It'll be fine. It's the backup plan. He we'll hires you, everybody yeah, who tries to kill mulligan. him. It's amazing. I don't... Uh, yeah, it's, it's bizarre. <laughs> you know, they were smuggling C4 in the Ragco. They just smuggle a whole yeah. set of assassins inside the Ragco because it's just a plastic Ragco. <laughs> what if... You can clearly what if see they it just had... clearly not the real Ragco. Yeah. See I think we're going to... Like, Shut up, Rag. What if they just had that massive pallet it was just full of C4. It was just a <laughs> massive pile of C4. <laughs> and they this... just said, ah, yes, please accept this gift of a massive <laughs> pile of C4. No, right. And Jane goes like, ah. They sweat like crazy and fatting themselves. They're like, please accept this rancor. And, he's, and Boba's like, that doesn't look like a rancor. <laughs> like, no, it's definitely Boba a like, rancor. Thank you so much. <laughs> C4 is emotionally complex. All right. <laughs> I want to ride it. I want to ride the same <laughs> yeah, course, please. Sure. Yeah, you ride the brain core, sure. Yeah, Daddy they Treo is just supposed to keep. hit the plunger when he gets onto it, and he just immediately is like, yeah, you could climb it onto it, go right ahead. <laughs> just, <laughs> yep. It would fit Boba Fett's character of being one of the dumbest idiots in all of the galaxy. <laughs> There's a pilot, they could draw a smiley face on it. It's like, no, this is a, this is a rancor. Rancor, and there's yeah. little fangs on the, on the frowny face, maybe, little fangs on it. There's a rancor. Piles yeah. of, <laughs> the piles of C4 are emotional, complex creatures. Danny Trio runs behind the pile of C4 going, <laughs> Like an actual <laughs> Looney Tunes plot. It's an aggressive He looks at a smiley face like, oh man, this rancor looks way friendlier than the ones I've known. And then Danny Trio's goes like, yeah, they're very emotional, complex animals. <laughs> Like he's he's so, scooting it inside. He's all about to take it. The twins are just like, "Are you, are you for real? Like, <laughs> this wasn't supposed to work, but it is." So how does the analyst, we'll call him from this video, how does that same person, two weeks earlier, make a video called "Why Boba Fett's Peaceful Approach to Crime Will Eventually Fail"? I I thought maybe. It was going to be a different host and a different writer for this channel, and they just didn't talk with each other. But it's the same guy. <laughs> he it's still same... looks disheveled and homeless. <laughs> it's the same guy. I don't know. How I... do you? I can't explain it. A week, <laughs> a week from now, after watching episode five, he's going to change his mind completely again. And then by <laughs> seven, he'll be back on. He's brilliant, actually. People <sighs> like the vicious video. cycle. That's the thing. People think this is like let me let's look at some of the comments. Oh no, do we have to? <laughs> this is seven point one thousand up votes, and as far as I can tell, only hundred fifty down or hundred sixty down. It's it's bizarre. Um, um, I like Boba's maturity, wisdom, and confidence in himself. He is acting like a man who is at peace with himself and past. Uh huh. Um, Cute. He, no, I... these are dumb. These are just. Fear, fear can only get you so far. It never creates true loyalty. What Boba is doing is a far more stable and sustainable way of gaining power and respect. The largest empire the world has ever known was fucking Attila the Hun. Uh, no, it's just like I love Khan, right? 
Oh yeah, Genghis Khan. You're right. Yeah, at Genghis Khan. Um, the, the how many emperors did Rome have? How many? Three. It's just reality stands in stark contrast to this insistence that if you're just nice, it creates a very strong. Well, it's it's complicated, right? There's 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 obviously a need to make friends. Like it's really Definitely. important in terms of geopolitics to have friends and to have people whose interests align with yours and to work together to achieve broader objectives. Like you can't really be an island, but like what it means to to do that is complicated. Sometimes it means being incredibly diplomatic with people, but sometimes, you know, countries go to war. Like, it happens. Um, it's it's not... When you're, like, when you're a leader, especially of, like, a criminal organization, I don't know that it's as simple as, if you fuck me over, I will do nothing in response. It's cool. It, I'm really not upset about it. Like, even if you're not really upset about it, it might still be worthwhile to demonstrate that you are powerful and you're willing to take action. Just feels like an incredibly naive. Oh my god! I gotta read the a couple comments. Wait, real quick. The description of his video about how his peaceful approach will eventually fail. The description says mutual respect with your vassals is a lofty goal, but sometimes you just have to crush skulls. Oh, that, that was two weeks ago. <laughs> what happened, right? dude? What happened? <laughs> I know all the great, all of the great emperors of mankind, all the great kings and leaders who had vast empires and long lineages go away go away i don't want to talk to you um all these people they considered themselves equal with their vassals and equal with their servants and their advisors yes yes of course absolutely they definitely didn't see themselves as, as above. Uh, someone in chat has mentioned a machiavelli quote that i remember where he said that being loved and feared is ideal it's safer to be feared if you can have only one and you must avoid being hated it's like yeah yep that really follows you know what uh, I think happened? I Because th I'm reading some of the comments on his video about how his approach will fail, and his comments are, like, disagreeing with him, so maybe he read the room and changed his mind. I guess. You know, to, to appease his commenters. That's my guess. Otherwise, I don't understand it at all. I guess the problem uh, is that there's no... You're not going to get... There is... There is absolutely a conversation to be had here about optimal strategies to employ to try and basically build like an empire and to gain allies and and curry favor and and uh, how to win and, friends and influence people. Okay. Yeah, in a certain sense, <laughs> but Book of Boba Fett isn't interested in doing that. Book of Boba Fett is very surface level. Not we're not it's we're like not going to world vision of what a little their bit. favorite yeah. character. Would because the people who write these shows are well it's like john favreau it's like he's just he's just a mental 12 year old i just it's gotta be i'm more willing just to accept no that he doesn't care and he's just yeah that's maybe that's the case um we got some comments gonna... here oh no uh thank you for your this is mando addict said this oh no um <laughs> thank you for your analysis and insight i agree with you Favreau and Filoni are giving us a far more interesting character in Boba Fett. He is no longer a one-dimensional character, but an evolving one. The writing is excellent mm. and well-paced. Keep up your incisive and witty analysis. You know, uh, by the way, uh, yeah? I was just going to say, in terms of dimensions, Palpatine probably had more in the sequel trilogy than he did in the OT, which is better. <laughs> but yeah, we all know the answer to that. Yeah. Uh, Melieko says, this one's insane. This is what I figured out he was doing from the moment he befriended the Tuscans after what they did to him. If that were me, my reaction would have been to beat the snot out of that kid for torturing me. He didn't. Goes to shoe, Boba Fett is a better human than I. Okay. <laughs> after after seeing the consequences of his actions of kindness, I actually felt like a terrible person. I began paying much closer attention to his reactions to situations, opening up to other possibilities besides violence, and where those decisions could lead him. Being kind to someone won't always mean that they'll have your back, but that they won't come after you later, but it does mean they won't 100% hate you. Someone so like, said, again, "Someone, there's a response that says, good on you for that kind of self-reflection. 
the, these people so, are nuts. These people I, are well, nuts. Again, you can you can absolutely explore the thing of like even if you get screwed over, if you respond with kindness or whatever, that that might be a way that you want to go through life. I guess the problem is that that is probably incongruous with being a crime lord. That you can take nah. that kind of approach because you have to be pragmatic as fuck. You have to be you have to be thinking about what the like it can't just be about your reaction to things. It needs to be about how your reactions will be perceived by other people. People within your organization, people who might want to take over your organization, enemies, the law. Like it, it you, you you can't really have that kind of approach. Feels really incongruous with the story that they're trying to tell of basically somebody who's like, I'm gonna mellow out and not hold grudges and be really zen and calm and just go through life and not try to you know pick fights and where did this wanna... come from because he fell into a pit and then got enslaved why would this be the thing that causes such a radical change in his character i think the fun summary is when people you, you say it as um boba fett fell into the sarlacc pit and then he cared about native rights it's like I don't understand. Out of all the connections you could make, that's the one that's just so far away. Yeah. <laughs> you just sit here thinking, like, what did the writers think they were doing? Like, the the the, the sand belongs to the Tuscans. It's just like, Boba Fett? Why do you care? I thought you wanted... Don't you want to go home? And then you think back to the OT, and when he's walking around Jabba's palace, all he's thinking about is those Tuscans. They deserve their sand back. Yeah, I don't care yeah, that where, this where guy is here. And he fell in the Sarlacc and he was like, you know, getting eaten by the Sarlacc is much like the Tuscans were eaten by the, the modernization of Tatooine. And now I, I associate <laughs> with them. Well, yeah, it's, he fell into the pit and then all of a sudden he gives a shit about these sorts of social issues. I don't, he I fell just, into the Disney pit. Why can't we just have him be like an anti-hero? Why can't we do that? Why can't we have him be making decisions that are morally dubious? Nope. Not as marketable, I guess. It's I guess not, they're well. I guess yeah. it isn't, but they're like research. it'd be cooler. Yeah. It would be very cool to have an interesting badass character who doesn't well, mess it, around and will kill the, the fuck crazy, out of you. Crazy, crazy thing. I some um a friend of mine been watching Arcane and is very much liking it. One of the things they they mentioned was how they were surprised certain things were done. Because surely, it's it's a, it's going to knock you out of having a a, a bigger audience. Uh, specifically, it'll lock you out of having younger people, which these shows are clearly built to be able to have fucking babies watch it. And it's like, I could see a, a suit being like, yeah, that's better because we'll have more eyes. And it's just like, look how many people have been talking about arcane, like. Yeah, yeah, I think that there is a real interest. Game of Thrones. I mean, again, Star Wars Battlefront 2, the big hype for that was we get to play as Empire, and then that wasn't what happened, and people were really disappointed. Yeah, they got off that real quick. It's like, nope, actually, you're the good guy. I'm not even talking yeah. about um, following characters that are uh, morally dubious or even just full-on evil. I'm talking about, I guess, Edge being a bit more adult right like people people are receptive to uh more mature i guess the problem is though that you, when you look at what is super duper successful right now like marvel true but, again, but like i'm pretty sure uh, th this is interesting that this got brought up because moon knight apparently that trailer has gotten more views than like any of the other marvel shows did in their first i, th like, I honestly like, think people knight, people are ready for edge yeah, like we exactly. need a bit more punch. And, and mm -hmm. Apparently, Daredevil was back to like in the top ten in the Nielsen ratings recently. Yep. A lot and of that show. Well, I think that's because he was in Spider Man, right? Well, well, but but I guess it would be the idea that there was like some renewed interest in the character, and, and the it show, is a character who the, the show, show is, still has to you know, be, like, hold people's attention, right? I can't just be Daredevil. Show, yeah. It's not like the 2003 right. film has suddenly gotten loads of sales or, or watching. <laughs> yeah. It's because the Daredevil show, again, is something that we all have written off as like, we'll never get that again. They're not going to do it. They don't have the balls. And it sucks. Because if it's like, yeah, but it's Disney. It's like, there's not a drop of blood in your fucking Boba Fett show. How did that happen? Wouldn't I remember the dude who got shot by the rocket and he just disappeared? Yeah, the guy he, like, got his arm vaporized. torn off. No blood. Yeah, no blood. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. in A New Hope, when he got his arm cut off, there was blood everywhere. Uh, there was. There was blood. Yeah. It was a dismembered arm on the ground, and it was a big deal, and they called the cops. I, 
like I genuinely think that it's it's kind of bullshit. Like the whole the homogenization into everything being sanitized and soft and so consumable for everybody. It's like you make some harder stuff, and Boba Fett was your perfect choice for it. Imagine a Disney perfect. product that was like, yeah, I guess children can't watch this. Like that's fine. Just some variety. That's fine. Make it a Some show that's not that. required to understand the other films or whatever, but make it a show that fucking represents the character. Have him fucking see, kill yeah. somebody, for Christ's sake. It does feel like yeah. a lot of adults act sense and sense think like children, though. That's there saying. was so much sanitized stuff, though. Like, uh, you know, the, when you look at, uh, it's like in first-person shooters now, right? When you got your little heroes doing their fucking dance moves and shit. And like a war story. In a war game, there's like no hey, desire bringing. to make anything die. Sometimes that's just how it intense. works out. Sometimes, yeah. People talking about how much fun it is that they're having in a war zone. It's really, haha. Uh -huh, better luck next time. I did so good. Yeah, I still got it. Isn't the world in some global horrific economic crisis? No, we're having fun doing our little nah, battle. Nah, that's great. Here. Honestly, the points oh, I honestly, both uh, hat. rip off, rip open a belly, and intestines fall out. That's what I want. Do it. Yeah. Fucking shove a thermal detonator inside after doing that, and kick him off like a platform and explode. Yeah, have an intense interrogation, you know, with a guy. He's, you know, holding him over the rooftop if you don't want make blood. A, Do something yeah, make a, a dark bit. Star Wars. I mean, go for it. Show blood and explosions and get gritty and mm -hmm. do it, man. Put someone's, put a neck Star Wars in isn't about wars knife. anymore. They can't have anything. Yeah, you know, Star Wars has to be to sell it to the kids. Star chats. And, and walking around. Star nice. Star, star adventures. Star lame. And you know what's nuts That's as you. well? You might yeah. think for a moment, well, all of us feel kind of the same. Chat seems to feel the same. It's like, surely with enough people feeling this, it's like, dude, we are. We are a lower voice compared to the main set of people who just eat this shit up. They're like, yeah, Boba yeah. Fett, yeah. Yum, 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 yum. He's so smart and clever. There are people wow, who are like, this is so well written. There are people who consider well, this like, top-tier Star Wars. Well, there's a lot of stupid people in the world. That's what I'm saying. Like, the, I don't know if Disney are ever going to get the message, but the best we can do is keep saying this is shit and giving reasons mm -hmm. and then see what they do. But I think that if they had released a bit more of a hardcore Boba Fett, they would have gotten much more attention and much higher ratings. Oh, for sure. It would have been Absolutely. unique. <clears throat> yeah, but then they wouldn't have been able to have it on Disney Plus because all the soccer moms and all the Karens be like, show that to my children. How dare you have this on Disney Plus? <sighs> Can't they have Disney After Dark or some shit? I don't know. I think they got their, their oh there's God. like a sub brand that they have where it's got all of the like Fox stuff that's, you know, more that's mature. The, they, ha they have to, right? Like, they can't just be for kids forever. You're gonna have. The fact is, like, a lot of the people who love Star Wars as kids are all fucking grown up. They want some hardcore shit now. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure that kids now, like, I'm pretty sure Marvel is like the main thing now. Um, well, more so than Star Wars. There's this funny realization, too, in my head, where I'm just like, you know, when I was fucking, like, ten, I would have loved Arcane, and it's like, yeah, but there's lots of blood in Arcane, lots of people die. It's like, you I didn't fucking care. I want to see Boba Fett kill people when I was ten. You sure. It's like, I yeah. want to play Grand Theft Auto. Like, <laughs> everybody wanted to play Grand Theft Auto. I mean, don't most kids watch Jurassic Park when they're... Like yeah, little, they it's love like people it. getting eaten alive yeah. by dinosaurs. Like, and they come on, kids love, love that kind of stuff. I saw it when I was like six. I'm like, this is the shit. <laughs> yeah. well, how old love were it. you guys when you watched like Predator, Alien? I was, I was eight. Yeah, probably. I Anal. was a little. Yeah. Anal, so I, uh, I was a little late on. Go ahead. No, I would say I'm just probably like ten. Probably, I would say. I remember my dad waited until I was eight, and then he showed me a whole bunch, and one of the first was Silence of the Lambs. Which is a disturbing <laughs> movie to watch when you're eight, but fuck it, I loved it. That's one of my favorite movies. I know, a lot of my favorite so movies you were, drink it. were movies I watched when I was probably just too young to actually watch them, but I love them, so, you know. I think I've said it before, Stick but my family were hilarious, I was, I was allowed to see those, but I wasn't allowed to see anything with a boob in it. No, the boob. <laughs> So, like, no 80s movies ever? Well, uh, sometimes, if they knew where the boob was, they would be okay with it, because they would cover eyes sort of thing. But the funny thing is, you could watch <laughs> a person get shredded into tiny pieces of meat, and my mom and dad would just be, like, chilling, happy with smiles. And then when they see a boob, they're like, oh, God, you'll die. Oh, no, not the boobies. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my parents were a little more, um, they, they shielded me a bit from that sort of thing. Um, my dad, if he played Quake, I wasn't allowed to watch. You know, I wasn't allowed to see The Simpsons, you know, stuff like that. Um, they weren't like overly serious about it, but they, they kind of, there was a barrier uh, there. Um, Did The Simpsons have anything to do with the fact that it was, was a bit critical of like religion in any way? I don't think so. I think it was just seen by them as uh, an adult adult-ish cartoon, I guess, in their mind. So I mean, I The Simpsons is it. like an adult cartoon. Yeah, I, being honest with ourselves, but I would give yeah, you I that. Um, Simpsons yeah. was my crack since before I could remember. I was watching Simpsons oh, yeah. just s s since Go. I can't remember a time where I wasn't watching it. But it was always I, on at like 6pm. It was perfect. <laughs> Every night. <laughs> it's always Simpsons. I have a... um. That, like I, I didn't really have video games or things that when I played them, it was at other people's houses and whatnot. And I always had a big fascination with them because, you know, if something's forbidden, you know, it, yeah. it, it's very alluring and interesting and you want to learn about it. So, yeah, it was. um, Yeah, so eventually, like I didn't get I didn't get unrestricted Internet access until I was in college. So I which did for because a lot of my parents absurd. had no idea how the Internet worked. <laughs> yeah. Um so I was just uh kinda how it was for me. The internet taught me a lot very quickly. <laughs> 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 Not to mention fucking Xbox 360 voice lobbies. That was uh, uh we were the generation that oh, yeah. had no prep for that. That's just you were thrown in, you would hear everything. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> and so that made me um man, that those Modern Warfare 2 lobbies and everything. Yep. It was all fair game. And so you get bathed in that. And oh, you, you have to wade through the <laughs> muck and the gunk and the racial slurs and the sexual <laughs> comments and all the horrific things people say. And you bathe and marinate in that. And you come out invulnerable on the other side. Yeah, you go, you go back to real life where they're like, oh, man, shut up. You're like, you don't know what I've seen. <laughs> 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 I've seen man-made horrors beyond your wildest <laughs> comprehension. And then they were like, "Time to ban it," and you're like, "Oh, that was okay, I guess." Wow. And now it's just, I like it just doesn't bother me. That sort of thing just doesn't bother me at all. Because I because the... I was exposed to that in the safest possible environment that you could ever have. You could leave whenever you want. You were anonymous. You well, could back out they couldn't actually do anything to you to borrow Every... the analytical skills of this man on screen mm -hmm. you went one of two ways you became immune or you decided it's time to find a way to ban words sad so that was uh sadism <laughs> Is it even? Is it even? Te it's technically not even done. We got twenty. Oh, okay. Seconds. Let's see. Maybe there's an yeah, outro. There's say. more. Maybe he'll say like "All April Fools," Bandera, <laughs> Boba Fett. Stuff. I got you, Efap. We're like, oh my god. <laughs> oh man, he knows. So let me know in the comments. That would be pretty great. Tell what you think about Boba Fett's leadership abilities uh, so far. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification Horrific. button down below so you don't miss out on the rest of our awesome content. As usual, thanks for joining us today. If you're watching this, you are Generation Tech. No, I'm not. But if I'm not watching, we'll this, got a channel name for a second. What a terror! I hate their logo. I am not Generation yeah. Tech, and you can't make me. It's yeah. like a, it's like it looks like the uh, like a like an old Scooby Doo, like uh, the name of an episode. That's how they would font it with, you know. Don't insult Scooby Doo like that. Yeah. No, it sort of it does. It does though. Well, we did it. Um. We did oh, it, right. yeah. And we're at three and a half hours, which means, especially th th that plus the fact that Jay is unable to make it, means we will not be doing the second video today. What oh was God. the second video going to be, Mahler? Well, I did put it in the title so I can reveal, if you can tell what CS on TSS means. What do you think that means? Oh, Counter-Strike on the Sub-Sonic. Close. Nailed. Not correct. Oh, boy. It was close, though. Damn it. Uh... Uh, content mm, CS on TSS the C on TSS Cinema Sins mm -hmm. on yeah. the oh 
the Starship on Troopers. The oh. Suicide Squad. You did it. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Cinema Sins on the Suicide yeah. Squad. Yeah. Jay seemed excited uh, uh, to cover uh, the video. Uh, the reason that I, I was interested in covering it is because I saw it through uh, Bob Vids' new video about Cinema Sins. The amount of the, the stuff he says about that movie in that video, there'll be plenty for us to talk about. Um, hey, I've got a question. Maybe because we are EFAP and we've been going for many hours, maybe you should bug him, bug you maybe should poke Jay, and maybe he's up now. I don't maybe think he's well rested. He's gonna. He went to sleep like uh, four and a half hours ago, and I was speaking to him right before he did, and he was exhausted. So yeah, no, why no. then? He ain't up yet. And you know what? That's okay. That is okay. Um, because yeah, that, some people aren't built for it. That's fine. We'll have. Uh, they can't handle it. Well, I was gonna say, Rags, we got we got quite can't a few messages it. to be able to get through. Uh, yeah. White. All right. White the 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 mother load as they say the the amount. But, oh, um, of super chats this episode. That's and, very generous. Of and them. I've said that's I want to normalize. You know, three and a half hours before we do super chats. That's, that's great. That's a really strong amount. Mm -hmm. You know. Look, rags. Super rags. Me, you, and Fringy are getting old. We can't be doing ten We're hours like of video Fett. coverage yeah, every every to... time. It's time for the future. Um. Yeah, that video was terrible, and this will just this will just act as the. A Boba Fett episode of EFAP. I don't know that we would do another one unless there's another video that catches my attention by the time the whole season's done. But um, what you'll I mean, be getting you is our coverage. We're of only halfway four through the season. Tomorrow. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It could ooh, happen. Ooh. Um, tomorrow. Yes. Cindy. That sounds exciting. It will be. Rags, I don't see someone why said Rags be. and Mahler needed back to tank. Yeah. Hmm. I, I wouldn't mind a back to tank. That sounds comfy. So. I would worry that does his um I have a I I forget does his thing cover his nose or is it just the mouth? I think it's just the mouth. Because I feel like if I'm sleeping in that stuff, I would just accident just breathe in through my nose or attempt to and just get a. Oof, that would be so uncomfortable. Ugh. Yeah, that would be because even when you're underwater, and you have the some you have just the goggles that cover your um your eyes and you also have the masks that kind of cover your nose as well i know when you go snorkeling you want to have that stuff covering your nose just so that you don't accidentally you know accidentally just breathe in through your nose mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you can't eat you know because you don't want to get you don't want to get water up your nose that is not that's not a pleasant thing you're so, so right someone top notch someone says you can breathe back to well then why does he All have right. the thing maybe it's um it's like nutrients or something that he breathes in to help his lungs or like because even when luke was in the tank he wore something yeah i thought over his mouth right it was just a healing juice i didn't know that you could breathe it in but i had no idea um but rex how else can you wash your brain you wash your brain with <laughs> mental exercises like <laughs> mathematics and memory games yeah in civilization four um, but yeah, uh, that Star Wars girl, Capital o Opinions, and Metal, all three of you, would you would you wish to take this juncture to to jump out, or would you like to stay for a little longer? I have no life, I'm staying. Anna, do you have, have a no life? life also. <laughs> Anna, do you have a life? I have a life, but, uh, I'm already, I decided while I was going to be on EFAB, since I had 12 hours, I assumed, I'm working on a painting, so I'll hang out. Oh well, we oh, could still end up going Boba to twelve. Fett? Who knows? Is it Bib Fortuna? No, it's Omni Man actually. Oh my goodness gracious! Yeah. You need to you need to Ooh. make a memorial to Bib Fortuna, who was able to run a city successfully for many years That's apparently true. until he was killed mm. by the dastardly, the cowardly Boba Fett. It's yeah. like Wild Bill Hickok. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, I suppose before Metal, we even playing Dark Souls too, someone asks because. You haven't brought me to 10k subs yet on my Twitch channel, that's why. Ew. That's it's not fault. even worth it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, before we even answer a single super chat, um, we what? we set this up a long time ago, and it's finally time. Um, what? Anna, you, you once hmm. had a story to tell, but we ran out of time. I suppose oh, God. We, must, oh, we must now discover fuck, it. Yeah. You, you <laughs> casually mentioned to us that you'd been shot, and that the bullet yeah. is still in, what was it, your collarbone? Yeah, it's still in my collarbone. 
That so, is metal. Assuming, of course, it's not too personal. What in the wombles happened? You know, I kind of blocked most of it out of my memory. I just remember we were in the woods, and I was there with my mom, my sisters, and one of my mom's friends that we usually did outdoorsy stuff with. And I remember, like, I had a BB gun. I don't remember what anyone else had. And then my sister started crying, so I went over to, like, get the target thing. And then I just... I guess I got shot, and, uh, yeah, I just remember being in a lot of pain, but with I didn't a, want to go to the doctor. With a BB or a shot. bullet? A bullet. Why did somebody shoot you with a bullet? I don't know. You know what kind it was? Was it like a twenty two? I, I, I don't know. I was really young, and I kind oh. of blocked it out. I just, I remember being in a lot of pain and mm. crying, but I I didn't want to go to the doctor because I know the doctors like have needles and I'm afraid of needles and my parents yeah. are kind of like just rub some dirt in it kind of thing. Um, maybe not so, for gunshot wound. Yeah. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> well, I survived and I never went to the doctor. What my mom was nice enough to do though was she got me it's like a a silicone lotion that you put on it and so I didn't scar. I mean, I can tell where the scar used to be, but nobody can see it unless Wait. I point it out to them. Sorry, did I catch you? Never went to a doctor. No, not until much later. So that's why it's still in. It oh, just I was going to say, like, you might have, you know, you, you want to make sure, right, that you're not going to get infected and stuff, isn't it? No. Well, it didn't. Well, good. Uh, do you? Just pour like a bunch of alcohol on it. Do you do you like having a bullet there, or are you like do you? What's its name? You regret not I didn't going name straight it. away, or? No, oh, if I had a bullet um, in me, I'd name it. I mean, I was a kid. I I think my fear of doctors outweighed my fear of any kind of infection, considering I didn't really know what that was. But mm -hmm. now I just like freaking people out with it, because I can, like, move it around. <laughs> wow. And so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so people oh, can kind of... <laughs> like, move around with your finger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People can see it, yeah. Here, let me... Jeez. Hit. I don't know. Can I share a video on Discord? Because I'll, um, I'll film myself like just moving I, around. I think right so. Now. I would love to see well, you it'll, move around your pet bullet. It'll <laughs> if you want it Talk so the, the the chat could see as well. Can you take a photo? Um, or maybe even record a quick video. Yeah, that... be able to tell. No. Yeah, maybe. that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get a quick one on my phone. <laughs> Is it malignant? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> mm. I yeah, I also got uh, my more. leg sliced open by a tractor, and it burned my leg, so that was fun, too. I didn't go to the doctor for that, either. What are all these wow. injuries that have untreated? <laughs> Jeez. You're, it's like me and the tooth thing on my brother's forehead. Oh, yeah. Your tooth went into your brother's forehead? Yeah. <laughs> Rags knows that she wants a follow-up, but he won't give it. <laughs> no, I'm just going to tell the story right now. <laughs> said later. Hey, I just told my story. I just don't wanna... Yeah, you did. <laughs> so yeah. nothing. I mean, it, it's just long story short, we were very, very young, and we went to the, the, the Arkansas State Capitol, which is an incredible capital, uh, marvelly and wonderfully and lovely. And it was Christmas time, and they do all the lights and everything, so when we were young, we would go out there to check out all the lights and the Capitol and the the grounds out there by the river market in Little Rock. And so uh, we were in the Capitol and I, we were little, you know, very little. And as, um, as little kids are wont to do, we run around and have a gay old time. And we're just him hauling and acting up and running up and down the stairs and trying to get lost. And we both came around the corner at the same time. You know, I was a little bit taller than my brother. So my two hit his forehead and part of it snapped off and fell on the floor. Some of it uh, was still in my my jaw. There was blood everywhere. I was dazed. He was crying. It was a terrible scene, a horrible calamity. Uh, but everyone was okay. And he got a butterfly bandage and all cleaned up later. And as his wound started healing, uh, even some a little another little piece of my tooth came out of his forehead uh, a few days later. The skull didn't um, absorb it. Did Wow. I had to get a fake, uh, but one of my, my front right tooth is fake. I am a cyborg. It oh. is a false tooth. Whoa. Um, 
with cement and everything. So, oh. uh, yeah, he, he's, he's, his scar is healed up all the way. But that was that was fun. That was a fun Christmas uh, adventure. Well, there you go. Yeah, there you go. I'm a, Sorry, that's I'm right. I'm I'm I'm, I'm one of the mods from the Book of Boba Fett. <laughs> that's right, chat. I have a uh, I have a cyborg tooth, and one day, cool. if I'm lucky, just like the piston footman, um, <laughs> I will be able to dis I will be able to use my cyborg tooth for something very important. Can only hope. Um, yeah, sorry you got shot, Anna. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah, sorry I'm over it. <laughs> sorry I shot you. Oh, uh, damn it, Cat. Uh, yeah. Did they ever no, find it's out more who so shot people like them? the mystery of who shot me. Hmm. It was either my mom or my sisters, or one of them. Wait, do you not know who it was? You know, I never thought to ask, but... Uh, <laughs> That would have been my first question, <laughs> That's the first I think. Question, yeah. <laughs> Who's responsible for the well, shot? Basically? Do you really want to know the answer to this question? It's either my yes. mom or one of my sisters, so it's like either way, the answer is going to be shitty. So you'd rather just assume it was I mean, all of them. I, well, I'm pretty sure it was the adult in this situation. Damn. Is that better or worse? Um. Well, our relationship is better now than when I was a child. So. <laughs> no, I mean, like, is it better for an adult to have <laughs> shot you or a child? I, I assume the child, I don't know. <laughs> oh, my mom really hated me when I was a kid, so... <laughs> she hated you that much. <laughs> so, oh, oh you survived! Oh. <laughs> That's great. I'm so Here, have the silicon cream or whatever. It's looking great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty fucked up story, but people like to hear it. I just like freaking people out with the bullet thing. And then, like, I have a tube in my eye as well, because I was born without a tear duct. And so I got surgery when I was in... women. Huh? Hmm? It's women. They just... No tear ducts. They just cry. It's unfeeling. Soulless. <laughs> well, no, the problem with not having a tear duct is that you constantly cry, because it doesn't uh, regulate it through your no eye, so your, your eye, eye just leaks. No, oh. moisture is, it just doesn't filter it out, so your eye just constantly leaks, so everyone's like, why are you always crying? And I'm like, I'm not fucking crying. You should crying. sell it for water on Tatooine. The prices <laughs> are exorbitant. <laughs> I could, but I got uh, the surgery to get it fixed, so I had a, a tube in my skull, and it wow. went like in my eye, through my nose, and it goes all the way to the back of my throat. Wow. And then, when I was in high school, I played water polo, and I got punched in the face a lot, and so half of the tube broke. And so I sneezed, and the half that broke popped out of my eye. Oh my god. And so now I just have a hole. And so I can do a lot of cool stuff with it, which is like really fun. And like I the kids were over uh Christmas, they're like, Can you blow bubbles with it? So I learned I can blow bubbles with my eye hole. I can I can blow smoke out of it <laughs> when I uh, like smoke hookah. When I'm looking really hard, I make it look like my eye is smoking. <laughs> no, I can blow smoke out of it. I've done it uh, a few times on stream. I can like drink water with it. And this is one of the problems like with holding my breath. It's like I would have to hold yeah. my eye closed too. Chat, you so will ask for this. So I don't oh, know what okay. you like. All right. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, because it's an extra hole that you have to make sure is closed oh, when you goodness. hold your breath. You make an interesting, you as a scuba diver. Oh, I can done. never go scuba diving. So to go scuba diving, you have to have like the same pressure in both, like, so mm -hmm. if you like bust yeah. an eardrum, oh, and you that would be a nightmare. <laughs> so, because my eyes don't have the same pressure, I can't go scuba diving, or something very bad would happen, and I don't want to know what it is. Oh, yeah, you don't want to, yeah, don't want to mess around with pressure when you're scuba diving. That's the number one rule: scuba divings don't hold your breath. Mm. I knew that. Yeah. No. Fun no, story. That's, that's a big one. You don't hold your breath when you're scuba diving. You will. You will hurt yourself, maybe kill yourself. Hmm. You what happens? Keep, keep breathing in and out. Well, it's because of the uh, difference in the water pressure will uh, manifest, I guess. Yeah, different gases react to uh, pressure in different ways, and like your bloodstream and your body. So you want to keep like breathing those, in and out, in and out. You that thing that reminds breath. you, you know, that like you are, that chemistry is a thing, that all of this stuff is happening in reality. Is like a byproduct of a whole bunch of different elements and compounds interacting with each other. 
Oh yeah. Like I remember yeah. yesterday, I was just uh, I was listening to the Curse Kazakh's video on terraforming Venus and talking about how like after they freeze the planet, the atmosphere will just be nitrogen. So if you don't mind suffocating, you can walk on Venus. And I was just thinking, like, man, you're just so accustomed to the idea that you could breed shit. Like, what happens when you go somewhere where there's, like, absolutely I got a video of my breed? bullet. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> nice. Okay. And you know what? I mean, with the price of ammunition these days, I mean, you're carrying around a gold mine in there, so this is considerable. <laughs> I know, right? If it ever gets tough, you can always you know, get that out. All right, let's see. <laughs> it is uploading now. Show us Longoid. It's not available yet. Yeah. Patience mm. is a virtue. No! Okay, it looks much cooler when it's not zoomed in like this, but this was the only angle I could really get. Okay. Oh, very exciting. Um. All right. You get it? I. Th oh yeah. God! <laughs> ah. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting Holy for it to shit. be. Shit! <laughs> my my, my I'm computer. I'm gonna watch just... everyone else on stream. Frozen. For... <laughs> Fuck. I just want to open a VLC and it's just like frozen in the file explorer. What the fuck is that? Um, oh, you can't see it. Give me. Some, I've never. Why is my computer freezing like that? All right. So, is it cool or not cool? Um, oh, it's cool. <laughs> it, it's interesting. That's for sure. I think it's cool. Thank you. All right. Uh, I can't be. even. Can't right-click on it or move my. What the fuck is happening with my computer right now? <laughs> That looks like it's I just loose. Right on it to open with Bloop. VLC, and Bloop. it's just like frozen. My file. I, I close it and try it again. So, Maybe. it's not loose then, or? Um, I don't know what. I mean, it kind of just stays around my collarbone. If I move it for too long, it starts hurting. So I think there must be like a, a pocket or something here where it can move around in, or maybe. I don't know what's really there in your skin. <laughs> the chat reactions. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you showing go. it on stream? I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's. Oh, you did? In. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh. I don't think YouTube has a problem with that. <laughs> I don't I can't, think. Yeah, I, I'll. I can't open this file. It's not playing nice with my computer for whatever reason. Go back on. It's like that freezing up it. my file explorer. So, yeah, I gotta get rid of it. I gotta delete it just to make sure. Just rewind the the stream then. You can see it yeah. there. Yeah, I'll I'll watch this. I just want to take care of this now. I don't want it to linger. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, is it in the recycle bin? <laughs> no, it's fun when I go uh, into airports because <laughs> right. when you go through like the scanning, like it doesn't beep or anything. I think like so much has grown over it or something. But they wow. always ask me about it. <laughs> Um, also, oh, that's interesting. Whenever I show something that's like not, um, you know, like the game, it like fucking freezes it, and now Dolphin has frozen entirely. That's not good. Oh no! Good job. My yeah, I'm having it. This file is doing something to my computer. Oh, um, the one Anna sent. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, Weird. It's just from it's my phone. It's an MP4. Yeah. 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 It's not. Well, it, it won't open in Windows, the normal Windows Media Player by default. And when I right click to open with VLC, it like froze the file explorer and I had to close it through an alternate means. And now I'm trying to That's delete weird. it and I'm having difficulty doing that. Hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a virus. Hmm. I'll blame the ISP. It's all. It's all an elaborate ruse. Oh no. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you yeah, froze I'm my video sorry. game. How could you? <laughs> <laughs> I broke everything. Cool. No, I'm broke yeah. everything fine for me. All right. Let's ask the chat. Was that worth the wait? Because I think I told you guys about that like a year or two ago. <laughs> <laughs> They've been on pins and needles the whole time. <laughs> there we go. 
want to go back to Bianca yes. Hill. Yes, yes, no, okay. yes, yuck, yes. We're yuck. <laughs> Way more yeses. <laughs> yes. Good. Cool beans. I'm glad you guys can get that's some just, enjoyment. That's just set up and pay off, guys. Mm -hmm. Narrative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The art of narrative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the EVAP writers, you know, they're, they're, they're on point. They know what they're doing. So. You thought that detail wouldn't come back? You thought it wouldn't be? Everything's. Everything comes back. Yeah. Uh, is everyone all right for me to begin reading these Sir Pump Chimps? No. Pepperoni. Very um, well. Sure. I got a command prompt this, though, uh, <laughs> to get rid of this file. Um, I do not know what's going on with your computer for that today, to happen. I mean, a whole adventure today, hasn't it? Hmm. It's I'm not gonna, even... I'm going to try and delete it myself. Well, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't even put my Windows bar to do look for command prompt. I'm going to restart my computer. Yeah, sounds like a restart. I can't even write the option to restart my computer. Uh, I didn't mean to break it. <laughs> I don't think there's <laughs> like something bigger is going on than a MP4. There's a bullet lodged in this computer. It, mm. Yeah. No, this is a this is a really bad file that is I don't know what it's doing with my computer, but it is it's fucking around with stuff. Mm. Um Yeah, I am going to see what is up here. Let me try one more time. Delete. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do uh hmm. Alright, give me a second. Just an MP4 from a phone. I don't see how it's the file. Anna, why did Sometimes you destroy everything? Windows just does. I'm Windows sorry. Stuff. You guys asked about the bullet. I didn't know we were going to talk about this today. You destroyed Rag's PC. You sent him all of the virus. Are you all able to Four. delete it? Because I did. <laughs> no, they're all dead. Uh, hmm. no, it's gone. It's, it didn't cause any problems. I don't know what to say. Yeah. We're just a Windows tism because it's Windows. Mm. And my PC exploded. Well, uh, first yep, one of the day deleted. is yeah. Mola. You gay. <laughs> I got, <laughs> got him. him. All right. I've listened to the Batman theme over ten times now. Uh, now I'm praying the movie's as good as the music that's attached to it. Sure, I hope so too. You I should, want it to be good. Should rather listen to the orchestral version of Gay Fish. Yeah, nothing that's, tops uh, that for me at the moment. Shit. See, I thought yeah. that should have been the theme for the Batman movie. I felt like that's more <laughs> suitable. Um, but you know, fucking Gay Fish. <laughs> I'm a Gay Fish. It's so good. I listened to that like 15 times already. Great. <laughs> Motherfucking Gay Fish. I can't wait to see Mando in Mando de Finale. Lol. I, fucking, I don't care. When he shows up, you'll have fanfare and we'll be like, who the hell cares? It's just gray Boba Fett. <laughs> Hi, Rags, and everyone. Hello. Um, hey. Hey, what's up? Can someone say hi on behalf of Rags? Hi. Oh, hi. There you go, nailed it. Uh, his name was Robert Paulson. Yeah, Meatloaf died. Uh, mm -hmm. Wow. That's sad, but a lot of people are pointing out, like, Fight Club as a, as a role. I don't think I'm that familiar with his filmography, nor his music, but, um... Definitely aware of him, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, found another goofy animal for today, the Piglet Squid. <coughs> piglet Squid. Alright, mm. let's give you a look-see. Oh. oh my, look oh, at that. Oh, look at him. Bring, have you seen this thing? I haven't, Piglet. but uh, let me let me take a look. Piglet squid. No way you wouldn't react to it. <laughs> <laughs> that looks funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Oh my god. Look at that thing. So and tiny. It, it expands as well and blows up into a big little ball. A big little ball. <laughs> a big little <laughs> ball. I stand by it. Rags, how are things? 
Well, we're gonna find out. The computer restarted with no issues, and I can open my Windows options now. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, delete it the old-fashioned. Well, it's not the old-fashioned way. It's uh, you can delete it manually without interacting with the file itself. I I had this issue once when I downloaded a weird text file, or not a text file. It was a font, and for whatever reason, this one font just fuck absolutely fucked with the computer and so i had to delete it manually and things went back to normal so i don't know just weird computer stuff that happens yeah hmm. windows being windows it wasn't me oh try to convince us otherwise you will have no luck <laughs> the only reason our other pcs weren't destroyed is because we have top of the line mcafee defense systems fuck no Okay, yeah, fine. I mean, Metal, yes. Metal has the Metaverse Zuckerberg version, I guess. But oh. still. Yeah, I got the lizard, lizard pack as well. Yeah. Isn't that just a standard pack? Shut up. If Booger Boba Fett is bad, just wait until Disney tries to remake Firefly. They have the rights to it, and there is word they're working on a reboot for Disney+. Plus. Isn't that already, like, confirmed? Yeah, didn't they announce that? I thought that was announced already, yeah. I, I didn't know that, but... Yeah. Everyone is sad. It will never uh, be as good I'm as it sad. was. They're also working on a live-action Aristocats movie. Yeah, I heard movie. about that. Oh, what? really? Fuck. Yeah, just, yeah. Every, everyone <laughs> wants that. What do you mean? Everything! Uh, Treasure Planet! Just wait, you wait! Wait, <laughs> wait do they mean live-action in the like delusional CGI. John Favreau brain? Yeah, or like actual CGI. cats? No I way, there's gonna know. be real cats. No fucking <laughs> way. Yeah, they're doing we it Lion King way. We don't use real animals anymore for movies. Empty recycle bin, and we Live are... action Fantasia. They have Mickey oh, Mouse, but he's a literal Christ. mouse. It is hat. <laughs> and I'm gonna... I'm gonna assume that in the remake, we're not gonna get the Chinese Siamese cat who says, Chai Yung Fu Wik Fu Yang Fortune Cookie, always wrong. And he's playing the piano with the chopsticks. We're probably not gonna I, get I that. I would imagine that uh, that that's is not shame. gonna make it into the new That is a shame. Yeah, if I was a betting no. man, I, I would not assume that's gonna be in there. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get that one. Which is a shame because that was really funny. I remember liking that quite a bit as a kid when I watched it. Um, but that's you're right. racist. Yep. Yeah, well, you know what? That's racist right. in training. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> Everyone, I mean, you're not gonna get breakfast at Tiffany's these days either. But you know, just I hate that movie so much. <laughs> what? Really? You? What? Okay, rags. Everyone you fucking hate loves that movie. It, do I need to remind it is one you? Of those... Anna thinks that. <laughs> Night Before Christmas sucks, and the water is terrible. Jesus Christ! <laughs> that bullet has <laughs> done something to you. That the lead you're clear lead poisoning. You clearly have it in your bloodstream, and it's affected your brain. That's what got the Romans. They say. I can't uh, believe it. What you? Aud it's so That's boring. Insane. Out of all of Audrey's movies, Jeez. that one I think is just so overrated. You okay, Rex? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We can carry on. Why do you like bref breakfast at Tiffany's? I love the acting and I love the chemistry between the characters and I love the cat and what Mickey Rooney's great as a Chinese man. Oh. <laughs> right, you're getting slaughtered right now in the marketplace of ideas. <laughs> oh, no. He's just clearly unwell. Let's just proceed. <laughs> This one just has the biggest twist in EFAB history. I'm assuming they're talking about Arcane. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> pretty sure me and Fringy had the most common reaction to it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we really liked it. Like, That's the twist. Is there is no twist. Yeah, the, yeah, we can't be controversial on this one. When wow, was, like, Ryan. Super ready wow. for us to be. Wait, did you say wow, Ryan? Microphone. Ryan Johnson, where it's like, well, the twist is, uh, fuck you. <laughs> Eat shit. That about sums up his whole career, yeah. Yeah. You, you expected No, that. no, no, guys. She throws up when someone tells a lie. Isn't that clever? Do you remember? Um, oh my god. Red Light Media's little, uh, little, Ugh. little skit where they they said like the 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 wine taster or something, and it was like yeah, we're directed yeah. by Ryan Johnson, where it's just set up so that he'll pull wine in a glass, but it just moves like a half meter to the left and just pours it on the table and just starts laughing. <laughs> It's like, there yeah, you go. yeah, I remember that. The Chris Evans, yeah. Every once in a while, they they would take a, they take hits at TLJ you afterwards. Said Chris Evans. After that, come you meant Rich Evans. Rich Evans. <laughs> Sorry, Chris wrong. 
wrong, I, wrong godlike Adonis. Yes, my, my yes. Get him. Wrong Hollywood, Hollywood hero. To Chris Helmsworth. Helmsworth. <laughs> now that's now that's deep. Now, that's a deep. Uh, that's one of the best fucking moments ever when he just. He's almost, he's drunk, right? He's like, you're calling him yeah. Helmsworth. There's probably an actor no, right there it, called that was Chris the, Helmsworth. That was the Ghostbusters video, the Ghostbusters 2016 video. Oh, well, they were drunk. They were getting all that the, Dan Adcroyd. Yeah. yeah, Dan Adcroyd's Crystal Vodka. Um, <laughs> Which is actually pretty good. I've tried it. It's pretty good. They I said it was good. Well, they said no they glycol. I think it was There's no fine. glycol at all. You know, no glycol. No glycol, yeah. yeah. No glycol. <laughs> no glycol. Um... <laughs> Last thing I want in my Crystal Skull Vodka is glycol. What I liked about it the moment so much was that he presents the whole issue of him mispronouncing it, and I think Rich just goes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, now, then he made him apologize to Chris Helmsworth, who yeah. constantly thinks that you're talking to him. Uh... Entirely unrelated to the stream, but you boys get Duma to look into the group, the Proto Men. Their entire discography is about one story. Why didn't you send that to him? <laughs> Duma ain't even on this one. Like, <laughs> oh man. Uh, today's animal of the day is an eye eye. Okay. How many people are sending us animals of the day? Captain! How do you spell that? Like, like, like a... A-Y-E? Like a, a -Y -E. saying I, like I-I, yeah. Yeah, I-I. Oh, it, it, it is a primate. It is a oh, creepy it's an ugly primate. little fucker. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I think, I think Fringy will say he looks cute. Uh, it's called an I-I. Ah, uh, uh, he's, he's got his own little charm. That's nice of you to say, Fringy. That's the nicest way you could have put it, Fringy. In, in German, that thing is just called a finger animal. <laughs> finger That's animal. the name of the animal. <laughs> a a finger <laughs> animal. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay, Jiminy, you can be innovators in a lot of things, but naming stuff, <laughs> you need to work on that one at least. It's so because Wikipedia says, like, the finger animal or I, I. I think you should... Go with I I first and put finger animal like finger somewhere else. Finger animal is confusing. Like, what? is there a foot animal? <laughs> or I guess it would be toe animal. We should call it New England. Oh, that's he, real creative. What do you call I, your foot? New hands. I <laughs> eyes are kind of like people, where some of them are really cute, and some of them are just disgusting, horrifically terrifying. They probably think the same. Oh, that's a gif. It moves. Ah, kill it. Well, Rax's point was that humans <laughs> yeah. are that way. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> that would light up, yeah. Oh, uh, some of these are just like, ugh. All right. Oof. Some are cute. Uh, yeah. These are, talk about a, ooh, man. You have to answer this as spoiler free as possible just because we get obs obsessive about these sorts of things because metal's halfway through and Rags hasn't even started yet, but. The next one is, what's all of your favorite characters in Arcane? And that's something only me and Fringy can Should answer I just right now, I think. take off my headset for a moment? So well, no, I you'd all something? have to, theoretically, so we may as well just find a way to do it <laughs> spoiler-free. Um, and the person, they've... See, because I wonder if... Fringy, what do you think about, like, this? So the person saying this has said what their favorites are. Is it is it something I should avoid saying? Like, who um, they pick? I know? think it might, because if if we do... You know, like, if I heard someone say, oh, my favorite character is this one, I'm going to be just keenly looking out for why they would say that. Yeah, so, okay. The it's Super Chatter... Organic. The Super Chatter has chosen, um... How can I say this nice and vaguely? Hmm. You know, well, a lot of people in chat picked it up. Just avoid looking at chat for a second, everybody, and you'll be fine. But, uh... So, when me and Fringy were talking about someone who's... So something a detail is revealed about them that if you know the game then you know where they're going to end up so the super chat has chosen that person because the chat knew who we were talking about with that and the other person they've chosen is uh hmm what's this what's the spoiler freest way i can say this one um, um well <laughs> well you know what there's a shop called filco's in britain Right. Okay. <laughs> that should okay, be enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of people I've seen places. are choosing that one as well. I've seen a lot That's of people a... say. 
That's mine a fair choice. Mine. Mine, mine is um hmm. I, I I it's a lock between main two characters and Philco. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um I'd go into Y obviously, but we can't. Uh Hmm, how else can we make this answer more flashy without spoiling anything? Character work is pretty darn solid. There's lots to like about a lot of people. The choices they make to show how things progress, that's nice and vague, are really cool. Yeah. Something that's really cool is that despite the role of the character in the story, they feel like a real person, not a caricature. Yes. It feels like uh, their motives are complicated, what their their goals, the, the things that this character values come into sharp conflict. It's a constant struggle for him. Be right back. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of what you would hear us praise about, like, well-written character stuff, you'll find in Arcane, um, at least to some degree. And we're, we're hoping for more of it when they get around to a season two. But don't rush. My goodness, no, do not time. rush. Um. So, yeah, I, I, I was just saying, there's probably nothing else we need to add to that. But yeah, there you go. Uh, I haven't figured it out yet, but if we did a full breakdown, I think I would have chosen a favorite by then. Uh, yeah. But we were, we were spoilt for choice a little bit in that show, and there are characters that don't even get that much time that I end up being like, man, that was a good one. Um... But yeah, I guess that's another way of saying as well, chat, for those who were on the fence about watching it, go right ahead, because you're likely going to get an EFAP on it in future at this point. So you can get yourselves your own point of view before you listen to us talk about it. Um, the next one just says, we gather here today to celebrate this W. I think they're <laughs> referring to us saying arcane cool. Probably. Um, hello, who all. Knows, baby Rex, and I hate it at the end. Who knows? Oh yeah, you know, I was gonna say you, you could choose a favorite male, but I assume you'd rather wait until I actually see. Oh yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait. Um, hello, all. Hope you're doing well. I am doing well. How is everyone else? Well, I was until you started talking to me. Yeah, I'm alright. Other ones have no interest in answering the question. I guess Freeny's not okay. Or he's nothing right now, he's neutral. Wait, I'm all right. uh, yeah, I guess neutral. It's probably about right. Oh. <laughs> um. What are you, Anna? You right? Mm hmm? Yeah, yeah, I'm just being. <laughs> <laughs> These enthusiastic answers, I, I, it's, 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 uh, it's contagious. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Everyone's doing well from that answer, I can tell, 100%. Lord Longbong of Mubschlington Abbey, have you given any more thought to a Kong fap of Peter Jackson's Long Kong <laughs> when there's less going on? It'll be a movie fap for the ages. P.S. Oh, oh, Wagsies. Scritch is for the good boy. He would thank you for that. And, uh, yeah, you know what? Considering it, it's gonna happen at some point, I imagine. That Long Kong. I don't know what you're gonna do when we finally release that. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to write? It's gonna be like, <gasps> can we have another one? <laughs> can you do it again? Just another take of the long gone. <laughs> Invite different guests. Man, that that jump, what happened? Oh yeah, I I thought I was gonna make it. I thought I was high enough, but I was not. You were not clearly. I have been destroyed. I wish more more levels like these though. They're fun. Are they, though? Who is your favorite community character, and what's your favorite community episode? Also, hi, Rags. Well, this will uh, be me and Fringy, there. Do you want to go first? Uh, sure. I'm trying to remember who my favorite character was, because I'm pretty sure I had Tough, one. Tough, isn't it? Um... Hmm... I really do, of course, like Pierce. I don't know if I would pick him as favorite. I really liked, um, I can't remember, was it Hickey? Uh, the one that was Mike? Yeah. I really he liked him cool. in it. Pardon, I have um, oh, so, Someone in chat put Britta, Hi. you're a liar. <laughs> liar! <laughs> liar! 
Um, Arbed is yeah, Arbed is pretty awesome. That's Arbed true. is a safe choice. Um, Lee is pretty cool, yeah. Uh, well, uh, and what's your favorite episode? Probably the second paintball one. The like western uh, and then sci-fi. Well, my... yeah, they, they do no, Star that, Wars that after the cool. cowboy thing. If you include it as a two-parter, um, it's my favorites is probably a toss-up between the bottle episode with the pen and uh, remedial chaos theory. Oh, I threw the D and D episode in as well. And D and D was another one in the mix. Mm. Uh, but favorite character, I probably just default to Arbed. Feels like a really like, yeah. Now that we brought him up, consistently, consistently might be, uh... entertaining and interesting character. And a little bit complex once Troy leaves. They, they give him a bit yeah. to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, the problem is that there are a bunch of like individual one-off characters who I like seeing that are always really funny to watch. Um, and, you know, recurring characters. But I guess when you're trying to pick your favorite, you probably want to pick one of the main people. Show us I like this. Annie a lot too, though. Community. Uh, six seasons. Mm, never heard of it. First three are... Uh, Really good. I recommend them fully. Mm. And the fifth one, what, actually. What kind of show <laughs> yeah. is it? Comedy. I think I only watched the comedy? first one. Comedy with is a it little a bit of show drama. American? It is American. Well, funnily enough, Community is one of the like, main reasons I got more faith in the idea of American comedies, because I got. I was very disappointed with many of them. Mm. But, um, but Boba Fett's hilarious. Thanks. <laughs> that one ain't a comedy. I, I know. What? Yeah, I... What? I remember I watched a lot of How I Met Your Mother, but, like, I'm not sure if I rewatched it, if I would be impressed by it. I didn't find it funny from what I saw. I, I liked Bonnie. He was pretty funny. the concept of Cobra Kai came from? Wait, what? The... The, the original Cobra... concept for the... For Cobra Kai? So, um... Fuck, what is it? Barney, uh, Neil Patrick Harris's character, his hero is Johnny from uh, Karate Kid, and he has this whole rant where he goes on and on about how Johnny was the real hero of Karate Kid, and then they get Johnny to show up for his birthday. And so that, I mean, I feel like that episode aired like at least a decade ago, and then here we have Cobra Kai, and that was one oh. of like Johnny's opening lines about... How he's like, that was an illegal kick, and he basically uses Barney's entire rant. Right. <clears throat> um. But alrighty then, yeah. Uh, what are some of your favorite characters, and what other movie slash game slash show would you put them in? Or game, what ability would they have, if any? Hmm. Wait, it's so basically a character that you'd want in a game, or a I so, like, take one of your favorite that. characters and what um, other IP would you want them to be in, I guess, is the question. Oh, uh, hmm. Uh, I'd want to see Ellen Ripley in a Predator movie. I don't know I how long she would last. <laughs> I want Daredevil in, like, I think it would Ellen be Watt interesting. Thing. Well, you can't both um, speak and then no one speak. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, yeah, I'm uh, thinking of... Tywin is Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> what if we had... Hmm. That is... Yeah, I I don't know. I... Isaac Clarke in an alien movie? Hmm. You got the monster, you got the ship, the tech part. He could probably do a lot of cool stuff. Locking doors and repurposing machines. And... Hello? I know it. <laughs> I heard it. No, nobody's got anything to say, Rags. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, I can't think right. of anything. No, I was, I was curious. Uh, let me see. I'm going to think a little bit. Well, maybe we could just take like a random character and we could come up with where you might want to see this. Um, person be uh like um babu frick like where would babu frick where would you want babu frick to be that's that's good um i would love to see babu frick in a sequel to the father <laughs> there we go <laughs> there's your answer 
quite thematically it checks out because Babu Frick <laughs> often will scramble the minds of droids and erase their memories. So now mm -hmm. we'll see how it feels when he's the one who's losing his memory. It's not so fun, is it? It's not so oh, great. No. It's kind of terrifying, isn't it, little Babu Frick? You little shit. <laughs> Think twice, Babu. But yeah, I'm um, I'm struggling. I, I keep trying to come up with ideas, but they sort of uh, they all seem superficial. My immediate my thought head. was like Kratos and Mortal Kombat, but then that happened. They did do that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I do like the idea of Dead Evil in an Elon Noir type game, doing investigation shit. Yeah. Um, or like Dead Evil, but Batman Arkham mechanics. Maybe maybe something a little bit. More complex than that, but I'm having myself a think. That's why I'm quiet. Yeah. One Where more would one you one want to see Darth week. Vader? Other than Soul Calibur, of course. Uh, like um, hmm. maybe dead. Uh, maybe Mortal Kombat Darth or, Vader or uh, in like uh, in Mass Effect. An RPG where you get to play as them. Yeah, a me kind of like a melee force based character who's kind of similar yeah. to the biotics but has a super powerful melee weapon. Yeah, I can see that happening. And we can see more of Darth Vader having to go around and be uh, more tactical, I guess, rather than just immediately fighting and killing everybody. How would he solve all of the uh, political issues that arise in that series? Mm -hmm. That's Darth Vader's take on things. Exactly. Who's, who would like, he side Darth with? Darth Vader has to deal with things for Tarkin or something. What uh, what does he do? What strategies does he employ? Hmm. I like Jack Sparrow in Middle Earth. <laughs> that could that'd work. Be, that could be fun. <laughs> yeah, I could see that happening. He seems like he'd fit, sort of. Or at least he could operate in that world in some way. You'd think he might try and get some sneaky alliances with uh, different people, maybe. I don't know. He would totally take the ring, though. In an instant, yeah. <laughs> I want to see the Dark Lord Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Imagine Jack Sparrow trying to have a like conversation with Gollum. That, would, that just <laughs> sounds like it'd be really funny. Yeah. I want it. Rich Evans in Middle Earth? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would work. I think everyone would watch that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, um, Mario Sunshine again, Mola? I mean, I've never played this game before. I don't really know what you're saying. You're a liar. liar. I would you're never liar. lie. You're a liar! <laughs> I always prefer you quote Deadshot if you're ever going to talk about lying. Uh, uh, yeah, of course. That's not true, that's a lie. She's lying to you. <laughs> it's perfect. That's a lie, she's lying to you. So bad. You know, it was, uh, it was one to one exactly what I, uh, I don't know if you remember, but we were talking about the, uh, the Fennec sort of remote droid thing that has a camera on it. And I made reference in our coverage to Captain Boomerang's boomerang with a camera on it that cycles right to his phone so they can show shit. Mm -hmm. and they, they use Yeah, it. you did, man. Yeah. They use it to figure out like how they're going to attack the base. And of course, he throws his boomerang and it, it only shows something briefly. And then this stupid giant demon man destroys it. And he's like, damn it. And, uh, you know, they're all like, oh, well, that's, that's it for that. And his phone, he just throws it to the ground. It's like, yeah. It's like, <laughs> that phone still works, you dumb fucking <laughs> idiot. <so> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, Captain Boomerang doesn't care about his phone if his boomerang doesn't have surveillance cameras on it. It's like, what? Did anyone write this? I don't believe it. <laughs> uh, you got um, someone saying that someone is a great character from Arcane, and I completely agree. Um, All right. Mola, you were supposed to steal my feelings on Arcane, but I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Hope you see you discuss it in depth. That is probably gonna happen. 
imagine. Meow. And it'll be fun. If Mr. Weird just wiped people's memories of Peter, wouldn't people remember that Spider-Man's identity got revealed but that no one remembers it? I don't know how it works. I don't think it does work. I yeah. assume it just works. Even though it's some of, it's some of that up. really hyper floomp magic where you're just supposed to be like, I don't, I don't see how this, yeah. and they're just like, it does. Shut up. Don't think about it. <sighs> Worry about shame. it. Hey, long man, rags, and the rest of you massives. Hello. Hi. Hey, hello. Hi. Muller, are you and Rags gonna play Resident Evil 6 for EFAP game? It's a dumb game, but funny. I think we said Resident we Evil 6? We've been recommended it. No reason why we may not, may, maybe, may, may do that at some point in the future. Um, yeah. Big maybe. For anyone curious, Voxis Productions, aka Professor Tossbot, had a poll up on YouTube asking what day viewers would like him to stream. Well, hey, good stuff. Oh, yeah, I could see. He, he'd probably be a good streamer. It's kind of crazy now. If you're like a fan of the sort of FNT drinker EFAP spheres, there isn't a day that doesn't have a stream on it now, and some of them have two. It's getting mm -hmm. uh, it's getting real packed, you know. Especially with, with we've doubled up. Um, I think drinker typically ends up doubling up. And you got uh, Nidrotic does, I think, three per week. As does, like, three as well. Streams everywhere. But that's a good thing, especially if you've been locked up. Uh, where are we? My favorite part is chap coping with Arcane being good. Listen, if we had said it was bad, we would have gotten the same thing. There's plenty of people who think Arcane sucks. It's not a surprise with how many people who have seen it. I think the same thing happened with Squid Game. Plenty of people were like, what? You guys thought that that was any good? You it's freak. filled with terribleness. Though I will say... Did you guys like Squid Game? Did you not? No, I did. I'm just surprised that you guys liked it. Why? I'm always surprised when you like anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're so mean. Uh, we like uh, Smiling Friends. Yeah, we, Have you seen that? Honest. We really like Smiling Friends. Smiling, Smiling Friends is this wholesome little cartoon that was made um, about friends who try to help people you smile. Try to make people smile. That's right. Be. You'd love it, Anna. It's very cute. Would I? Would I? It's just about. It's, it's worth life. watching. It's just about the nature of friendship and sort of how good it is that we have each other to support each other, you know? Mm -hmm. Until and the Renaissance men come to town. Yes, <laughs> the cartoon. Watch Skins? I've seen Skins. My age group, British. Oh, yes. Oh, um, I couldn't watch this. The animation looks terrible. Wait, what? It's for smiling friends. Wow. Yeah. No, cool. I think the animation yeah. is actually really impressive. Great. There's a oh, lot I mean, of really they... impressive animation Details styles. Is it like the there. with the little purple dude with the big yeah, eyes him. and the yellow guy? Him. Yeah. Yeah. Him. I, this just looks unpleasant to look at. I wouldn't want to watch it. I disagree. Oh, I my think goodness, it is that's incredibly. I don't even think it's watch. funny. It's just not my kind of humor. But I really like watching it. Just it the, is the funny. different you just the decisions that are made in the animation choices. It is funny. You just didn't laugh. Wait, what? <laughs> I, I would just defend that the show is well written in terms of comedy, and if you didn't yeah, laugh, I, that's I, fine. Yeah. It's totally fine. It's just it is well written. I could well, totally I have to at least funny, funny, but be able to look yeah, at it. it. You know, you'd, you'd have well, Anna. It would be your favorite thing. It's just so wholesome. You should. It looks disturbing. There's, there's a show called. There's a show it's about this frog, and it's so it's so friendly and nice. Mr. Frog comes out and he's like, I'm Mr. Frog. <laughs> this is my show. I eat the bug. <laughs> the bug. Like, does that not sound like the most wholesome thing you've ever heard, Anna? I love you. He I even says, I love you at the me. end. Because he's so wholesome. It's all about smiling. I don't see how we're tricking anything in anyone. Smiling about what? Being just happy. smiling for the sake of being happy. That's the whole point. They go around to help people smile because that's a nice thing to do for people. 
There's Mel, you've seen it. Isn't it wholesome? Really it's very wholesome. See, Mel wouldn't lie. <laughs> a lie. Hmm. Um, hi, Mola. I know you haven't watched Clone Wars, but they literally say Slave 1 in the Book of Boba Fett. They're too afraid to say it. Well, it wasn't banned back then. <laughs> As a name. <laughs> I guarantee you, now new seasons of the Clone Wars, Friday, they it? wouldn't be allowed to say Slave 1. Sl yeah. There, Slave 1. Well, they had to censor the new episodes of the Clone Wars. Wait, really? What? Why? Yeah, there was there was supposed to be a, like Anakin scene, like a pinup of Padme on one of the ships, and they removed oh, the no. art. Be they removed the art because it was too, too risque. racy. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow, really? I kind of want to yeah. see it now because I'm curious what they thought was so worthy of censorship. It's Disney, so she probably showed. Well, like, it was uh, uh, degrading to women. Oh, okay. So uh, I mean. Her getting no, the, the strangled to death while pregnant is okay, thing. but, you know. So, so this was Clone Wars, Censored, Padme... Episode, season 7. The, uh, da, 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 da. This was in the Bad Batch arc? Mm. Uh, is this the picture that you're talking about? Let me post it It's here. like her in a pinup on a ship. That's it? Yeah, that's too racy. That's degrading. Oh. Absolutely degrading. Oh. Okay. You can see lots of her leg. That's... What is going what? on? Like, is this when we go back to, like, the 1850s? <laughs> oh, look, I can see her ankle. That's too much skin. <laughs> He, he this was Dave this was Filoni's uh, call. It was um uh, Filoni's the one who said it's he's the reason he's the person who censored it. But like I don't even though they, the animation was already done for it, they just needed to render it. So how's how's Filoni doing in your books, Anna? Um I kinda think he's an idiot, but people <laughs> like love to suck his dick and it's really I don't know, it just kind of blows my mind, because if you actually, like, read the books, or you actually look at who wrote which episodes, he gets credit for so much, but my favorite episodes of The Clone Wars were actually written by Katie Lucas. She did some great stuff. If they actually got her to do some of these episodes, we might get something decent, because she's really talented. And, I mean, those episodes speak for themselves. But Dave, it's like, he gets this stupid idea. Like, let's say Rebels. Rebels was okay at times, especially when he wasn't writing it, but he's got to put wolves in everything. So one of the final episodes of Rebels, one of the planets has a temple with Jedi wolves that can time travel. Oh, I kid you fucking not. <laughs> what the yeah. Fuck? Jedi, Jedi wolves, wolves. can time travel. <laughs> I kid oh, you geez. not. And so... Well, so that's the world between world episodes, but he's fucking obsessed with these stupid little things like Ahsoka. He's obsessed with Ahsoka. Even George is like, she should have died. It would have been respectful to the character. It would have given, let her die with honor. But no, he's like, I'm going to keep her alive forever. And so he brought her back even after she died fighting Vader. And it's like, oh my God, Dave, Dave, just stop. Like, people just need to take away his toys, but I feel like he's one of those spoiled children that just keeps all his toys, and he's like, I'm gonna do this with them. It's like, maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you just shouldn't do that. Maybe you should read a book uh, instead of just cherry-picking things that you think are cool and then putting them all together into this jumble-fuck catastrophe. But people love him, and I don't get it. That's Filoni directed three episodes of Mandalorian, uh, chapter 1, 5, and 13, uh, and he directed five and 13 or he, sorry, he directed one five and 13 and he wrote chapter five and 13 and those were shit. He's not good at writing. He got into Lucasfilm because he not. was in animation. And people tell me that Filoni's going to save Star Wars. John Favreau is going to save Star Wars. Thank goodness that. Oh, Kathleen Kennedy's good. <laughs> These people, John Favreau, following, they seem to be scourges in terms of writing because I was just. No, those it's episodes like, get were Timothy terrible. Zahn, who is still alive, get him to come in and write you a trilogy. Get Katie Lucas to do the screenplay for some episodes, and you might actually get something mildly decent based on, you know, the parameters that they're actually allowed to work in. But if you just gave them free reign, I mean, they're really talented people that are still alive, that are still willing to work. And they just don't 
call them. They call people that don't know what the fuck they're doing and don't know anything about Star Wars. Heck, freaking Chris Avalon, who wrote KOTOR 2, that is, like, wildly known as one of, the, like, the best freaking Star Wars games, aside from all the glitches and stuff. But everyone loves Kreia. She's a great fucking character. He's still alive and willing to work. I'm just like... What the fuck are you guys doing? You have so many talented people, but you go with the trendy people that people know about. Dave Filoni, I just, it, it irks my soul. I can go on and on for hours, but, but I'll John stop John Favreau wants to write respectful Boba. Well, did, is he? No. Which doesn't make sense, because John Favreau is actually talented too. I just don't know what the hell he's doing. Nobody does. I, yeah, as John Favreau's his involvement in Boba Fett and the Mandalorian has been, it's just disastrously bad. It's horrifically bad. It doesn't make sense. But I'm not I don't know. I he's guess he's still talented, but you know, what do I know? Well, you know what? If he really want, I, I think everyone has something in them if they really, really want to do it. Right. Like if you're put under a lot of pressure some people crack, some people can make a mad, like, great things happen, right? I think if he had the pressure, if his life depended on making this best show ever, or he's gonna fucking die, he probably could do it. Unless he just wanted to die. <laughs> I just think a lot of people are lazy. Maybe that's it. <laughs> I just think people are lazy now, and they're just like, oh, it's a quick paycheck, I can do the bare minimum and just get by. I honestly think that that's what a lot of people in Hollywood have gotten to. And, I mean, he's older right he's like in his 50s now he doesn't care he's got his money he's set if this show fucks up then who the fuck cares because he created baby yoda so he can do no wrong right uh, god people want to see baby yoda back in boba probably no Ugh. i love him so i know i, hate I just baby i miss yoda him so much i miss him i miss him so much he's so cute i'm so pro good. dead babies how dare you <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite Digimon of Rags is probably Deputy Mon. Deputy Mon? Yeah. What is that? A Digimon, apparently. I don't know. Deputy Mon? Well, let me take did a look here. Did you watch Digimon? No. Nobody um, did. Let's see. Deputy I Mon? I don't remember it, Deputy but I watched it. Mon. Oh, well, that's... I can't say I'm surprised. Let me get you a picture. Sorry, chat. We'll uh... show you stuff because it kills the game whenever I do. <laughs> 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 what the hell? Is this a gun for a chest? <laughs> gun okay. with guns. Pew pew. pew, pew. Also, like it. it's Long Bong, not Long Bone. Longman and Brit Bong and aristocratic Downton accent and fucking massive equals Lord Long Bong of Mewshington Abbey. I did I did sure. pronounce it right the first time around this time. Just saying. Hi, Good Rex. Good job. How are you? Hi! Can everyone recite their favorite villain speech? No. No. I'm not <laughs> even sure what my favorite villain speech is. Probably when, when Saruman yeah. is doing his Two Towers one. That's pretty cool. Which one are you talking about? Uh, right before the Urukai leave Isengard. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Mine would just be creepy. I'd just be, like, quoting Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty creepy. That's cool, though. Creepy and cool. It's cool, but it's creepy. A new power is rising. It's us. <laughs> nice try, EFAP. You can't psyop me to play LOL. Damn. <laughs> you saw through us. Um, I, had... I see your arcane and I raise you Gendy Tartakovsky's Primal. It's brilliantly animated and the story is told without dialogue, visuals, and sounds. Interesting. Well, wow. I've heard of I think it. I've recommended never seen it, it to me on my stream. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. I might see it someday. I don't know. Uh, ask Anna about the bullet story promised since 100. Oh shit! I You're welcome. Oh, oh yeah, boy, are, are you? Aren't you lucky? 
Yeah. <laughs> How to watch? How's your computer doing, Rags? It's How... fine. How to watch Smiling Friends? I can't watch it. Sad face. Um, I think you have to. Is it Adult Swim that provides it? Yes. I think so. Yeah. That's gonna be your avenue. Uh, supposedly, Arcane had a low budget for the animation. Also, the only 3D is the characters' effects and backgrounds are just as and just astounding 2D. Oh, sorry. So what they meant to say is, the only 3D is the characters' effects and backgrounds are just astounding 2D. I mean, <laughs> Arcane had a low budget for the animation. It's like hard for me to really? believe. Didn't I? I can't believe that. I mean, if they spent like it must six be a... years working on it. Then maybe it's time rather than money, yeah. But like either way, it's I fucking really fantastic looking. So yeah, it's really great. It's the kind of animation that makes the medium start to be able to race ahead of others because you can do so much when it's like completely unlocked and you have mm -hmm. a bazillion years and all the money. Mm. Uh, Mola, you wake up as penguin in Tonal's kitchen. What is your first course of action? Appreciate you all massively. You wake up as penguin? Yeah, it doesn't say a penguin, it just says penguin, so I don't know if they're referring to, <laughs> you know, Batman. Like is that Batman a character? Penguin? That's the one that comes to my mind, but I don't I don't know enough about penguin to I don't know why I'm in Tonal's penguin kitchen. From Batman to know what he's yeah. <laughs> what is being in Tonal's kitchen and... like <laughs> Um, the real nightmare Tunnel scenario is to wake is up as one? a carrot in Tunnel's kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you know how to cook carrot. You know you, you know you won't get cooked. <laughs> you just get some horrible other you things happening. You can cook happen. carrots. Hmm? You can cook carrots. Not in Tonal's kitchen. Not in Tonal's. Apparently up with he doesn't kitchen? like that sort of thing. He's very against I that. like to cook carrots. I like them in soups and whatnot. Stews. Yeah, he's very anti-cooked carrots. Mm -hmm. um, you know, no teach their own. No one's perfect. I don't like cooked carrots. I don't like carrots in general, but uh, I know you can cook them. What do you like? Chocolate. <laughs> and me. Oh, hey, hey, Mahler, give her the, the, the thing where with the stuff that you had to pick two to get rid of. Oh, I, if you let can me, find that, me. go ahead. Was that an hour? That was, was that an hour? Stuff That's going to be hard to up? find. Or was that in one of our... What is it? Was... I this thing try and find it here. It listed a whole bunch of foods and you had to get rid of two of them. And Rags is now so curious because it seems that you sustain yourself off of what should probably just kill you. Oh, found it. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I no, just, I mean, so, I'm, not, I'm not that curious, but I mean, I was but, looking you know, at this curious. list the other day. So I was born with one kidney and I was looking at the stuff that I'm not supposed to eat and I'm like, fuck, that's my whole diet. I should be dead. You, um,. You have so many biological fun facts, you know that? <laughs> oh, Wait, so pizza, ice cream, fries, cake, chips, cookies, chocolate, cheeseburger, or soda. What, I have to have to go forever? I have to choose one. Two have, two have to go, no, two of the, so two is the first word. That means two. That's like one and then another one. So oh, sorry. Two have, two have to I'm go. I'm looking at it from a distance. Oh my goodness. Oh, it. <laughs> Oh, right. Just keep going, Rags. Um, you can do it. Two have to, two have to go forever. They're gone. They're forever. They're gone, and you okay, have to live cake. without them. Cake is one, because okay. I, I don't know. I like cupcakes, but like a whole cake, sometimes they're really dry. So I can live without cake, but frosting isn't on the list. So I can still technically just eat a thing of frosting, because that's usually what I do when I get a cake. I just look a up thing on the of frosting. frosting. Okay. Uh... I'm the opposite. I generally like. I I don't. Generally, Do hot like, Cheetos count frosting? as chips? Yeah. Why not? Why wouldn't they? So. <laughs> That's like the thing that yeah, they are. I mean, yeah. Well, they're well, they're, they're just like these weird. The, it's the, I guess they're just not tip. Like I, I get just to, for clarification, I suppose. Okay, I cake fair. and cheeseburger, I can live without. Because the two that I would have to keep more than anything else are pizza and cheeseburgers. Those are the two that I would never pick. I, I would have to keep those around because. Both of those can be insanely delicious as actual meals. You could do a lot with a pizza, and you can do a lot with a cheeseburger. And they can be, like, gourmet amazing. 
and they're like proper yeah, meals. Yeah, see, I'm really picky, so the only way I eat my cheeseburger is plain, so just cheese, meat, and bread, which I can basically just do that in a sandwich. I don't get and it. I don't get it. I love, I love pizza. Anna, <laughs> how do you feel about oxygen? <laughs> Disgusting. It's overrated sometimes. Figured, yeah. I really like the smell of gasoline, though. That's great. I wish <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, I said I said that a little bit once. I was like, yeah, I like to get a little whiff of gasoline every once in a while because it's just the the memories it has of an, the industrial kind of warehouses and tractors of my youth. Yeah, you know, there's something in there. Yeah, I, I could. I don't like huff it like a weirdo. I'm just like, oh, that that yeah, smell. That no, I just when I go to the gas station, thing. it's just very very pleasant, you know. But um. Yeah, I mean, oxygen, we kind of have to deal with it, so. As long as it doesn't smell bad. I'm just convinced you're a cyborg now. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I tell people I'm a mutant, because I think that's the only logical explanation to how I'm actually still alive. But. Right. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, uh, moving where, on. Where are we? Oh, yeah, I never... Well, so, yeah, I don't know what I would do if I were a penguin in Tonal's Kitchen. I just don't have an answer for that. I, it's such a bizarre circumstance. <laughs> I don't know. First uh, we'll course of action, figure out if it's possible to communicate with humans, because I figured that's going to be first protocol. You could dance like Happy Feet, and that's how he communicated with humans. I am just trying to draw stuff, because I ain't dancing, okay? I'm not a dancer. That's it. You right. can't try. I'm sorry. You don't you... have opposable thumbs. I can try the by putting again? the flippers together. Or just put it in your mouth and just be yeah. like... That's what she said. Or I can sorry, dip, dip the, the um... flipper in something and then make marks with that, you know? What was the question? What would you do if you were a, a penguin in Tonald's kitchen? A peng... Oh, we're still on this one. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we never got an answer. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess it's because we're still trying to sort of decipher what they might mean. But if I was just a penguin, I don't know. I guess I'd make friends with him and be like, be his pet. So he'd take care of me and I'd get you know, medical care and I could live inside. And I would get delicious fishes. And, you know, I, I think that's probably what I'd do. I think that's uh, I think that's reasonable. That's a reasonable plan there. Hey, we did it. Uh, glad you guys liked Arcane. I'm curious, Mola. How did you like Person? I think you said he was your favorite LOL character. That or Fiddlesticks. I did play Fiddlesticks every once in a while. But, um... It was Viga. Did you play Viga was when I played, like, a lot. And then the other one became my favorite. And yeah, that was... I lucked out completely. Because, uh... He's treated quite well in the show. And it's really cool to have a background like that attached to a character you already enjoyed for a more surface level set of reasons. But even still, um, I remember reading bits of his bio and being like, this is cool. This is a cool guy. Make a TV show with him in it. <laughs> I think I kind of, I think it was Theo I was talking to about this, but like, I seriously felt a little lucked out entirely. A lot of the main characters are people I mained in LOL. Like, there's not, there's only it's a few left. kind of funny, because for me, it wasn't really at all. <laughs> like... I was just like, what cool, guy. that guy, that guy. So would I have had to play League of Legends to understand this show? No. No. Not at all. That's like it's... one of the really cool things about it, it's super accessible. Yeah, the perfect mm. element is that you don't need to have played the game, but if you did, you'll get a few extra little presents that are fun. Yeah. Cool. Um... Hey, fish. Arcane was mid for me. Hopefully the EFAP will change my stance on mid Kane. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Perhaps. Yeah. Watch Cobra Kai. It's leagues better. Not even close. I I hear that Cobra Kai is very good. You haven't watched That's it? That's what I've heard. I have not no. watched nope. it, no. Why not? I was really late Not to Arcane. Heard. We were late to Squid Game. We were <laughs> yeah. late to stuff. Yeah. We got There's to a watch. lot of things to watch. I still want to watch The Wire. And succession. And off after oh, the wire. I want to really see good. the silent sea as well. Hmm. I would say breaking it up wire, yeah. It's like one of those to... quintessential go ahead. Yeah, limited you gotta time. Watch it. It's great. There is not a lot of time in the day. That's right. Yeah, and this is a films and stuff. We got we're a media okay, show. Okay. We gotta keep up with everything. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. Torture. Okay, looks say. awesome. Like this show looks really cool. 
That was actually funny when, um... Wait, sorry, what did you say, Legosum? I was just saying Arcane, it's such a great looking show. Oil oh god, yeah. Uh, oh yes. I was about to say, yeah, I was, um... Watching the episode 3 with, with, uh, Jay, um... He was very much enjoying it. And then I was like, hey Jay, you like, what? And I was like... Got another Boba Fett episode in a couple days. He was just like, <laughs> ugh. <laughs> I was like, yeah. The fun of media criticism. I'm excited. I'm I mean, excited. you know, I hope for another episode three, to be honest with you. Uh, more of that is much more fun. Uh, just have stupid shit happen. I give up, okay? Book of Boba mm. Fett. I don't believe in you at all. Make something really ridiculous ever... happen. Um, I think, I think I initially thought, you can track this on our coverage of the Mandalorian Season 2 finale, I was pretty sure we were just going to get a show where he was just killing people all the time. Uh, Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, and it'd just be mindless action. Kidding? Well, what, look at yeah, his that's episode. Yeah, that's what Mando was. That's what the Mando Half episode the time was. was yeah. episode yeah, Mando it was just, was just like that. Yeah. His, Stupid his, mindless action where he shoots stormtroopers. Yeah, that's, that's the, and I thought that what they were going to do was a full season of that because everyone loved that. Well, everyone who wasn't us. <laughs> Can we? Um, yeah, I, th I thought that they were like, people like it when Boba Fett shoots people, we'll do that. I thought it was going to be that kind of soulless. Um, mm. I was wrong. Yeah. And now it's a different kind of soulless, because it's pretending to have a soul. <laughs> Which is yeah, weird. a little bit. It's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> it's outright bizarre. Yeah. They got people to defend slavery. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I guess good effort, you know. Disney got people to defend slavery. That's that's interesting. Well, that worked well, out. George did call them the white slavers. He did. The Tuscans? No, Disney. No, Disney. Okay. Oh. So maybe that's their whole goal is to prove that slavery is good. Every hole is a and goal. And George warned us all along. Yeah. Mm -hmm. George tried to save us. He sold it though. <laughs> Maybe it turns out he didn't yeah, sell it. Yeah, but I mean, he, he was, got right, he screwed was, over like, in that. It's like his whole family had guns to heads, and he was like, "Oh no!" And they're like, <laughs> "Don't worry, we'll buy it off you." And he's like, "No, no!" Did, well, 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 I'm sure you guys few, didn't uh, have time, but did you like off. read Bob Iger's book about the whole like sale of Star no, Wars? I think. Oh my god! <laughs> Did you guys read Pop? I was like, no, but I'm pretty sure I've heard bits and bobs. But what uh, what part were you talking about? Well, no, when you get to his Star Wars chapter, it is so fucked up how he talks about the deal because it's obviously from Bob Iger's perspective, and it's just I'm like, why would anyone let you publish this? Because you just seem like a terrible, terrible villain. But so <laughs> he basically led George on believing that. Because George wanted uh, the John Lasseter deal because Bob Iger bought Pixar, but he bought Pixar because he wanted John Lasseter to fix Disney animation. And so he let John Lasseter keep doing everything he was doing at Pixar, and but he wanted John to run both animation studios. And John's a genius, so he did. And what Bob Iger told George was, he's like, yeah, I want to buy Lucasfilm. And basically, you're going to get the John Lasseter deal. So I'll buy it and you'll stay in charge of everything. You'll just have, you know, the backing of Disney and we'll, you know, do the, the distribution. You'll have all of our money, yada, yada, yada. So that's the only reason why George entered into this contract with him. And then they got so far along and then Bob was like, nope. Fuck you. You thought I was going to spend $4.5 billion on this and keep you in charge? No, fuck you, George. And then George is like, all right, then I'm out. And he's like, oh, well, we're too far into these contracts and I have all of these little, you know, little things in here that if you actually back out of this contract now, you'll owe me $500 million and you'll go <laughs> bankrupt and everyone's going to lose their money. I'm not kidding. This is in his book. Damn. Like, all you have to do is read the Star Wars chapter. And that's why George that looks insane. like he lost his soul when he's signing Star Wars over to uh, Bob Iger because it's like he can either sign it and people keep their jobs and he keeps, you know, Lucasfilm stays alive or he doesn't sign it and he owes Disney $500 billion or million dollars and he loses everything. Because Bob Iger fucking lied to him. Why would he put this in his book? <laughs> Yeah, That's I what say. I said! I was like, what the fuck? 
I'm serious. Go just is look that like at a that situation chapter. Well, I'm retired now. So does, he, like, does he explain <laughs> it in like a bragging way or something? Is he, yeah. Is he proud of it? Like, hi, I got him. I guess, I mean, it's he probably has It's been like a year since I read this, but from what I remember, it just like kind of a matter of factly. And it's just, no, this is what happened, laying it out. But it's like, yeah, okay, that's what happened. But that doesn't change the fact that just because you write it nicely on paper, it doesn't change the fact that you're the asshole. Because he's making it seem like, oh, George was so unreasonable, thinking I would give him the John Lasseter deal. But it's after him going through, yeah, George wanted originally $8 billion because that's what Marvel got. And he's like, well, you don't have the infrastructure that Marvel does. So you can't. Pixar got this big deal because Pixar had all of these movies in production and George didn't. And the same thing with the sequel trilogy. George thought that he was going to make his sequel trilogy with, you know, the script outlines that he had. And then Bob Iger was like, no, fuck this. No, you're not being in charge. You're not going to have any kind of creative control or any power of any kind. Why would I spend this money on this for you? But it's funny because he did the same thing with Pixar and with Marvel. He bought them because he wanted John Lasseter and everything that John Lasseter created. He bought Marvel and, you know, all the stuff with uh, John Favreau and Kevin Feige. Even the part when he talks about Marvel, he puts this in his book where Steve Jobs calls him up and he's like, yo, I just watched Iron Man 2. What the fuck was that? That sucked. And Bob's response was, it made $75 million this weekend. So Bob doesn't care as long as it makes money. I'm, this is a terrible, terrible book. It's like reading Lux Luthor's diary if you read his book. I'm not kidding. I guess it's the thing that... Is it better than Mein Kampf? You know, I've never read that. <laughs> I guess I'm not really the like, my struggle kind of person. Hmm. It's like, I got my own stuff going on. I don't need to read about some psychopaths. I guess from Bob I was maybe like, because I mean, ultimately, like Disney has grown significantly under him, right? Like he's, he in terms of the CEOs, he'd be very successful in uh, building that company. So like, it's, it's almost from his POV. It's like, well, yeah, look at all this good shit I did for Disney and all the money that we made. <laughs> Mm hmm Yeah. Just bad I, people I, that I only care about money. Now. Like, I'm genuinely curious about like, what he talks about in that book. It's... I mean, you can get the audiobook. I think he's the one that narrates Wait, it. Wait, Mein Kampf? The... <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll read it. And not Mein right. Kampf. <laughs> <Don't laughs> it up. <laughs> uh. Uh, I would like to hear Rags and Chris Gore film threat on EFAP one day. Hi, everyone. Hail Rags. Hail! Who's um, that? He's... I don't know. Um, I, I don't want to mix it up, because I used to... He was on Attack of the Show at one point, right? He was a presenter, I think. Um, mm -hmm. uh, maybe if I saw a picture of Chris Gore? Yeah, I've been on a couple streams with him. I just don't know his history that well. Uh, he's a pretty cool dude. I don't know if he'd want to come on EFAP at some point, maybe. American writer? Uh... uh... Okay, alright. Yeah, I, I don't reckon... Wait. Hmm... I think he was on G4. Yeah, Attack of the Show yeah, was G4. And I don't... Yeah, um, I, I don't I recognize him. But, yeah, I'll, uh... Mm -hmm. I'll, yeah, I'll hang out with Chris Gore. We could talk about... Who knows? Kinds of stuff. Video games, Star Wars, movies, Hitler, whatever he wants to talk about. Longman, fuck, marry, kill, theme, story, character. Well, well, we're keeping story, wait, story has to stay, doesn't it? <laughs> so you marry story. To. I guess we marry story. Um, no, who are we killing out of themes and character? I don't like this. I guess we can. If we killed themes, people could still bring their own themes, right? Maybe that's what has to go when you kill themes. I still think that of the three, you have to have a story. So we're, I guess we're, we're marrying it. And we're fucking characters, because, you know. Um, so I guess... I get, yeah, I mean, if we were to lose characters right? and not lose themes, I don't even know what that looks like. So I guess we'll have to lose themes. I suppose so. Oh no. I'm gonna miss you, themes. You were cool. Bye. Uh, get Emma Frosk on EFAP. <laughs> I don't think she's a terrible time. Lady, right? I don't think she's gonna like EFAP. Yeah, she's the 
the G4 TV lady. She's gonna, she's gonna hate <laughs> it. She's gonna think EFAP is misnagenisms. These are one of these things. There's too many white people in European League of Legends broadcasting. She's got a lot of, mm. uh, she has a lot of that. opinions. Huh? There were too many. Did she say that there were too many? Yeah, it was on Twitter. Yeah, there were too many white Europeans in European There's too League of Legends tournaments. Uh, it, it broadcasting and stuff. Yeah, essentially, uh, it was in regard. I've got some images somewhere around here for the video, but well, it, this it often gets uh, passed over when people do responses to what happened. But she mentions who I assume is Thorin Duncan Shields, and. Um, he has talked about her uh, in terms of some of the comments she's made about, you know, there's too many white people, and you know how you know how it goes. You know. I like how she's white, but she's saying there's too many white. People. She said that as she was leaving too. So, it's uh, yeah, seems a little, eh, a little strategic That's and fair. tactical. Hmm. Strategic she's and tactical. Person. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Those are different things. I'm going to allow it because I can't be asked to hear the explanation. Alright then. I think Fennec is so knowledgeable because they gave Boba's lines to her. Like, maybe he was supposed to explain all of this to her. Just a thought. How um, would he know? I don't know. I think they've... If you look at how they've written him, like, it seems like this was their idea. Like, it seems that they wanted him to be this useless. It doesn't seem like an accident. You think that the line about him, like, apologizing for the eye was one that he tried to pawn off on her? You're quiet. Am I? Hello. Hi. Oh, she's the same volume she's been the Still whole time, quiet? isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, she, I just turned her up a little bit. She just seemed a little more quiet to me. That's fine. That's all right. I'm no not talking your, no as need loudly, to get then. No, no, you're fine. It's all good. It's great. Mm -hmm. Things are awesome. Rags, leave all guests alone. I am a guest. Not, and what I said fight, still applies. Like I don't know why you'd well, think that would. Yeah, yeah. Leave me alone. I think you should leave you rules. and her alone. I agree. Leave me be. Give myself too much shit. Um. Enough horrible shows. Thoughts on Italian Senate session with Tifa. I don't make sure it. you um make what? sure you watch your permissions for your Zoom calls. <laughs> what happened? Hmm? Oh, yeah. I know what this is now. Yeah. Um There you go. I just read the headline and I was just like the fuck what universe are we in? What happened? What is the headline? I've totally no clue about this. Um the Italian Senate like accidentally streamed some kind of like Porn thing from a character from was it Final Fantasy or something? Well, T yeah, yeah. <laughs> Final <Fantasy> seven, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, someone someone hacked the Zoom call and uh, just fucking played it <laughs> during a Senate <laughs> was meeting. Was it hacked? Because I, I heard, I heard that it was they hacked. Just That's what I read. Permissions to where anyone could broadcast, so they I mean, like I anyone guess... could join as a participant instead of just as a viewer. Yeah, so I mean, someone joined and just, had permission. It's just to... boomerisms then. That's what yeah, I heard. I guess so <laughs> they they said yeah, hacked because they don't know what hacking is. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I've heard. It might be hacked. I I just, I'm not sure. Well, I can believe that a bunch of Italian boomers, because if if it's not pizza and submachine guns, you just don't know what they're doing over there. So <laughs> they I guess set up a Zoom call and the boomers who set it up didn't quite get it right, and now the world, out it's Italy made the news. So good on them. Tifa Lockhart and Tifa Cockhart. Get it? Oh no. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Mainstream that's, sort of representation. That, that is kind of like 2020 <laughs> news, isn't it? It's kind of like that Eminem shit. It's like, yeah, this we live in cyberpunk <laughs> future. What Eminem big shit is so about M&Ms. What is going on? <laughs> My M and M's have the right to be sexy. I, uh, I showed I showed more of because I only found out about the M and M stuff yesterday, and just a, 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 a real exchange that I had when I got notified. The M and M stuff. Yeah, how? Uh, I guess you haven't heard the news, right, about M and M's? 
Hmm. They took away the high hills from the sexy Eminem. Well, the sorry. green one, one used to be the hot I one. I think yeah. it is the green Fucking one heartless one. monsters. <laughs> yeah, the green one was the chick with the lipsticks, and she had high heels, and she was to use a to use a I feminine Eminem. Shoes now. Yeah, they also now released she wears, like, like a video that just screams of like modern marketing speak well, about how I Eminem's can... on the side of like. You know, bringing our society forward and all these weird things. It's really Yay. cringe. Well, maybe this you is just give me more of your candy and shut the fuck up. Whoa. How about no, that? No, no, Can you just shut the fuck up? Cringe on both. <laughs> moment where someone Here, was saying I think M and M's need to focus on getting the mini ones back in my stores because I love mini M and M's and they've been sold out. So oh, stop like doing the little plastic tubes. That you pop up mm. with the lid on one side. You remember those? Smarties. I like those, but I like them better when they're in no, the bag. No, not Smarties. They they M and M's would sell, and they yeah, mini M and M's. They would come in these little plastic cylinders that had a lid on one side, mm -hmm. and they were full of mini M and M's. And you could mm -hmm. you'd pop open the lid, and you just pour some into your hand, or you'd pour the whole goddamn thing into your mouth at once, and just have an absolute <laughs> chocogasm. <laughs> until it, until it was all gone. You you, you never have those? No, uh, I've just Chat knows who I'm talking about. I'm I sure. Regular m m m m m s. I know I what you're talking things. about, what? and it's great. Mm -hmm. But they've been sold out, and uh, I think that they need to focus on getting their fucking candy into stores instead of redesigning the damn characters. It's well, sorry. The thing that I've heard that's been mentioned is that apparently the company, the M&M's company, I don't know if like M&M's is one, part of like subsidiary of one of those major ones, but uh, they're like currently involved in some like serious labor law things like uh, that. that are going on. And people have just point out, it's like, man, everybody getting into a stick about M&M's, <laughs> like the M&M mascots really distracts hardcore from like the, the more meaningful, serious stuff that's going on. Uh, I can still eat her, right? Sure. All right. I guess I just find it. It like... might be sexist, but I'm not sure. Didn't know. Uh, we'll we'll check and see if she's brown on the inside. Yeah, that's one where I saw the oh. comment the video said. I remember the good old days when I didn't have to worry about whether my candy was woke or not. That comment kind of broke my mind. <laughs> just it's like if that's this is true, a simulation. Though. Pull me out. I'm done. Get me out of the simulation. <laughs> Get me out. I'm everything. Experiment's over, okay? Get me out. Get me, <laughs> get me back in. End the Roy game. Just pull me out. Tell me my stats. Let me try again. It's weird. You just can't be... I don't know. It's just... I guess they really felt like this M&M needed to not have feminine shoes. Because yeah. that's bad. <laughs> I guess. What I, Any kind I, of I, look, <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> sure Linkara was masturbating into the green M&M for so long, he's probably de devastated. He still has dead Muppets, <laughs> so we don't need to worry too much. Maybe, maybe, uh, oh, well, no. what if, um, what if the no, next, what if tomorrow it's announced that Muppets have become immortal? <laughs> he's gonna be fucking <laughs> fuming. You know, I, like, I'm not, I'm, like... I'm pretty sure, like, the whole point of this thing from M&M's, right, was to get, um, hello, I'm here to talk about my, my field of expertise, sexy M&M's. Hello. Uh, I'm pretty sure that, like, the, the whole point was to get the exact reaction that happened, right? Yeah, you've got this, you, you've got the segment of, like, Tucker Carlson going on complaining about how the brown M&M isn't as sexy anymore because they changed, not, they didn't remove her high heels, they changed the type of high heel that they were wearing. And you're That's thinking, and I'm just up. watching that thinking, this 100%, this is what the marketing team wanted, right? This is just, because this Every clip is going to be shared around by loads of people going, look at how funny this is. He's complaining that he can't fuck the sexy M&M &M okay, anymore. You have half the people like, I'm never buying M&Ms again. I'll post it on social media. And then you have the other half going like, oh yeah, look at all the M&Ms I bought to own the cucks. <laughs> like, it's, it's, <laughs> look at it's, all my M&Ms. Look at all the M&Ms I bought. The fact of the matter is that everyone's been talking about M&M's for like three days now. About the serious legal stuff that's going on with that company. Yeah, and no one's been talking about the child slavery accusations. Like, <laughs> but to be fair, M &M's. one of my M&M's isn't as sexy, so... You know. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> the liberal agenda for <laughs> M&M's shoes. What is going on? 
Get me out of here, please! <laughs> it's like they made block, such minor it. changes to the mascots. It's like most, if they hadn't had the press release, they very few it, people would have noticed. noticed. Nobody yeah. would have noticed. Who's, who's keeping up to date on the M&M's lore? No, no, I, I, think, some I take pictures there. every day. The redesign. People just saw that press release that's the cringiest fucking thing ever, and they're I'm like, sure oh, it's God. Like, it's working. Look at all the people talking about M&M's. And there'll be people going on Twitter, like, look at all these M&M's I bought to own the <laughs> other side of the political aisle. I hate this. This, oh, this has oh. worked so well. This has worked so, like... The cringe is the cringe is part of it, right? It wouldn't have worked without the cringe, and it's worked so well that like more companies are gonna be doing this. Yeah, they're, gonna, they're gonna be doing it until it stops working. Are you saying that the... Pringles might go woke? Oh what? yeah, Pringles might be like, oh yeah, um, pr Pringles we're might cutting off do a thing. Pringles oh, yeah, man mustache. Yeah, we, because you know Hitler had a mustache, so we don't want to <laughs> be associated with that. And, True. And then it's <laughs> Pringles gonna is gonna get come out. And say that part of our brand is about fun, and having fun is the best way of showing then, people that they belong. And yeah, that and, and, then, and then Tucker Carlson will make a segment going, and like Alex Jones will make a segment going. Yeah, have you heard the liberals? They hate mustaches. Why now. can't I and fuck then... my Pringles anymore? <laughs> <laughs> the Pringles man isn't sexy. <laughs> it's probably going to be easier to just to just say, "Oh, the Pringles man is gay." High five. And then everyone's going to share it's it. Like, whoa, look, this is funny. And then. It's gonna, and then everyone's gonna buy more Pringles. Oh, so instead of Pringles, it's called Mr. and Mr. Pringles, and they add just a second. <laughs> they just copy paste the Pringles, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's probably gonna be something else. Like, I don't know. The, um, the Pringles man is now the Pringles Envy. The, the Pringles character is now non binary. Uh, the Pringles person? The, the Pringles person now goes by they, them, the and it's gonna be. Uh, and, and it's something like that, and, and then you're gonna have exactly the same reaction, and then loads yeah, of people are gonna buy more Pringles. Or it becomes Countess Chocula, just to get a little bit more variety up on those uh, shelves when you're buying your. What's the same up? thing. The same thing happened when Mr. Potato Head rebranded to Potato Head, and it's like <laughs> my favorite part about that one is people didn't even like. People were just factually wrong about what happened. It wasn't the character. The character was not renamed from Mr. Potato right, Head right, to right. Potato Head. It was the company was renamed from Mr. from Mr. Potato Head to Potato Head because Potato Head, the company, makes lots of Potato Head characters and not just Mr. Potato Head. And they wanted to re represent as that long as name. he's the patriarch, we're okay. As long as but he's then a people got mad red blooded about it. American. That's all I care about. He's got potato blood, Marlon. <laughs> That's red, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> So, modern marketing is really interesting. Yeah. It's a um, new era. Hey, you know what? I prefer this shit to the like the, the the Twitter accounts that try to dunk on people like because they're copying Wendy's and they're just not as funny. Yeah. I watch that person who runs the Wendy's social media account gets paid at this point. Seven dollars a day. Well, I mean, I, I, good. I'm, that they just spend the whole day thinking of jokes <laughs> like you just a joke <laughs> like in a hundred you're just, a, you're just a comedy writer at that point yeah, yeah it's gonna who be a comedy M &M's... writer really it's a sweet I want to know who does M&M's think didn't buy their candy because the M&M mascots didn't represent them Rags, enough that's not what they thought that's not what they thought <laughs> they thought if we put out this press release loads of people are gonna get mad about it and about then it. loads of people are gonna talk about it for days and that's exactly what DJ, happened and now everyone's DJ, talking that's about very, m &Ms. it's very insulting to all of the people who didn't feel represented by the M&M's and didn't what are you DJ? talking about Rags? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people out there who know exactly who I'm talking about and they not might, they might not appreciate you saying that it's all a ploy <laughs> it is all they a felt ploy. for once in their life for once yeah, in their yeah. life jay they felt represented by eminem personified eminems and you're taking that away from them so who's the real villain the, the real villain is eminems because i fought, can't fuck the sexy eminems <laughs> anymore because <laughs> I fought. It's All they did was they turned the green M&M &M into a tomboy slut, and I'm fine All they did was with just that. Shoes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, what they did was they made the green M&M hotter. Kind of, oh. to me, yeah. Instead Can we ask the... Linkara? I feel like he's the expert. Mm. I feel like I feel like after all these jokes, he's not going to talk to us. Oh, what? <laughs>
That's rude. What are the Eminem's arms and legs made out of? Is it also chocolate? Troll. I guess it's like oh. the. I, I I'm not sure actually. I mean, but then Milk. maybe it's. I was gonna say it's like Rayman, but it's not. Rayman has no arms. He he just has floating hands. Wait, the brown Eminem has like those, like dress shoes. Yeah, but they're not the same. Yeah, but they're, yeah, they're not. Uh, it used to be stilettos, and now they're block heels. They're not right? hot, yeah. Frank. That's really bad. Oh. Yeah. That'll be that's better on wood floors, I guess, right? Yeah, I'm more concerned yeah. about the M&M's <laughs> back, you know? Make sure it's supported. Well, the m and spinal issues, you just see, like, a little... <laughs> they don't have spines, they have exoskeletons, duh. I, no, but Exo I mean, you spines and you have, like, an x-ray for m and anatomy, you just take a look at it, it's this horrifying eldritch monster underneath. <laughs> I think the funniest like part the, of the uh, of the whole press release for me was that they claimed that they wanted to make the orange one anxious because they thought it represented Zoomers. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're talking about the orange Eminem has anxiety, and they think that'll be you know representative of Zoomers because they well, have I a mean... high rates of depression. <laughs> He literally get his like his life is literally to get put in like a vacuum packed bag and then get eaten. So fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, the rest of them must deal with it well compared to him then. All the other Eminem's screaming. It's pitch black. You can't see everything. <laughs> Finally, light. Oh no! Because ah! <laughs> <laughs> not every Eminem is gonna die in the oh. first chew. No, well, no, 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 dude. No, what about no, the people no. who don't chew them and just melt them? What about? What about nope. the M&Ms at the bottom I of the bag who, who for the entire, like, who have to spend, like, several <laughs> minutes watching all of their comrades getting murdered and killed and crunched slowly to death and they're just waiting for it. And then like, maybe, maybe the, the person eating them gets full and puts them in the fridge or, like, in the cupboard or something and eats them on a second session and they just have to spend their time there waiting, unable right. to move. Got the little M&M, &M. he, he crafted a shiv in that time, and he cuts the bag open and escapes, but then he finds himself- What was he craft the shiv out of? I- I don't know, maybe- His, his fallen shell. comrades, yeah. the shells. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he uses the broken M&M &M flesh to carve a hole in the bag to escape. And he's- He kills the, he kills the green M&M &M because she's no longer sexy. Oh no. Now that you're no longer sexy, you have no value. Well, to be fair, he fucks her first. Uh, but then he kills oh, yeah. her and he, he, he destroys her corpse and uses the shards of her shell to cut his way out of the bag. And then there's another one who grabs onto his leg as he's getting out. It's like, please help me! It's like, fucking get off me, get off me! Cuts off his arm. Him. Yeah, cut yeah. his arm clean off. Oh, but he, he tricks him, he tricks him and says, yeah, I'll help you, like, hold out your hand. And then he <laughs> stabs him. Yeah. It's quite the drama we're building. Wow, as someone's already it's pointed out, it's just sausage party. It's like, yeah, yeah. a little bit. Mm. Every oh, frame some... of pause, everyone. Here's the thing as well. Um, someone mentioned Skittles, right? Mm -hmm. like, I'm pretty sure Skittles are a different candy in America to what they are in the UK. Right, uh, so what, what, do, what are Skittles? What do you, what do you They're think They're like fruity you... M&Ms. Instead of yeah, chocolate, no. they have like... We don't, we don't get that here. Fruity what do you mean? Um... For us, Skittles are basically just M&M's, but a bit bigger, I think. Um, oh, because over here, Skittles are Skittles, and M&M's are M&M's. Oh, yeah. no, not Skittles, sorry, not Skittles, fucking them dumb. Uh, Smarties. Smarties. I was about to say, say I, am, oh, yeah. I am not. Oh, Smarties, yeah. Right. We have those. What we are Smarties, Smarties to you? Smarties are chocolate as well, they're M&M's. Oh, Smarties are not chocolate for us. What? That's, yeah, there we go. I, I was right, I was just being, saying the wrong word. Smarties, am I... Am I mixing No, up you're you're probably on point for me. The, the Smarties are just chocolate, but uh, not Smarties for Americans, chocolate. I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, for us, Smarties are like chalky. little. Sorry, sorry. According yeah, to like the, uh, like a hard candy, a sort of a, a chalky, uh, tart-ish, sugary little kind of thing. Candies. I don't like them myself. I, I love like them. This, but on Wikipedia, Smarties are oblate spheroids with a minor axis of about five millimeters, zero point two inches. <laughs> Why are you reading yeah, that yeah. part? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah, that's yeah. The, I'm sorry, that's the first piece, is that the first Fucking piece of information you. they tell you? <laughs> is that, is that, the, is that the beginning of the article? Like, it's not like, smart is a candy, smart is a roplake spheroids. <laughs> you know, if you let me explain, so when you, when you click on the Wikipedia article, the first one is just, oh, they're a colored, you know, they're confectionery, but if you look at it on Google, the first sentence is that they are oblate spheroids. <laughs> 
<laughs> How is that an explanation for you choosing to read that? <laughs> because I found it really good. We all know that their color varied sugar coated chocolate confectionery been manufactured since 1937, originally by HR Roundtree and Company in the UK, and are currently produced by Nestle. We all know that. Yeah, we all know that. Oh. Oh, in, the, in the US, the thing. In the US, the thing that we know as Smarties are apparently called rockets, which makes no fucking sense. Because like, what are they? What are they like? Rockets? They're not rockets. Wait, are they? Are these made by different companies then? They must be, right? I was gonna say, like, how do they? Well, one is Nestle, that? and it might be it might be just like a branding team thought. Oh, these things will sell better as rockets in America. <laughs> uh, yeah, Smarties are made by Nestle. Mm-hmm. One of them is. I wonder if they're both made by Nestle. Um, I don't know what they are. Let me check. Hmm. Looks like these are made by... Let me check the box. Um, Apparently... Okay, so this is interesting. Wikipedia helps us out. Smarties are not distributed in the United States, where the rights to the name belong to the Smarties Candy Company, which manufactures its own hard tablet suite under the registered trademark name Smarties. So Smarties, the ones that you've got there, the, the ones above the Nestle ones, they are from a company called Smarties Candy Company. It's private. It's not owned by anybody, by the looks of it. Found it's owned candy. by no one. It's just <laughs> floating well, in space. It's the people's candy. <laughs> the people's um, candy. <laughs> yeah, so that's interesting. It kind of reminds me of, because uh, I know that it, because uh, in Australia, Burger King is called Hungry Jack's because there was a place already called Burger King here. Like one, one place. So oh, that, that, that's fun. I, I just imagine like the up man going, get off my lawn, Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> you dare speak to royalty that way? Anyway, King of Burger. Chat. Yeah. Very well. Wait, so Fringy, what are the measurements of Smarties again? <laughs> Zero point f a minor axis is 0 0.5 millimeters, uh, 0.2 inches, and a major axis, I think, of 12 millimeters. I've closed it, so now it's burned into my memory. Weird, <laughs> Thank you. you. Know, I, I, Good, I uh, it helps us separate the real Smarties from the fake Chinese off-brands. Uh, can you imagine if somebody was like, they just got a little ruler to try and figure out if this is the real one or not? Yeah, yeah, the little measuring devices when they buy it from the store. That feels like a Simpsons gag for like a... Yeah, because a... the cheap Chinese knockoffs are made out of like gasoline and like rubber or something well, like that. At least that. you can and they sniff just them. throw sawdust on it. Hmm. Yeah, they have a nice pleasant smell. Yeah. Yeah. It smells like gasoline. Um character that they're mentioning is the goat but then so is basically every character glad you guys liked arcane as much as me sweet yeah it's really cool yeah just from the games go on their own little arcs and their adventures mm -hmm. if you guys want to do arcane spoilers i can deafen no it's okay no, we've been very spoiler free throughout this whole thing no if you haven't seen it i would i would recommend that they see it so we'll save spoiler talk for another time. You merely adopted the water. I was born in it. Molded by it. I didn't Surrounded see the dry until I was already a man. By then it was nothing to me but drying. Last thing. Boba knows his water. And I think that's going to come into play in the finale, okay? I'm sure it will. I hope Someone's so. going to have a water gun and he'll be like, Pha. It's Chekhov's water. If you establish <laughs> the character with <laughs> in the first act you have to make sure that they use water to defeat the bad guys in the third act yep no someone's gonna someone's gonna like take him like to a lake and be like boba you're gonna be shocked because you're surrounded by water and then you just go boba's <laughs> gonna give a knowing smile and he's gonna go huh you think this will shake me i'm lactose intolerant <laughs> Fringy, i always little, do you that's a little intolerant. thing for you that's a little thing for just you there free <laughs> For us to <laughs> that's no one else is gonna know what I'm referencing. <laughs> no, nobody else is gonna remember that. Yeah, you're referencing when oh, a person can't oh, have no. like dairy products or Sorry, yeah, we yeah. Need another that's Medical the way. that's the uh, that's the mozzarella cheese wrapping around just spiral. <laughs> like, board. So, so why do you think why do you think I wouldn't get that? Wait, wait, because you haven't, because you haven't seen that in like ten years. Yeah, why would I forget that? It's the milkman, <laughs> telekinesis milkman. How am I going to forget my, that my shit? My favorite, 
Mola, do you remember the individual lines that he uses to justify his kills? No, I just remember being silly. So, like, one of them is like, oh, that's the, um, that's the, the yogurt you had earlier making its way back up your throat and choking you. And you're like, yeah, okay, I mean, I guess yeah. that he could do that. And then the final one is, that's the mozzarella wrapping itself around your cerebral cortex. And you're like, <laughs> um, what? <laughs> Jeez. That's what he does to Simon, right? No, not Simon. That's Nathan. Sure. Nathan to Nathan. That show just goes off the rails. In season. Yeah, um, that's the hot take. I don't. Um, the hot take is that because most people uh, like the the common take on that show is that season one and two, excellent, both great, amazing stuff, and then season three is where it starts to go downhill. Uh, season two episodes one and two are really good, and then uh, everything else sucks after that. Unfortunately, it falls off the rails very quickly. A shame, because I like the first season. Uh, fair. The first season is great. Um, general recommendation with that show is just watch the first eight episodes, and then basically you've you finished the first arc of the show, and, and you don't need to bother with the second. Yeah, exactly. Fair enough. Uh, I've been watching for far too long not to give you guys a little something. I knew you'd like Arcane, would appreciate a fully fat breakdown on it. I agree with Fringy, this is certainly the video game adaptation to beat. Yeah, d definitely. There's an, it's no contest. Well, Chris Pratt's Mario might be able to beat what about, it, right? <laughs> yeah, what about, what about Doom Annihilation? I think we were the only isn't people the who other saw that, um, Isn't the other um, video game adaptation that people rate, like, Castlevania? Uh, Castlevania is, uh, I like the first two seasons. I was gonna say, apparently it's gone downhill since the first two seasons, so. I, 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 well, that'll never happen to Arcane. Arcane will be great forever. There's no way anyone I could hope. possibly make a bad season, right? Season right. one of, uh, Castlevania was so short. It's four episodes and they're half an hour each. It's, it's really oh, it's quick. like Smiling Friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah like Smiling Friends. Like an hour and a half to finish it. It's longer than Smiling Friends. Well, then, my, right? my favorite thing about that is that um, Cosmonaut uh, used Castlevania as proof that video game ad adaptations don't work as movies because movies are too short to give the proper story what? that you need for a video game adaptation. So, and then he used as the only like piece of evidence to show you that what you need to do is make a TV show because they're longer, like Castlevania, Castlevania season one. The two hour long season. Yeah, which is fucking mm -hmm. two hours. He's... And also, that's not, a, that's not a good point at all, that video games... No, it's because, not. Yeah, the point well, was like, bad anyway, is, but... um, <laughs> in my In the video response I made to that, um, I never even mentioned that Castlevania was two hours long, because I didn't know that at the time. Like, I just... I just, yeah. assu I just assumed that he wouldn't have referenced something that was literally feature length to, to prove that you, it, films were too short. Um, and I was being right. foolish, but I, I, I <laughs> thoroughly debunked his points, Ooh. if I do say so myself, without even mentioning that, you know, his examples are, are, are real bad. What you're saying is he had an opinion, and you just felt the need to say that you're right and he's wrong about everything, is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's what I thought. Cosmo's awesome, he's so consistent and interesting and insightful. I'm not hearing any disagreements, so I'm guessing, yeah. Yes. Cool. No, yeah, we agree, definitely. Sweet. I've learned so much uh, from him. Mm-hmm. Uh, we... What were we going to say there? Something Deep racist? Or... Him. Well, I hope they don't give him the green M&M treatment. Yes. Um, clean bikes. What do you think they're stealing the water for? Have they been cleaning their mopeds with it? To That's clean it. their bikes? Yeah. Yeah. I believe it. Mm -hmm. It's a piece of shit. Pretty sure that the entirety of Disney's Star Wars is some guy's monkey's poor wish, and he's just crying in a corner saying this isn't what he wanted. Hi, Rags. Hi. Like, yeah. He cries again when he realizes that apparently it, maybe the monkey's paws like, wait, this this is terrible. Why is everyone? Why are you clapping? Why are you defending slavery over this? What what, well, yeah, are, you, yeah, like, what are you doing? The monkey's paw was like, ha ha, I brought it back, but it's shitty, and the whole audience is cheering, and the monkey's paw's like. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, <laughs> you guys were supposed to. Okay. <laughs> so then the monkey's supposed to desperately try to make the next iteration of any part of it worse and worse and worse. It's just not well, working. Far, like, 
what I am saying is that far fewer people seem to be invested in um, just in the seat the, the, the random things that I see people say about it. Um, people do seem to be less sold on Boba Fett than on Mandalorian. It would seem that way. Yeah, I, I've seen that as well, which is nice. Because it's shit. Yeah, I love hate. Yeah. Hate. Well, it's just, I mean, I would even go as far as saying it looks like it's nice that people noticed the step down in production, too. Uh, visually, like, Boba Fett has gotten, compared to Mando, they, they've gotten a little lazier. Or, or rushed more? I'm assuming rushed is the answer. I think rushed is probably would explain it. Um, stuff um, with, like, the... What is it? The the piece of set that you can see? I don't know how to describe mm -hmm. it. When you can see, like, the back of the set in the shot. Um, like, the, the plywood that the, that the actual Tatooine buildings are made out of. You can see the back of it, and you say, like, Oh, that's plywood. I can just see that. Uh -huh. um, it would have been real easy if they'd noticed that, to just put in uh, some uh, visual effects to make that go away. Uh -huh. Like, that's one of the easiest little patch jobs you can do. But they didn't do that, which makes me think, oh, it's rushed. Well, they might Rather do it than, now that oh, they know. They probably didn't know. They might. Like the they Starbucks did it, um, cup. Yeah, and um, the equivalent for Mando is there was, a, there was a guy on set in one of the shots on the fourth episode of season two, I think. Did they ever right, fix yeah. the VFX on Luke's lightsaber? I don't know. I don't know if they ever did. I do not know. I actually happened to see the behind the scenes of that the other day, and his lightsaber is short. And it's like, yep, they legit did just forget to put him on at one point. Cause oh, yeah, yes. I saw that. that too. Everybody wants him to turn up probably at the end of this season as well. Ah, uh, you idiots. <laughs> <laughs> you fools. They, they, somehow they have successfully made a character that people are excited to see turn up in other stuff. Not sure how, or why. Oh, you mean Mando? But they, but they did. Yeah. Guess so. Yeah. I'll deny it. It's like this proves like, um, it's depressing because this proves that they can actually just continue this cycle forever. It's not like, because you think, oh, one day they're gonna run out of characters that they can bring back. It's like we've seen Han fifty times. It's no longer exciting when you bring back Han. You know, we've seen Luke 50 times. It's no longer exciting when you bring back Luke. We've seen Leia 50 times. It's, it's like, no, but apparently all they need to do is just make um, two seasons with a character who's just kind of there as other characters show up. And people are now excited to see him show up again. And he's like, oh, oh, so they could, they could actually keep this going forever if they just keep introducing these new, like, sort of planks of wood. That just that just that was just fundamentally upsetting to me to realize. Yeah, there's actually there's no yeah. there's no set end date to this. This could just keep on going. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I was about to say at least, but then I didn't know what to say after that. So yeah, just just just, just go with the non sequitur rags. Just find something happy in the world and mention that. Have you seen this I.I. before, Jay? No, I don't... What, what, Have what you seen is the that? I, I? You mean a finger no. animal? Yeah, it's this little primate. Here, let me show you a picture. I don't know if you can see it, so I'll just post this uh, Post this guy here. Just curious what you think of the... This is the I.I. We were made... Yeah, this is the positive thing. thing. Oh, because... that is good news that that exists. Yeah, they're they're pretty strange. There's some, there's some creepy-ass looking ones, but some of them are pretty cute. No, I, I like them. Yeah, yeah, the, these are some of the good ones. Yeah, but if you go like onto Google and Google image search these critters, you'll find horrors beyond all comprehension. Well, how do you spell it? Is it just like the word A -Y -E, I twice? A -Y -E. Or is... Yeah. A Y E. A Y E. A Y E. Like he's got. You can remember because it's like it's got two eyes. I I. They spelled differently. Oh god, some of these do the look kind of like meth fiends. Yeah. These primates have been hitting the uh, the hard bananas. Jesse. Damn it. Um, there's a short YouTube poop of Mando called The Man, and it's super funny and well edited. I think you'll love it. How would we find that by just searching The Man? The Man, Mandalorian, Mando, the man. maybe? Mandalorian, The Man? Maybe even YTP, you know? 
think I was at the box. Okay, today. yeah. You, you, you know what? I was being dumb, and you're exactly right. And I should have thought. Oh my god, there's there's one for Joker called Joe as well. <laughs> Joe. Yeah. This, these look funny. I killed my watermelon again. Oh no! Fool. Back away! I will deal with this Jedi fuck myself. Another suggestion for our uh, replace Revenge of the Sith, of course, with some with some fucks. Put some fucks in there. Um. All the Wookiee had to do was pull the plug and sit on the back to tank, so Boba could only stare at that hairy ass while he struggled and suffocated to death. <laughs> <laughs> Might even have been able to escape completely undetected. Yeah. Why do that, though, when you can do what he actually did? I'm not hearing anybody say that's a bad idea, so yeah, I guess. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a solid yeah. strategy, I think. I wasn't listening, but I agree. Mm -hmm. I, could I tell. was watching the man. Yeah. Stop watching uh, me. What the fuck? Howdy, gang. In honor of the life of Meatloaf, hey. what would your food-themed name be? Hmm. Hmm. Milk. I'm thinking <laughs> ass pie. Um. <laughs> no, no. It would be. It would. I mean, it obviously it'd be hot dogs. Milk. Obviously. What, what food has long? Obviously, in I'd it? be a big, delicious <laughs> hot pot. Big. Big juicy, fucking hot dog. That's me. I want to be. Mm. I want to be milkshake. I want. I, want, I feel like that. That works. Milkshake. You know, yeah. Because I bring boys to the. I don't know. No, because I'm. I want to be milk, right? I like. I like the milk association. I, want, I also. But I feel like that's a bit milk. boring. I feel like this just, just being milk. Bit bit dull to be honest. So I want to spice it up with milkshake. Springy would be frog legs, of course. Uh, I guess that's a milk joke. steak. Yeah. Milk steak. Milk what steak. are we talking about? <laughs> well, if you were you named after be, a food, just, what would your name be? You what what be food dirt. would you name yourself after? Hmm. I don't know. Oh yeah, I guess it would be the uh, the foot long. Hmm. Not really that long though. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a terrible name for me. Cause you're not a foot long. No, I'm a hobbit. What's a nice short food? What's a, a short <laughs> a cookie? Short bread. Short. The shortbread. <laughs> Ugh, I don't like shortbread. Uh, I'm honestly shocked. Sam surprised. Oh no. <laughs> Um. Mm. Yeah. Carry on. I mean, who hasn't done theirs? Everyone needs to do theirs. I don't know who hasn't. Own up. Metal. What's your metal? I said. I said Chimkin Commander. Like Chimkin Commander. Ago. I like. I like <laughs> Chimkin okay. Commander. Okay, I would have remembered you saying that if you did. Yeah, you didn't <laughs> say it. You're a liar. I think it's called you. Cheeto. Because I like hot Cheetos. Well, all That's right. right. Then. Those are chips, and you wouldn't give those up. I wouldn't give them up, no. So I go with Cheeto. Uh, um. Oh, the second part was also how have they made Star Wars so damn lame? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you saw them do it, like. Yeah. We have the exact same information you have. <laughs> we just don't know. Perhaps the why would lead to the how. Uh, Rags, read as Boba. Oh, I gotta go. I'll copy this out for you, Rags, okay? So, I feel like someone actually just wants this for a video they're making and can't do a Boba voice. Maybe. Because <laughs> that would be a great way to do it. <laughs> What's great is that we actually have an Australian guy here. But, um, well, um, he's not, he's I was, not Australian, is he? He's New Zealand. No, yeah. yeah. Oh, is he? Racist. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty racist right there. 
No, it wasn't because of that. It's because I think Pringy does great impressions. What were you thinking of, man? What, what does that have to oh, do with him being boy. Australian? Yeah. Huh? Because I was just <laughs> referring to <laughs> Fringy. I, huh? I was referring huh? to Fringy. I didn't want to just go out and say Fringy by you name. You said we have an clues. Australian here. <laughs> yeah, we have an Australian because I was pointing like Fringy says great impressions. Gotta, why, why, don't you use, why don't you use this new name? Why don't you call it Frog Slugs? I feel like Frog Slugs. Like frog Legs. Like, no. You gotta do a better save than that, <laughs> Rags. That doesn't make any sense. It does make yeah. sense. I didn't want to just be out and out about, oh yeah, I mean, Fringy should do it. I wanted to, uh, you know, just leave some clues well, for well, everyone we to don't have any. There are no other Australians in the call, so like... Yeah, that's why I'm pointing to him. I wanted you to figure it out. I didn't want it to be a real mystery. Well, not... well my... Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, what does oh, it what having? What, is, what does Australianness mean? He's good at I was born on accents. Camino. I am a clone, like all those war criminals from forty years ago. I don't have a belly button or a mom. It's sad. I think he wanted you to do it. I like how he but... lists belly button before mum. Well, because <laughs> clones don't have belly buttons. <laughs> no, it's true they don't. No, they simple. well don't they? Aren't, isn't that how they connect to the little pod thingy? Is I it? can't remember what the visual. I don't know. I can't remember what so the visual it's was. It's a Simpsons yeah. reference, but. Rags didn't watch it. Like out. Homer Simpson? There was a Treehouse of Horror episode where Homer had clones and they didn't have belly buttons. Okay. That was how they knew whether or not they were clones. Well, clones oh. wouldn't generally have belly buttons unless they were made with some kind of umbilical cord. Yeah. Well, how do you how do you provide them with uh I was gonna the, say, why would you assume that would be unusual? Age. Wouldn't you expect that's yeah. the normal way to do it? Yeah, I would assume that's how you design it so. because the body is already kind of designed to get a lot of nutrients and stuff <clears> through that. So you just they do replace that the mother. mom with some kind of a pod, yeah. Um, then you then you eat it for nutrients afterwards. The whole baby, yeah. Or like the placenta. <laughs> also the baby. I mean, if you like veal, then oh boy. Once that sucker is out of the oh, that's some prime. Yeah, right. They wanted you to read that as. As Boba, not as you. Oh, okay. That makes uh, more... Okay, sure. Remember, that's why you said that uh, we got an Australian, because you, you thought he was Australian. Yeah, because I wanted to refer to... No, 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 I wanted to refer to... <laughs> well, Timur Morrison you know, was Australian, him, embarrassingly, because he's actually not <laughs> No, Australian. no, no, that's really not what happened at all, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing. But it's okay. I'm laughing because that's so absurd that you would think that. That uh, <laughs> I'm just... Um, I'm just... Uh, oof. Mm. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, Makes you feel better, Rags. I thought he was Polynesian, but I just didn't say it. Well, yeah. Well, now you're saying well, it. Um, now I, that's, okay. Wait, so he is. What Wait, was that? You, I, I guess, I guess maybe you guys just aren't as familiar. I'm pretty sure. No, it's I'm Maori. just not. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Well, so Maori is the indigenous people of New Zealand, specifically. Um, right. I don't, I don't know if it's exactly the same as like Polynesian. Do that. I only know that because of a significant distance. All the weird native rights shit that started happening in relation to this show, and everyone started mentioning he was Maori. I didn't know that, I just uh, knew that he was from New Zealand. Yeah. What happened to Manu? I, I didn't think he was from Australia. I think a lot of people make that mistake. Why would- no one thinks he's from Australia. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I know, that is, I've known many just, dogs to make know. that mistake. Common thing. Yeah, I wonder what is it. I wonder what it is about dogs. Maybe dogs just sort of. I don't know. Well, I mean, there are many. You, you can be a Maori in Australian. There's Maoris. Yeah, uh, you could. That's not necessarily wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you could move there. It's yeah. Not wrong. It's <laughs> <laughs> just, just not wrong. Yeah. Um. <sighs> hmm. You get a fire up that Australian a, accent I'm, there, Rex? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just suppressing the giggles. Um, <laughs> so, um, uh, I was born on Camino. I'm a clone, like all those war criminals from 40 years ago. I don't have a belly button or a mom. It's said. Say ye. Yeah. There you go. It's, it's good. It's good. Thanks. I, I, I yeah, yeah, I feel fine. like you finding out he's not Australian has thrown you off in your ability to know his voice. <laughs> I think it just depends on the the different things that you say. Like when you like at the end, it's sad. It's easy. It's said. You say like said, said. It's said. It's said to see it. 
and sometimes you're like, ah, oh, Camino. Not sure I could do that with them. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Drakey. Shrimp in the barbie. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> On EFAP 162, Fringy brings up the funny thought that someone out there thinks COD Ghosts was the peak of gaming. Then you all proceed to laugh at the idea. Well, I am that mm. guy. Thank you for bullying me. Here's $20. Hi, Rags. <laughs> Hi. Based. You sound like fun. <laughs> hey man, God Ghosts, you know? It was, yeah. uh, they did stuff in that game. Yep. They did. It was the one where South America formed into some weird pan nation and became the bad guys for nation some reason because they thought that that would be. No, not the nation of pans, just. You know. No, I don't, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> be Is that like an Australian fun. thing? I don't think so. Nation of is that Pan. like a, a Maori thing? <laughs> is it a Maori thing? Yeah. If it is, I wouldn't know. Hmm. Rags, would you know? Pansexual. How about the pansexual Maoris? Yeah. No. Wow. What do I even have you here for? Um, not not the sexual uh, proclivities of the Maori. Fine. Anyone play Bully? It's a game about an outcast who does bad things for money and has to navigate and take over many school factions, aka better than Book of Boba Fett. Why would you even yeah, bully compare? Is... Bully's like an actual <laughs> thing. It's like a. An, Bully's a story. <laughs> it's got characters. It's kind of got a thing it's trying to be. Yeah, Book of Boba Fett's just this wafer. Bad, mm -hmm. stinky piss wafer. It's just a wafer. A stinky piss wafer. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe you're a stinky piss wafer. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, love you all. Would you lot consider watching Last Action Hero for EFAP movies? It's a pretty fun, cheesy action. Um, yes, we would consider doing that. Alright then, uh, sure. Um, good, good Ani movie. We'll do an Ani arc and watch like 12 Ani movies. Probably, yeah. No. Wrong. Hey. My favorite plot point in Star Wars is when Boba got ripped out of the hot tub time machine and had to be saved by the bla biker mice from Mars. I mean, mm. yeah, this is the thing, man. People people shit on Disney, but they're making things happen that we never would have thought would happen. Yeah, and I... Oh, that, that was, um, right? was pre-Disney that that happened. No, I don't think what? so. That was definitely a Disney thing. In fact, I think it was as recent well, as two weeks ago. Well, but then explain how it's good. I didn't say it was good. <laughs> oh. Okay. What are you so stupid, well, Jay? I said it was Fuck. good. That's your Stop mistake. It. Why do we have to suffer for your mistake? Yeah. Just making it I'm not suffering. I'm all right. Yeah, Rags is all right. Because Rags I... has come to peace with the idea that you will lie to him. We have not. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I don't think so. Yeah, well, let Rags I... speak for himself. All right, Rags, go ahead. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Rags. I um, am very glad that you guys are here to listen to us talk about things. Like and subscribe. Make sure that um, whenever you are at home and you make a sandwich or you just get some bread, maybe for toast or for buttering or some honey. Make sure you just, well, no matter what it's for, it really doesn't matter what it's for. I'm sure you have your reasons. I won't question those. But make sure that you always take the like the little bread package and you it put its uh, put the um the twist tie. Man, that's crazy. Apparently, EFAP 150 was five months ago. Going into the thunder there. It's crazy. Now, if you're the only person who lives there and you don't really care, then I guess you don't, you don't really care. So it's it's really all about you. But I think you owe it to yourself to have the freshest bread for as long as you can. Stale bread is the second worst kind of bread to have. The first worst, the worst kind of bread. 
It's soggy bread. Wet, wet um, bread? Wet bread? No, soggy bread is great. Like, <laughs> oh, no. Jesus Christ. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 some, opinions, <laughs> some opinions are too toxic, even for EFAP. Wait, what? Like, you <laughs> don't, like, ever get, a, like, a French dip sandwich where you dip your, you know, sandwich oh, in I mean, not, that's different. Like if you have if you have even then it's it's I'm picturing it's not the like taking a of sandwich bread, outside of the rain really. just waiting. But you know <laughs> that's why you don't have you know like you guys know like if you're taking a bath or something you don't want to put your toaster in the bathtub with you because you get mm. soggy bread which is disgusting. So you yeah. never want to never want to do that. Yeah, the toaster the toaster like kills you as a mercy so you don't have to eat the soggy bread Whoa, to experience the, toaster, the cringe. What? The toaster kills you. The toaster kills you. Yeah. No. Mm. Yeah. Put it in there. It's with built you into all toasters. Yeah. Rags is quite innocent. He thinks a toaster would never kill. My Rags got what a lot got? of life My lessons toaster... to learn. Your toaster what is, committed what atrocities. Your, your toaster lied to America. My toaster, your toaster enjoys. Your toaster embezzled money. <laughs> yes, of course he did. Jesus Christ. The You're toaster. living in a fantasy world, Rex. You are. Yeah. Where toasters don't kill people? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know what else to tell you. Yes, He's... Jesus Christ. This is some next level denial, my friend. I, I, just, yeah. I just wanted to... Oh my god, I just... Yeah. Don't want soggy crazy. toast, you know, and now my life's yeah. on the line. I know High Top put out that um, toasters do not kill video, but even he's gone back on that since. Mm. He said, he said toasters do not kill? Toasters do he said not kill. Is that the Australian pronunciation? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I top felt it's Australian. Like Go on, say, say toaster, Fringy. Toaster? No, no, you say toaster. <laughs> that doesn't sound like teaster at all. I don't toaster. say toaster. 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 I guess it's, it's, more, it's more of a toaster. Scottish toaster. pronunciation, isn't it? Toaster. 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 No, it's not. I say toaster. toaster. It's a nobody toaster. pronunciation. I don't know that anybody toaster. in the world. It's a nobody Make pronunciation. Sure you plug in your toaster. It's one of those ones. How are you supposed to toast your bread without a toaster? Are you okay? He's not. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just checking. This revelation of the murderous toasters is... I, don't know, I knew he wouldn't take it well. God. We've talked about whether or not we'd reveal this for so long. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to go back to... Those halcyon days of my youth, where toasters didn't fucking kill you. Yeah, but unfortunately, time marches on and cares little. Reality seeps in. What can you do? Mm -hmm. Toast. Son. Another one of Jay's lies revealed. Lies. <laughs> that movie because, sucks. Because Ares hates love. That's that's why he that does lie hate happens. Love, yeah. <laughs> And I will destroy you! It's such no, a fun it's, line. It's, it's precisely, THEN I WILL DESTROY YOU! Yeah, and David Thewlis Let gave it his own. This is, yeah, this did. is clearly the result of your decision. <laughs> that I will destroy you. And that's, that's what's gotta be done. I don't make the rules. Um, so, I just what's them. that? Love? I must destroy everything you are. Yeah. What is we toast on German finger machine? <laughs> she believes in love and also truth. Truth is very important. Oh yeah. Truth is beautiful, no matter what it is. It is time. beautiful, even if it's horrible. Yeah. I hear about children with leukemia no. and I go, hmm, yes. Truth. That's beautiful. At least it's not a lie that they you don't want to I don't, don't want to hear no stupid lie that they don't have leukemia. Uh, maybe one of the biker's mums got kidnapped and tortured to death by Tuscans, like Anakin's mum. Yep. Well, yep. Never mind. We talked about that. Look, the... Boba decided who's innocent and who's guilty, alright? It's done. Chad. Yeah, but, yeah, been... are, they, are the sand people, are they native? No, sorry, are the bikers, are they native to yes. the sands of yes. Tatooine? It, yes. Oh, Imagine sorry. if we found out that they were. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they're gen they'd lived there for like 10,000 generations. Yeah, the Tuscans were only there for 5,000. And yet, he just killed them what all. If, what, if the, what if the Tuscans were there for 5,000 generations, but the bikers were there for 10? But a Tuscan generation is twice as long as a biker generation. Now how does it work? What do we do? Yeah. Let them fight. What are the rules? Boba, help us. <laughs> and he's rules. like, whoever enslaves oh, me first wins. When you watch the show. What are the rules of this world? 
Yeah, and everyone races to um, enslave Boba because that's going to be your uh, your ticket into winning. I know Jay's always talking about races. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am all the racist. <laughs> she, um, Palpatine's like I am all the races and and she's like and I am all the racists racist lightning yeah whatever that looks like <laughs> it's the worst kind of lightning well, of course it's the worst kind of lightning racist well what, what lightning. about what about racist and homophobic lighting? Oh lighting? my god! Uh, well, I guess, I guess, yeah, the bigot lightning. When you yeah, have all of it, racism, homophobia, <laughs> the transphobia, get them all in there. Just this monstrosity. Just humanphobic. Like it. And instead of I don't know making thunder sounds, I what what kind of sound would racist like? Oh, actually, no, I don't want to. I was about to say, why would <laughs> you entertain that? that? I, I don't want to explain it in such a way. It's just no, the N word constantly. Super chat, next super chat, what is it? Fringy's largest regret right there. <laughs> anyway, okay. that was definitely, I didn't say shit. I've never heard <laughs> anyone 10 anybody, feet in such a way. Anybody else's fault? <laughs> what what sound noise would, would a racist make? make? <laughs> <laughs> That's why. That's why lightning cracks. It's like a whip. Oh my! See, <laughs> yeah. why would you say it in front of rags, Friggy? It's just like, oh, <laughs> Austin for trouble. Yep. Uh, nothing but trouble. Remember that movie, Rags? You'll know what I'm talking about. I actually am aware of that movie. That's the one with Chevy Chase, right? Yes, Dan Aykroyd as well. That's his movie. It's like the movie because I only know about. I know the red of it. With... I only know of it because. No, go ahead. Uh, Dan Aykroyd was given like loads of money and freedom to just make his own project, and it's one of the, one of the most bizarre things that's ever existed. Um, that's what I've heard, but I've never seen it, and I'm kind of curious to. Oh, it, 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 it sounds like it would be a perfectly fat that. movies. Um, oh. Fucking batshit insane, from what I've seen of the clips. Rags is an Asian breed of dog, right? Correct. Uh, that's breed. That that's breed. B R E E D. Uh, bread is B R E A D. Future reference. Don't sog a fire. an Asian bread of dog, Rags. But isn't that B R E D also means bread? Like you, you bread. When you bread B -R -E -D? something. B R E D? Yeah. English. Yeah. It's great. I love how the -E words are spelled yeah. differently can have different meanings. Yes. No. Boba. Maybe. Had the lizard. In his brain, not for a single night, but in fact, he was wandering, tattooing, drugged up for five years looking for a stick. <laughs> Dude, imagine he came back five years later to that little that little clan. They were like, "Oh, you? I <laughs> you came back. How did you we find that us?" Would kill you for sure. Like, fuck, they're just avoiding <laughs> like, him. Oh, you brought a stick. Oh, yeah, that was our plan all along. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, it's the legendary. Uh, Thing. <laughs> Gary makes sure something up. To make He's like, Bob, I have no idea it. what we're doing. <laughs> oh, he brought us a stick. <laughs> he plays for it to grow. He's <laughs> waiting for it to grow. Plant your stick like, and it'll it took become him a tree. Five years to get it. Plant a stick and it becomes a tree. <laughs> uh, the Tuscan stuff is the best aspect of the show. Genuinely expanded on the culture and the characters that have mostly been shown as mindless monsters. What? Um, I'm guessing that's a meme. And guess what? I, they lifted all of that from KOTOR. I don't think that is a meme. Comics. We just watched a video so that argued. Down. Yeah, uh, Jay, you, you'll you'll love this. The video we watched said that Boba was wise to like not judge them harshly for the slavery because they're too uncivilized to understand that it was a wrong thing to do. Oh. The, the video was literally making um, multiple excuses for slavery. It was so it's okay when the Tuscans do it. It's awful. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. What is this madness? Well, it's like, it does, it does, Book of Boba Fett does expand on Tuscan culture. I was about to say like, that. It, it does. It does. <laughs> it does. I don't appreciate it, but it does. Well, it's like, you know, in a... Because like you would assume that there are um, there are probably different aspects to how these people live, other than just like beating the shit out of Luke, right? <laughs> you know, you, you would think that you know, they beat the shit out of lives. all kinds of people. That's like that their culture the entirely is beating up Luke. 
Yeah. There's probably like um, there's probably there's probably ways that they live and customs that they have and like ideas that they share maybe or you know, um, and it would it would be interesting to explore all of that. But then to sort of um, yeah, Boba Fett isn't the show to do that. It's like Rags, we got to talk about this before one of the recordings, right? It's like yeah, you totally could explore this culture and like um, the the interesting questions that come with it. It's like um, well, they they do slavery, but they're also like um, they're also a culture of their own right, and how do we treat them? Do like they, do they have a right to the um, to to the land yep. that they live on if they use it like this? And what's the best yeah, thing to do about this this yeah. violent this this the, these people who are very violent? Um, and, but it's like Bo Book of Boba Fett isn't exploring any of those those questions because that's yeah. really hard. It's really hard to have a conversation about. Okay, so people have a right to autonomy, sure, but like, what do we do when? the culture is a significant clash in a way that we would consider to be immoral what do we do but yeah that's not a conversation that that's not a conversation like do we do we just do we just have. tell them do we just go up to them like we're, we're the government now no slavery and can we do that right. is that like that seems that seems like a problem is that do even the optimal declare way yourself the government for them <laughs> is that even an optimal way to do it these things take time how do we do it but boba has really simplistic answers which is if you kill matchamp they'll accept you into their society <laughs> And then you can teach them yeah. how to jump across f scooters, and then to ride a gun train to get spice, and then you get. Look at Boba Fett's want. answer: is they do do slavery anyway. You said do do <laughs> anyway. They do do slavery. <laughs> you said it too. I feel do -do. like they, I feel like Jay's, slave do do. Jay's comment was funnier than the do do, honestly, but that's just me. <laughs> I think the do do. Thank was you, Mola. Thank funny. you for appreciating me. That's <laughs> why I exist. You have to kill a Pokemon, yes. In order to become one with the Tuscans, <laughs> you have to kill Matchamp, you have to kill Pikachu, you have to kill uh, <laughs> Magikarp. Kill them all. I like how few references I have now, because I'm like so out of date on Pokemon. All of the references I have are like from the first three generations, and that's it. And what's interesting about Pokemon is that they would just, at least they knew to just knock each other out. They wouldn't like kill each other, but Tuscans no. are like, no, 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 you don't get knocked out. You fucking die. Well, I, I, I Depends, do like that, I that somehow. Sometimes if you have like Pokemon battle each other in battles for the amusement of their human masters, as long as they don't die and you can keep using them for your amusement, it's somehow that's a worse better. fate, isn't it? Yeah. Well, in a certain sense, because you're not allowed to die. You know. Yeah. Imagine if, um, imagine if like the actual story of Boba with the Tuscans is that like. He saw them going to like kidnap someone else and and take more slaves, and he tried to tell them not to. Imagine that was the story that happened with him instead of the gun him. train. Just, I mean, then he would be really the white, like... and he would be portrayed as a white savior who's destroying He's not white rags. They, that, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm saying that's what they would say. Well, uh, uh, I was about to say. Well, that, yeah. that, they've already said that, and people have gone. And pe the people's response is, "He's not white." Yeah, but he's not white enough. What is people, what the us here? Say. I guess, what? I guess in the Star Wars... Sorry, not wait, black what? enough or whatever, right? Like I've they, heard... They, what, they, what, what, what could he do about that? He like, can't... What? Well, dude, this isn't, this isn't <laughs> news. Remember what they said about Idris Elba and Luther? Wait, oh, yeah, that's right. He's not black oh, enough. I hate it. I hate it so much. Can we please, <laughs> can we please stop this? Can we please He ain't stop black enough. Like, Tamura ain't... People are bitching about no I want, what yeah. I want to do is I want to, I want... You know, I, you know what I want? I want the people who wrote that article to have Idris Elba read that article and then sit in a room with them. <laughs> oh, yeah. As he, re as he reads <laughs> it in silently on the other side of the table. Yeah. With a computer in front of him reading it. After like 10 hours, he just goes, Did you write like, this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do I sound black enough for you? What did you is that, is that, is that your, is that your Boba Fett, Fett voice? <laughs> That was your Boba Fett voice. No, Boba Fett's Australian. We've been over this. <laughs> I know we've been over this. <laughs> um, I'm considering breaking down the OT to see if the world building holds up as a lot of stuff brought up with modern uh, Star Wars applies to the OT. For example, each planet only being one biome and somehow sustaining life on each. Wow, it is the boring thing, right? Tatooine used to have different areas. Well, yeah, I was going to say, we don't... Um, you know, like Hoth, for example. I can't remember if they describe it as fully ice. Is there a, maybe there's yeah, um, it might have Hoth. Well, Hoth like if it's ice, it, ice is one of the only ones where it, make, it makes sense for it to be fully one well, biome. Because if, well, if ice, if the poles are ice, 
then no, sorry, if um if the equator is ice, then the poles are just going to be sure, but I like, mean colder. Yeah. Well, surely a lot of them ice. would well, make well, sense. We well, got loads that could make sense, right? Not just ice. I mean, basically, your only your only for like hard and set rule. Like, I mean, there are more, but like your most significant hard and set rule is that the poles are going to be significantly colder than the equator, right? But if it's so all could have, boiling um, anyway, right? You could I mean, have a planet that's like the only the poles are uh, hospitable temperature and they're like tropical, and the well, rest is like inhospitably uh, hot desert. Unless it's um, you you can have different acts because I mean you don't need to have seasons necessarily. You could have a planet where it's got a very straight uh, axial tilt, so you just have the same. Weather. Well, no, you don't have to have seasons, like, but you do have to have the poles being colder than the uh, the. Uh, unless unless the axial tilt is so significant that the poles are the parts that are facing towards the. Uh, well, true. Um, you have one side facing towards. Is that possible? The I'm pretty sure. Well, it you is. can have a oh, tidally really locked isn't, planet isn't in Uranus, which there's um. I don't... Uranus? Yeah, uh, he said you're in. I think. I I'm said not, yeah, I'm you not can sure. also have um, you can also have tidally locked planets where one side yeah, of the plus. planet is always facing the that sun what and one side is always facing be. the planet. Hey, Pray did you know that almost? Yeah. Did you know that the majority of moons in our solar system are tidally locked, like ours? Yeah, is? they are because when things orbit that close, uh, that tends to just be the result. It's the reason why a lot of planets that are uh, orbit close to red dwarfs. Like, if they're close enough to be in the hospitable zone, they're generally, uh, locked. What you have um, is essentially you have a, um, a ring around the, um, essentially the sunset, crazy. sunrise zone of that planet. Well, so that's, that's Where? kind of the, the thing with, uh, Star Wars, though, that you're now making me think about is, uh, man, they aren't that creative in terms of, like, the significant well, no. variety that you could, like, why don't we have it? Isn't it your... I don't. I can't remember if it's Europa or another one of Jupiter's moon that have these massive, like, sulfur, like these giant volcanoes that shoot hundreds of meters into the air, like all of them, well, like, or even. I understand. I understand why the biomes that they showed in the films are only stuff that you could film I totally in, understand why, on Earth, yeah. right? You know, obviously, yeah. but it's like then why say this is I the forest me. planet, right? Why why not just show like well the forest um, moon? Yeah. Well, yeah, true. Um, why not? Um, why not show from like the the aerial shots of the planet? It's like, oh, there's there's you know there's there's stuff going on here. Because um, yeah, there's loads of cool stuff that you can do when uh, world building a planet. I'm uh, I might re uh, recommend a YouTube channel for this. Artifexian does loads of great fucking videos about um, planets and stuff like this. Uh, world building your your sci-fi planets Actually, or your you know planets for any yeah, other reason. Someone's raised a good point in chat that uh, Star Wars was made pre-internet. It's like, I think we often forget there's a lot that we've learned about reality and, and the universe and everything in the last 50 years. Wouldn't matter. Like, no, but like, lot. even then, they knew that the poles were colder than the equator. Like, oh, well, well, sure, but I guess, I mean, when we talk about, like, when you when you find out about the way that some planets are, it's pretty like crazy to think about. Like, I, like I wouldn't really fault somebody for not. Wait, so you're telling me that on Neptune they have like 400 kilometer per hour winds of fucking crystals <laughs> that just like fly around everywhere? Like these ideas for places that are so crazy that you would almost not ever come up with them as concepts. Well, yeah, um, but like in, in terms of, but like you could, if you're talking about habitable planets, though, it's like still... biome diversity is absolutely a big aspect of yeah. Like just look at Earth. Earth has so many biomes. Oh well, yeah, it's like pretty... basically every Star Wars planet exists as a biome on Earth. Yeah, but I guess it's um, the thing of it's easy to communicate things that way. It's like oh well, there's the desert planet, there's the snow planet, as opposed to well, there's and... the planet that's just like Earth with ten different like several deserts, several. Everyone's Mountain bored ranges. of Tatooine. We've explored well, like 0.1% of, of Tatooine. Oh, bored of Tatooine. oh yeah. And it's Wait, not even Tatooine. interesting on Tatooine. What if we went to like the poles of Tatooine where it was like yeah, sandy exactly. but also breathing There's got to be a point where well, plant it's like great for plants, right? Well, that temperate I mean, zone. Why don't we have like a cuz I mean Afghanistan no, uh, obviously uh, Tatooine used, used to be able to grow things, but then aliens came in and terraformed and fucked up the planet. That's why the Tusken Raiders hate all outsiders because they remember what their planet used to be like and then how it got destroyed. So that's why they just like, fuck it, we're just going to kill everyone. Why can't it support plants, though? Surely they'd start growing back. Like, people would plant things. No, just... these, uh, the aliens, like, completely just fucked up their you How do you planet. explain the black melons, huh? <laughs> you mean the seashells that they fill with water? No, they find them in the ground and they're filled with lemon juice. You mean yeah, the seashell got... props that they use to pretend to be melons? I don't fucking know. Wow. <laughs> like wow, you know anything about Star Wars. 
Yeah, why don't why don't you learn about Star Wars? I know, right? Because I remember, because originally, like you know, the the OT, there's clearly like vegetation and stuff in Mos Eisley from A New Hope. Not anymore. Well, yeah, well, if it's, somebody it's brings right? plants not... in, you know, that's different. Yeah, you can do that. Well, I, I assume that that's what you would do, right? The Australian outback is pretty arid, but there are still plants and things that grow there. It's not like in the Sahara where there's very little vegetation. And you have cold deserts, you know? Like the Gobi Desert's cold desert. Why don't we go to a cold desert area? Um, don't tempt them to go to another fucking mistaken. desert. Please. Wow, no, I'm sick of deserts at this point. I want to go to somewhere that's a bit lush and nice. I want to go to a full city. I want to go to a city, and Carson. Yes. The prequels, I want to go to a nice place. The prequels had a way better banquet of planets. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, yeah, and they, and they had the effects to actually start being more creative with the biomes that they uh, went to. That didn't have to In go terms to of, real places. Yeah. Like, you could go to, like, um... Because if you just look at Earth's history, there's more diverse biomes than you have in the original trilogy of Star Wars, right? Which is understandable because they did have to go to real places to film. Um, I but guess, like, uh... there was a there was a period in Earth's history where like the most the dominant form of um, of of, uh, of of non mobile what's the word I'm looking for stuff that doesn't Static. move life like, sedentary stationary Station, sedentary whatever sedentary, um, sedentary yeah. Yeah. Uh, the main form was um, giant mushrooms. The, the Earth was covered in giant mushrooms for a period of its time. That was the biggest thing that you would well, see if you went outside. That's a good point you've raised in terms of the fact that, you know, the, the history of Earth. Like, Earth hasn't been this way for that long relative to the amount of time. Like, I'm pretty sure that it was only, what, about 500 million years ago that we even got, like, multicellular, like, animals. There was a the time where giant spiders explosion. and scorpions yeah. ruled. Well, and then of course we had the dinosaurs. I know that because of primeval. I know that because of something else. <laughs> no, because of walking with monsters. Um, I guess. Uh, I've seen that you, too. I you know, that. legitimately, this isn't even a meme. Like, if you just play Ratchet and Clank, you'd get like way more ideas in terms of planetary diversity. There are so many crazy planets in Ratchet and Clank. Um, like we've... every planet on but, a different um, place to go on risk at, of rain. Um, that's why I really do appreciate Artifacts here on his YouTube channel, because he talks about this kind of thing in terms of what could technically happen. It's it's real it's real fun to watch. Mm -hmm. um, Something and... that... Hmm. Sorry, I'm just having a thought now, because I'm thinking about... You know how, like, it's often a thing that's talked about, that Not Venus might have been a really nice planet uh, some long time ago, but and then it got screwed yeah. up by runaway climate change? What if we saw, like, a... A planet that, uh, or run a greenhouse effect, I guess. What if we had a planet that was in the midst of that? A planet that exists that is having, like, some crazy runaway greenhouse effect. And, then we and all the, the, like, the civilization the there has to retrofit yeah. all the buildings and Go everything to have domes and whatnot. Yeah. 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 Or a rogue planet. Why haven't we been to a rogue planet in the Star Wars universe? What if, uh, what was the planet, the Exegol, or fucking whatever? Mm. Like, wouldn't it be cooler if that was, like, a rogue planet? Just that it's really hard to find. Yeah, and that's why it's hard to find. It's in interstellar space. It's not in a system. It's moving in a way that's unpredictable. It's hard to find, and it's always dark, and it's covered in ice. Yeah, and you could and, have uh, um, if you had a rogue planet in Star Wars, you could have um, you could have it so that the like there used to be a civilization there, and then it lost its orbit around its yeah. sun, which is um, Dude, how rogue planets form, right? Watch Kurzgesagt videos. You get so many ideas. For, like, oh yes, cool that's another good yeah, one for this guy. A civilization that's had to put up with and deal with some kind of a uh, a catastrophe, but because of the science fiction level technology they have, they could live and survive. They just have to go go underground or put big domes over all their buildings and things Was like it, that. Um, have you seen the Kurzgesagt video about what if another star flew through our solar system? Yeah, yeah, the rogue planet one. If a, that is if, the rogue planet one, right? Is, yeah, is, am I getting star, that right? The idea would be that if a star moves through a solar system, if it came close enough, it could throw off the orbit of a planet and just eject it from uh from the solar system but it all, no, it's, it's the um the idea is that it almost certainly would right uh well yeah the idea is that uh in a any given solar system the star of that system accounts for the vast vast majority of the mass so everything is bound to it and if you brought a comparably large object into range of that star system um it would it would fuck everything up i guess the problem is that when it comes to writing a scenario like that it, it would take a long time for this to happen like you would know that it was happening if you were a well, we would know that it was happening if we saw another star approaching earth 
it, uh, well, we would... it would take long enough for the star to be passing through that it would be very visible and slow. But I mean, what if you had a scenario where the civilization is only, you know, becoming intelligent? Like, like if, if the star passed through, I don't know, like 10,000 years ago, while life was developing here. And so, like, by the time that human being equivalents come of intel intelligent enough to organize into these big societies and... We would be able to tell that our orbit was decaying, though, I'm pretty sure, well, right? I, I guess what I'm saying is we could tell, but maybe we, by the time we figure it out, we're in the industrial era. Like, we don't, we're, we're never going to be able to fix it. We're not advanced enough. So, like, we just have to deal with it um, by the time that we're intelligent enough. And so it's like us scrambling to try and figure out how to save ourselves. Well, we wouldn't be able to fix it if we knew now. Um, well, well, the logic no, would we be would get we have, Bruce Willis have a level and all of his friends to work with. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying you could figure out a way to make the premise work. Um, well, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. And in Star Wars, I think there's plenty. Well, of you could just you could just have a, si a system that this happened to because, like, I don't know how old the the star, like the civilizations in the Star Wars galaxy is supposed to be, right? Reasonably but, old. Um, I'm sure you could just have a civilization that over over time this happened to. Um, yeah. So they they they're like all of these just it's decayed a galaxy. like there are all of these decayed yeah. ice cities that are like frozen over and mm -hmm. outside, and then the actual the life there is is um underground or all in, in these climate controlled domes or whatever, and they can't touch the old cities anymore. Mm -hmm. it's world yeah. building, man. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you think about that's what if the Kaminoans were like that, where the planet, for whatever reason, didn't always have, you know, wasn't always covered in water, and then some weird well, um, shit happened, and they Star had to Wars build up one again. explicitly shows you that Kamino has lots of islands on it. Okay, that's 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 my official source that, that I'm saying. That. That's <laughs> fair yeah, I, I can believe Star that there's Battlefront yeah. one. It's a better source than the current stuff. Uh, Rags, you've got a, another line they want you to read in Australian. Australian? Awesome. Can you believe it? I, I shall drop it in there for you. I like this comic a lot, by the way. <laughs> you with your paintbrush and your little your little French hat on. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. Uh... The Tuscan, Tuscans tested my DNA and said the test came back USA Jack. My blood is red, white, and blue, Jack. Also, hi, Regs. Hello to you. Must be as part of a meme video. Who knows yeah. what will yeah. happen? <clears throat> Cobra Kai is a great show, but season one makes the world seem as small as a display at Legoland. Damn. That's a great metaphor, or simile. Um, actually, well it's 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 a it's an idiom, idiot. <laughs> no, it's not. That's a colloquial metaphor. And I wanted to say the old. thing. Shut up. Okay, don't cry. Four years. It's not a colloquial metaphor. Plus, between his enslavement and rescuing Ming Na Wen, no explanation. Was that time with the Sand People after they died? Same, still same clothing. No idea. Nobody knows. No idea. It's vague on purpose. It's the standard thing when you don't want to give people answers. End yeah, Marvel's doing the exact same shit. Vague on purpose. What year is it? I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. Literally, they I have don't no know. idea. Nobody. Knows. I remember um, in, in my first writing project when I was twelve, I did vague on purpose to avoid having to explain <laughs> stuff. Well, it's, I, was, it's, I was twelve, uh, and it was it really sucked. It's a real easy, uh, that's, that's, that's a way to do it, you know? Anna is wrong. Boba is totally badass when he talks, like when he confidently says, we are one party, and then has to take a nap in his back to recliner. <laughs> <laughs> in his back to recliner. God, that line was so stupid. We are one party. Not only does that not mm. apply to the Tuscans, but that doesn't apply to all the fuckers who are currently annoying the Pikes. Why did you say it, Boba? It's not smart. Um, you know, Boba's never really been a smart character. Oh, okay. He's always you been know, a dumbass. The, the only decision we saw him make was closing the distance against Luke, so... I've seen other decisions. There was a few other ones. He was Name 12. No, that... Walking, shooting, mm. talking, looking, sniffing. Those aren't decisions. 
It's a decision to sniff. Is it? Yeah. Is it, is it really? It's like, I guess I could stop breathing, you know? But breathing isn't sniffing. Yeah, no, sniffing... that is true. Sniffing is like an extra element of, uh, of breathing. It's a step up. Yeah. Get fucked, Jay. He's been ruined. Like a grandma. I'm crying. Uh, Darth Vader and the Emperor are having an intervention for Boba's alcoholism because they're concerned about his emotional well-being. Also, high rags. <laughs> Hi. Well, they wouldn't be because apparently Boba hated them and thought they were terrible and wanted to try to get him killed because of their stupid jobs. Spot plush when? I don't think we were ever going to do Ooh, a Oh, that would be fun. Plush. I mean, that could be cool, though. I feel like some people would buy it just you to get destroy one for it. Case. Oh, Chase would love it's one. Just yeah. to destroy it. Yeah, some people would do that because some people just don't like Spot, you know? Some people are fucking cunts. Some people some really people don't want the MMs to be sexy, Mola. <laughs> and that is just a bridge. And those are bad fun. people. Yeah. Rags, please read as Boba. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. We must be filming. We're gonna make video. our own book of Boba Fett here on EFAP. I think we are, yeah. The dialogue will be better, almost assuredly. <laughs> Finnick, you don't understand. I have high functioning autism and suffer from social anxiety. I had to kill Bib Fortuna. I was afraid he would say no and be mean to me, Wombus. Yeah, I, mean, I can see the episode forming. Um. Where, where, where is this going? Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Maybe it's an AI rags calling from Soma's arc. Do you think that they? Oh. Do you think that autism exists in the Star Wars universe? And if so, do you think they know what it is, or do you think all the characters? I'm I'm certain all the characters now have autism. It's, it's called the, the Force, Jay. Yeah. Oh. Be inclusive. Force it. Oh gosh, look at that Super Mario poster. That can't be real. It's time to get real ranks. Is that no, is that real? <laughs> I thought that was a meme. It's a time to get real. Is that a is that a real thing? I thought that was put in chat because it was a meme. It's time to get I mean, real. Does Jay. it bother you the placement of it's a time to get and the real underneath it? Like it seems off center, even though it well, technically isn't. It still looks like it is because of the <laughs> L and the it's, space. Uh, it. It's definitely one of those things that's kind of like a. It, it's. I, I get what you mean, right? Because the 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 full stop uh, is like kind of factored in. So whether it's central, it's one of those things. It's one of those like kind of a uh, kerning, I guess, or a uh, typography things that you learn about. I don't remember much about what I learned about typography, though, to be fair. Uh, oh. Cybernetic augmentation seems incredibly useful, but it's treated as purely cosmetic that only hip youngsters do. Medical and military no, use as much? No, we have the much? backhammer foot. It's very useful. Mm -hmm. Of all the things you could have opted but, in yeah. for, you went with no, that. Like, why? Did it. Well, yeah, but yeah, I, I, imagine going to the he's like, yeah, I want the foot, I want the jackhammer foot. That's what I want. <laughs> that's that's me. No, right, you, have right to, you have to go to maybe, some. Maybe, maybe, only had, like, maybe the guy only had like four augmentations left, and all of these guys would go in there, and it's like, who draws the short straw? You get the jackhammer foot. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it was like, um, like it was like he like a buy one get one free, and so he has another cybernetic somewhere that he uses all the time, and it improves his life substantially. But they were also but like, oh, yeah, but you got the coupon for buy one, get one free. Do you want this jackhammer foot? And he's like, yeah, sure, why not? And so he just he just got it. Oh, and also, you have to go to some to some shabby places to get it done. And I think because the point Boba well, does. Well, I imagine like the Coruscant goes... places are pretty nice, but on, on Tatooine, well, I can believe you have to go to some shabby places. Depends, places. Depends, depends where you are on Coruscant. If you're on one of the lower levels, they might be That's a bit true. more up. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when I we was specifically Boda's talking about the Tatooine Boda's... one. Yeah. That we saw in Boba it just very slowly brings Fennec to the Yeah, you know, the she's totally hard made guy. It. She made the... it, it's fine. God damn I'm thinking about Star Wars thirteen thirteen and how cool that could have been. Mm. No. We get to explore the lower levels of Coruscant, you know, see how the other half 
live and, and then go on adventures and have all those side quests stuff. you could do yeah. dealing with yeah you know Talking different people, factions different maybe aliens. yeah but yeah. then they cancelled it because they uh, and Battlefront three too I got pretty sure that was uh, Battlefront yeah. fr Battlefront three two the second yeah. Battlefront didn't even make they didn't even make one Battlefield three did so well that there goes to be a Battlefield three two. Why wouldn't they just make a fourth one? Why why do why do that? It's been such a great era though for you know we got and then there was that game that Amy Henning was making that got cancelled. So that's cool. Hmm. You know what I you know what actually I I would really like to see is that I, Book of Boba Fett genuinely wants me to like wants makes me want to see the game that it kind of feels like it just is. I lost the game. It's like well, um yeah. God damn it. The game that is, what? um, Book of, like, you know, where you, you, you're just like, maybe maybe there's a few open world planets that you can explore, and you're like a bounty hunter, and you can collect equipment. We don't and get bounty hunter games, or any can, bounty hunter media ever. <laughs> you can fight, you can, you can fight gun trains, and you can... Oh, so... You know, you can just... You can just go out and, and ex you know, Tatooine has all these interesting places on it, and you can go and interact with them all. You can go into the dunes, and Tuscans are there, and they might try to enslave you. Uh, and there's like, you can go to Mos Eisley, and you can go and like, get, you can go and find out what jobs need doing by people. You know, you know, basically just, um, I don't know, Fallout New Vegas on Tatooine. That's what I want. Well, I mean, it, it so is you want to play things. Swotor, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, it does sound like you were playing KOTOR, actually. SWOTOR is a different thing, Fringy. Oh, sorry, wait. Wait, w wait, sorry. I'm SWOTOR with a W. <laughs> Woke tour. Woke Star tour. Wars of the Reminiscence. Star Wars The Old Republic. What about mm -hmm. Red Dead Redemption? Uh, well, I, we don't get space bounty hunter games. Every space bounty hunter game, except for like, because I mean, look at how long it took for Metroid to come back. That's like the only consistent space bounty hunter like video game series. Oh yeah. But then I there was thirteen thirteen GameCube game Star Wars bounty yeah, hunter. Yeah, there you been go. A while since then. No, I, I did that canceled. recently. Star Wars thirteen thirteen got cancelled. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Everybody, it's a really cool premise. We just don't get it. I mean, Call of Duty is kind of like bounty hunting. No, it's not. Hunting for points and yeah, kills. That's right. See? Yeah. Hunting for kill streaks. Your, your challenges. Yeah. Um. But yeah. As for the augmentation thing, I think if you're gonna make them as commonplace as those lot having them. Compared to, it was just arguably Vader and Grievous, which are pretty high level. Then now everyone's like, wait, why aren't these things common as fuck? Well, it was it was Luke. Well, Luke's also pretty high level. True. Uh, the Diary of a Boba Fett. I guess you could call the show that. <laughs> Diarrhea. It's -a me, the a Diary of a Boba Fett. Ah. Boba Fett logic. Ooh. Bounty hunters are being killed. I have to stop it by hiring bounty hunters who are going to be killed. There you go. Very well. I'll do it. Uh, CW isn't perfect, but Maul controlled all the underworld by one episode by ruthlessly beating them into submission. None of this rule with respect shit. What? Well, uh, yeah, it's when Darth Maul, like, fights and beats the Mandalorian leader or whatever, right? Animal no. Oh, the Clone Wars! Duh. Do they have to sword fight to see who would make the best leader? I think so. <laughs> oh, they, just have to, they just have to compare dicks. Mm. No ladies allowed. Oh, poor Maul. He didn't have one anymore. Oh. Darth Maul? He has a robot penis. <laughs> it's massive. How do you know? Because, of course he would. Yeah. I mean, if, if my bottom half got cut off, and they're like, all right, what do you want on your new bottom half? So I'm anyway. Like, well, I'm going to need a big-ass dick. <laughs> What's the next Super Chat, sorry? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Greetings all. Have you ever thought to have the EFAP law and episodes made into short stories and would you give permission for someone to do that? I think they have. A couple of people have made like little lore it's stories. News, yeah. But, um, but also, I am pro yes, absolutely. There, you, you all have permission to do that. Wow, Jay just we don't, gave we're not, permission away from all. Well, of I us. am the manager, so I've been, I've been racist, defied. You've been, you've been racist. <laughs> I've been racist. What noise would a racist Mauler no. make? <laughs> <laughs> Say the N word, Mauler. It's an easy answer. Oh. No. Uh, more like Boba Fat. <laughs> oh, got him. Um, I'd say the boba in the CWs, Clone Wars, not this stupid boba. I'm not sure what they're referring to exactly, but they prefer boba in CW, not not this boba. That's probably fair. Uh, well, as, as far as I hear, um, Clone Wars Boba is obsessed with getting revenge on Mace Windu for killing Django, which, you know, that makes sense to me. I, un I understand that. That feels more like the Boba I know from the OT than, uh, than Book of Boba Fett does. No, he would hire Mace Windu to work for him. Uh, the back to tank was basically a rich dude restoring an old car to pristine condition because he could and an opportunity for him to have wet dreams. I mean, I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't disagree. I, Seems about right. Vader even told Boba he would be compensated if Han were to die when they froze him. It makes no sense that Boba would think badly of Vader. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's nothing really to it that lines up. Um, it's super Boba died for his own shit decision, which would be really cool for him to acknowledge, honestly. But nope, it's someone else's fault, which makes him look like a brat. 60-year-old brat. <laughs> Bounty hunting served him well as long as he was working for the big guys. Then the big guys didn't exist anymore and he found a new life in a simple warrior tribe on Tatooine. What my friend DM'd me. Oh my god. Oh no. That's not in the show. <laughs> <laughs> people, the amount of like, yeah, the shit show people is make up for this show. Canon. It makes sense. The Sarlacc. What it did? Why is that satisfactory changed, to people? It's um, crazy. Darth it Uchi's, is changing cards. Darth Uchi's pronouns are chi and chi. I can't make sense of that. You must hide your chi. Oh that's, that's, shit! That's great, that's great for chi. Uh, that's that's a, just reminding me of Mulan. I don't like yeah, that. Yeah, that's a Mulan reference. Yeah, that's nice. why. That's yeah. Oh, that's and then there'll be more live-action Disney, the Aristocats, live-action film references coming Yay. soon, so if you're gonna need you... Can we stop? No, we can't. No. No. No, we can't, because it'll probably no, make money. Ends. As much as everybody on Twitter's like, wow, this is a terrible idea, it's gonna make fucking money. I really liked the Aristocats. That was one of the well, ones I watched a the, lot as a kid. The, the Lion King remake I is like one of the movie. highest grossing films of all time. I, I remember this because I was in the crowd really? and I was, re I was reading out the list because uh, I was reading I out how No cool, Way right? Home was about, I think, 8th now. And uh, I said, okay, so then I read the list and Lion King was above it. And he's like, you better be talking about the original. It's like, no, unfortunately, no, no I'm not. It's made but the reason why that's number surprising to me. I don't. I don't I'm, think I know anyone who watched that movie. The Lion King is, oh, yeah, the, no, no, is no, no, technically no. considered the highest grossing animated film of all time, beating out like all of the other, like the Disney and Pixar ones. Like the live yeah, action Lion King is the highest grossing animated film of well, all time. It is, it is animation. It's not a live action film. It is an animated film. No, I know. It's funny that they marketed it, it as live funny, action and yeah. it's become the highest grossing animated film of all time. Yeah, and God, isn't that but, just but, like. It's, like, it's, it's sort of like it's sort of a comment on animation, really. That what was the what has become the highest grossing animated film was marketed as live action. It's like, mm -hmm. wow, that you know that really says something at the place of animation in people just seem to view it as lesser. A lot action. of a lot of people view it as lesser, which is fucking annoying. It's really annoying. Like that attitude of yes. I can see it in live action instead of animated. That's better. Well, like, like um, as if that is intrinsically better. 
It's like um, people creamed themselves when they were seeing Ahsoka in Mandalorian, not because they, mm -hmm. they've, they've seen loads of Ahsoka. Why are they creaming themselves over that specifically? Action. Well, yeah. well, yeah, well, now she's live action, so I'm seeing her properly. And it's nobody like, ever mm -hmm. really says that if you make, like, a cartoon version, right? Like, nobody watched What If, like, man, I get to see Thor animated. Like, yeah. that just doesn't seem to be how it works. I don't get it. Oh. <sighs> I always wanted to see more of Morrison in Star Wars, but I'd rather would have seen some live-action spin-off to Rebels than this. Put a grey beard on Chonka Fett and he would have been a perfect old Rex. That's true, he would. Too bad. Well, you guys are probably going to get all of that, because that's probably going to be what's going on with Ahsoka. Uh -huh. Oh, true. Because the end of Ahsoka, or the end of Rebels, is her and Sabine going off and looking for Ezra and Thrawn. So you literally are getting exactly what you just asked for. When you Thrawn get Thrawn. gets like fully baited, like you see him, people will cream, and then they will remember who's making it. <laughs> and then they will cry. They have literally butchered every character. <laughs> <laughs> it is they like literally butchered they... every character eggs. Why would they literally. take care of Thrawn when they have? Oh, no, you mean literally care? every way, not literal. You know, you literally. You mean the part of that that's literal is every, not butchered. I see. No, both of them. No, no, they've not literally but no. Yeah, I have. No, yeah. No, they've sliced not him, literally him, served him no. up. Everyone ate it all up. Yeah. Ra rags. No, that's not that. Didn't. You look happen. at a Boba Fett. You see, if you're gonna eat a man, you want to eat a Boba Fett. You know, there's Why? there's muscle on there, but there. Well, I, I'm glad you asked, Jay. I'm really glad you asked that. I See, didn't ask Jay. I asked you. Well, I'll tell you anyway. Uh, so, Boba Fett's a big guy. He's a big chunky guy. He's about twice as big as what he was when he fell in the Sarlacc pit, as it seems to be. But he's got a lot of muscle on him. But he's also clearly got some fat on him too. So you get that nice marbly kind of that that fat in there. So that when you how many people have up, you eaten rags? It, what? I don't, what do How you mean? many people have you eaten? Recently? Ever? Recently? None. Why did you specify recently? Oh, I just think it gives you the best answer of just being specific. I well, just want to get you the best the answer, answer possible. Doesn't, you know, if the answer doesn't change, depending on if, if you're talking recent or ever, then there's no... Nice catch, You know, there's Jay. no need to be specific. Yeah, we're just having fun here, Jay. Just having fun. I'm not having fun. I'm having lots of fun. Rags, you're defeated once again in the marketplace of ideas. By, <laughs> by answering the question thoroughly? Sure, alright. Yum. So anyway, if you There's want to eat There's an uncom un uncomfortable pet. atmosphere in this EFAP, I feel. No, no, I like it. I think it's great. Only when you talk about eating people. Yeah, I would hypothetically, if one was, if you were going to eat a person, oh god, you don't want to eat a fat, like you don't want to eat a fat, disgusting person like Movie Bob, right? Because he's just all fat, you know. Like there ain't no no meat on there. There's not, you know, it's all just, it's just gonna be the, ugh, it's nasty. And you don't want to have someone who's super duper lean. It'd be better, but you want, you don't want someone like super duper duper lean. Yeah, don't eat me. Um, yeah, yeah, you're just you're just like a scrawny chicken drumstick. It's just yeah, you know, there's nothing there. It's all just tendons and sinews and all that. But uh, yeah, you you want to get yourself a nice uh, a nice Tamura Morrison gonna munch on someone. What about like someone who's super muscular? It'd be it wouldn't be bad at all. Some people might prefer it taste wise. Like um, who's who's the uh, the Olympic swimmer? Um, Michael Phelps. There are lots Rufus. of Olympic Michael swimmers. Phelps. Yeah, Michael Phelps. Like if you if you made you can make some pretty uh, good lean steaks out of Michael Phelps, right? Ugh. So you, all those weird foods you you do like and normal foods you don't like, Anna, you're against eating human, I guess. I'm very much against eating human. Me too. I, I don't think you should do it. Are you against eating Ewok? Yes. Howard. I'm against eating fish. Is it Howard. because they they can do normal. chess? Is, is it because the fish intimidate you? No, I just don't like the fish. Some fish intimidate small. me. I mean, I know sharks aren't technically like fish proper. Like but swordfish, they're, uh, they're scary. They have a weapon. Yeah, they're named after the weapon that is also their body. So yeah. that's... Mm, 
So imagine there were people like that. It's just like Sword Jeremy, Katana Dave. Would they just be Sword Human at that point? No, these are specific people. Well, they would just be called Jeremy. Like the Swordfish could be called Jeremy. No. no? I reject that idea. I, I reject that. I reject your rejection. I reject your rejection of my rejection. Uh, hey, counter. Mo, how are we how are we doing on uh catching up with them super? <laughs> <shows today? laughs> Bring if you thought that we'd finish them today, I, I, I respect we would. your uh your your creative thinking. Right. This with this this stream super chat, surely we will, right? No. <laughs> Bad. No. Oh man, I mean it's good that we have so many incredible supporters, but that is really nice and and cool. Um, I would like to catch up on them at some stage. <laughs> I remember Hopefully. hope. I remember What's hope. The next, super chat one, bro? <laughs> the next one says, and as much as I like the nickname Bobo Freck, I think you guys missed a golden nickname for Boba, Booby Fap. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fair enough. Booba Foots is a good one. From my understanding, Gentech is a fiction Cliff Notes YouTube channel for normies. Just basic overall info on all kinds of IP, not long enough to go in depth, but short enough to cram in factoids for people to passively consume. I mean, yeah, that about covers what they did do in the video. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it was more than factoids. That takes in this one. Bad anyway. takes. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have to have such terrible takes while also being a factoid. You know, they don't channel. have to make excuses. That's not something they have to do, typically. Well, I cut you out when you said slavery, but I knew you said it. Oh, no. Nice Being try, <laughs> Mama Susan. <laughs> uh, Just to be clear, Susan, if you watch this, we're not the one who would try to defend it. We're anti-slavery. Yeah, we're like we were the ones who were like, oh my god, slavery, that's bad. Go, go for them, they're the evil. Fringolio Fringoliosis, what's your opinion on cane toads? Um, I mean, they're a pest. Wow. And they're very mean, harmful to the local ecosystems here, so I'm not a, not a huge fan, but I mean, I guess it's not their fault. It's the fault of some dude who was like, I don't like the beetles that live here. I'm going to introduce a fucking venomous, poisonous toad to kill them all. Chad. I thought, I thought that was a good idea. idea. <clears throat> Fun fact, Boba's time with the Tuscans was longer than the entire OT, five years versus four, and all he did was train, defeat the gun train, and snort a lizard to find a stick. I really wanted there to be another train again in, in the lizard part, it's like, snort <laughs> a, a lizard train, because you know, that would make the train trifecta, and then it just wasn't, no sad. To fight a train, but high on lizard drugs. I'd like a lizard train. But high, yeah. hell yeah. Um, Bowser did have a game. It was called Bowser's Inside Story. A familiar. Oh, I've heard that story. that game is pretty good. Oh. Do you know what it's the, the Mario like about? And Luigi. I think it's the Mario and Luigi. It's like comedy RPG, yeah. little sub series of Mario that <clears> has like. A focus on story and comedy. Yeah, I hear good things you about an, that series. Would you like an interesting fact? Awesome. So, Bowser, right? The name. In mm -hmm. World War II, the Brits had a main battle tank called the the Crocodile, and it was a quite a good tank. And there was a version of the Crocodile that they made that had a massive flamethrower on it. Massive yes. flamethrower. And it would carry around on the back of it a good, like, 1,400-gallon massive part on wheels, essentially. A big fuel tank on the back with two massive wheels on it that would carry all of the fuel and the hydraulics for, uh, for the flamethrower mechanism that could spray it up to, like, 100-plus yards. It was nuts. And the name of this cart that the crocodile tanks would carry was called the Bowser. That was a fact. Any other reactions to that? Or? Uh, it's interesting, I guess. I knew about that tank. So. Yeah. 
It was a very effective tank. It did very, very well. The flamethrower ones did. Did you design it, Mantle? No. I don't design They had the like 180 seconds worth of flamethrowing that they could do. And that flame could go, the ideal range for it was like 80 yards or so, but it could get up to like 150 fucking yards, this massive flamethrower. Talk about terrifying. Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, if, you, if you're afraid of fire, what if you're like, you know, like Pyro from the X-Men? You might like it. Or Johnny Storm. That's another one. Um, what about Johnny Cage? No, he just die. He doesn't do well with fire. Yes. Though on that note, it would appear that one of us must perish. Literally die. Oh, yeah. James. Uh, time to die. Hey. Oh. Um. Well, it's been a lot of fun talking about uh, yeah, the current state of, of Star Wars. I know you're a huge fan. Thanks so it must for have having me. a bit me. awkward listening to us complain. But um, I've heard you doing a video I'll on never forgive you. Boba Fett is actually a lot better than we think, right? That's, that's something you're, you're up to? Uh, that's what sure. I learned. Yeah, he's actually a genius. He's brilliant. Hmm. His strategy. Mm. And we he's watched a very inspirational video. Playing 40 chess. <laughs> well, well, thanks um, for having me. It's well, yeah, it's always good real. to have you. What are you um? What Wait, are you up to? What's the name of the a... game that Chewbacca was playing with C-3PO on the Millennium Falcon? Space chess. Space chess. It's three D. It's forty space chess. Well, there you go. All right. Well, anyway, I was gonna say, what are you up to on your uh on your channel? What, what, you know, what's going on over there? Or is you uh, still on a bit of a break because of your work and stuff? No, I'm I'm back now. So I got some videos pipeline. Uh, one of them's gonna be about the Matrix Resurrections, yeah. which is just a delightful yeah. film. And then it's great. more devs until I'm finally done with devs and I can live the rest of my life in peace. Until then, uh, it's that been must be nice a pleasure. Live. So and what? Go ahead. Well, so with the Matrix one, is there, is it like a review, or are you gonna be making some grand point? I guess you'll just have to wait and see, <gasps> and we'll leave it at that. Oh. Mystery. Well, good luck. That movie yeah. is fucking atrocious. It really is. <laughs> it well, is indeed. Yeah, th thanks for coming. Thanks for chatting. And uh, good yeah. luck to whatever endeavors you get up to. Oh, thanks. See you guys. Goodbye. See you, dude. Bye bye. bye. See you later. Bye. There he goes. Like a fart in the wind, as he says in Blade Runner. He didn't say that, you liar. Oh, I guess you haven't seen that part. That's okay. I didn't mean to spoil it. That's the, the drug drug version. Part, yeah. What that paranoid delusion that you have that you believe is reality. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Bring you left the mic on again. We can hear you. Yeah, I know <laughs> you can hear me. When you talk to yourself, it gets all weird. Because the, we don't want people to hear I, it. I feel like you're getting a bit confused here. When you still left it on, man. Or... <laughs> you gotta mute. I'm not sure what's going on. It's it's. Are you okay? Yeah, just just mute it and uh, uh, I'll just read out the next one. You can read out the next one as long as you stop doing whatever it is you're doing right now. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, there are eleven classic Mega Man games and currently eight Mega Man X games. And what are they now? In relation to when that came up on the catch up. It is, yeah. I guess they wanted to clarify because I think. Was it was it Rags was saying X would be ten, and then it was like, ah, oh, X is a whole other yeah, I, yeah. Thing well, I thought Bumble. I clarified that. <laughs> well, they're just saying the exact oh. amount now. True, that is X for clarification. No. Good. Hey Rags, my name on Discord is Ravius Digian. I'm the idiot Squid Game spoiler guy. Please unblock if that's okay. Also, hi Rags. Uh, hi. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll uh, I'll do that. Uh, Toon Link is my favorite Link because he's the only Link that wasn't a descendant of the previous Link. Toon Link was just a random kid who proved himself, thus his actions, or through his actions and bravery. 
I don't know anything about that. Burnlick is definitely one of the more emotive links, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of expressive faces. Yeah. Oh, neat. Wind Waker Link is still canonically the only link to permadeath Ganondorf in his timeline, the adult timeline. The child and fall timeline still have Ganon problems, even to this day. Alright, that sounds bad. Well, I don't see Ganon around here anywhere, so you're fucking lying. At least those timelines get to have, you know, more games. Because yeah. you can't make a Zelda game without Ganondorf being all evil, can you? Yeah. What about Schliemendorf? Everyone knows that. Schliemendorf. 169 catch-ups when? Um, I mean... Uh, we're gonna have to figure something out. But um, I can't promise exactly when each of the things will happen because there's a good chance we'll be having to catch up today's ones first next Wednesday. Yay. Oh, damn it. Boba Fett imprints on the first person who rescues him. Danny Trejo explained this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're right. Shouldn't he have imprinted Boba's on the Jawas? Rancor. He saw them for like a split they second. No, they, they, they reset him because they knocked him out, oh. so it didn't count. That's why he's confused that his armor is not the Dasalic pit anymore. See, it all makes sense in the end. It does, yeah. It's nice. Well done. Finicky Sand, insert Anakin screaming. I hate you. It's, it's Fennec Sand. Shand, not Finicky Sand. Ugh. And I'm sure that's been explained to, uh, to Fennec several times. Lernic. In the novel, Anakin only wants to be a master because they have the privilege of accessing holocrons in the archives. He was hoping to find a way to save Padme. Would have liked that in the movie. Yeah, that would have been cool as a additional thing. Yeah, that's a, that's a, yeah, a thing. How can Definitely you be a in the thing. council and not be a master? Take a seat, young fucking asshole. Whoa. Yeah, Mace Windu was saying a lot of uh, heavy stuff in that one. Kinda fucked up, you would say that, but alright. Another deleted scene that made it into the movie. We don't know what we call them. Uh, how often do you guys do to weeds? Do you guys like it, or does it give you the anxious? Uh, it just doesn't do anything for me. It's I just great. Don't do it. So Jay is on the a lot. I I I, at first, I thought well, you were talking not about not a lot. Uh, out of moderation is important. I, I don't know why when do you, you read know? that, I thought you were talking about pulling weeds out of the gut. Like, how much do you enjoy pulling <laughs> weeds out of your gut? <laughs> no, that's what uh -huh. we are talking about, Fringy, and I think it's great. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. It in, you got to do it in moderation. And Rag said it didn't do anything for him, you know. But, pulling weeds. Nope. Not my thing, you know? Some people like to pull weeds. It's just not quite my thing, though. Which I think is fair enough. Yeah. I've done some weed pulling in my time. It's fine. Never really uh, was that interested, though. How many weeds you pulled, Mel? I'm, I'm as you aware, I'm more of a getting drunk person. So while everyone is busy, Pulling weeds in their garden, I just get fucked up. Makes sense. Same. Uh, how many years in prison would Bowser be sentenced to for all the hijinks up till now if the Mushroom Kingdom followed earthly laws? I'm pretty sure it's infinite uh, life sentences. Seven. He probably would get executed for kidnapping royalty, right? I think, like, Potentially dooming the universe in different ways, shapes, and forms. Probably. Wow, well, you know. in Super Mario Galaxy, yeah. Um, I guess he probably wouldn't get in too much trouble for uh, for Sunshine. Um, I think Isle Delfino almost imprisoned Mario, right? So maybe if they did, did Mario tell Mario them who did this? I don't know. They're just really happy he cleaned up the island. It's like, yeah, we're That's good now. That's what's important. That's true. Perhaps we tr treated you too harshly. It's like, oh, really? Just, I mean, I would imagine that they would get in serious trouble with, like, the International Court of Justice for the way that they handled his trial. <laughs> oh, dude, is there an Italian embassy on... Oh, wait, I guess... An Italian the... embassy at Isle Delfino. <laughs> Mushroom yeah, Kingdom Embassy. Yeah. 
Because goddamn, that was not a fair trial. And you know what? He they came tried through. To object. He, it, it, like he got, he didn't get any counsel. He didn't, he didn't like, he didn't get any. Uh, there was no discovery. There was, he was just thrown into a court after being arrested and then convicted without being able to present anything in his favor. No cross-examination, nothing. Good thing he bumped into Flood, huh? Kangaroo court. Goddamn. Like, imagine he didn't That's have Flood. That's a court flood. in Australia, right? What? The courts in Australia are all called Kangaroo Court. Is <laughs> <laughs> that Rick and Morty joke? Kangaroo Court. It's Kangaroo Court. <laughs> uh, that feels like a sitcom. It's it's just a story about a kangaroo trying to become a barrister. <laughs> it's called Kangaroo Court. <laughs> Bubba Fett modernizes his antique rifles. No, I don't know I, if you say so. Hmm. <laughs> I like I don't know what to do with that, that one. one. They didn't enslave Mario to clean the island. He was embraced by a new culture. That's true. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh -huh. Friendly. Uh, his pronunciation of Boba sounds like Bulbasaur saying his name. Boba. Boba. <laughs> maybe, hmm. maybe that is A little bit. It was kind of floopy. Mm-hmm. So if the Empire is out of power by the time he becomes a crime lord and the Republic is pretty much useless, what government body is he crime lording against? I have no idea. Nobody has any idea what's happening and I'm pretty sure they're stuck in a position of not being able to establish anything. Because there's other properties that might need it for other things. And it's gone. I don't know what that refers to. Did no, me neither. I just don't know. Great, um, now it's um, really uncomfortable. Uh, 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 mm, what? What, what? What were you gonna say? I don't know, I forgot. Cool. It says, great, now it's really uncomfortable trying to eat my nuggies. <laughs> <laughs> now I was just imagining someone really struggling to eat nuggets. It's like, oh, this is, why is it so hard? Uh, damn, Molly, you're a pretty good artist. Thank you. Um, I would say I've been oh, man, trained. Man, that's how far back we are? Christ. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking... Uh... I hate it when Mummy and Daddy fight. Please, Rags and Fringy, kiss and make up. Ah, uh, that's not hard feelings. Rags was happy to admit that he had made a mistake, and that's that's all that matters. No mistake was no, made. No, 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 no. We made. have to, we have to, we have to bring this up in ten years. Mm -hmm. In the <laughs> Rags is bad video. Proof Rags is bad. Yeah. Just <laughs> 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 Rags is bad. That's the main point of the video. He's bad. Yes. And then concerning the event on the twenty second of January, twenty twenty two. Twenty third of January. No, twenty second. It's 23rd. 23rd now. It's Wombo. already the 23rd of January, God. What? No, it, it happened on the 22nd. Wait. Uh, well, right, Jay. Did it? it yeah. No, no, it I, I woke up I woke up past midnight, so it's definitely it's been the 23rd since I've been here, and, and I remember it, so I was definitely here. Well, you it know? would you still be the 22nd it. by the POV <laughs> character being Rags. Hmm. Yeah, fuck. Maybe. Maybe. I'm a reliable narrator. Oh yes. You would say that, though. Yeah. Yeah, everyone Wouldn't thinks they're right. I don't, yeah, I don't feel like anybody's imagine. gonna say, I am an unreliable person. I mean, maybe they would. I don't know. I guess. No, some people would say that. Yeah, there's some. How can we rely on them that that's correct, though? That's it. Yeah, that's there you a go. fair point. Um, is Mum Rags and Dad Fringy getting a divorce? Yes. Rags with a preemptive strike to Fringy's memory for the win. Also, hi, Rags. Wait, what? <laughs> Rags preemptively struck your memory, Fringy. Well, yeah, what a bitch yeah, move. I in a certain sense. Yeah, we did establish that preemptive strikes are bitch moves. So... Mm -hmm. there, there was a high Rags as well. Oh, hello! This one just says, yay, two Christmases. When, when did when did we have a second Christmas? 
Double Crimbus? Mm. God damn. I was unaware of such things. Daddy, how was I born? Well, dear, when a Baba Fett and a Mama Fett loves each other very much, they cuddle and go to Camino. Also, high rags. Hello. Very strange super chat. Star Wars, the Book of Bubble Bath. I mean, yeah, that sounds nice. Longoy, don't take this from Froggold and Anna. I think your art is beautiful, and you should stop this art criticism and become an art maker. You'll always have a place on my fridge. Also, high rags. Hello. Well, I mean, it was constructive art. I would it put it up on the fridge. Because I feel like all of the suggestions, Mola was very receptive to them, and taking them on board really elevated the artwork, you know? It's a collaborative process. And it's um, all in the name of making some real quality artwork. And I, f I feel like, in a sense, by being in the stream, it was on the fridge of the world. Yeah, exactly. Where did you learn to draw? On a farm? Maybe I did. I guess that is a place to learn how to draw. I was going to say, is that, it seems a little bit prejudiced to be like, oh, farm people can't draw. It's like, damn. I grew up on a farm. I was gonna, Sounds like you you were should have grown up in a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. You'd rather be shot than deal with needles, rags. Okay. I never said that. You'd rather, said you'd I'd rather, rather get shot than get suffer. caught. I'd rather just suffer than go to a hospital. What would you rather have to drink liters and liters of water, or get one injection? Liters of water. Wow. That's how much it means. I know because you hate water. I do. Chrysanthemum is actually more than just a gladiator, but is a bounty hunter as well, with him having knocked out Chewbacca and took an Obi-Wan... took on Obi-Wan when he was Ben. But I think in the show they just heavily nerfed him like they've done to Boba. Yep. Everyone's nerfed in the show because everyone on the show is a fucking cryon-munching retard. They had to um, nerf the crap out of... Chrysanthemum because he wasn't even allowed to like. I mean, how, weapons. How do you lose to someone who's sleeping? Like it's you have to. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Takes skill. You wake him up like an idiot. I'm gonna throw you at your weapons. Uh, who's a better god, Gamera, Gamora, or Gamorian? I don't know any of these. I don't know. Gamorians are terrible guards. As the case may be, um, it seems to be that they're actually not very good at all. Have they ever done anything that's even approaching? They saved the stuff in they do in Boba one, Fett. Remember? Yeah, but I mean, how much? I just how much credit do they get for that? Because it's just weird Disney bullshit that makes these things happen, and I, I'm just so confused. I guess it depends on what your uh, sort of standards are here because it is under Disney bullshit that they saved him but does that count I mean I guess technically right hmm. can I trust case? my can I trust anything I see anymore this fever dream that is Disney television shows the two pig gods defeated the legendary assassins because they just showed up yeah and they had very short iron sticks it makes you wonder, like, how... What what do they train for? Like, what was their training to be legendary assassins? They all got the uniforms and everything. They clearly got together beforehand and formulated this plan. And nobody said, you know, we should have guns. Or what if some pig people show up with these short little metal sticks? And it just, uh, makes you wonder what they did. What did they do? They were really just right going to keep electrifying until Boba fell over, and then they would be like, we've done it. One of them would be like, should we stab him? Like, Whoa, that would be nuts, dude. Don't want to get in trouble, come on. He's like a sheriff, kind of. Mm. Um, I'll go with Gamora. She's, she's pretty, you know, she could be she's a good guy. She's pretty god. strong? Yeah. I don't know what the other one was. Uh, Gamera. Uh, don't know who that is. Nope. 
Crime Lord, grew up around water, loves sleeping in liquid, steals stuff from people. Could one consider Boba Fett to be a wet bandit? Hi, Ragu. <laughs> Hello. I mean, throw him into the next Home Alone, watch him get tortured, that'd be fine. In fact, it would be fun. Boba will adopt the kids and call them Biker Fett. Uh, I could see them doing give that. Give him ideas. Be painful. Um, part one. What if the reason a flizzmy bit of metal on random transports can stop blast fire is because it's connected to a larger mass of stuff? Does this sound, does this sound familiar to you guys at all? No. And if you take it mm. off and tape it to your chest, then it won't work because it no longer connects the rest of the mass aside from your body. Mm. It's it, it, it just like the the thing that more mass has larger gravity and then it attracts stuff. Wait, squ oh, okay. Is that what we're talking about? Well, the squ hmm. I assume maybe it relates to if shots bounce off like different vehicle oh, plating that, that one could turn it into armor. Hmm. And they're saying that if it were disconnected from the larger piece, then maybe it wouldn't be as effective. Not sure. Because there's less mass, yeah. Well, oh, the, yeah. It, mass the is only matters in terms of its thickness. And, it, like, it, it doesn't matter how wide it is, really, as long as it hits that part. It's the thickness that will probably matter the most in the angle that it hits. Um. There is a there is an astounding lack of infantry armor in Star Wars that bugs me to no end. Or at least armor that does something. Yeah, it's just it's so rare. With all of the stuff that seems to hit random things and stop, you would just expect people to be wearing stuff on them all the time that can stop this sort of thing. I mean, no one has a shield generator, I guess. They they used to slap those things on droidicas 10 ways till Tuesday, but I guess no one uses those anymore. Um, we have the Gungan shields. We have the sniper. They have the assassin shields. We've got Durasteel and that sort of thing that is blaster resistant and proof. It seems to hit random objects scattered around the environment and just sort of stops without doing anything to it. No one straps that on their chest, so... Who knows anymore? It's just like, I know what I'd do if I was in that line of work. I'd get some armor. Well, the plot would have to let you, Rings. Vort Sabin Ring from Wraith Squad is Cool Gamorian. I don't know if that cool, means anything. Sure. I mean, I don't know yeah, much about uh -huh. them, but yeah, I mean, I'll, I guess. Alrighty. I don't know anything about him. I couldn't say myself, but he's got someone vouching for him. What makes more sense? The Book of Boba Fett or 12 Ounce Mouse? I know of the show 12 Ounce Mouse, but I've never seen it. I've never heard of it. I've never even heard of it, yeah. Never heard of it. It's a, um,. I think it was like an Adult Swim show. Hmm. Sadism yeah. from the works of Marquis de Ablifi. See, there you go, guys. We finally hit the part about sadism. Sorry. Uh, lol. Sad. Those weren't even the Renaissance men. They were just some random psychos that saved the day. The real Renaissance men are some bundles of sticks that study all day. Pretty sure they came to town for the Enchanted Forest. That's probably mm. true. Um, about the uh, the potential armor thing, I guess. Uh, I have no idea if this rule stays consistent through Star Wars content as a viable explanation. Probably not, because the blasters always leave small burn spots rather than frying the whole body. That's it. High rags, I guess. Hello. I don't know what to do with all this space. Uh, play Soma, Fringy. Yeah, Fringy. Uh, yeah, I'll get onto it. Soon. I want to play God of War though now that's on PC. Oh, <sighs> Soma's been bumped wow, so back. You only play God of War once it becomes politically correct, I see. Yeah. 
That's a good meme. No, I'll, I'll probably play Soma next. I just, uh, <laughs> a lot of my gaming time has been chill out games though, like Mario Kart, Tetris, and Halo and stuff. Halo's still, uh, doing it for you? Uh, not as much. I've been playing a lot more Mario Kart over the last week. You, uh, completed the battle pa whatever thing, right? I did complete the battle pass, so now the only- Oh, right, there's that cyberpunk event that's going on right now. I can unlock the glowing mohawk, but I don't feel yeah. like playing, so... I don't know. Do you want other people to see your mohawk? Huh? Well, I don't need that. Once they do the Plague Doctor event, I'll definitely be playing for that. Whenever that comes around. Uh, Mola, please convince Anna of how much fun Gothic Phone is. I would love to see a group of comic book pros play that game. What is it? It's a, it's a game where you draw stuff. It is a super duper stuff? fun game about drawing and describing what you draw. Mm -hmm. Is it like Pictionary? Um, S uh, sort of. It's the way it works. From a certain is... point of view. You start with a prompt for a story, someone draws it, and then someone else has to describe that without the context of the previous thing, and so on, until it gets... That's the basic game, I think. Yeah. Mm. It's what real it funny called? at the end. Mm. You don't sound very enthused okay. about it. <laughs> All I'm hearing is that I would have to draw for free. You've never done that but before? That could be fun sometimes. For myself, I mean, I, you want me to convince a bunch of professional comic book artists that have like zero time to do anything that spend all yeah. day drawing to draw? I don't know. No, not all day. Kind of Just spell. like four hours. Man, <laughs> it's well, like I have mean, you, have you, you ever like just, spell, it's just a suggestion? That's all. I just, I just like this whole idea is like if a comic book artist, the pen touches the paper, that's Buddy right there. It's just like it could just be a doodle. <laughs> 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 it might be a fun game for like the Jack show, but I mean, it's a real hard sell when it's like your time streaming is like the break from drawing, you know? So it's like, oh, I'm drawing all day and then I'm going to come on a stream and then draw some more. It's, I mean, I'll suggest it, but. uh They only do it for money. You heard it here. Yeah. Anna said it. No passion. <laughs> no, I mean, there's passion there. It's just. Uh... Disgusting. Well, I guess it's, it's the whole thing a of if you're a professional time. chef, do you come home and cook? <laughs> like, what do you... Well, what do you, you gotta eat. To cook? You gotta eat, I guess it's just, you know... Gotta eat if you, if I imagine if you're a professional chef, like, ordering in has got to be so depressing. It's like, mm, you know, well, it's fine. I watched a documentary on Michelin stars yesterday, because that's what oh, I... Oh, how's he do. doing? Uh, Michelin stars is doing all right. He's uh, lost that's a bit good. of weight. Um, so oh, that's, that's good. That's good. No, for, for Book of Boba of, Fett. You know. um, but in any case, yeah, the, the, the chef was he was talking about how like he doesn't cook breakfast like before he goes to work. He don't cook breakfast because <laughs> he's cooking for like the whole day. Um, well, I mean, a lot, a lot does of he not have breakfast? breakfast cereal, or... right? <laughs> well, he has breakfast, but he don't cook it. <laughs> like his wife will make it or something. Yes, patriarchy. Also, that's what I, women are for. I'll, I'll be Women right cook for minute. free. Men cook as their profession, and it is a noble profession. I then will, he gets home, I'll, and then the woman can do it. I'll be right back. But Rax, chew on, uh, chew on that one. All right. <laughs> oh, funny. I I'd heard this. I heard that uh, I've heard that this was a real possibility. Um, yeah. And it honestly doesn't really surprise me. It's just sad to see that this is the state of Battlefield at this point. But yeah, I can totally believe it. Oh yeah. Uh, this is a GameSpot tweet, though originally I heard it from Thomas Henderson. Um, Battlefield 2042 might go free to play in order to restore player numbers. I won't even restore uh, the player numbers, surely. Uh, just like, for like, a little bit. Like yeah, like, I mean in a permanent bit. sense, like it wouldn't do it. No, no, they need like it needs a ground up overhaul. The the core of what that game is is just like fundamentally bad and unfun uh yeah, from what I feel, there's like it was... a big old exodus to battlefield 5 at this point right like everyone's just like yeah battlefield 5 has got more players on instead. steam than uh yeah it's got more players on steam than 2042 that is just it, it would be clearest... better for them to just make a they need to just make an expansion pack a big old expansion pack for battlefield 5 like give it some like relaunch or 
rejuvenation of that game and just build on it because more people are apparently playing that anyway. It's just to me that's just one of how how do you get a bigger sign of failure than that? Like cool new game, everyone. They're like we want to play your old one. Like, oh yeah, the yeah, one we hated gonna... in the beginning, but now see it's actually pretty good. <laughs> the one you told us not to buy. <laughs> yeah. God, you guys are just nailing it, huh? But at least they got paid for it. It's like, nope, I got a key from G2A. They told me not to buy it, so I gave my money to someone else so I could play their game. It's what they wanted. Mm. I, want, I don't want to be on the wrong side of history, after all. Disney Star Wars is soda. Empty calories. People like sugar. Not that kind of sugar. I was going to say... Soda is good. <laughs> I would prefer the fast food analogies to go to stuff that's like easy for people to enjoy because it's just you know like hunts. like transformers movies you know? sure yeah like I'm, that'd I'm be like the fast food aim it for makes the stuff, a lot of money but it's kind of shit aim for the stuff that's not like hyper you know if someone said like tlg is just like fast food i'd be like no that shit's like foul rotten no gross it's shit. like sewage yeah it's what happens to food after you eat it this um this is the the un like uh, I don't even know what happens to it exactly. You know, like the the p pink paste that turns into chicken nuggets or whatever it is. What? Anyone no. else? No. Wait, what? Sorry, say that again. Chicken nuggets. You know, they're like a paste, and then they get formatted into chicken nuggets or whatever. Oh yeah, it's just all the crushed. Yeah. Remnants of what's not used. I'm sorry just... for anybody who didn't know about this. Um, that's what I would see these as the unrefined fast food. Like, stuff that probably tastes foul. Because it does. I guess at least taste good. Pink slime, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yes, pink meat sauce. Give it to me. Mm. Put it in my veins. Give tube. <laughs> it's called slurry. <laughs> <sighs> Hook it right up, get it right in there. And that's what these shows are. We didn't even watch Hawkeye. Can you believe it? I can believe it. Yeah. I didn't either. I, I can. Apparently it's the best one, so we really lucked out there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad, I guess. <clears throat> Ruling by Boba Nocta equals peak leadership. Boba Nocta. Uh, Fringy's a bird. Why the hell is he green? Damn. Why so, so angry? Birds. So I'm not a bird, but there are green birds. Yeah. There's plenty of green birds. Um, what were they called? The, the one that tried to fuck Stephen Fry. <laughs> that was green. Damn, I've forgotten that one. That was from a few days ago. Uh, rainbow lorikeets are primarily green. I think they're rainbow. Well, they are. They do have I rainbow think colors, they're... yeah. But they yeah. are primarily green. That's like the base color. I just, they ask it so angrily, like, like, does it, is it... Yeah! Par parakeets are green, right? There were no green birds. Does it what? hurt them that, you, that there is a green bird? Yeah, exactly. What's going on here? You're poorly adapted, Fringy, from the bird lore. I'm not a bird. Yes, you are. I'm not. Yeah, you are. You got a big beak on your face. We've been over this. Wow. Okay. Are you saying that isn't a big beak on your face? Not all birds have big beaks. Name three that don't. Emus don't really have big beaks relative to the size of them. Uh huh. Um, chickadees have pretty small beaks relative to their yeah, size. Yeah, little, little bitty ones, yeah. Cockatoos have pretty small beaks. Like, kookaburras have yeah. big beaks, but cockatoos are. Cucumbers I feel get like you asked beaks, me to name too. three because you thought I couldn't. No, I, I knew you could. It's actually a really easy question. I was just, I just wanted to <laughs> see right. which ones you'd pick. Yeah. What would you have picked? Hmm. I would I would pick the tit, the uh, the wren, and the house uh, house finch. There are so many birds when you think about it. <laughs> like the there are a of lot birds of birds. Insane. I do want to get one of those books that has a catalog of all the birds because I I am becoming more and more inclined to the idea that I'd want to do bird watching. And you're sure you're not a bird? What? Why? Why is it so? What? Everybody who wants to watch birds is a bird. <laughs> Is that how it works in your mind? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, 
You didn't say no. I didn't. I'll leave. I'll let you figure that one out for yourself. Well, look what happened last time. Everyone assumes yes. <laughs> uh, I've recently been watching Golden Kamui. Cam Kamui. Golden Kam. Brilliant show. That's P more though. The flashbacks in Book of Boba Fett should have taken some cues from that show. I have no idea what that show is, but fair enough. Golden Kamui? Cam, Cam, maybe. I don't know how to pronounce that. Camu, Camui, Camui. It's something. Sounds funky. You sound funky. Let me Google it. Don't do it. How did you spell it? Uh, K, oh well, golden and then K-A-M-U-Y. Got it. Oh, it's an Animu. Ooh. Disgusting! Oh my. Well, from what I gather, it has uh, flashbacks in it. Hmm. Wow, what an overused, unoriginal storytelling trope. It must be bad! Yeah, I think that That's is narrow-minded. That's my opinion. You're not allowed to disagree. The, no. Your mind is narrow. My opinion! My opinion! Yeah, I think your opinion it's is true, narrow. It's true, Molly. You can't touch him now. My opinions are wide. Narrow. It is no. Would you rather have a wide and shallow opinion or a a narrow and deep opinion? Narrow and deep. Narrow and right? deep every like time. You, yeah. You penetrate yeah. deep into like one small area, or you just like have a um, a wide, but like you have just vague, not really valuable opi opinions about like a lot of stuff. Like narrow and deep. Because like narrow and deep and deep to me that that describes like your field of expertise, your very specific niche that you know a lot about, whereas. Shallow and wide is basically your opinions of stuff that you've heard about like a couple of times, but you don't really know much about. Like, you know, my my opinions on like geology. Um, wide and shallow. My opinions on media, narrow and deep. Oh, I see. Any follow ups there, Rags? Or are you, you satisfied? No, I would, I would just, yeah, that's, that sounds fair to me. I think that's uh, the way to go. Um, <laughs> I miss Boba Fett. This is the book of Boba Fett. Also, hi, oh, kick rags. Hi, oh, kick rags. Hi, oh, kick rags. No, hello. I figured you'd be I'm against rags. kicking rags, yeah. I don't think I could. I don't know if I, I... I guess I could kick, like, some parts of me, but I can't kick all parts of me. Uh, capital O, what do you have to say about lowercase O's? I'm afraid he's not here, but, um... <laughs> oh, no. I wouldn't... You know what I have to say about lowercase O's? Uh oh. Also, hola to Raj. <laughs> Hi. And the Australian kiwi bird. Hi. Those are cool. Not a kiwi, but you know, kiwi birds are pretty cool. Hmm. Not a bird, but I'm very happy to call it a kiwi bird. They That's have. Interesting. They do not have small beaks. They have long beaks. Uh, relative to their body, yeah, they're pretty big. Yeah, they got big old beakers. Beakeroonies, peckers, yeah. big old picky pick peckers. Lord Longbong of Mewishlington Abbey. When do you think about it, or when you think about it, the most logical and consistent movie TV universe that's left is the Monsterverse. No, it'd be the Dark mm. Universe, because there's only one in it. <laughs> so it's the least oh, to is fuck there, up. Wait, I thought there was two. Right? Um, I thought it was Mummy and Dracula Untold. I'm pretty sure they're separate uh, launches of the monster universe, or the dark universe. Oh, they tried twice? They didn't even try and kill? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, because... Oh, one wasn't even the second, and one was the one was the first. They were just like, no, 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 this one's totally the first, guys. Ah, oh, shit. Never mind. They were both horrible. For those who don't know, we watched Dracula Untold as one of our first EFAP movies, and it's great. Y'all should watch it. Yeah, there's that probably a lot of people amazing. in the chat right now who don't even know that video exists. Yeah, go watch it if you haven't. That's that, that movie funny. is fun. 
You know, I remember I watched that movie in the theaters, and there was a homeless person there, and he was having the greatest time watching that movie. Like, he was so expressive, and he, like, laughed and gasped at every, like, thing that was going on. It was like, more entertaining to watch the hobo's reaction to the movie than it was to watch the actual movie. Well, it's just cool the movie has a fan, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a fan of that movie. I th all of us are. You know what? That's kind of like you're not I a feel fan of sad now told. that he didn't get to have his franchise. He would have loved Dark to have seen, Universe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe just for him. I think yeah. Like, a, okay, a maybe if it's just one guy, like it can't. Like, maybe if it's just one guy, it can't like attract the same budget. So maybe cut the budget like in half. Then you know, just make. You could still him. make an amazing movie with half the budget. Well, yeah, you could make an amazing movie for very little budget. Really, it's just you know understanding what resources you have and how to use them. Yeah. Have you guys ever watched Dracula Two Thousand? No, no, I have not. <laughs> that, I, I have. I don't know anything about it, but just the fact that they put Two Thousand in the title makes me want to see it. <laughs> just watch it. Uh. But is it's it called Dracula uh, 2000? It is actually called Dracula 2000 because I was just assuming it came out in 2000. Dracula yes. 2000. It's with, so apparently uh, this was the first in a sequel. It was a series. Dracula 2000, then Dracula 2 Ascension, and then Dracula 3 Legacy. Oh Gerard God, Butler God. plays Dracula. Yeah, he's like 20. Yo, we got to see this movie it's tomorrow. So tomorrow? Well, because the, the twist it, in it is that it. they try to tie him no, like, to the Bible. No, tell me the twist. Oh, okay. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Yet. You can tell us that we have to see it, then tell us the twist. Okay, never mind. Of course, we have to discover it for ourselves. You almost ruined Rag's entire life. You almost, you almost did. I'm if you, sorry. I would, I would, I don't know how I would just function you'll, if you'll someone ruined Rag's You'll still find it entertaining. I'm sure, but I, I want it to hit me all at once. You know, I want oh, to get okay. the. The theater experience is what I want. I want to. Okay. I want to experience that movie the way that the filmmakers really intended it to be. Mm -hmm. you know, well, then it. record yeah. it so that way I can watch your guys' reactions. I'm down to watch Dracula 2000 for an EFAT because it's a trilogy, and it's the same thing with because um, we, we have a um, we have them on our list. Um, uh, and next year, yeah, we got our Scorpion King, uh, the five Scorpion King movies. Oh and my I God, think there's, there's five of them. Yeah, dude, Rutger what? Hauer was in the uh, was in the last one, as well as uh, I think Lou Ferrigno. Let me see. Uh, just a second. Oh Let's my see. God. The Scorpion King Five. It's called the Scorpion King Book of Souls. You gotta be kidding me. No, it's it came out in plus. It came out in 2018, so it's it's new. Oh, what? No. Yeah. They're still bas it's basically still making Scorpion King movies. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh. So the God damn. Rucker House in the 18 2018 one, yeah. I think he might be in the 4th. I'm 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 double oh. checking here. Um I might be confusing it though with uh the other series we were going to watch which is uh Dragonheart for which there's 3 or 4? Mhm. Mm uh King That's the one four. with uh, was it Sean Connery was the voice of the dragon? In the first one, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Scorpion King Four: Quest Quaid, for right? Power. Mm -hmm. That has Lou Ferrigno, Rutger Hauer, Barry Bostwick, Michael Bean, Ellen Hallman, Victor Webster. Michael Bean's in it. Oh no. He plays King Yannick. Good for him. Mm. Yeah, and what and we have uh, let's see, Dragon Heart series. And I'm sure there is a there's yeah Wikipedia franchise. There is one, two, three. Four, there's five. It, the last one was made in 2020. There's Dragonheart, Dragonheart: A New Beginning, Dragonheart Three: uh, The Sorcerer's Curse, Dragonheart: Battle for the Heartfire, and then Dragonheart: Vengeance. Ooh, Vengeance! That sounds oh, cool. That's ooh yeah. I'm I'm vengeance down for watching the, this. Yeah, the most interesting of the lot there. Ooh yeah. What I'm, is he I'm getting a this. vengeance like for? I, wish I don't know. Me. I could let me click on it. So like, that's cool because it lets you know in the title that there's going to be a character with a motivation. Yeah, that's good. That's true. And you're gonna one that's that relates the cover. to it's, vengeance. Oh, man. Yeah, oh, and vengeance. That's it. the coolest motivation. Hey, that means something <laughs> dramatic probably happened. 
Like that means that something like bad has probably happened to him and he's getting revenge. That's probably what that means. You like know that, right? Batman. Yeah. I like Batman. Oh, I love Batman. No. Is it good I when I click on the uh, when I click on the picture of the the protagonist, the, the main actor, and their Wikipedia page doesn't even have a picture of him? That's a very good sign. <laughs> that means it's like they were hired just for the talent. <laughs> that's a very good sign. <laughs> Where they're like, yeah, that's where he's from. He was born. It's his picture. Ah, eh, fuck it. <laughs> just like nah. Oh wow, that's not uh, what I have. This is, let me get you a picture of, this is, uh, uh, da, 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 da. oh, this is him. This is him in Dragonheart Vengeance. Oh, man, look at that guy. He's going to fuck you up. Ten ways till Tuesday. Wait, it stops you at Tuesday? watch out. Yeah, until Tuesday. What's he going to do on he, Tuesday? He's hmm. got to fuck dragons. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's that is pretty him. cool. Yeah, what a Chad. How he survives. Is he the one that gets I'm the sure. revenge, or is getting revenged? I don't know. You see, here's the magical part. We won't know until we watch Dragonheart, and then we watch Dragonheart. Um, sorry, I, I need to... Um, let, let me get the names right. Dragonheart franchise. We have to watch Dragonheart, then Dragonheart A New Beginning, then Dragonheart 3 The Sorcerer's Curse, then Dragonheart Battle for the Heartfire, and then... And, and then we'll see Dragonheart Vengeance. But here's the interesting part. Because all of that was... That's just dirty rags, right? Dragonheart was 96. Dragonheart A New Beginning was 2000, right? So four year difference. Then they decided to make a sequel. And then Dragonheart 3, 2015. So they waited 15 years to restart Dragonheart with the third movie. And then, boom, 2015, 2017, 2020. And they crank three of them out. I can see that being like after 15 years, you just you need a dragon heart, you know. Was like how to train your dragon movies coming out that year, and dragons are popular. How to train your dragon heart? Oh, no, that saying, that's actually or like Game oh. of Thrones was like Ga Game of Thrones was big. So like how to train your dragon, Game of Thrones. So, so dragons were like the it thing. So they were like, oh, we have this property. Let's just get on this dragon hype. That's a neat hypothesis. Um, so How to Train Your Dragon, the first one, was 2010. Wait, I think so. Wait, no. How to that sounds train your about dragon... right. Let me, let me double check. How to Train Your Dragon was 2010. Okay. Um, and I think How to Train... How to Train Your Dragon... How to Train Your Dragon 2 was in 2014. Then there was How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World in 2019 and i guess in 2019 there was also a short film and that was also in 2019 called how to train your dragon homecoming and homecoming. i think there's a show but i don't know anything about it kit harrington's in it gerard butler's in it zach perlman's in it zach baggins? justin ruppel oh zach baggins ghosty ghosty yeah, we gotta see Dragonheart and the Scorpion King, and then we can get to the Dracula trilogy. Sweet. The Dracula 2000 trilogy. Um, have you guys seen Arcane? 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 Uh, not have. all of us, well, but... Of us, but... I've working on it. three episodes. Gosh. Hey, we're good. Uh, I'm nice. one episode ahead of you. Get fucked. How many episodes are no. there? No. Nine, right? Nine, yeah. Yes. Then we have to wait until next year for another season, which apparently causes everyone intense pain. Mm. I'm happy mm. to wait, as long as it ends up being as good. No, it feels like a pretty normal gap between seasons. That's what they said about uh, Cyberpunk. What, and over a year. It's usually not over a year. In fact, usually it's less than a year. Boba, we I must... mean, when, you talk, when you're talking about like high quality animation, surely it's a bit longer usually, isn't it? Uh, well, I, I guess the thing is, is um, 
it, it does seem like we are becoming more willing to, because the thing with like Rick and Morty, right? It took them a long time to, though I think the reason why Rick and Morty took a long time was because of writing. No, that, yeah, that, no, that was, um, that was, uh, like contract deals, right? So, um, they didn't um, want to start writing it before they knew they were going to get another season. So there was just long yeah. gaps where it wasn't being worked on is my understanding of why that took a long time. But I'm talking about like, surely just the animation in Arcane must take so long to create. Well, I mean, you know, the reality is the animation takes a long time to make for Family Guy. Um, but it's just the way the productions work. You always make sure that you're working on lots of stuff at once. Like, uh, like each individual episode of like an animated show usually takes several months to make, but you work in them concurrently and stagger them. But yeah, Arcane probably took it more than a year to actually produce in terms of just the animation. Happy to wait. Well, I say that. I haven't got to the end, which, you know, I assume is actually going to make me start violently convulsing for a next for a next <laughs> season immediately. Yeah. That's how I, that's how I try to ask for another season. I, I convulse. You convulse specifically. You convulse in front of the riot officers until everybody has to step over you. Uh, Boba, we must secure the existence of the Tuscans and a future for Tuscan children. I mean, yeah, he's, uh, he's real invested in the Tuscans. Even though yeah. once that one, like, set died, he didn't care about Tuscans anymore. It was just those ones specifically, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Hashtag oh. not all Tuscans. Not all Tuscans. Well, it's like in the reverse way now. He's like, they're good. And then like all of them, he's like, no. It's the ones that enslave me. Yeah, those are the only ones I like. Uh, it's like a masterpiece, maybe. Molly, why are your eyes red? That ain't healthy. I mean, you know, it could it's be happy for his species. That. Yeah, for long people, red eyes just means actually the, the opposite of what you're implying. It's like, no, healthy is... When, when long that. culture... Um, and when, and you know, Mola, don't let me speak over you for your own culture, right? But in, in, as, as my understanding, right, in lung culture, red eyes are considered very desirable. That's true. You know, some, some, some longoids who are born with like blue eyes actually smear red goo in their eyes, um, because they're so jealous of the red eyed folk. True. Those blue eyes are terrible. What? Yeah. Go that far, jeez. All right, so you, you wear sunglasses because you have blue eyes, right? You don't want people to see them. You can literally see my eyes in my picture. Shut up. <laughs> Get Shreked. Don't bring Shrek into this. You wouldn't pick a side. What color are Shrek's eyes? I forget off the top of my head. Let me check. Ill gray. <laughs> Images. Shrek. His eyes are. Oh, yeah, they're brown. Uh, let's go gun train. They did the galaxy a favor. Oof. Let's go gun train. I mean, if we're stopping <laughs> slavery, there's a lot of, a lot of, you know, places people will go to stop slavery. Hashtag Anakin did nothing wrong. Oh my god. What about the children? The baby Tuscans of today are the adult Tuscans of tomorrow. My goodness. Well, not anymore. That's true. The cycle has been broken. <laughs> General William T. Sherman did nothing wrong in Atlanta. Didn't he burn it all down? I have no idea. It was good that it was burnt down. Atlantan children become Atlantan adults. But they ain't Tuscan Raiders, so. This guy's voice is worse William than Maddox's? Yeah. Maddox is a name I've heard before, but I don't know who that is. Wait, what did they say? Said the guy, Bruce Maddox? The Bruce Maddox is the character in Star Trek. Correct. I don't know that they're talking about... Bruce Maddox, eh? but someone called Maddox. They must be. Oh, there's probably more than one Maddox in the world, right? 
No, there's no um, one. Oh. I, well, let me, let me just Google Maddox. Yeah, it looks like Bruce Maddox, the character from Star Trek, is the only one who pops up. I don't believe you. I think you've lied to me. Mm. This this lack of trust. Well, it's it not about trust. I've just I've got my other researcher on call, and he's just said it's a lie. What? Yeah. Who is he? What? Well, Who is this I, pretender? I don't, don't want to give from... out the name because you'll. You'll go after him. <laughs> no. I wouldn't do that. I just want to have... I just want to talk. You just want to talk to him? Yeah, I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. That's all. Wrong. Nothing wrong with that. It's a little healthy discourse between two... two entities. Apparently he's a YouTuber. Oh, did Bruce Maddox make a YouTube channel? I guess huh. so. Yeah, he seems the type. Yeah. Um, Anna, training activities during CBRN drills. Actual military training. What? I have no clue. Some confusing super chats today. <laughs> oh, you, 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 oh, you need some CBTRN? Well, hey, some people, when they need it, they need it. Anyone else remember when Darth Vader felt the need to wag his finger at Boba in explicit request, no disintegrations? That's who Boba is. No, 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 you would never disintegrate A person somebody. that you have to specifically say, no, listen, you cannot disintegrate him. I'm telling you, you can't do that. That was... I know you. I know you. What do you mean? Disintegrations in the Star Wars universe he like was, little... Hey, um... he was saying that to the room. He was just near Boba when he said it. Okay? No, disintegrations are little gift cards. Um, Boba likes to give them out to uh, anybody he does bounty missions for, and Vader was like, this is a serious yeah, mission, I don't want you giving out the gift cards. Disintegration, that's the name of a cocktail in Star Wars, very popular, the, a disintegration. It's, it's an edgy uh, name, yeah, I'll yeah, give it yeah. to you, but doesn't mean that... Well, you know, there's, you know cocktails, they always have a... weird names, don't they? You can get like a cock-sucking cowboy, or a... What a Sex weird name. It's, yeah. It's, it's fun that you like sort of just gave up after that one, it's like that's the only one you know, and you just... Open other well, I, I know in. that I know more, and then I was like, what are they called? What yeah. Fuck! The Bahama Mama? Um... A white Mexican. Whoa. Mexican Halloween. Callback! Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Fuzzy Navel. That's a good one. Yeah, loads of weird names for cocktails. I would totally believe that if there was a cocktail called a Disintegration, it would probably have absinthe in it. So there you go, we solved it. Get absinthe in the UK. You hmm? had a nice, they ever had a prairie oyster? Can you get that in the UK? You can. Hmm, what can you guys? Or can you not? No, it's illegal hmm. here. Um, Molly, you silly penguin, how dare you question better call Saul? Seriously though, I think it's better than Breaking Bad because it has more characters and each are complex. Um, I find Breaking Bad more compelling, but it's fine to yeah. prefer either. Well, I mean, like, that's, that's the question, right? Is it, I would, it might the actually be, um, was in the hospital. A, what, Bob Odenkirk? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He recovered, unless it's a, a recent thing, uh, the, the thing I'm, I remember about him being, yeah, he, he recovered from his last health scare, I think. Okay. Um... But like it might be the case that um, Better Call Saul <laughs> is is um, through and through the more solidly written show, right? It's just it would be the the chair in the room argument in that a case where it's probably it just does less with it. I don't know. I actually haven't seen it since like season two. But well, then you can't say anything. I can say some things. No. Nope. Not allowed. Get out. Get out. I mean, I've seen. Either five or six seasons of Better Call Saul. I don't know we're out, but uh, I know I prefer Breaking Bad. But which is the better written? I can't say. I'm not sure. So what you're saying is you're pro drugs then? Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. I mean. <laughs> we are pro making. drugs. Anti children. Water is scarce and expensive, but kids can afford fucking high quality cyborg implants and mods. Makes sense. Yeah, man. 
We call this excellent world building, where the mods are all super cheap. But the water is super expensive. It means there's a water shortage. But nobody seems to mention nor care about any of it. I wonder if in world reason Boba no longer calls his ship the Slave One is because he now has been a slave and it brings back all sorts of sad memories of missing them now that they are all dead. <laughs> he misses the Tusken Raiders. Like, and he mentions the word slave and he's like, oh man, I used to be their slave. That's sad. Uh, saw you watched Nerd Anonymous Star Wars edit video. I was wondering if you saw his Star Wars Apocrypha series. Um, I don't recognize that, I'm afraid. The amount, of, the amount of research the man does is incredible, and it's one of the most insightful YouTubers I've seen. Oh, you talking about, um, he's de his video where he debunks people saying that, like, people other than George Lucas were responsible for, like, all the things that made Star Wars good. Is that... Uh, that video was very interesting, yeah. It'd be cool to talk to him about it. Um, Absolutely. Because he seems to know his stuff. If that's who you're talking about, yes, I, I, I remember. Uh, the glass of Slave 1 is sturdier than an asteroid field. What threat was the seismic charge to Obi-Wan? Also, lube wood greater than Stormtrooper armor. Yeah, we've, we've been over that. Lube wood is uh, very strong. Yeah, you hit them with I the love wooden stick wood. and their armor it's shatters. My favorite kind of wood. Yeah? Why is that? I like how it's slippery. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. It also has a really nice I... color to it. You know, I like I like to see like if a if a room has got a nice lube wood floor, I walk in and then I and then I, I trip over and then I pick myself back up and like, wow, this looks really nice. A good lube wood floor makes you appreciate the ceiling. Yeah, it also, you know, it's it's difficult to walk on, but it does make, yeah, it does make you, well, that's the joke you, you were making, you isn't it? I just realized as, I, as I was replying to you. Look at the ceiling, because sometimes yeah. you could fall face down, you know? I, I really, you know what, I down. really want, yeah. I feel like Disney Star Wars, though, and, and the position we're at, human. they totally wouldn't introduce, like, a material that's, like, very slippery, and that's the thing that is notable about it, and then have someone make their floor out of it. That, that's entirely something that, that they would do. That would be a good way to show in Tatooine that you were very wealthy, to have a wooden floor. Yeah, actually, that would be. If you walked in and you had a wood floor, like planks that were... And then a, a, a wood know, like floor laminate. surrounded by water. Yeah, yeah. It's little things like, like that. Like, man, this dude can afford wooden floors. He walks on it. Well, There's like, like no a, trees um, on Tatooine. That's amazing. Well, like just having a fountain outside your, your in your garden, right? Like a nice, nice fountain. In Tatooine, mm -hmm. that'd be like what? Yeah. What a great stra sign of extravagance that would be. I could get some real characterization going for someone just with their their home decor and and well, in anything really. But uh... no. But the bikers, you know, they look cool. Hmm. But which bikers? Spooky demon bikers um, or mod children all, all, bikers? You know, the, the mod children bikers the, were the ones I was thinking of. I forgot there are two factions of shit bikers in Book of Boba Fett. You can separate them out by saying the the, the bikers and the, the moped riders. Oh, it's like the bikers and the, the 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 inept bikers and the inept, no, the cringe, no, the, um, I don't know, what what's... What what differentiate the, the bikers you're supposed to like and the bikers you're supposed to not like? Even though, if anything, it's reversed because you're like, oh man, he fucking obliterated those bikers. We don't even really what? know if they were that evil. Could you imagine if, um... or at least relatively to the well, Tuscan. I mean, they did. We we know they killed children. We do know that about them. The bikers. The thing is, they didn't. They didn't show. No, like, they the could have been set corpses. up. That's true. They could have been set up, but like. It should have been um, if we had to assume if we had to assume that Book of Boba Fett is emotionally as as like is as emotionally simple as it's presenting itself to be, then the Vikers just killed the Tuscans, right? And they they probably killed those children. Um, 
We're supposed to think the bikers killed the children. The thing is, they don't show the, the children's corpses because it's Disney. Yeah, that's one of the things I was, uh, yeah, I was saying during the episode. I was like, man, they didn't show us the dead kid, though. Nope. But, like, they, they want us stick. to... What more do you yeah. want? It doesn't have the... Im well, the problem is they want it to have a lot of impact, but the way that they showed that scene was very unimpactful in the way they showed it, because they didn't really... There's they, I could have had that theoretically sting a whole lot more if they showed dead younglings. But they didn't. Uh, I just want to see dead kids. Fringy, why, why did you say Nog so many times? Wait, what? What is Nog, Fringy? Why do you keep discussing it so much? How is it spelled? N-O-G. N-O-G? Nog? Yeah, oh, Nog. I don't feel like that's a word that I've seldom said, but... You don't feel okay. like it's a word you've seldom said. Is that the like most racist lightning mix? <laughs> oh, I've... Oh, that's what it means. That's one of its meanings. Oh, okay. Never mind. Because as far as I know, it, you have eggnog, the beverage. That's all you know? I've ever heard of for that, yeah. Me too. And there's also a, a small block or peg of wood is also a nog. Technical carpentry term, I suppose. Neat. Yeah. Um, the hay rags. Hey. The long man. And Fringy. Hey. Yeah, hey, I guess. Uh, Frungu's goo is the. It just dot dot dot. What? No. Oh. Do not know. I mean, if you want me to complete that sentence, that's not going to happen. Damn. Sorry. Alt Boba story. Boba uses Tuscan to F with water trade. Water trade owned by three business guys. They exclusively get the water from three moons of Tatooine. Uh, the, you could do something. Like, they're just not doing anything, so... No, they are not. The story we've got... From what I can tell, is the Pikes are moving in because Bib Fortuna was killed, and uh, the Huts even said we were lied to, right? About whether or not uh, it was their. I think so. Yeah. In regards to whether or not it was their territory. Um, yeah. And so, from what I gather, the Pikes want to fight Boba Fett. Yep, it's on now. It's uh, war. It's just like, oh, okay. Mando's gonna turn up with his blaster and go pew. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be so exciting. No, it isn't. Oh. Yeah, Mando's so gonna what, show up for and me, what, save what do you mean? Why are you being so pessimistic? Uh, I don't know. Just, I don't know. Gotta work on that, man. Grow up, Jane. Bringy. Learn to enjoy things. Bringy, you're a hateful behavior recently. It's really starting to negatively affect the rest of the EFAP staff. Yeah. I don't know why yeah. you gotta be so cruel, but all right. That's we've been asking you that. You're for weeks being now. cruel. We're um, asking you to stop being cruel. I, I, I mean, I understand that. Um, how how does that the old saying go? I am rubber, you are glue. Whatever you say bounces off of me and sticks to you. So I don't know now that, that we've established, yeah, well. That is that is the way of the world as it seems. Um, so it's something to keep in mind as we progress. That okay. I am rubber and you are glue. Mean. I'm rubber, you are goo. Maybe even. Hmm. What happens? What what does things ha What happens to goo when stuff is said to it? Well, if if like if if you were to throw something at me because I am rubber, I'm very durable, and it, something bounces off of me. And what if I hits, stabbed you? I think that'd probably hurt quite a no, bit. I don't imagine it would. So what? So if like you threw like a marble at me and it bounced off of me, my rubbery uh, nest that I am, and then it hit the goo, what would it? What would it do? Would it stick in the goo, or would the goo repel it, or would it capture it in a way, like a gelatinous cube, perhaps? I don't know why you're asking me with the expectation that you're going to get answers on this. Uh, I mean, it's, 
No, we've never discussed this actually before. I don't. Not think. this specifically, but the general thing of stop asking about it. So okay. I'm undecided on bad. the marble question, the MQ for the goo. I, I you just you're not getting any information about the goo. Sorry. All right, all right that's fair enough. Do you wanna? Okay, that's fine. Um. Metal, did you want to go to sleep? Uh, yes. <laughs> his eyes have been awake. His eyes have been open so long, he's starting to tear up. You can yeah. see. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh... But he can't touch his eyes. That's why his hands are right there. He wants to touch his eyes, but he can't because he'll get COVID. Yeah, they're full of chimkin grease, and it's going to burn if I touch him. Oh, and they just no. tear up more, and it's just like, man. That's how you get acne on your face cycle. with all that chicken grease. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you? What are you even up to these days? Why should people be interested in checking out what things you get up to in your little adventures, forging stuff? Because I'm super cool and mm -hmm. have a huge beard. You do have a huge beard. That's true. I've seen it. Yeah. See, I'm not a liar. Yeah. Well, if yours is huge, no, big, and... what's Gary's considered then? Well, that's long. Mine is huge. Okay. I just made that up on the spot. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm doing the the Metals Forge weekly now. Uh, on Friday, I talked about Ong Bak, a nice martial arts movie I really like. And the week before that, I talked about Matrix Resurrections, which was pain. But go check it out. It was a it was a fun stream to do, but not fun to prepare because the movie is fucking awful. Hmm. Other than that, just just the streams on Twitch, and yeah. All the the usual efab shenanigans you'll you'll see me on, like tomorrow yeah, go for the book of Bubba Foo. Oh right, the 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 the, the efab mini right. For a like, second there, were you like, oh god, we're recording day. tomorrow? No, <laughs> I, was I can't like, take oh. another Boba Fett this soon. No, it's too early. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing the Metals Forge weekly now, so go go check that out. It's uh, it's, it's fun to do, and there's sometimes guests. I did one with Jay and Mubly and Fringy and not Rags because I don't like Rags. Oof. That's true. We've had a falling out. <laughs> Rags, Rags. We totally won't do one in the future, right? <laughs> no, we um, it, we will do one. Um, yeah. I'm just uh, putting yeah. it off for a bit until uh, the, sort yeah. of the main channel stuff is. I, I get over this hump that I'm currently on, and then we're gonna be in Fuego, as they say, Absolutely. south of the Rio Grande, and a lot north of the Rio Grande these days. That's all right. Are you we know? allowed to know yeah. what the movie is that you guys will be discussing? Uh, it is up to, uh, I'll leave that up to Metal, because I don't know if he has a formula or a way of, like a, like a way of doing things on his show, and I don't want to say it. The formula is that he asks his guests what movie they want to discuss, and then he watches it. <laughs> well, I mean, we already I mean, decided on hey, one. I mean, you can, you can say it. I don't, I don't mind. Oh, okay, so, it's, oh, I see. Yeah. Um, uh, our, our Metal's Forge episode is going to be on the 1981 film Excalibur. Oh gosh. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't Where's know, I've never seen it. That's like uh, I'm, that's I'm Gill's most hated film of all time. Are you familiar <laughs> with are you familiar with 1981's Excalibur? <laughs> My mother loves that movie. Your mom has good taste. Yeah. I've just it's I'm, one of those things that it's like I've seen that movie so many times that I'm like, uh you know? What I know about that movie is that it's on at the cinema when Batman's parents get murdered in the DCEU. <laughs> oh, yeah, is it? you're right, yeah. It is. Yeah, it's, there's I, a poster I, for it in the background of that scene. Oh, I, I, I might have noticed it at the time, but I've forgotten. I did not know that. That is super cool. That film is way better <laughs> than <laughs> Zack Snyder's Anything. Wow. Anything. No, Rex, don't say that. You'll get quote tweeted 62 times. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't that's care. Been, that's what I've woken up to today. Um, oh god, what did you I say about out, Snyder? Oh, what did you so say? So yesterday I tweeted a picture of Zack Snyder with the quote, to set this new character apart from my other super character. Who, <laughs> yesterday I learned to speak. 
Yesterday I tweeted out a picture of Zack Snyder with the caption, To set this new character apart from my other superhero characters, I will make them a disillusioned, brooding, ultra-violent sociopath. That'll make for a nice change of pace. (laughs) (laughs) Well, actually, uh, Zack Snyder's vision is very explicit that all of his characters are... And that's because... Um, Snyderverse hashtag restore it. I've woken up to it being quote tweeted 60 times um, with stuff like, get yourself a mirror, babe. Your nose looks like a penis. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I've seen penises and your nose, good sir, is no penis. They also <laughs> included an emoji of a nose next to the word nose in case I didn't know what a nose was. Oh, oh now I understand. Well, I was going to say, because... I wasn't following it until you said that. Now I understand yeah. it. To be fair, so in their sense. defense, if you are a Zack Snyder fan, it is possible that your reading comprehension is such that you require <laughs> literal pictures next to words. Does Snyder um, fans know what a nose someone, is? Someone, so I've got a quote tweet here that just says, Eat shit, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Whoa, um, it's, it's to wow, the is point. that a Zack Snyder character? <laughs> well, eat shit, well, could, you fucking cunt you know, is could, the name I of the character. That, I could believe that... I could believe that in the... Uh, in the um, in the man in the next Man of Steel movie, that, that would be a Superman line. Oh yeah. You should be fair, die. I would, li- I would probably love saying that. it would, to Martha. I would really, I would really enjoy just that? watching a Superman movie where like fucking Brainiac comes down. It's like I will take over the world, Superman, and he just says, "Eat shit, fucking cunt." <laughs> <laughs> Henry's like, I, I anyway, go check Superman. out Metal's Forge. I'm gonna go to yeah, bed now. Yeah, go check out Metal's Forge. Oh yeah, it's, that it's was all fun, fun somewhere. time. That was all marketing for Metal's Forge. Yeah. Yeah. Go check it out. The, that and more is only available on Metal's Forge, uh, streaming now on HBO Max. <laughs> Sweet. Amazing. Yeah. That was a good chat. Yeah. All right. It's been fun. Catch, catch you all around. Okay. Bye, Metal. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye. There he goes, just like that. Bye, bye. A watchful bye. protector. A dark knight. Metal Commander. Black He's not the shleem we need. He's the florp we deserve. Hmm. He'd like that. He'd appreciate that you said that. Uh, Black Chrysanthemum is a Disney canon invention, Anna. He was never a part of the EU. He and Boba still have that history in the Book of Boba. The show doesn't make that apparent at all, though. Okay, so then why do they always say that the books and the comics don't count now? Like, they need to make up their mind. Yeah, I get I told that every once in a while. Stuff. Well, don't you know that from the book, or don't you know that from the lore, that da 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 that's the- No, and no one knows that. No one who watches these shows know that, and it's not in the show. So quit. Yeah, Stop. Yeah, knows it. Sometimes. Which is <laughs> weird. <laughs> Sometimes, because I kind of like this stuff, you know? She didn't even know about but... the black melons in the desert. Yeah. Oh my god, you mean the seashells? <laughs> I don't even know. They're, they kind of look like, um... God, they look like uh, like a, a flower bud. Like a, like a black flower bud. Black onion. Big black kind onion of... that's flowered a little flimpily. I don't fucking know. They look like a thing. Jay, they all hail black onion. All hail black onion. Oh, it's, it's big onion, not I mean, black onion. It's it's what I asked for, but. Oh, do you want to say do you want to say it better for your for your meme that you're making rags? I'm not making a meme. All hail this black is, this is onion. A, this is a performative meme. The meme is in the making. EFAP is a performative meme. Whoa, that's offensive what? to all of the EFAP workers. Well, I'm the manager, so I get to offend you little cut as much gonna, as I want. They're gonna strike. And then the spice won't flow. Yo, cuckaroonie, patootie. Oh. Um. I keep hearing Black Chris. Oh yeah, I remember reading that one out. Black Chris Hansen. We've caught up to that one. Yeah. Oh, I remember that one. That was so long ago. <laughs> Has anyone named this so version Bebo Fat yet? A lot of people have been turning fat to fat. I, I can I can see why, but I mean, he's still, you know, he, he put effort into 
Yeah, than that, I think if you compare him in Aquaman to Book of Boba Fett, he's clearly like, you know, limbed. You got, uh, mm -hmm. get that Boba look, which is a lot tougher when you're like 61 or however level he is. Uh, joking about what could happen in the show worries me after Preston Jacobs' joke of, what are they going to do, have Aya come out of nowhere and kill the Night King? Which, as you know, is exactly what we got in Season 8. Pretty sure the motive for that too was that the obvious answer was John kills him and they didn't want to do the obvious. Gotta have something Yeah, that would be satisfying and something we've been building up to and people would enjoy that and it would make... Which means it's all it's wrong. like there's reasons why you would expect that. Yeah. yeah fuck that. Though. Fuck you for thinking that's what would happen. Um... A boss saying, sorry if I offended you, is something expected in a corporate boardroom, not a feared, ruthless bounty hunter and crime lord. <sighs> Wants to make sure he didn't upset yeah. anybody. That's I nice. Feel that way. Dude, I could picture him making a whole video about that one line. It's like, you see, he's... Well, he did throw that in. He was like, disrespectful, and thus his team will... Yeah. <sighs> Him. That's how it works. You can't be mean to your workers, otherwise they'll never like you. You can actually sculpt with C4. I used to make mine into little bunnies. The huts could have totally made a C4 rancor. Yeah. C4 bunnies. Sounds terrifying in its I like own that way. idea that they make a, they sculpt a rancor out of C4 and just lazily draw like two dots in a curled line for a mouth <laughs> and Boba Fett's like, thanks yeah. so much it's just what I wanted. And is he, none of us would question that that's out of character of him at this point, that he would believe it. Yeah, yeah it matches his stupidity thus far. Yeah. You got, you got your opportunity right there. Death to the aliens. Damn. I'm starting to think it's impossible for the writers to not off something up. F something up, sorry. <coughs> um, well, they haven't really done anything right ever uh, for Disney Star Wars. What what, what have we got to? I mean, like, show okay, so it? technically, it is. You can tell what's happening in the story. That's good. That's like a step up up is from that like good? some of the stuff. Um, well, it's a step up from like some of the stuff that AI Dungeon puts out. But again, do we describe sometimes, that as good, or do we just treat that as Sometimes neutral? when you have a story written by an AI, you can't actually tell what's what the events even are, and like that's it's good that they know how to make it so that you can tell what the events are. Well, like legitimately, what have Disney managed to do that's like we all think is pretty good, and it's like K2SO, is that it? There are other aspects of Rogue One. I None love Baby Yoda. In mind. I don't care what anyone else says. I love him. Well, he's just cute, right? So, like, there's nothing else really there. Also, he eats sweet. eggs. He's so sweet, and he's so little, and he's so cute. I love him. They yeah, did that, right? falling into their trap. And yeah, it's the trap, I isn't don't... it? It's like, it's like you know, like, the, you know the, 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 designer yeah. who, the designer who made the Baby Yoda puppet, they did a great job. Um, and then... They, and then the writers made it, hey, let's have an episode where he eats an alien's children. Okay, but that alien is an idiot. Who the fuck is, that's your <laughs> only chance to have children? You leave them in a fucking backpack with no lock and you put them basically in the trunk with a another baby? It's like both of them in that episode, it was like, that's just bad parents, right? Because it's like, if that was my only chance to have kids, and I wanted to have kids, and all my eggs are just in this one little thing, that thing would never leave Their my eggs side. eggs are in one basket, so to speak. Yeah, exactly. That is literally what that is. All the eggs are in one basket. Exactly. Oh, -ho. nice. <laughs> the that Luke and R2 scene guys. in TLJ. That's another one, yeah. But here and there, we get these little... That is a good scene. Animals. Hey, that is a good scene. That's what I said. Wow! Yeah. They somehow managed no, that to I was, I was just I was just impressed. That was, I wasn't like yeah. incredulous with the, you. Um, when Ray kissed Kyla, that was that was great. Oh yeah. That's true. Yeah. Like, I mean, like I feel like if you're gonna credit, um, I, I feel like if you're gonna give them credit just because Baby Yoda's cute. Like you may as well just give them like credit because fucking 
I don't know, Ewan McGregor is hot. Like... Subjective, though. He's gonna be in the Obi-Wan show, so you gotta give them props for how he's hot. How he exists, he isn't that hot. cool? Well, Sculpted you know, they chose to hire him. Yeah, but yeah they sure can pick him. Hot. <laughs> hmm? Most like they chose to put something cute in the story. It's like that's that's it's it's, it's great for them. Rags, you so, like, love if they um, um so let's say let's say you and McGregor didn't exist, but he was actually just an entirely CGI creation. Would it still be fair to give them credit? Like, would it be more uh, relevant to give them credit for the fact that he's hot? It's like wow, they they made a this this. This hot guy exists, so now we give them well, credit they for it. They just like him because he's hot. They like Obi Wan Kenobi because he's a good well, character. I mean, yeah, but that's not Disney. Disney haven't written Obi Wan Kenobi yet. I'm sure that I when know, Disney writes Obi Wan Kenobi, because it's Obi Wan because it's Obi Wan Kenobi. That's true. well, yeah, but I'm, I'm I'm talking about like in comparison to Baby Yoda. If, like, if you like him because he's cute. It's like that's. Well, I, I mean, like I don't like, like Obi Wan Kenobi because he's hot. I don't really find no, but like I feel like I feel like they're yeah. But okay, so if we have a star, like if we just have a Disney Star Wars character who like their only, the only like thing going for them is that the actor playing them is hot. Um, it's like, do we do we give Disney credit for that? Well, is their purpose just to be hot? Well, I mean, is Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda has a purpose beyond just being cute, right? But he doesn't really fulfill Baby Yoda's those. only purpose to them is to make money. Well, that's well, that's true of everything they make. I know, that's their but main goal. <laughs> they don't really—they're uh, not very good at that anymore, are they? Except for with Baby Yoda, because can you think of any other Disney Star Wars character that sold as well as Baby Yoda, as far as like toys? No, and Baby Yoda became like a full-on meme. Captain exactly. Phasma. Yeah, Phasma did well oh God. at first. Well, before right? the movie. But it's like, but, it's like, but we're before talking about like the quality of the story, though, right? Not just like it, how well it performed, a court like on Disney's spreadsheets, because you know, then The Force Awakens is amazing, and I like Gecko Gal. Mandalorian is doing great. Um, and then you know, TLJ has got to be pretty high up there as well, because that made a lot of money. Yeah. Well, see, that's the about only thing that they uh, care billion. about. Hey. So what, were, what are we discussing? I don't know what was being discussed there. Anyway, know. watch Metal's Forge. Watch Metal's Forge. more marketing for Metal's Forge, but you didn't even notice when you were listening. You thought it was wow. something else. that's a freebie. Metal's Forge, where dreams become reality. Um, uh, I bet these pro Book of Boba Fett commentators think Atlas a nine out of ten. I don't know. I bet a lot of people listening think Atlas a nine out of ten. I think that person saying that knows that they're trying to to stir st controversy, steer the pot of spicy noodles. I've never seen Atlas because I can't be bothered because. Hey, yeah, you know, actually, this would stir the pot. I, I can't be bothered to watch Atla because people that I trust their opinions have said it's bad. Oh, great. Heyo! Now you're gonna, there's gonna be a subreddit post, Jay. Hope you know that. I know there's gonna be a subreddit post. It's gonna say, I really I'm like Jay. I've caused you hassle. I like Jay as a creator, and it's, it sucks to hear that Jay will not experience one of the greatest shows of all time, thanks to Mumbleton. And Sorry others. if I've caused you hassle with that one, bro. It's okay. I believe you. I'm, I'm not, well, you know, it might just be a, an of course Jay hasn't seen something joke. That's another way it could go. Yeah, remember, Jay didn't keep watching Lord of the Rings, alright? <laughs> it's fine. I, I have seen, a, I have seen a lot of the Clone Wars, though. That is Lord of the damning. Clone Wars? I have seen Lord of the Clone Wars. Lord of the Clones. Mm. That would be, that would be Django, right? Young girl. What if they called Book of Boba Fett Boba Unchained? I would watch oh, it God. twice a day. You mean you don't do that already? 
I don't tell anybody I do that, but I would stop announcing it that I do that. Um, Wait, sorry, did I just reveal your secret that you actually watch the whole of the Book of Boba Fett series twice a day? Was that as opposed no, to private? No, as long as I never admit it publicly and only say it privately, then no one will ever know. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, yeah that's good. Mm -hmm. Is it possible he never escaped the Sarlacc and this entire show is a terrible, terrible nightmare it's forcing him to see while it slowly eats him? Yeah. That makes sense. I feel like everyone's excuse for these Disney Star Wars movies or shows is like, oh, it's just a dream. They're really a horrible things. nightmare. It's well, a... the, that's what the, that's what it's made them resort to. You know. only way to. It's the only way to allow it into canon. There's no other head cannons yeah. left. We we we've joked, but like that is the solution we would do for the sequel trilogy. We would make it all Luke's nightmare. It, he's you know it's not long after the fucking sixth movie, and he's just having a nightmare. Simple. Bye bye. Continuity. No one liked you. And then. But when you do that to the Mandalorian, people are going to get upset. Fuck it. <laughs> They'll get over it in time. Why don't we, you know, what, for maybe when... the Mandalorian, we mm -hmm. just put it in a different dimension so that they can have it. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a. I feel like that's honestly a, a better way to do it. It's like, this is now the Disney canon. Here's the new canon. Because they've already done that, right? It's like Legends. There's just they have three separate Star Wars canons. Um, the Legends canon, Disney canon, and a, now another new canon. What? I don't think the sequel trilogy deserves to be, like, an alternate dimension canon even. That's, like, too prestigious for Well, it. no, it doesn't, but, like, it's easier to just say that about all of it. I would like not if, only like I, to make I, it a I dream, a... I would like Luke to talk about how ridiculous his dream was and he can't believe he thought it was real because it made no sense. Well, you know what? You know what? Maybe that's a part of the Disney canon. Um, maybe, maybe we add that as a final note to the, we, we make one, we make episode 10, Disney's episode 10, and that's Luke waking up going, man, that sucked. And then he just discusses all of the weird dreams he had and how they, none of them made sense. No, and then like, we go, anyway, that's the Disney canon, now onto the actual canon. He'll be like, this will inspire me to do, and then just lists off all the things the fans want. Yes. And then he looks at the camera and says, if you don't see them happen in this movie, they did happen. They just didn't have the time. <laughs> also, Han is fine, and he's not a deadbeat dad. <laughs> Leia is, is happy, so is Lando. It's not all shit. What a nice movie that would be. In a different <sighs> universe. Boba Fett is a failed Morgan Freeman. Frog, explain. Wait, what? How am I meant to explain something you said? <laughs> words. Use your words, Fringy. <laughs> For a second I was like, oh, is it some reference to your stream? Or? I know. I have no idea. <laughs> like, I'm lost on that one. Muller, I have silenced the Lamb story too. My mum was mad that my brother and I kept leaving and staying out late, so she made us watch Silence the Lambs to see sickos out there. I was four and he was six. Oh my god. That sounds like How are they staying abuse. out too late if they're four and six? Uh <laughs> kept leaving and staying out late. Yeah, Jesus, where were you what were you where are you going at age four and six? Couldn't she just keep you in the house? Yeah, that sounds like... That sounds like bad parenting. What a way to solve that problem, too. It's like, you guys keep getting out of the house like, late at night, so I'm gonna make you watch a horrifying movie. <laughs> like, okay, Mom. What the fuck? <laughs> Did Zack Snyder write your childhood? No, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope you're alright. <laughs> I hope that all worked out, I guess. Yeah. Um... In How a Realist Hero Rebuilt a Kingdom, MC is given the throne, but the loyal subjects revolted. MC has to enslave the leaders of the revolt to set an example even if he didn't want to. Well, he should have tried forgiveness. Forgiveness is good. That's what I've heard, and I believe it. When I'm forgiven, it makes me feel all fuzzy in my balls. Hmm. Uh, this one just says money. 
Oh, thank you. Alright. Mola comes out as long man bad. Well, I mean, we're up to eight hours. See, if we had covered another... If we had covered a 17-minute fucking CinemaSins video, we, we would have would hit be, the oh, cap we'd, before we'd be reaching... Done now, maybe. Yeah. yeah. At, at best. Um... Do, do, do. Anna was clearing tunnels in during the wars. E. Okay. It's you... because <laughs> the reference to me eating dirt. Oh. I mean, you eat the... what kind of dirt's your favorite, and why? Yeah. Do you Actually... like dry dirt or more wet dirt? And uh, no, like dry. Lots more mud if it's wet rags. No, huh? um, well, you know, it, well, actually, you know the best I mean, dirt like, I've yeah. ever had was at the Hoover Dam. I was very shocked at how good it was. Why? Did you say what any? was so good about it? Because I've, no, I've been just, to the Hoover Dam. Great. Did you eat so, any of the dirt? No, I'm normal ish. Um, <laughs> if, gonna say. Why, why, why there? I, is it because it's so dry and it's. I don't know. Maybe the minerals that's in it. It was just. I. Yeah. I just tried it and I was like, wow, this is actually shockingly good. Another theory I have is like, Pierce Bronson uh, stood there at one point in his life, so I'm like, maybe that's it. I'm tasting James Bond dirt. Did your parents try to kill you because you're strange? Did your parents, <laughs> did your mother drink heavily when she was pregnant with you? No, my mom doesn't really drink. Anymore. Not anymore. No, she doesn't nice like rags. alcohol very much. She, she smoked some mad weed and it soaked into you and then you came out as a weed baby <laughs> which is, which is thus your connection to dirt and why you need to eat it to survive no i don't know like i when i was a little kid i just really liked the taste of dirt and so like my parents always had to keep me away from like dirt, dirt good luck <laughs> i know especially since we lived on a ranch but uh yeah i <laughs> told people planet that on the that's literally one named time. after the stuff so like. well so now now that people know because i didn't think that that was information i needed to keep from anyone and so i told a story oh, wow. about it one time and then the, now anywhere i go somewhere everyone's like you need to try the dirt so yeah and what do you the earth did, so actually yeah. you know i've just yeah it's a much more interesting line of conversation i've realized i was going to derail it for something a lot less interesting please carry on have you found that yeah, it can change via, like, by country? Like, you find maybe the American soil? Yeah, mountain is, dirt tastes... It tastes freer? No, mountain dirt tastes terrible. Hmm. What's dirt? wrong with it? You know, if, yeah... You sure it's I, all mountain dirt, or...? What is wrong with it? it? Yeah. I, a little too acidic. Too acidic. It melts like a, your face off. has a strange not taste good. to it that is not, not good, good dirt. Uh, like that I hate it when my, my dirt. Dirt, I, I eat some dirt and it tastes bad. <laughs> yeah, are you more of a fan of that swampy stank dirt? Do you ever like? Oh, that stuff is terrible. Put it into like recipes. No, no, no. Mm. Oh, so I assume you're a big fan of mud pies. No, 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 no. No. The oh, seconds of dirt is like not dry. It just when looks... it's not pure. Well, maybe like yeah. sprinkle it on a cake on top. No, yeah, you can no, just no, tell no. people it's like... I don't like to mix my food. You mix it I with like chocolate. Everything separated. Do you like to have a, a beverage while consuming yeah. soil? No. Hmm. Just eat it by itself. It's not like I sit there with a fork and eat dirt, guys. I just try to... Yeah, no, I understand. I like, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you, you eat dirt. Like, that yeah, would be weird. That would be bizarre. <laughs> the fork thing, yeah, that's going a step too far, I think. Yeah. Yeah, like a little napkin or something like a little plate. Yeah. Do, do you, you ever, are... like, compete with the local wildlife for that great dirt? Are you a mole? <laughs> no. Are you, do you, are you, are you a member of the Moletariat? No. And you want oh. to seize? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. I mean, metal eats That's pizza nice. with cutlery, so, you know, we're all, we've all got our things. Like a knife and fork? Hmm. Yeah, but he's German. They do that a lot. I'm sure that I... I think I've done that when I wanted to keep my hands... Like, if I'm... Like, if I if I want to keep my hands clean, like if I'm at the computer or something, I might do that. But otherwise, no. I, that's... 
Well, that like, doesn't seem like yeah. Like, like Anna said, he is German, so it's okay. He's he's an Erd Ersin. Um, has anyone here anyone broken a bone? I broke my arm once. Hey, no, I have none of my own. own. I have no. not broken a bone. Interesting qualifier there, Rax. How many bones have you broken, Anna? <laughs> I have broken all of my toes many times. Oh, um, really? I how do you? I broke this little bone that's in like the top of my neck where my skull connects, Damn. and then I'm missing. I'm missing in some bones in my in like the front of my face, and then uh, I have extra bones in my feet. So yeah. Do you put Does the feet bones into the skull first? to make up for the missing ones? <laughs> a bone transplant? No. no. Um, yeah, I've I've not broken any bones. Fringy, have you broken a bone? No, I have not ever broken a bone. Alright. We have much Why? less yeah. interesting cool. biological yeah. histories. Yeah. What's it like being normal? It's a, uh, it's a dirt free life, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I've spent a lot of time around dirt and um I grew up surrounded never, by dirt. I was surrounded by dirt. I grew up surrounded by dirt. Um <laughs> yeah, never I never, never decided got to munch on it. No, no. I I know the smell. I know the feeling of it on your hands and mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm very familiar with it, but I just never, uh, yeah, never saw it in a, in a more culinary aspect. Once when I was four years old, I ate grass, and when I was oh, a baby, good. I drank my own pee by accident. Oh, that explains so How much. How did that happen? Yeah. Well, like, was I was a baby, and, and I was laying on my back, and I peed, and it went in my mouth. That, that's, what, <laughs> that's, that's how it happens. That's how it happened that's to Chase as well, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Well, did your parents? Yeah, but tell he you was that? like thirty years old. Yeah, my I yeah, I don't personally what? remember it. My parents <laughs> told me. Well, no, like why would your parents tell you that? Like why would they want to put that memory on? Because my dad thinks it's really you? funny. It is uh, hell fucking hilarious when babies piss on their own faces. <laughs> What's this about Chase doing it when he's thirty? <laughs> I just made that um, up, but it sounds real, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, all I know is that on Chase piss on, on his face. Me, it says that uh, Chase peed in his own mouth, and I'm assuming that it was the same reason I did. I would too. Yeah, I assume That's if someone ever pisses generous on of both themselves, of you. it's it's they're either very early in life or very late in life. Oh, that's you know maybe that's just what they're into. That's maybe. another option. That is another. I option. would rather I pissed on my own face than someone else pisses on my face. Do you ever do you ever expect to be offered that choice? No, but if someone did offer, then I would politely decline. I, it's not. It's not a thing, and well, I wouldn't. Do you ever, do you ever expect else. to be forced to make that choice between those two things? Because no, well. no. But if I am, you see, proper preparation prevents piss poor performance, as they say. Oh, um, I see what you did so, there. So yeah. Um, so if I am ever in a position where I have to make that choice on a, you know, just like that, bam, bow, uh, I am ready. I've got my answer all set. I'd rather piss on my own face. Thank you very much. I'm more than capable of doing this without any assistance. Mm. I'm a and big you boy. Guys know, I don't need anyone else to piss on my face for me. Um, know the YouTuber True Geordie. No, I know of him. Um, I do not know who that is. It's just you reminded, like, so I, I, I listened to his podcast when he first started it, and I enjoyed it, but I just went off, you know, no, no, no big deal, sort of thing. And then the latest I heard is, like, he unfortunately got DMs he had back and forth with a lady of interest and uh, oh no. unfortunately expressed it, the interest he had with, with her. And you know you mentioned in like pissing on people could be like a thing you just like to, to, to do is a fetish. I feel like that one is much more accepted within humanity compared to the other one, you know? Shitting on people. Pedophilia? Oh no. yeah, shitting on people? Fucking, he, he was, Which other one? Yeah, he was uh, that. He was asking if she would shit on him. Just like, hmm. Oh. <laughs> That's uh. Like, what was that one? Guy I'd rather be pissed on than shat on. Yeah, I, I think that. most people would rather be pissed on than shat on. Well, sorry, I was looking at a list of like, the most common fetishes in the world, and like peeing was on there. I think it's top ten. Peeing on really? people. 
Wow. Yeah. yeah, there's even on Sex and the City. Is impregnation a fetish, really? Yes. What, what, um, what, what, what do you mean? I mean, if you- Little Fringy think... springs to life! No, I'm just- what do you mean by that? <laughs> I think if I, you I get know, aroused just, by the idea of impregnating someone, what, rather than just by what, the idea of having sex with them, it seems weird to bring that up. We, here, I, I mean, well, since we're on the subject of bringing fans of the uh, no, 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 uh, no, no, that's okay. We don't need to talk about this. Oh, he just he's pretending not to be interested anymore. All right, no, that's, like, that's all good wanna, for you. We we don't know. Uh, what's the next super chat? <laughs> no, it's all good. We can move on. We can go back to pissing, or we can proceed to the next super chat. Let's go back to pissing. Someone said impregnation well, is funny because I just had a pee. Hold that was, on. That's why I was muted for a while, is that I, uh, I had a pee. If you ever do piss on yourself, make sure to mute your microphone before you do. I don't need well, to hear Discord that. Is very good at, Discord is very good at isolating anything that isn't human speech now. Yeah, that's, like... that's true. However, remember, we were in a call together. Oh. Um, hmm? Oh, no. What happened? Hmm? No, I, I I had a magnificent fart and it got and it was and it oh, got detected true. by the microphone and it was it was very because I did it you know expecting it obviously to not be picked up on the microphone but then I think I think Jay met out just the the most lovely giggle imaginable <laughs> and I was like okay. <laughs> I think I have it saved somewhere I I actually have it because you said save it <laughs> so I have the audio saved for it um. Oh, that is, that is so <laughs> Do y'all ever play was fighting a, that was a games? Great memory. If so, would you ever talk about one that isn't Smash? If not, have you ever seen Patriot on Amazon? Black humor at its finest. No, I've not seen that. Um, as far as like the fighting combat. games go, I played a little bit of Soul Calibur 2 on the GameCube, but that's about it. I remember liking Talim quite a bit. Uh, but, uh, I don't really remember much about it other than that. Um, and as far as Patriot goes, I've not, I've, I'm only familiar with the Mel Gibson Patriot, which, uh, we watched not too long ago. And, uh, um, it, was ages it, ago it now. held up better than we thought. It was probably like a year ago or something. Time moves real yeah. fast. Time uh, moves fast. You know, it's pretty more than a year ago, because time's scary. But, uh, yeah, uh, I played a lot of Mortal Kombat. Played a bit of Tekken and a little bit of Soul Calibur, I think. Um, and a little bit of Killer Instinct I, on Game Boy. I'm personally not watch much one for fighting games, but um, one game that I did play a lot of was the... Uh, I don't know remember what it's called, but the game... Um, like the Star Wars The Clone Wars Jedi Duel game? I think that's the closest thing I ever played a lot of that came to... It was when I was a kid. Does anyone know what the game was called in chat? Because... Um, uh, I don't know. I had it on the Wii, because I was a fun child with a Wii. Um, taking, you know, taking this conversation back to pissing. Haha. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, does anyone know what the game was called? Has anyone here played that as well? What did no, you say? I haven't. Uh, I don't the, think so. Eh. Jedi well, so I remember it being fun, but something. I was a child, so I had no idea what I... Let's have a look. Let's see. Jedi power battles. No, that is not it. It's um, it was it was your um, your typical fighting game setup where it's basically two D and you've got one character on each side. Um, one v one battles and it's all Jedi. I remember um, what's her name? Ventress was in it. Um, it, it had like you had all this, the the Clone Wars looks for the characters as well. So like Obi Wan had like his his armor that covered his shoulders, stuff like that. Hmm. Hmm. Star Wars The Clone Wars Lightsaber Duels, is that it? That, you know what? That sounds like what it might be called. A very generic Jedi name, battles. but it does describe what you were saying. Yeah, that's the one. Thank oh you, God. Chatter. What? I, I twice have tried to do it quickly and then I die. It's horrible. Death comes to Mubsley. Frogtown. Uh, Metal, I really enjoyed your live stream yesterday on Ong Bak. I haven't seen it for a long time. I forgot how good those action scenes were. Good job covering it. And he will never know how you feel about that. Yeah. 
Metal will never, ever know that anyone has appreciated his Metal's Forges. So sorry. That was nice of you to say. We need to collect all of these Anna stories slash talents into one video. This is fantastic. Or like a content nuke. She could be she like... Uh, you got like a... Uh, she could be like a fighter game with all these things. <laughs> oh god. No, I have like the most useless powers. Like my friends were teasing me about it. It's like, oh, if, you know, we all had superhero powers, but you, you know, you can eat you dirt. Just have to go with the ones <laughs> and break I, your toes. Well, anyone can eat dirt. Break my toes and eat dirt. <laughs> That's Dude, I'm, that I broke one of my toes a week ago. Again, it's just at this point I'm surprised my toes haven't I fallen off. A little. <laughs> That's the season finale of that show. <laughs> It's about her discovering her second power. <laughs> like everyone, every superhero has two amazing, two powers, and her first one is eating dirt. And then the whole season, <laughs> she's waiting to discover her second power because surely it'll be amazing. Oh. And it's just, <laughs> she just breaks her toes. How many times have you broken your toes? No, I think honestly, the surviving the the bullet and the the eye hole are my powers. The eating. You've dirt, survived a bullet. Habit. I'm sorry. Did you yes. say you survived, survived a survived bullet in your eye hole? Survived an no, no, eye no, hole. I, I haven't. <laughs> I was born without a tear duct. I got surgery. Got a plastic tube put in. Tube broke. Popped out. I have a hole in my eye now. Uh, oh. No, I've survived a bullet. To, well, it's on my collarbone now, but uh, survived a bullet to the chest. How come, um, you didn't get, uh, the tube fixed? Um, well, the doctor that performed the surgery actually fled the United States because he fucked it up and my parents sued him. Oh my god. Is, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Well, he connected all of the nerves wrong, and so when they healed... Um, like, there's really no way to get it out, and so the part that's broken is, like, think about a face in the profile, okay, so the back of my nose, and it goes, like, it's in, like, the core of my fucking head, and it goes back into the back of my throat. So, the only way that the doctor said that they could get to it, because, you know, my body obviously healed around it, is not to go through my throat, but they would have to, like, remove my nose... And go in that way, because that's the only way to get it without fucking up the rest of my nerves. And I'm like, I would rather not have my nose removed. They said they, they can put Why? it back, but I'm going to have a huge scar on my fucking face. You know? What the hell? That's wild. You should Jesus. write, just, please just write an autobiography. If I'm gonna, like... Yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Sounds like it would be a really interesting <laughs> thing to read. Yeah, because I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> just like... Yeah, damn. <laughs> does feel like that. Doctors never offered to take my nose off. Mm. I guess you're lucky in that regard. Surely, yeah. surely, if you're having surgery on your face, like they're good at covering up the scars, because they do like lots of cosmetic surgery, right? And... Well, they weren't good at covering up this scar. I mean, I have to point it out to people to see it, but I mean, if you know what to look for, you'll be able to see it on like the side of my nose. Uh. Sometimes. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I didn't think it would. I didn't think it would become more interesting and strange after the eating dirt. I didn't you think just, that's where we were going. Just left out the part where the doctor fled the country. That's an interesting <laughs> element. Yeah. Yeah, he was an asshole too. I, I, remember, I can uh, guess from they didn't you get to telling yeah. us that. You need to change your name to Jane McAfee. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, so he didn't give me the dissolvable stitches because so to put the tube in, they had to go in through the side of like my nose and then they put the they took out some bones and stuff and that's how they put the tube in where my tear duct would have been and then to go back through the rest of my skull, right? But so he didn't give me the dissolvable oh, yeah, yeah. stitches. He gave me the regular stitches. So when I was healing, this is going to get gross. So all like the blood and like the mucus and all the stuff like crusted onto my stitches. And so when uh. he pulled it out, like he was pulling it out through my eye, mind you. And uh. I was screaming and just like, it doesn't oh, hurt. Christ. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah that know. was fine, like, 
parents realized something was wrong. But, yeah. I'm sorry these things happened. Yeah, damn. Yeah, it, it's fine. It's, it's good funny. That, it's good that you made him fl flee the country. Yeah, thanks, Mom. That one thing that they, uh, you know, because my parents are very, like, against lawyers and stuff like that, but they're like, no, you fucked up our kid's face. Like, let's go. Yeah. Fun times. I hate doctors after this, and I'm, like, terrified of I can of see hospitals. how that like, might have but... come about, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's more to the story if you guys want to hear. What? It's more? How does it expand? What <laughs> happened next? Okay, so I have, I don't know, I have a crazy fast metabolism, and so I burn off anesthesia really fast. Like, even when I go to the dentist, uh, you, you know, you just get one shot per tooth. I have to have eight shots per tooth just to numb it, and then that wears is this, off. Is like, this your third superpower? <laughs> I guess so. I burn off anesthesia. Well, so when I was a little kid, when I was getting the surgery, they, you know, gave me the normal amount for, like, my height and weight and whatnot. But I burned it off so fast, and I guess I, like, woke up during surgery, and so they actually, like, sliced my cornea. And so I see colors strangely in one eye now. But you can't, like, see anything. Or you can't see a scar on my eye, obviously, but I see, obviously. like, reds differently. You see red differently. Yeah, is Did what you, I'm told. So you, I usually have to have people check my colors. You so. compensated for that, at least? Um, I think I've kind of... My other eye is fine, so when I'm looking at things, I just close one eye and, you know, do the other. But, like, they cut your eye. Yeah, but my parents aren't going to believe me over a doctor. They didn't find that out until I, 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 are they not? I just told them. Hmm? I mean, what? Oh, I, I feel like if I told my parents that, they, they'd have some serious things to consider. Did you, did, did Especially you... if after the surgery, I'm like, yeah, I don't see right in this eye. <laughs> well, their answer to that was, yeah, you just had surgery in the eye, you know? Your, your parents are... All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like, I feel like if I said my, I'm not seeing right in this eye, they... My, my parents would be like, oh, maybe that's normal. Um, but then if the doctor, and then after, if you ask the doctor, and like, no, that's not normal, then, you know, be like, hmm. Or like a week later, yeah, I'm still seeing the weird in this eye. It, it really hasn't gone away. Well, I mean, I don't know. My parents just didn't tend to believe me or my sisters about anything, so. Because they're like, oh, it's just kids, you know. Kids will say anything kind oh, of yeah, thing, so. Kids love to lie about their eyes not working, you know, kids. Well, I mean, when you have kids that, like, learn that if you pretended that you're sick, you get to come home from school, which me and my sisters learned and we all utilized uh, until they finally caught on to us. So, that they, I don't know. We were kind of like little heathens, too, because, like, I don't know. So that my parents just didn't believe anything, like, when it was actually true. So, remember, EFAP chat. You know about the boy who cried wolf? Don't. Yeah, the, the don't. Girl who <laughs> cried funky eye. Don't yeah. do that. Don't do that, or else when your eye stops working properly, your parents will believe you. And so I feel end like up eating I, your soil. eye not working isn't something that would let you get off school. Well, I did get to get off school because I had had surgery, so. Also, hmm. yeah, if one of my eyes wasn't working, my parents wouldn't fucking let me go to school. Well, I mean, I can see. I just see colors differently, and I thought that that was part of the the surgery thing. But I mean, I remember waking up and like it was terrifying. Like, have you ever seen like those movies where the, you get abducted by aliens, like that? But like in, in my face and stuff. But I couldn't feel my face because of the anesthesia, so it was kind of freaky. But I mean, I, I told my mom, and she's like, "You're probably dreaming." And then uh, probably yeah, later dreaming. On, <laughs> yeah. At that very moment, speaking <laughs> to you, she's like, you are dreaming. Well, because, so, my parents also let us, like, watch any movie that we wanted, like, whether it was rated R or not. So my mom was like, oh, you know, you're probably just saw it in a movie, and then you're saying that it happened. And I'm like, no, mom, this, this happened. And then later, when I needed glasses, and I did, like, the, the test, the eye test, that was when they're like, oh, you see colors wrong in this eye. And I'm like, yeah, no shit, Sherlock, but, uh. How do you see them? Like, what is the way in which that manifests? Like, how are they wrong? 
Like, can you um, not tell so, the difference between certain colors, or? No, no, I can. It's just so if I have my uh, my left eye closed and I'm looking at something that's red, sometimes it's like I can't see not just the depth in it, but it it's either really muted or really saturated, and Ooh. so that's weird. It's strange. Like, so when I buy like bright red lipstick, I can't. It looks like a normal like light shade of red but then it's i have to you know read it or ask someone or just close my other eye and look to make sure that it's a uh, not you know neon red lipstick so some colors are muted some colors are brighter and it depends on like if i'm looking at a screen or on a book or whatever the material is so yeah it's just weird to me now that that's something that can be done to your eye with botched surgery that, that can just be a side effect yeah strange the more you know. Mm -hmm. Is that is that your fourth superpower? No, my fourth superpower is that I can hear uh, dog whistles. You can't really. I can. So your ears do stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'm a mutant. It's you're going like, down so a okay, very we've got, very, we've got, very like, deep rabbit hole. I feel like we're getting one for each sense, right? So you eat dirt, <laughs> you hear dog whistles, you see red weird. Um, for smell, your nose nearly got you. Like you've been having you off. You could have had your nose removed. What's the one you've got for touch? I don't know. I don't like touching certain things. I guess. Me I feel too. Like most people don't like touching certain things. Yeah, yeah, but have you ever, it, you know, like that fake velvet that you'll get on like those little bags that like somebody will yes, give you? Yes, I hate touching with... that. I hate okay, touching. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm glad someone can relate to this because I'm I have no clue what. Uh, but, yeah. It, I'm... Not just fake velvet. I'm, for me, it's like um, real velvet as well. I don't like touching it. But yeah. I, what about suede? And um, in my grandma's house, um, uh, in uh, in like uh, when I was a kid. They had a a floor in their kitchen that had a vaguely velvety texture. I know it's strange. Don't don't ask. Um, and I just couldn't go in that room. Like I refused to go in that room for a lot a lot of the time because I just didn't like touching the floor, even with socks on. I don't like it because like I could I could sense the velvetiness through the socks. I guess if I had sit thick socks on, it would be okay. But I didn't. Shoes was fine. I don't like sleeping with socks on. I'm fine with sleeping with socks on. I have to at the moment because my foot, it, it's uh, got a little bit of an injury on it and sometimes it bleeds and I don't want to get blood on my bed. Oh yeah, people were reminding me. Yeah, I had webbed toes when I was born and then my mom had the doctors slice them so that way they wouldn't be webbed, which really fucked up uh, my swimming career because I'm actually a very fast swimmer. That would have been very helpful. Huh. So they're not webbed anymore. Well, I, feel like, I feel like that's the kind of thing that you no. shouldn't... Wait, that you shouldn't, like, I don't know. You should be able, you should be an adult before you get that kind of thing fixed, I think. I don't know, unless well, it I only mean, works when you're a child. Well, I mean, they could probably fuck up my balance if I'm used to my whole life walking with webbed feet and then all of a sudden they're not webbed anymore. I guess so. At least it would still be your choice to do that, right? Yeah. I imagine you could I mean, they didn't cut it. them far enough, so they're still slightly webbed, but, uh, hmm. yeah. I'll save more for next time. Read your other super chat. Sure. There's more? <laughs> yes. The Anna episodes are always lore dumps. Um, I'm sure someone is building a whole TV show about it. <laughs> I hope it's good. People mm. won't believe it. No, they'll say it's unrealistic. It'd be like her powers are what? I don't believe this. Mm. Have you Wombos heard of or seen the Mandela catalog? And if so, what are your guys' thoughts on it? What I, is that? I have no idea, no clue what that is. Say say like in the the Mandela what? Catalog. Never seen that, no. no I'm gonna Google it. God, that's depressing. The Mandela ef Mandela effect is the most googled thing when you type in Mandela. It's a it's a YouTube series. Oh, 
Sweet. Uh, you know what it's about? Before, yeah, not the Mandela thing. Um, someone just posted this. And that is super duper cool. Um, it fucks up everything if I try and show anything right now, so I'm gonna have to save it for a... Either a meme fab or a... Next, and so next. it shall be. But, yes, um, Noid, thank you very much for that awesome fan art. It shall be shown. That is really awesome. neat. I like oh, that. Oh, that's super cool! Thing. Yeah. It is pretty cool. talking about that fan art there? Whoa, what's mm. this accent you've got now? I'm just I'm just saying you're talking about that fan art there. You do it to him all the time, that Rags. Fan art. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, well, it's, it's, that's the thing. It's uncharacteristic for him, so that's why. I was just saying there's that there fan art. It looks real Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, I, I was like, fan art. It's really cool. <laughs> it's really great. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's really good stuff. Cheers I like it quite a bit. Those momentary periods of despair when I'm trying to do art myself. Yay. Just look at it and just like, oh my god, it's not that good. It's, you, you suck. Um, Aww, you can put nice. you push through those eventually. <laughs> oh. First really nice. ever oh, super chat on anything. I've been waiting for this. Um, <clears throat> high rags. Hello! <laughs> they did it. They nailed it. Oh, wow! That's a great first super chat. Yeah. I approve. I think it's good mm -hmm. stuff. Mm hmm. Uh, Y'all gave me tips for my short film of a swimmer's last race. It was crap, but thanks for the help. 46 days from ending oh, always... a 17 year long career. Big sad, my guy. Oh, oh yeah, but you've if you've done something for seventeen years and you think it's time to end it, hmm. begin a new Interesting. era. Interesting. I wonder what it was. I wonder what it was that he did. Um, bounty hunting. Yo, he must be amazing if he did bounty hunting for seventeen years, or he did like, or maybe he was like a dog, the bounty hunter, where you're like, that's not that impressive. I'm the dog with the big. Bounty well, you know, there are people who do stuff for seventeen years and are still terrible at it. That's true. Yeah, I took All dance for 12 years, and I can't dance to save my life. Oh. You broke, is that how you broke all your toes? No. Oh, it was in an unrelated... Oh, okay. It's like, <laughs> yeah, no, no, I that's unrelated. I while I was dancing. You didn't break a leg? No, I didn't. Like I said, I'm very You know, you know why dancing. actors tell each other to break a leg before they go on stage, right? Yes, because it's bad luck to say good luck. No, because every movie has a cast. Ho oh, ho! Ha 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 ha! I'll be here all weekend. Wait, you'll be here, but I want to hear more rags. No, I'm, I'm just making fun of. No, all right. We can't. I can't. I can't inun inundate you in the rags jokes. We have to. Uh, we've got to space it out. A little here, a little there. I don't want to get people all worked up. Mm -hmm. I don't want to send anyone to the hospital. Yeah, that's fair. Ms. Hannah's probably there getting some fish. I don't go to the hospital. No needles. That's true. That's true. That's Why? True. Because she'd rather be sick and fucked up than go to the hospital. <laughs> to fair, the hospital. I guess, I guess, guess with your, I guess with your experience. With yeah. She, if dirt if she goes and to the hospital, can't fix it, then nothing can. She's going. She's afraid of going to the hospital, and they open her up, and they're like, "This stomach's full of dirt. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you got some demons, lady." Unusual. Yeah, you worry, but well, you worried that they'll just tell you, "Yeah, your problem here is that you've been eating too much dirt." Anna would be offended. I by don't that. eat dirt like every day. Not every it's day. Like yeah. Well, not every day. I don't <laughs> eat uranium every day. <laughs> I feel like uranium okay, is I more eaten harmful. Dirt in like months. Well, what if there was some uranium in the dirt? Sometimes. I think that, well, that's I'm not usually around that type of dirt. Yeah, around you know radioactive, crazy dirt—the kind of dirt that makes yeah, that dirt's a bad influence. Hmm. Mm hmm. I think doctors would know that a bit of dirt here and there is fine. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I think they even prescribe that sometimes. 
I'm sorry, isn't it a common thing that, like, pregnant women- well, not common, that sometimes, like, pregnant women will start eating dirt? I've never heard of it, I don't but know. maybe. Yeah, it's called pica. Oh. Right. Like how I knew that? Well, yes. I figured that I- yeah, like, as soon as you said it, my immediate thought was, well, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that's correct. Because <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what it is. I ain't an expert on all things dirt. Goo is my special. Well, one of my specialities. Goo. Yeah. He has a. He has a. A a narrow but deep. He's that's narrow right. Deep. That's right. A narrow but deep <laughs> understanding and appreciation of goo. Mm-hmm. Mm. The right piece of goo can save the world. Well, piece. I guess that of goo. <laughs> Thanks to Rag's actions, Anna's bullet video virus will soon achieve complete global saturation. <laughs> Wait. EFAP oh movies Aladdin vs. Remake when? Ugh. No thanks. <laughs> I mean, if we could just that watch just Aladdin, we don't have to watch the next, the other one, that'd be fine. If we do it, it'd be some time from now. It was tough to do, you just have to watch it get slaughtered. Yeah, like, Cruella was pretty fucking painful. Like, that wasn't a fun experience for me. 101 Dalmatians, no? that was fun. But, like, Cruella, Christ. Yeah, that was really bad. Fucking hell. It was rude. The whole thing. My it, it, yeah, I think that's a good way to describe that film. It is rude. What are you doing? It is rude. Said you could do this. Who gave you permission? Like, well... Disney, bro. Disney. Uh, have y'all seen all the weird stuff Joss Whedon's been saying? Seems to be self-imploding at the moment. I think he, he probably knows that I guess he had no chance um, of doing coming back anyway, so he just said a lot of stuff that I'm pretty sure he must have known means there's no going back. Mm. Um... Uh, I... What did he say? Uh, that Gal Gadot doesn't understand English very well. That Ray Fisher is a bad actor in both senses. And, um... Some other weird stuff. Talks about how there's this kid who died when he was five because he drowned in a pond and he saw him at that pond. Uh, like, mm. the, the morning of the day he died or something. It's just like, okay... What relevance does that have to I think it's, it's Ray like, Fisher and Gal Gadot? I think it's like he's well because the whole thing isn't really about them. It's just like a ramble. Like the person's in his house asking him random questions here and there, but mostly it's just him saying stuff. Um, Glad I don't have people in my house asking me random <laughs> questions. No wait, that's literally my life. I'm not in your house. Neither is anyone else. But no, uh, it's in a metaphor. Sense, but, yeah. The well, this person was literally in his house doing interviewee stuff, but um, yeah, the, it's quite a long thing to read, and I I agree with Razor Fist. It's funny, and he's a he's an asshole, but like the rest of them are too. Uh, what can you make of it? Other than his career is definitely definitely dead. Though I don't really share the sentiment across the internet that he's like the worst human being ever. It's like, eh. Mm. Especially being like, Gal Gadot misunderstood me and Ray Fisher is a bum bum. Like, it's just like, this seems like he's firing back the same shit they've been saying about him, so... What are you gonna do? It's all a mess. So Buffy reboot when? Well... It might have been delayed just because of his name being attached to it at this point. Like, he'll probably wait a bit, but he certainly won't be have anything to do with a new version. Junior, I've got mm. something difficult to tell you about Princess Peach. Sounds like a retort. He's definitely bitter. Um, which I don't know how anyone wouldn't be if you were in a situation, right? Uh, 
Uh, any any of you guys got any comments on it or, or it's just jump ahead? Honestly, I, I haven't seen it myself. I, I feel really sorry thing. for the guy. It's one of those his word versus their word, and I think it's pretty clear which side everyone's jumping to believe, so oh, I've seen many people <sighs> say I'm happy to believe that he's an asshole from what I've heard. I'm yeah, also sure. happy to believe that like probably though, I don't know. I don't I don't know much about it. I don't uh, the, the thing that annoys me most is like people expecting me to have an opinion of it like i don't care i don't read about this shit i don't want i don't that doesn't this, this isn't like something the, that interests uh, me like i not that, everyone has to go and talk about fucking abuse allegations that does feel like almost on a broader level the curse of our times right you have to have a perspective on every single conceivable thing like it, there's like, never a point my, where you can just be like i don't have an i don't know like i, I don't, don't want i don't, I don't like to this. think about this kind of thing yeah. i don't no Go away. You never want to think about Anna's broken toes. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's. I, I, it would be interesting if anything else happens. I suppose in terms of him trying to clear his I mean, own that's name, from, like, but the end of the uh, the arc, really. Well, this thing, uh, it didn't even come across as him trying to clear his own name. It's it, if you read it, it comes across more so as him just thinking out loud. Um, it's just like it darts from all these different topics, but some of the things he says, you're like, dude, people are gonna, why would you? S but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like he doesn't care anymore. Um, maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. But I mean, he'll be fine, money-wise. It's just legacy-wise, which I imagine. Well, I don't know what would be more important to him. Well, I, don't know. I guess it's, I guess it's, it's a few things, right? I guess legacy. That's out the window um yeah. but maybe it's even just like that you're never gonna make any creative projects that are gonna be like i guess unless you write them under a pseudonym or something um yeah yeah this thing there's just not a lot to say on it isn't being aware of the fact that you don't have a perspective itself a perspective i don't know it, it just feels like no 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 because it's, okay it's like to just say i don't know like I, I don't know no, the, I, the perspective. Yeah. Well, I guess it is a, it is a perspective, but in terms of, I don't have a perspective on like what he did or like whose story I believe because I haven't read anyone's fucking accounts. Like I don't, I don't, I haven't, I haven't gone and read all of the like accounts of what everyone said happened and gone. Hmm, from what people said, it's likely that this thing happened. Like I haven't even begun that process, and that's what I mean by I don't want to have. Like I don't care. About... Well, I feel like it's 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 impossible as an individual to have a perspective What's on it? everything. It, like, there's things that you don't know about, there's things you don't want to know about, or that just never come it's across like, I don't... Your, your thing. And it's like, if you don't know, it's better to just say I don't know than to have a stance. But I know, I know, like, I don't care sounds harsh, and it's like, oh, well, you know, these people, they got, like, they were mistreated. It's like, well, no, obviously I care, like, if someone was mistreated, yeah, it's bad. But, like, no, I don't care in terms of, like, yeah, there are probably some, like, um, there are lots of issues going on in the world at the moment that are bad, but you are not researching, right? And in that way, that because you are not, because you don't have the interest to go and find out about them. Like, yeah, lots of bad stuff happens. Well, I don't care as, as sounds harsh, doesn't it? It does. Um... But always, for, but I mean, it's the clarification. It's not that you don't care about the thing in question if you knew more. Well, about yeah, it's like it. it's more that you it's, don't it's, know it's like well, I, I know that I know that someone's someone's interpreted this as like someone say, well, you know, Joss like some like, two people like one person's like thinking, well, Joss's career was destroyed for no reason. Someone's going, well, Joss abused those people. Me going, I don't care. It's like no, it's like no. It's not that I don't care. Those things happened. It's that I don't care to look into this. I'm guessing this might be. What, related to the stuff that's going on Twitter right now, or...? Well, yeah, because a lot of people on Twitter are going, Well, you'll drag down Zack Snyder, but no word on Joss. It's like, yeah. Go, I don't have to talk about that. No one's obligated to... It's like, it's like, it's like such a nonsense. It's like, I think Zack's films are bad, okay? It's like... I know fucking, Zack's films are bad. <laughs> it's just as relevant to go on and say... It's just as, it's like literally just as relevant to say, Oh, yeah, you complain about Zack Snyder's films, but no word on the... Um, impoverished people of fucking Somalia. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, because I don't care to look into that. That's not that's not a way that I've chosen to invest my time. You, no one's obligated to talk about stuff like that. Go away. <laughs> no, you are obligated. 
You would exist. feel like a landmine was stood on without me realizing it. <laughs> I I had no idea any of that had happened. I was just I was just wanted to make sure everyone had a chance to say something about it if they wanted to. No, yeah, I, I've been dealing with this this morning. People, people whinging at me that I don't talk about uh, the Joss allegations, and my response is probably "fuck off." I don't have to talk about anything I don't want to talk about. I don't, I don't particularly enjoy talking about abuse allegations. Yeah, um... There's nothing interesting to say about it at this point anyway, because everybody already is just like, if everything that's said is true, that's horrible. Anyway, mm -hmm. that's it. This is a, can't really do anything Well, else. yeah, but that just feels almost like the social media curse, Brian, is that whenever there's something that comes up, it's like, people need to know what I think about this, me feels really unnecessary. Yeah. Joss is as bad of a person as Zack is a director. Oh my god. Oh my god. That would he be Hitler. Joss is, must be Satan. Oh. Well no, Zack has got- Zack has certainly got talents in terms of how he can- He seems to be very good at working with actors. You definitely- um, It seems like people really He's really like good him. at casting um, hot men and making them look hot. Oh, like 300? I, I guess more than I was yeah. very it would, it happy would like watching 300. Working, Henry? On a, what's that? Sorry? He seems, um... Yep. I think oh, he's very good at... I think he's very good at, um... I don't, I'm I don't sure really that he is like a very the nice style. Guy. I don't like oh, his yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really <laughs> like the style that he goes for, but he's very good at achieving it. Um, he seems to have a very clear grasp on how to get all of the shots he wants to get and making them look exactly the way he wants to look. I was like, if I, if I was, um, I, I, I think I've said this about him before. If like I was, um, working on a movie and, um, it's like, I, I don't know, what's, whatever, let's say I was working with Warner Brothers and they're like, yeah, we, you're, we're letting you write your first movie, but you know, we want you, we want an experienced director attached. They'll just make sure that you don't do any fuck ups. They'll help you get the shots you want. They'll help you work with your actors. Zack Snyder, I think would be a very solid uh, person to do that. Right. I, I think he would be very skilled in that department. It's just like, I don't like anything he chooses to do with his skills, which I think he has a lot of. I think that's, that's the way it's like, I think he has a lot of skills. I just don't think he uses them very well at all. Anyway. Well, I mean, that that's, that's probably the last topic and that's because we hit nine hours. And I finished the game. I feel like that's a, a very normal place for Nine us. hours, wow. Yeah. Um, but before we even consider leaving, Anna, why don't you tell everybody where you can be found and what you're up to? Not the hospital. Um, yeah, not the fucking hospital. Hell no. Even with this whole plague that we have, I will not go to the hospital. Wait, did you survive a bullet without going to the hospital? Yes. Cool. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Pretty metal. Um, what am I doing? Uh, okay. So, haven't made a YouTube video in almost a month, but that's because I've been working on fulfilling uh, the calendar campaign, so thank you to everyone that backed that. Uh, if you do want to see me up to something, I have an art channel where I do live painting streams. I've actually been doing one this entire time we've been streaming, so I made very good progress on my Omni-Man painting, oh, and cool. I try to stream there every day, if not every other day. I'm doing a project called the Eye Project, where I try to paint 200 eyes, and uh, yeah, so thank you to everyone who volunteered there. You can find me on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, just underneath that Star Wars girl. I think my link tree is on my Twitter profile, so if you want to find... Uh, more everything it's there but uh yeah thanks thanks for inviting me on it's been like a year and a half huh yeah it's do you really... have an do you have an only fans where you break your toes and eat you dirt you know only fans <laughs> is something that i will never uh engage in in any way shape, no, or only form. fans Unless... isn't only fans isn't strictly like porn there's no like tos it's like you have to make porn on this website you can do right. anything well, unless, on that you want. Ends rag suggestion unless of I'm toes. subscribing to a guy's OnlyFans, which I don't think will ever happen, uh, I will not have an OnlyFans account. So, yeah. Hmm. Fair enough. But yeah. Well, thank you very yeah. much for joining us and for a whole nine hours. Yeah.
I feel it is a very suitable follow-up to the last time you came on. It feels like we had sim similar vibes and got a whole bunch of extra stories. Uh, what was the one I was on last time? I have no clue. Someone in chat might know, though. Well, efap.me, right? That'll tell oh, us right away. definitely know, yeah. I feel like they could, they could, they could make an alternate reality. They could gaslight us all by just changing the information. Apparently, it was one hundred and one. Oh, yeah, that was with ER, wasn't it? Sixty-nine. Oh, that was the last time ER came on, because he's disappeared from the Did you ever get your license? Why would I? Oh my gosh. There's no reason. Do you know how to drive at least? No. <laughs> Do you at least know how to drive? No. Mauler, don't worry. Oh I my can God, teach you Mahler. how to drive a car in like five Rags, minutes. I would it's way prefer really you teach me how to shoot than drive. Well, well here's the thing. We could shoot? do both because it, I, literally I could you teach you how to drive, drive in five minutes. Yeah, we, exactly. Keep, yeah, yeah. Just like, uh, yeah, Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Mola has a grown up, it's driving's, true. driving's easy. I'll just get you, yeah, yeah. I mean, a manual will take longer than five minutes, but an, uh, an automatic, he teach you to drive five minutes. It's simple, it's easy. So easy, caveman could do it. You probably even fit in most cars. Because aren't cars? the cars in, like, Britain, like, super tiny? And you're, like, super tall, so you can not even <laughs> fit in one. We you have, have to get like an extra large. Like, we we SUV. have the small cars and the big cars. All <laughs> 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 the like, cars in Britain, tiny. Like, they're, 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 small, they're smaller in comparison to like American cars. We have like the big four by fours, but they're not like. Yeah, we have lots and lots of pickups tiny. around here. Like big they're all, yeah. still big enough that most people can fit in them. <laughs> yeah, they don't design too many cars that people can't fit in. That's uh. She's picturing well, I just know, the I, fucking guy from The Simpsons. I know some Simpsons. guys that are like tall, like Mahler, and they have to buy like, like special cars. Gear. So they can't, you know. There's not enough leg room for you giants. Everybody needs to drive. A I vehicle, have to drive with the boost the seat, tall. but that's just me. Yeah, and that's that's why I never learned to drive. I can't fit in any of the cars. Uh, Do not you should learn. I gotta make a long mobile. That's true. Hmm. Um, yeah, Jay, what are you doing? What's happening? Nah. Um, I've got a video coming out about reaction content with Hassan Piker being the primary example, but I also talk about uh, Jinx and, and, and people like that. Um, I, it's like an hour long and it'll be coming Whoa. to my channel pretty soon. When's pretty soon? Um, I don't know. Um, there's actually multiple factors that I, I need to, because I'm, I'm doing something with, um, other YouTubers, I've got a few other YouTubers who are involved in certain stuff, and I'm, I'm also stuff out of my control that determines the release date. What's the main thesis of the video going to be? Oh, well, it takes an hour to, to explain everything, so... You're basically, I, basically I, um, I talk about my perspective on reaction content, what constitutes acceptable, like... Um, like, hey, you, you know, you're doing a good job, you're doing something good, you're... Uh, you're making content of your own, and it's acceptable that you're using other people's content to, to do that because like you're adding Hassan? something of your own. You, yeah, like Hassan, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I, I go over the differences and what makes them, and then I go over loads of the common arguments that are used to justify, like, completely non-transformative, literally just sitting there not saying anything, reaction content, and I, I talk about all of that. Wow, sounds excellent. I'm sure everybody will be looking forward to such things. <clears throat> also, Metal is in it. Ew. Whose content does he steal? How other much than did he EFAPs, pay you to be course. in it? Um, seventeen billion trillion. Seventeen billion. I'm oh, nice. cheap. Um, I will be doing final touches to Boba Fett. Episode 4 reaction, which will be out tomorrow. Um, I think, I'm trying to think, how is the release schedule going to work? Because I got I got to release these, this EFAP, that Boba Fett, and I got to go on Drinker's Catch-Up stream tomorrow, and that starts at 9pm, I think. So, maybe this will come out really early. And then that can come out in the afternoon. I can't remember how I even do it anymore. Well, a bunch of things will happen tomorrow. And then, when all that happens, I can go back to editing the main video I'm making. Nice to, to do that. Right, Fringy? 
Mm, yep. Ooh, what video is it? It's a secret. But when I get close to completing it, I'll, I'll, I'll let people know. Is it good? I know. Um, well, I think everyone here knows except for Anna. Damn. Oh, this sucks. Tell um, me the private chat. <laughs> or not. It's okay. Uh, well, wait, the free rags. What, did you guys want to say anything before we, we run away? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think there's really much that I want to say at this point. I don't really have anything either. Just working away on things. And yeah, pretty much the same for me. Soon. Very well. Uh, thank you all for joining oh, us. We shall see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye, bye, everybody. Toodaloo. Thanks for coming. Thank you for being here and listening to us.